No Man's Sky is now one of my favorite games that I think everybody should have a chance to play, but if you would have asked me that question on launch date years ago, of course, my answer would have been a lot more negative. After years of neglecting the game in my Steam library, I've watched the game receive constant free updates, more in-depth gameplay, and lots of cool reasons to explore this world, or I guess I should say galaxy. So for this video, I wanted to play the game, but not just a little bit. Let's do day 1 to 100 on a normal difficulty, and I'm going to show you everything everything. Each day in game, or soul as they call it, lasts about 30 minutes. Now, I figured it'd be 50 hours playtime for 100 days, which it was, but in total, this is over 66 hours of gameplay footage, mainly just due to the game not counting time either while I'm in menus or loading, but this allowed me to explore even more. I mean, I got to go to hundreds of different planets, I spoke to thousands of aliens, and still, I only touched the surface for what the game has to offer. My main goal for this would become a Super Sigma a spaceman who's capable of exploring any planet by the end of a video. I'm also going to be attempting to reach the center of a universe, and I'm going to be completing the two main storylines the game has to offer. Along with that, I wanted to hit an exclusive expedition which was running while I was recording this playthrough, but I'm going to be real, this video took over 100 hours to make between recording and editing and everything else, but it all wouldn't be possible without your support. From everyone racking up watch time and enjoying these videos, to my channel members and Patreons, I just want to thank you for making this my job. So hopefully this video pops off, leave a like, subscribe to help this video lands on someone else's homepage, and with that all out of the way, I hope you enjoy my biggest video I've ever made. Here we are, the beginning of No Man's Sky. Like I said, I've played this game when it came out, and I put it right back away, <laughs> uninstalled it. I wasn't messing with it, okay? I didn't like the vibe of it. Now, it looks like a lot better of a game, and they've been putting a lot of work into it. They pretty much spent like a third of my life or something working on this game, so let's give it a go. I have no idea what's gonna happen in 100 Days of No Man's Sky. All I know is that there's one big mission or big goal to reach the center of a universe. I believe right now everything is getting generated. All those planets Do we end up seeing those in our playthrough let me know if you've played the game but oh, we got a big white light let's begin initialization and all right we're, we're here we're spawning it is 11.8 celsius that's not too bad we're in the rectonian beta looks like we're getting all of our main systems functional okay cool we got a mining beam as well i see we got a jet pack and here we are. We are at the Retonian Beta, the first contact, first place we're starting. I don't know how long we're going to want to spend here. It looks like it does have some radiation or toxicity. And looks like our scanner is critically damaged. So first off, we got to start by trying to repair that. We're going to need ferrite dust, which looks like we can get from these little spots here. All right, there we go. Now we have enough. So we got to go into our inventory and here's our scanner. Repair that. And now we should be able to find a few things yeah like uh we got some plants down here we need these sodium rich plants and uh oxygen and other things of a sort but right now we don't got a spaceship we don't got any space hose <laughs> we got nothing you know your boys broke gotta mine these blue crystals which i don't even really know the name of yet <laughs> everything is just unidentified material but let's go charge our uh systems the hazard protection gets charged with sodium and looks like we're gonna need a bit of that in order for that to work Whoa, that looks like a pretty dangerous plant, but it gives off oxygen, so that's good. We're gonna want to make the most- Ow! <laughs> Instantly get hurt by the jetpack. We're gonna want to make the most out of each planet that we visit. Basically looking for any materials that we can use along the way. Right now, I think we gotta try to get a ship started, or uh, like a ship figured out, because we-, we we can't be living on here, I don't think. As cool as this planet looks like, you know, if I wanted to live in a spot like this, I'd just go, you know, outside rural Ontario. I want to live in a big space city, you know, I want to meet all the aliens, I want to have a crazy adventure. It looks like we have to go over to this signal source. It's about 500 years away, which isn't too much, but it's still a good distance, so I'll run over while looking around for any plants or anything that we can grab. There's lots of dangerous stuff around here. I keep on seeing plants that are, like, spewing poison. We got all of our technologies recharged now so i should be able to just sprint on over there but oh there we are yo it's a ship isn't that convenient okay well there we go let's go check out what's all at this site i see uh some oxygen plants over here that's good all right come on bb we gotta line up this nice thumbnail shot i kind of want to get in the middle of both of these all right come on just gotta wait till we... yeah there we go oh nice take it for me give up give me that pose back to the right oh yeah yeah that's clean <laughs> All right, boundary separation failure likely. It, it doesn't look good. 
bunch of nonsense on here. Just anomaly containment prepared. Okay, I guess we'll broadcast it. Sweet, there we go. It is compliant. Position logged. Okay. Um, I don't know what position was logged. Maybe this one? But we got some other stuff like damage machinery over here. Ooh, we got living slime. That sounds really gross, dude. Let's put it in our exosuit. And then I'll continue to look around this other place. Um, we need an Atlas pass for that. I do not have that. But this damaged computer has some rusted metal. I don't know. This is probably just like junk. Hey, a few sodium. Yeah, it's not really a uh, big loot. But let's go check out this ship, eh? I mean, um... It, it's on fire right now. I don't think it works. Do we have any water or anything? Like, is there any way we can put that out? We're really gonna hop into the ship while it's on fire. <laughs> I mean, I guess, you know, like, if we crashed and landed here and we're still alive, we, we'll probably be alive after a ship explosion. Let's see. We got the iteration online. Looking good. Atlas connection. Intermit launch thrusters offline. Okay, so those don't work. And the pulse engine is offline as well. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before, but this ship at last seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least that to my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. We can go and read the log here to check out what uh, is back here. We might have some lore. Oh, <laughs> unavailable, substituting data. Exosuit connected, suggestion pilot should perform maintenance okay i guess we're, i guess we're just gonna repair the ship yeah we'll do that so we got this pulse engine starship flight booster looks like it needs a hermetic seal and metal plating some more materials that we're gonna have to figure out so if we go into here we can see to make metal plating we need more ferrite dust so we're actually gonna have to go and uh loot for a little bit it's not too difficult ferrite dust is pretty much like everywhere in the game at least on this first planet <laughs> you know it's just these rocks on the ground. We have the metal plating now. I can go in and repair that. And we also need to fix the damaged pulse engine part. Now, don't know how we get one of those. Let's see. Yeah, vital ingredients are missing from the ship. Unable to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires hermetic seal. So let's request assistance. Is somebody drop one off? <laughs> Imagine like alien comes by, just gives us one. That'd be sweet. But uh, no, it looks like we got a distress beacon cache nearby with one. So we'll go over to that. We got to repair the engine by going to grab that. Nice. It's only in here, so we don't got to go too far away. It contains a planetary chart. Okay. Is that what we need to craft it? Um, I don't, th <laughs> I don't think so, dude. I think it's going to be more elaborate than this. Oh, yep. Wait, maybe we're getting a location. I don't know. Is it going to teleport us there? Um, <laughs> may, may, I don't think I don't think so. I think it's just going to point us in a direction. I got too high hopes for this game. OK, well, let's start, let's start the jog. Watch out for all these plants. They're spewing poison at us and deadly things. Now, it isn't too far away. It's 700 U's away. We could probably get there with a good sprint. Oh, no. Toxic rainstorm approaching. That can't be good. Um, is there anywhere that I could hide? Fudge, oh, man, this ain't good. I do not see anywhere, man. This is pretty worrying. The storm hasn't really started yet. It doesn't seem that bad. Oh, wait, nope. The tox level is going up. Oh, no. Hopefully, we can survive. Ah, jeez, man. A uh, hundred tox. Oh, man. Yeah, it's draining our life support fast. Like, how are these animals surviving here? What is this? Like an armadillo and a bull? Oh, man, that thing looks gnarly. <laughs> There's lots of creatures. There's lots of plants. There's lots of storms on the way. We gotta, I gotta keep track of this. It's going down by like 1% to 2% at a time. Oh, man, I... I I, I wish I could find a cave or like a building or something. Come on, just run, run through the storm. <laughs> got it. We gotta push through it. Oh, there we are. There we are. Finally, we got a we got a building. Oh my! I hope we can run into it, man. <laughs> We're depleting health and toxicity fast. Ooh, there we go. I don't know why that felt so like realistically, uh, <laughs> you know, easing. Like once I got here, it's like my worries all went away. You know. So let's go check our life system. We gotta put oxygen in this part to keep our. I guess health up and then our hazard protection unit we charge using a uh, sodium now going to our starship yeah we needed to find the hermetic seal so let's try to search this location for one we got a hollow archive this will at least have oh six out of seven logs corrupted never mind <laughs> not really a lore heavy game okay uh, at least not yet no one 
making this recording in case bleh, leaving it behind bleh, in the fabricator bleh, might be some use. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read it like that, too. <laughs> that, probably sound, that probably doesn't even sound good, too, on the mic. Like, <laughs> getting in too deep already. All right, let's recover the supplies. The log finishes and the machine whirls to life, spitting out supplies. I have a hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Oh, there we go. We got a hermetic seal. We got, we got a chair on the ground. Can I sit in it? Oh, what the hell? Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty chill. <laughs> ah! My legs! My legs! Ah! Okay, I think we should be all right. Um, all right, get out! Help! <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Oof. Let's go on to the second building. I don't want to leave this one untouched before I leave. I oh, that's a nice little plant there. Does not appear to be much in here. Oh, encrypted navigation data. Yeah, that's something. Okay, little... Uh, spun around and stuff what did we get from that um oh so we trade these to a cartographer in a space station and it'll give us star charts that's pretty cool well i don't appear to f see anything else i'm looking around the area quick but i think we're like pretty much ready to go back we just gotta press f oh we, of course we need we need to fix this visor as well We've got a carbon nanotube crafted so i should be able to slap that right there and then put that in it and now when I press F, if I hold it down, I can actually look around and scan everything here. Like I can scan all of a floral. I can scan all of the creatures, which I definitely intend to do. Just by walking around and clicking about, I'm going to be finding new plants. And that gives me credits. I believe creatures offer like the most credits or something. Yeah, like that one over there, that got us 1,600 when we go out, we can see all of our discoveries. So there's five different creatures on this planet, it appears like. And yeah, this guy looks pretty gross, man. Discovered on the sun-battered surface of planet Retonian Beta. Patient and slow. Oh, whoa. So yeah, this is a brand new type of species, like discovered today by Cool Kid Croc. <laughs> check that out. That is really dank. I want to go check out where this Jade Peas is before we head back to the ship, as this could have something valuable at it. Um, I don't know. Jade Peas? Let me see. 5,600. Looks like it's a little decent uh, source of revenue, maybe. I got no idea how this game's economy works. I think we get up to the millions, maybe billions. I'll try my best to get as far as possible. Now, I got this challenge to record five different species. It's going to be pretty hard because right now I've only really seen two of them on this planet. I don't think I've seen many more. I'll keep an eye out and just keep on scanning down everything in the area. And as you can see, if we go up to the actual plant or material that we're harvesting now, it has a name and it shows us everything that it gives us. So that one gives us carbon and oxygen i kind of like the sounds of that so i might i might mine a few of those and geez yeah like one of those plants it took a minute to uh get through but it gave us like 60 carbon oh look at that guy that's a new one yeah lantern mexis nice discovered by me awesome all right we are almost there hey i can see the starship just of a distance and whoa what what is that noise is that oh birds oh there is there are three ships up there save me Hell, or, or wait, maybe we don't want to do that. They could be aliens. They could be bad guys. They could be stream snipers, even though I'm not live streaming right now. <laughs> Let me know if you'd like me to do these live. I'm thinking of doing it soon. But I think it's pretty hard to find people in No Man's Sky unless you like link up through the multiplayer feature or like at a hub zone. We should be all right. You know, I'm making my way over to the ship again. I'll go over there, repair it. And then hopefully, I think our goal is just to get off this planet. If we can accomplish that, then I will. If we can accomplish that, then I'll call it a success. At least until we get to the next like toxicity ridden hot ass planet it's 23 celsius right now you know in canada we we die from the heat we're usually we're we're used to like or i'm used to like minus 40 weather or like you know like igloo house and stuff so right now this is nothing you know we can take some time to scan the different things around the area i have been looking for the other animals but i have not spotted them oh oh they're birds i see there we go yo there we go oh and I think I, yep, just spotted the other one right there. Uh, plants are blocking it. Can, can we stop? Hello, dude. I, I'm just trying to get your scan. Who are you? 
Nice. We got them. We got five out of five species. Um, I guess what? Hold to register completion. There we go. We registered all of them. And we can actually name all of these guys too. I really like this. So I go to say rename this guy. I'm going to call this the Crocco Bowl if it'll accept that. There we go. Nice. Five nanite uh, clusters received. Because it looks like a croc and it looks like a bowl as well. With a really weird face. That's cool. So we can upload all of these if we want. That gives us five nanite clusters each time we do that. Cool. I don't really know what those uh, go towards or what they're for. But we will figure it out in time. Okay. I think for now, at least we're doing pretty good we're already like the king of this planet you know we discovered all these new creatures journey milestone accomplished Ooh, discovered all species on one planet no sp oh, that's what i'm talking about man i was just talking about that one minute ago you you guys saw that man i got i got, I got the mind of a future dude that youtuber brain <laughs> it unlocks some crazy traits so let's go back over to the ship it is still on fire looking pretty brutal so let's go ahead and repair the pulse engine we just gotta throw that new part on it there we go and now we just gotta do the launch thruster next in order to do that we need pure ferrite and dehydrogen jelly I don't think they'll be too hard to make. So dehydrogen jelly. Yep, I have 40 dehydrogen. Let's make one. And then we should be able to put that into the ship and repair it. Now we just need pure ferrite, which isn't much either. So press Z. We pull up this portable refiner. And I do need metal plating in order to build it. Let me get one of those. And then I'll place it down. And we might need to just try to mine some more ferrite. I don't really have much. I've got a little bit, but still. Now in the portable refiner, I'm going to put it in some fuel and then in input i guess i'll put in ferrite dust and then uh, begin process nice now that's going to turn it all into pure ferrite i'll try to mine some more uh ferrite around here as well because i know it's a pretty useful early game material as it's seen as it's the only thing we're fucking using right now use some other stuff too you know just if, if it's not we're not going to be using platinum or gold right now you know all we need is a little bit of stone and you know maybe some plants for oxygen and we'll be good but everything does have a charge like like our mining beam right here i gotta charge it up uh after it depletes we charge it up using carbon which thankfully i have quite a bit of right now all right now with the pure ferrite and go and put that in our exosuit and then i'm gonna pick up this portable refiner and let's see that should be everything we need to repair the ship let's try it out thruster part there we go oh let's hop in the ship now i think it should actually work uh, I, I guess we'll be leaving a ratonian beta use w to take off oh yeah there we go and yeah whoa yeah we are in it dude we're flying the ship so we gotta seek answers amongst the stars i suppose we'll start to go up i'll go up to like max speed and try to zoom on out of here we're going at 300 plus use a second that's really fast there we go the kuzentai system we discovered this as well yeah it's a brand new system for the game okay we got four planets a moon i think so some other information there but hopefully we can explore the whole galaxy here the game's taking us through the tutorial how to fly our ship it looks all good and then if we hold a uh, test yeah that's our warp there we go cool and uh whoa <laughs> a bunch of stuff over here that would not have been nice to warp through at bullet speed but let's go answer the communicator by pressing x we gotta yep we got an incoming transmission from a random source please identify yourself i'm let's identify ourselves we are cool kid croc you are not alone follow the <laughs> and then it ends the final the final piece of a signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates okay so we'll import the uh, coordinate data i guess now we got a new spot to go to yeah over here let's check it out Ooh, yeah okay so that's retonian beta um down there we got an unknown planet can we scan that um parched planet it's got some stuff at it that's pretty cool hopefully we'll end up going there eventually if not i'll make it a uh, mission to go there myself i think let's try to aim at the signal source and then a um just press space to go there we'll arrive in six five four three two one there we go nice we are here and okay we are we're re-entering retonian beta this is the same planet as before 
<laughs> yeah, we, we just got to space, and uh, I guess we're going to, like, one of the other sides of a planet. That's all right. We have arrived here at the signal source. Let's uh, try to land. There we, <laughs> there we go. It was a pretty rough landing, but we did it. And now let's get out. And, uh, yeah, we got a stinging atmosphere, the weather said, but... <laughs> It's pretty, that's pretty nuts, man. Well, oh, nice. Landed near some jade peas. Did not see much of a value right now, but we'll continue to look around. So we gotta do a target sweep. This will, I guess, bring us in the direction. Oh, oh, okay, I see it. Down there. So, looks like we gotta go check that spot out. There might be some resources and whatnot here. Let's see, save and chart. I guess that'll give us a, a new spot to go to. I hit a save. Nice. Looks like we got some stuff around here, some more rusted metal, and then in this guy over here, <laughs> more rusted metal. I, I got a good feeling that rusted metal ain't really worth nothing, you know? But let's go check out this broken technology. I believe this is the source we were looking for. The sparking wires of a machine generate a signal, trapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. Let's try to decipher the signal. Decoding 16, 16, 16. No fuel in fish. Failed to reach station, hazard protection low, no choice to underground, deployed base computer. As well as the log entry, the signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. If any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages. Awesome, so let's extract those plans. And now we have a base computer. Now, we need to get chromatic metal, which we don't have yet. I'm sure we can get soon. And are, are those guys landing near me? What the? They were close. They, okay, yeah, no, they, they, they flew off. Okay. Oof. I still got no idea what's going on in the game. You know, like, I'm sure lots of NPCs and stuff are friendly. But, yeah, it's, uh, ah! <laughs> you know, even him, he, he had a gnarly looking mouth right there, dude. So, we gotta analyze the crystal fragment. Let's do that. And then we get some, uh, dehydrogen, I think. Now, we gotta build the next piece of technology, I believe, for our multi-tool. This is going to be the terrain manipulator. We need dehydrogen jelly and oh carbon nanotubes. Okay, I think I actually can make those then one of those. Yep. There we go. We're, we got it. We'll install the new technology right there. And I did read that if you move stuff around, sometimes it'll give you a bonus. I don't think, yeah, the terrain manipulator has anything to do with each other, but there we go. At least we got that now. So it wants us to gather copper. We activate it using G and now we can mine copper and we got to find it using our visor. And ooh, these got cobalt and silver in them. How much silver do they have? Uh... Not much, about a thousand worth each, but maybe I'll grab a few. There's gonna be plenty of new materials as we go on our way, but yeah, so right now we gotta gather more copper. I've not found a spot to get copper yet, probably because I'm standing in the same spot mining this stuff, <laughs> but we will figure it out soon enough. And along the way, I also need to find sodium because right now we are really low on sodium. We do not have much. And nice, okay, so these <laughs> rocks right here, they have a bit of sodium in them, along with fair right dust um one sodium really okay maybe maybe they're not as cool as i thought and oh there we go copper deposit right over there finally see one let's go down that way there we go I i'm getting lots dude okay i've been grinding for like five minutes just grabbing stuff as as i'm walking here slowly but it's going well i think yeah we got like over a thousand carbon now that's good a lot of oxygen we're lacking sodium so that's the one thing that we could focus on again but here we go we got some copper so Let's try to mine it. And yeah, check that out. We're getting a bunch of copper ASAP. Does not take long at all. I think I probably want to collect all of this because they, uh, it took me a while to get here. It looks like copper's pretty easily distinguishable. I can just go around the area and keep on going through and getting a bunch of copper like this. How, how much do we have right now? Already 165. That's really good. Now, it wants us to analyze these uh, geodes, turn into some ferrite dust, and wow okay this thing is deep there might be a lot here for us so let me put down my um portable refiner i'm going to place it there and then fill it up with fuel so that while i am mining i can at least get some of this copper through that'll make a chromatic metal yeah that'll take a little bit to uh go through so in the meantime i'll go and uh, get a bunch of other copper because i don't know if we'll need raw copper for anything but we might as well grab it while we're here oh oh toxic production at 10 percent almost about to die I, I got a bit of sodium but i gotta get more soon again it's only problem with being out and about on these plants 
planets, so we'll have to manage our, like, life control systems. Probably upgrade them eventually, but I think I got that whole copper ore, uh, thing. I got about 590 in my inventory, and then we're grabbing 107 chromatic metal from here. Perfect. Looks good. I'm going to pick up the portable refiner, and then the base computer claims a site for construction oh okay they might want to go back to our ship and look around um i don't, I don't know do we really want to start construction on a toxic planet how much worse can it get than this you know i i mean i mean it, I don't know. If this is the first planet, maybe, maybe this is the more tame of planets. <laughs> but I'm sure eventually it's going to be way more of a pain of a dingling. Pain of a dingling. That's it. I haven't said that since I was like four. Wow. Probably be more of a pain on the other planets. This one doesn't seem too bad. I mean, we got toxicity, but we're working against it. We just need more sodium. Get in there. Let's get inside of our ship. Let's try to take off. We'll go up. And uh, let's just look for a cool spot to build. I mean, this whole planet kind of looks like it's in poverty. Like, none of it really looks all that good. Um, I just want to find, like, a space that's straight. And, ooh, what is that? Is that a ship? It looks like it, dude. I I'm going to check it out. All right. Now, let's go check it out. What is going on over here? It's crashed ship. This is called Suwon Post. We got a distress beacon right here. The high-tech ship's emergency systems activate as I climb on board. And a hologram appears before me the lights in the mask it wears seem wide and dim the pilot calmly reports news of its intimate demise the noise of explosions and tearing metal can be heard the hologram disappears leaving an array of glittering technologies and devices behind it some of them still look operational uh sure let's search for functional technology um nice it got some technology advancements i scan a blueprint and can now construct one of these uh advances myself we got a teleport receiver yo i think we only get one thing from it though so that's about it but yeah we got a ship here this looks like a pretty cool spot now what is this ship like ct3 idorigo um oh yeah it's got some stuff that's not too bad like the pulse engine and a uh, launch thruster there you know I, I think if we fixed this up this would maybe be worth it it's a b-class ship which i think is pretty good if i compare it to uh, my current ship which is a c-class ship it's got less damage damage potential but more shield and a uh, maneuverability i don't know it could be worth it it could not be maybe oh it costs 6.4 million so at, at very least we could sell it let's definitely claim this ship we'll add it to our collection um <laughs> yeah it's pretty beat up right now i don't think we're gonna do much with it yet but yeah you know at least we can come back to it we got a b-class ship in mind i think i will put my um base computer somewhere over here there's enough flat area it looks like over here to build and there we go now we got an outpost so we go here we search for cartographic archives and it reveals no prior claims on this site it's suitable for construction let's claim the base sweet so now wow do we claim all of this land that'd be gnarly but i got my first achievement in game um for making a base there we go base computer online let's use the terminal storm sweeping across but construction supplies low depositing shelter plans while need to let's extract the plans and there we go we got timber wall floor etc so we got to construct bases as shelter from harsh environments um sounds good so what is the best way to do this i guess we gotta start with a floor and start to uh uh, just build it out i think i'm just gonna build a nice you know like little rectangle maybe i'll uh, maybe i'll do it like that so a little bit of a uh curvature to the design of a storm is coming we gotta set this up fast um just trying to go as fast as possible um go set up all the walls uh storm's getting worse it's here man it's here we should have built a small minecraft one okay flat timber roof let's put them on Jeez, I, I think i messed up the placement of a first two but whatever there we go yo it's actually working uh a little a little bit hard to get a hang of just a placement i gotta be very precise with my uh pointer but there we go yo we got a house i mean it's got no lights it's got nothing in it we can get this uh floral uh we can get this flora containment plant and put one right there a little bit of decoration we're gonna go outside we're gonna put a flag down here this is our land this is where we live now 
I'll put a light right there. Maybe I'll leave my extra roofs as like a little funny uh, noob design. That looks pretty cool, you know? We got a base set up. Let's go back to the base computer. Try to read it during this toxic storm. Okay, so we got some more archives from the last person who used it. <laughs> the camera's panned right at my character's ass. Thank you. <laughs> uh, he's just going to be popping in and out. Giving you guys a little tease. Okay, so construction <laughs> like it was a success. Recovered salvage data from nearby. Plans logged. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices. Beginning search so let's extract the plans i have access to your plans and perhaps i can learn from their efforts nice so we got that we got to make magnetized ferrite and carbon nanotubes expand your base by earning new construction blueprints dig up berry technology to earn new blueprints power up your base to enable advanced technology use teleporters to instantly return to your base during travels okay cool that's pretty uh self-explanatory now let me go through I'm try to look at my inventory to see we need to make a uh, magnetized ferrite and refiner so i'm gonna put a uh yeah i'll put refiner right there outside my door and then let's put some fuel in i think we need to put in first some normal ferrite i might just want to do like uh half of that though like um c there we go put that in and then we'll turn all of that into pure ferrite and oh man the ship's flying by so close they're still freaking me out i give it a couple hours or you know a little bit of time until i get used to them but we got our pure ferrite now let's go and put in some of our pure ferrite into the input and begin i'll make it into magnetized ferrite of which we need at least 24 i'll put that in our extra suit and now we can craft carbon nanotubes um right here now we got to deploy the construction research unit allow us to convert old or damaged technology modules into advanced construction blueprints so that's pretty cool i think i'll put that right out here oh no do i need to put that inside i i feel like it might be best to put all this stuff inside like i might as well there we go put one right there and then i'll put a uh construction research unit right to there now let's check this users should recover salvage data from berry technology equipped and utilize an an analysis visor can we um research any buildable technology right now we can we actually have two salvage data so we and uh we can't right now we don't have enough salvage data but once we do we'll be able to make a base teleport module which will probably be really helpful at least one would guess you know so we're gonna use the analysis visor to locate buried technology that's gonna be our next um goal i guess uh maybe search out number so by looking around at all the different places um yeah like right there see buried technology module not too far away and i don't know if i want to attack any of the animals on this planet i i did see like a short video that talked about the whole like reputation system in no man's sky so i don't want to be known as a brutal pirate just yet you know we gotta, we gotta at least get some money in the bank first before we start messing with the government but i know if we start killing animals right now that are non-hostile towards us i believe that'll uh, lead to some negative stuff i might just search it up on the google though in a, in a few minutes to make sure before i run this whole series doing something that i should have probably been doing you know but i think we're in the good we got some more living slime here and okay berry technology module let's check it out um oh weapon charge depleted we gotta recharge it my bad all right let's dig in and yeah there we go technology module we got it nice so we got a salvage data i believe we need to find one more let me look around is there another one there's another one about 300 use away it's not too bad but we we do got a toxic rainstorm approaching of course that's all right it'll give me some more time to explore this wonderful planet here all right now let's check out this damaged machinery some residual goop it, it stuff looks really useless you know i feel like i'm picking up garbage right now but we'll go dig into this buried technology should be down here yep there we go technology module let's take that and that should give us enough salvage data that we should be able to go back now and actually make the base teleporter as long as we got the materials to do it and whoa the storm is killing us bro i gotta charge that up um i'll keep an eye out for any more sodium plants as well there's really has not been too many to come by i'd like to say i can't wait to get off this planet but we started a base here you know this might be our home <laughs> i'm sure we can move in the future but I, I got a good feeling we're gonna be hanging out here for a little while at least until we discover which planet next we need to go to but our ship is not too far away oh another journey milestone completed 
What? Traveled 8,000 U. Wow, okay, there we go. That's a little bit of distance. <laughs> What's that, like about an hour's worth of gameplay of distance, you know? Because right now we're like halfway, because right now we're like halfway into day three. So I'm thinking I'll get the ship done and then hopefully I can get off this planet for day four or five soon, explore some other planets. We've got a bunch of our base materials. We've got a bunch of stuff that we need. How, now let's go research for new buildable technology. I want to build that teleporter and there we go. That will allow us to move between all of our bases as well as any space station so that's pretty good i like that we got to make four metal platins and two carbon nanotubes but that's not too far off i already have enough so i should be able to go into z go here yeah base teleport module oh nice okay yeah i'll put this like i don't know right here or something um that looks good but unfortunately i think insufficient power i do need power um is there anything else that i should really get <laughs> like uh i see in basic construction we got stone alloy uh core habitat tech next thing is a save beacon and biofuel reactor but our base can be renamed right now let's go and uh interact with it gonna go ahead and name this one the reptilian coolest crocodile alive <laughs> I, I i don't know i guess because this is a reptile plant it you know we, we can even upload this base that's pretty cool capture a new base screenshot oh yeah let, let's get the camera we'll get we'll get our boy in view and just have him standing there like <laughs> yeah that's sweet that looks great i love it all right now we got to supply power to the base teleport module let's uh go and check out um powering the base that's a secondary mission we got to learn the biofuel reactor ah oh, so we're gonna we're gonna need another salvage data Okay, that's all right. We're not too far away. Really, I'm just going to keep on collecting stuff anyways. There are lots of materials for us to grab. So I might go over to uh, that buried technology module. And I don't know if it would be faster if we just fly our ship there. Um, I know it was low on fuel earlier, so I don't really want to waste it yet. I should probably just try to fill it up quick. But, you know, I'm already in too deep. <laughs> it's not that far away. We're almost there. Chose a good spot to start a base with a few different technology things lying around around us that saved us a lot of time and there we go it should just be down here let's check it out there we go now we should be able to make the biofuel reactor <laughs> oh man now look our, our teleporter kind of fucking pops through our base dude that is i don't look good it looks <laughs> looks awful but whatever hopefully we don't gotta look at it too much i'm sure we'll build a better base one day let's go over to buildable technology and get that biofuel reactor i gotta make one more metal plating and then i can place that down i think we're doing pretty good so far like we are on the right path um the game is pretty self-explanatory like very new player friendly i definitely after an hour or two of actually playing it now like this feels a lot better i do not remember me playing an hour when the game launched and feeling good about it at all you know it, i don't remember base building i don't remember uh scanning stuff i really just remember exploring and trying to fly my ship and uh figure out what the hell to do even though it wasn't really a goal the game's had lots of improvements which i love love to see it now i think i gotta fill that up the furnace tank and uh we got what it was that 50 hours of burn time remaining holy shoot so we should we should be okay i shouldn't have to refill this until like the end of a series <laughs> now oh oh no we gotta learn electrical wiring next <laughs> uh oh sweet okay it, it, it costs zero thank you the lord we got it okay so let's get electrical wiring let's um go into the build menu and then we hit it uh you just got to connect that to that i believe and um yeah now it's fueled and there we go we got a new title as well cool kid croc the builder we placed 50 base parts that's pretty baller but cool we got the teleporter all set up we can go check that out soon let's go to the base computer quick accessing log from a previous user additional archives recovered so we got another entry scanner detected unusual broadcast repeating 16 from the space station warning end of archive records interrupted well is not useful the base computer archives have reached their end it seems that there's nothing more i'll learn from them my predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station makes sense um are we going to do the same we go to the space station now and oh yeah space station is off planet i see it up there if we i don't know if we can just 
quite teleport to there right now. If I go to use my base terminus, I can see, okay, all of my bases and then space stations and other bases I've been, I will go to eventually. I see, okay. Looks cool, looks cool, okay. So, let's go to the ship. I don't know, do, it, do I want to mess around with repairing this one? I, I kind of do, but maybe I want to give it a little bit. I feel like it'll be easier once we have better materials at hand. So, let's go over to our normal ship right now. I think I should be able to fill this up. Um, not enough fuel in launch thruster. Oh, no. We need Starship launch fuel or uranium. What? I, I, I have not found uranium yet, but uh, yeah, I, I guess we'll be looking around for it. We got another technology module here as well. That's pretty good, but I do not know if I'll find any uranium around here. This is a toxic planet, but I do not have my hopes super high. I'll look around now. Um, we got a knowledge stone up there. I don't... Don't know what that means, but I guess I'll go check that out. Can't find any uranium right now. Oh, Starship launch fuel. We just got to craft metal plating. I see it in the bottom right now. And then a, um, yeah, okay. So from that, we can create dehydrogen and then metal plate. I see. My bad, my bad. I, I'm a noob, okay? Give me a little bit. Just about to go into day four, though. And, I mean, I think it's going pretty well. We've discovered a lot of stuff out here. This knowledge stone is gonna bestow some more knowledge upon us. That's nice. We got this knowledge stone right here. Wisdom of a Corvax. Nice. Um, Bokudim. 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 Yun, yun, yun. The stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. A robotic life form turns toward me. Light steams from their metal shell, forming a glowing fog that surrounds us both. They gesture toward me, and I accept the knowledge. The name Corvax floats in my vision, an echo of a strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. Cool, so we learned the Corvax word for Corvax. That's uh, pretty cool. I don't know how many words there are in the game, but I'm guessing maybe that'll help us uh, communicate or talk to the aliens or something. Let's go back to our starship though, now that we have some fuel and I'll put that in, we should be able to go up to the space station. All right, we are in. Let's go to the quick menu, uh, recharge equipment, thruster, booyah. We just gotta press W to take off and yo there we go okay so hopefully go up <laughs> to the space station not crash our ship but we'll go up there <laughs> like a drunk space driver dude i'm awful should be good though okay we activate our pulse engine we're gonna arrive there in a few more seconds and there we go just a little bit outside of a radius for it and we just gotta go up to this little blue spot hopefully it'll suck us in and try to go into oh yep nice there we go that's pretty straightforward our first space station welcome to Uzentai station sigma nice we got a sigma mail station that's pretty baller for first one in the game i'm not sure if anyone else will be here because uh it did say that i discovered this galaxy like unless other people come to this space station but there we go let's get on out and here we are we just run down there jump into space you know i i I don't know. Uh, <laughs> just, you know, keep on running. Journey milestone accomplished. Traveled 10KS. Nice. Oh, no. I don't think it's worth it right now. Somebody else test that theory and let me know. Can you just jump out of the end over there? Or do you ru run all the way down there and have to run all the way back? So, we got to explore the space station and ask it about uh, the mysterious signal. I guess that's to the station core and um oh we're actually talking to it so everything seems stable it's online 84 percent uh, efficiency um we can not override code we cannot restore standing so we don't have anything really to do perhaps we'll go up here yeah i see an alien looking guy or a robot the encrypted navigation data just lying on the table i'll be taking that and yeah scrap dealer smo yeah slack irves got oh jeez, man okay the life form waits behind her terminal they look me up and down and seem to decide i am not a customer they do not look particularly helpful. Ask about other travelers. Life form looks at me with alarm before waving me away. Jeez, okay. Let me scan this guy. Oh, we can't. I guess he isn't an animal. You know, I <laughs> I suppose that's fair. Technology merchant. What about this guy? Um, ah, oh, jeez. I don't speak this guy's language either. Um, he waves me away. We got a weapon terminal. Can we, can we do anything here? We might just be out of luck. Now, is this the uh, ship? station so we can upgrade our starship um yeah no we can't we don't have any money we're broke right now <laughs> we, we don't speak the language where to find upgrades uh use this outfit and station to increase the size of a starship inventory or improve its base stats by upgrading its class upgrades to specific functions such as weapons or engines can be purchased from technology merchants 
All right, good thing we don't speak their language. Oh, uh, we got an appearance modifier. Is there anyone here that speaks our language? We got exosuit upgrades. Um, to install a new slot, how much is that? Uh, sure, let's upgrade it. There we go. Slot upgraded. Is there uh, nothing else for now? Um, yeah, all these guys don't uh, speak our language. When I blink, I see that the same red light that stared at me at the distress beam. So let's repeat 16. 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form staring at me through its visor. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. Perfect. So that's our first little entry into the space station. We got a bunch of different shops here. But yeah, until we speak the language or figure out what's going on, it'd be pretty impossible to shop here. Now, by speaking to life forms on the spaceship, that brings a chance to trade, learn words, or gain standing. We can take on missions here. We can visit the cartographer for directions to outposts and other buildings, upgrade our ship, as well as use the teleporter to instantly return to our base. Looks pretty good. I do want to talk to this purple guy quick to see if he has anything to say. We'll learn. A uh, Korvac push. Um, okay. Um, we can purchase upgrade materials from him just from knowing one word. That's pretty good. I do not really know what all of these do right now, so I, I don't think I want to grab them yet, but really cool stuff. Riveting uh, materials. Let's go to the other side. Let's go use the teleporter or whatever. And a, uh, is this our ship? Um, Starship of Analyst Entity. Oh yeah, no, this is someone else's. This is this guy's. Um, can I talk to him? Does he, does he say anything? Zalakai! <laughs> um, we can make an offer of a life form starship. Recruit life form to squadron. Whoa, okay. Offer to trade. Yo, I, I like, I like that. that. That seems very cool. We get a whole squadron going. Why is he so tall though? <laughs> like, is our guy like five, six or something? You know, this is a realistic game. Okay, entity. Now, the Korvac is clearly distracted. They pay me little to no regard, and I am almost certain I can hear sound leaking out from within their helmet. Um, Let's uh, practice language skills. Maybe we'll try that. I recall some of the Corvax words I have learnt in the hope of impressing entity Leanne. Uh, <laughs> oh, Corvax. They flash their visor lights, but say nothing. They seem to doubt my understanding of a word I have spoken. So, does not work yet. What about attendant media? Um, ah, jeez, man. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody, nobody speaks their language, bro. The Gek gestures at me angrily as I approach. They wave their tiny hands and snap their beak with considerable fury. Let's request dialect help, maybe? They tap over data pad and display a list of uh, language symbols. Let's go with a uh, Gek symbol, maybe? You have learned the Gek word for Gek. Awesome. That's a start. Hey, let's talk to the entity again. If you uh, talk to us, um, request dialect help. Does he have anything? Presents a list of symbols. Nice. Okay. Um, Let's learn another Corvax symbol. You learn the Corvax word for traveler. Perfect. And, um... I don't know. We, we can't request help from the same person twice, but there we go. That, that's at least a couple new words. Maybe go over here and I think, can we do this with everyone else here too? Yeah, like this guy's speaking all gibberish. Do not understand him. Um, Let's request dialect help and a, um, they will help us. Let's get a, uh, maybe a trade symbol. Teaches me a word of their language. You learned the Viking word for give. So let's just go up to each person and a uh, practice learning some more skills let's get a uh i don't know maybe another uh, mystery symbol um you learned the korvac word for is yo that's really useful is is a very useful word i would think everybody seems to be willing to help us learn at least one word which is very kind i'm gonna learn some more gek words gek word for friend awesome okay so this guy's saying a bunch of stuff and then is traveler <laughs> the corvax is only half paying attention i see a number of small wires trailing from their hair pace and i can hear a faint hum let's request some dialect help i'll keep on learning more corvax symbols maybe if i learn enough of them we can finally talk to these people corvax entity traveler okay so at least I, I i understood half of that you know <laughs> we're getting there um let's go friendship symbol he teaches me a word of her language um you've learned the friend korvax word for ihu okay i don't know what the fuck ihu means though that's not much context like, zor is 
uh traveler <laughs> this guy has j just a bunch of numbers okay cool let's uh ask him another word let's go with a uh, friendship symbol we learned the corvax word for help awesome now can i talk to any of these guys now you learned a little bit let's practice our language skills um traveler entity um they flash for visor flag lights but say nothing okay so they don't think we learned but oh we learned the word for help i think from that got two more people to talk to over here and then we're out of here and we have attained confused status in uh words that's an achievement that's pretty cool you know at least that means that we're we're on the right track you know we're, we're getting more words soon we'll be able to talk to these people um let's ask him for a viking symbol you learned viking word for viking awesome and we have also attained known status in the world of uh i don't know what they just called it they didn't call it the world of no man's sky they called it something alien but that's pretty cool man where we're becoming famous you know what that means now if i talk to people like this like mission agent um the exact meaning is unclear, but it appears that there's no work for me here. Uh, what about this plant? Can we search this? We have another person, another envoy. Um, they are an envoy of a merchant's guild, and they are not interested in me. Okay. We probably have to learn the dialect a little bit better before we can just start uh, working for whoever we want. I think we have a exosuit inventory upgrade available up here. So let's go check that out. Um, Yeah, we got another achievement as well we've learned five words that's something oh no look we got two stars we learned eight words oh god man we hit <laughs> rank three we learned 10 words oh man and we met um 10 aliens so we now know that we are not alone let's talk to this guy now see if we can talk to him traveler that's all he says um yeah I don't really know how to communicate with him, but at the very least, let's look at our exosuit. It'll cost 5,000 units to upgrade our inventory space. I think it's worth it. There we go. Now we'll go to the teleporter and head back to our base. Let's go up into here. And then, I mean, I would hope our ship teleports, you know? If it doesn't, we'll have to come back for it or something. But yeah, let's warp back to it. And here we are. We're back home. We got some archives to decrypt. We're doing pretty good. Pretty much almost about to close in on day four now, which is really impressive. We're doing, I mean, I think good. We got our ship here. We got... I don't see that other ship. I do not like that. I would hope the other ship is still nearby. If I lost it, I'll be pretty cheesed. But oh well, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Man, I'm feeling kind of cool about this. This is like we own our own planet now. Like nobody else has been here. This planet spawned just for us. <laughs> I'm sure there's better planets um in the universe that we'll have to find. But let's go over to the computer. We'll talk to it. <laughs> what a nice view. <laughs> I guess begin to de decryption. We're going to decrypt it with our ass. So 16, 16, 16. Pretty common complicated the traveler finds their wings fly to us and claim your place among the stars oh signal acquired um life signs detected reach the decoded coordinates um oh cool okay um it, it take 22 minutes to run over there okay let's go grab our ship i'm not doing that let's go check out this uh whoa don't crash <laughs> let's go check it out should arrive there yeah in like 30 seconds it's a distress signal so could be someone around here it said there is a life form okay i think this is it oh oh god okay drop jeez man Oof. <laughs> I think we hurt some things, but that's okay. We're here. We made it. I'm here to save the day. Let's see, we gotta do a target sweep. It looks like it's gonna be in this direction, somewhere around this giant crashed uh, vessel. This looks like a starship or something that crashed. Like, this is huge. Oh, wait, what the heck? Is that? No, that's just a baby. It does appear like this is the location. I just gotta find where to, where to enter it from or whatever. And, ooh, whoa. Did that lead into the base, or is this just a cave? Looks like it's just a cave. Oh, shoot. Extreme night toxicity. Jeez. Yeah, those plants are deadly, man. All right. Is it? Is it on the inside? Am I just br smooth braining this? Like a, uh... Yeah, it looks like it is this finalizing signal yeah there we go <laughs> it wasn't even uh, like i went all the way around the ship for like no reason but uh, here we are um we got oh we can call our starship if we have navigation data i don't think it's too far um i did yeah i parked it right up there so let's go um ms wings of anomaly 
The log is, of course, damaged, but we got some partial records. The signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter. Also, fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log. Blinking, awaiting input. Let's get the log. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They're followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of a message. So we got a new blueprint for a hyperdrive. Cool. It's for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. Okay, cool. So now we got a hyperdrive that we can add on to uh, certain types of ships. If we install that, that will allow for long distance interstellar travel. We won't have to worry about going and running out of fuel or running out of planets as we should be able to hop other galaxies and find a lot of different places to go to. I'm really wondering, what are all these ships doing here? Like, a, uh, it's got to be NPCs. Perhaps you're just exploring the area or checking it out, but I'm looking forward to once we get into doing, like, wars and stuff like that in the game. Let's see, right now, so we need a hyperdrive. We need more chromatic metal, and we need microprocessors. So, let's go ahead and a, uh, oof. I gotta build a portable refinery. Put that down right there. And now, let's go into this, fill it up with fuel, and I'll put the rest of the pure ferrite we have into here and then begin processing hopefully that should be enough i got a bunch of scrap metal in there that's getting turned into ferrite dust i'm gonna start gathering some plants in the area so we're gonna have to process the rest of our copper uh maybe i'll just do half of it let's see yeah that should be enough and then other than that for it we need micro processors which i don't think I've crafted any of yet. Um, no, I don't see any in here. So that might be like a new type of technology we have to figure out or research. All right, so we got the chromatic metal now. And woo, I got a rare crystal that's worth like 200,000. That's pretty good. Now, what do I need to put into this thing? Now, I really don't know if a, uh, we have what it takes right now. I mean, I I'm a good gamer and all, but I mean, I think we got to get out of here. I'm going to take our ferrite dust and take all of our stuff out. And bring that portable refiner with us and we'll carry that one around. But now let's go back to the base. Oh, uh, it's great. I, I got out of a ship. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, now let's do it. There we go. We're going to zoom around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that uranium down there? I kind of want to check that out if that is that looked like green stuff there's also all this abhurite which has ferrite dust sodium baller now i put that portable refinery back down just so that we can get rid of uh, some of our like rusted metal and different junk now mine some of this stuff and then try to work my way over to that green thing is that uranium no that's a uh, ammonia that, that's different might be useful though so we might as well try to collect some of it so let's see yeah we can mine it it's a new resource let's go check it out okay so this is typically found in planets with a toxic environment seeing as we are on the uh retonian beta planet which is definitely toxic a lot of radiation storms and whatnot over here i'll grab all of this and then try to make our way back to the base i don't know if this will come in handy or not but we'll figure it out and there we go yeah the gathering in this game is pretty satisfying like it doesn't take that long to really get a lot of stuff i don't know how grindy it gets later on you know <laughs> i'm guessing i'm gonna jinx myself there but there we go at least we got that stuff let's go grab our uh portable refiner that we placed down over here and then go back home all right now let's look around Around, I believe it's behind us. Shit, I can't I can't see my base now. Is that it? I would guess. Yeah. Let's go tag our base and a uh speed up. Shouldn't take us all that long to get there. I mean, we're not that far away, but I'll go see if I can make uh those things at the base and then try to get this hyperdrive on the ship. And there we go. Perfect landing. Oof. Jeez, man. I just right next to it. <laughs> now, let me check in here as I did see we had a bit of a uh, research or whatever that we had found. Let's see. Buildable technology. What do we have in here? Yeah. Battery, health station, signal booster, save beacon. Quite certain which is uh completely worth it yet. But let's install the chromatic metal in first. And now we just need the hyperdrive part. Now, I pressed X and that should allow us to uh oh we got to uh just purchase them purchase microprocessors how many do i have right now 
I have none. <laughs> okay, so maybe we, we gotta go buy some. I guess let's go back to the space station, and I'll see if I can sell anything there. We did learn a few words last time we were here, and uh, I think it's gonna be all the same NPCs. Like, yeah, if I talk to this guy, we already visited him. Ehu is. <laughs> we now only understand two words. We can uh, practice language skills. Say, help. Um... Yeah, they, they do not want to help us. This is not nice of them. Okay, so let's go over to the other side where all the shops are. Or, uh, oh, there's a space station terminal up there. Are you kidding me? Let's go over here then and sell some stuff. I know we got a nice crystal that we can get rid of. This storm crystal right here for 200k. That'll be good. And there we go. We made our first sale. We got a entrepreneur status and new achievements with that. And now that I have that, um, I want to go buy some microprocessors. So let me look around in here. Yep, I see some. So we need... But five kind of feel like we should probably buy more just in case <laughs> so is there anything else like we have a uh, jade peas we can sell you know that's all right uh silver really isn't worth that much wow yeah we, we don't have much we can sell right now that's unfortunate so we have to go hunting eventually but at the very least we can get the microprocessors that we need we got five of them right here let's buy those and now let's teleport back to the base as a, uh we should be able to finalize the construction and here we are now we're not like too far off i think from getting this hyperdrive i mean uh it wants me to get more chromatic metal from copper no way man i already i heard he installed it let me see um yeah chromatic metal is installed install the hyperdrive part there we go now that's installed to the ship we should be able to uh take the ship to a much farther place now if we go into it oh we got another new journey milestone this one is for money maker because we made 200,000 units all just from like one sale but we have installed the hyperdrive the mission is complete i'm just waiting for the next one to pop up and uh trying to get rid of all this stuff around the area but let's go return to our ship and see are we going to be warping off to a far far place auto diagnosis report hyperdrive successfully installed uh fuel status empty oh no um, but if I warp cells, I won't be going anywhere. I'll need to find a new source of antimatter. Okay, um, we tune our sources to antimatter. We can use the starship scanner. Try to find some. We, we do not have enough fuel if a launch thruster. Oh, no. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of things for us to keep for our ship. Like, we gotta fill up the launch thruster, the pulse engine, and now the hyperdrive, which is the newest thing. So, let's search for traces of antimatter. See if we can find any. Um, did, did it really just point me? over oh um atmospheric interference detected perform planetary scan from orbit okay so we got to go up into the air let's zoom on out and now in orbit let's do a planetary scan um sweet okay so we got antimatter trace has been found it is ooh not over on our planet but actually on a different planet all right so we're gonna go over there and man i do gotta say like the atmosphere in this game is really nice i saw that you could play it in vr mode i want to get a vr headset that's my next thing and just like look at this dude like i almost want to like stop watching youtube videos when i go to bed and then just leave no man's sky running like look at this man just flying through the air not a care in the world all right so we're gonna go over to this next planet let's check it out let's see it's got cactus flesh <laughs> copper pyrite and salt okay it's a parched planet uh, here we are we're approaching it okay let's see let's see how this goes we're like crashing in our ship's about to burn dude we, we should be good though hopefully there we are now let's stop our ship i guess uh right up here just go to plop it down and here we are so we're on parched planet first contact with mockin prime there's already yeah look at that there's something new right there dude a new guy right there nice got a new discovery i guess there's nine on this planet in total looks like the antimatter that we need is going to be inside of that location i'm going to try to take out my scanner quick see what all i can scan there appears to be like different creatures everywhere different rocks different floral things we we landed right next to a knowledge stone as well that's stacked yeah we uh, no reason to be in any rush right now i don't think there's like plenty of stuff to find right here whoa what <laughs> well oh a big that's a fucking huge starship wow but hide <laughs> like they would for sure see my starship if they did they would just blow it up or shoot me 
Oh, hey, check it out. A noob checking out the planet. Let's go get him, you know. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. What was that? Is it, I hope that was a plant or was that a cactus? Did I run into a cactus? Ow. Yeah, it is. It's a Venus flytrap thing, dude. All right, so those things, they at least contain oxygen in them. That's good. But the temperature right now as well, it's minus 63.2 Celsius. Like right now, it's almost a normal day in Canada. Maybe a little bit chillier, but you, you know, pretty close. There is a cargo drop up there I, I don't know what that'll hold but i want to check it out and damn found some sodium nitride crystals but i need an advanced uh laser miner or mining laser laser miner yeah, yeah that's, that's a better name for it i don't know why they didn't call it that that's all right you know i i think right now we're doing pretty good we're exploring checking out this new planet haven't been killed by anything yet or attacked which is nice and oh man is it like inside of a rock i think it is we would need an advanced mining laser for that damn okay let's just go over to the signal source then see some loot over here to grab and i think by activating this we should get a scan of the uh, planet there we go you discovered this on 2 14 2024 what are you guys doing on valentine's day hey <laughs> i'm playing no man's sky dude i'm living it up let's check this place out um i didn't uh, I guess we just gotta find an entrance. Ugh, what is this thing? This looks gnarly. Whispering eggs. Can I, can I grab that? Um, oh! Oh, oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What did I do? What did I do? Ah! Oh god, man. Oh no, where's our ship? Our ship's over there. Okay, we gotta get in that, and then we gotta fight them. Oh god. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ooh! Ooh, man. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Slow the ship down. Slow it down. It's okay. Just go up a bit, and then we'll do a turn. Yeah, get him. Fuck him up. Yep, there we go. I don't care if this is cheap. It's it's working, okay? Um, you know, we got, we got hurt a bit there. Okay, maybe uh, I'll land. Let me try to uh, fix my exosuit. Because I got hurt a little bit there. Okay, where where are they? Where are they? All right, get him. Get him. There we go. We're shooting him. I think, yeah, we got that one. Oh, I, I gotta scan these guys, do I not? Maybe not. <laughs> they, they, they seem pretty, pretty hostile. Ah! Don't! <laughs> don't! <laughs> Woo! Okay. There's a, there's a few more, not too many more. Seem to be doing swarm subsiding. Okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> We, we, we learned something there, okay? Um, yeah, if we're trying to get eggs, we're probably gonna get attacked by something. I don't even want to try to pick up the other one right now. I mean, I might as well try. Oh, oh, god, oh, god. Yep, they're, they're back. <laughs> dude, dude, there's so many of them. Okay, so each egg you take just causes another swarm to appear. Okay, there we go. I, I think there's only two left. I'll kill this one, and then we uh, kill these ones. Yep, swarm subsiding. Okay, sweet. Let's just go into the building. I've learned my lesson now. Oh no, man, there's one here. You think third time's a charm? Let's do it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine? Let's go in here. That's, ooh, this place is terrifying. So it's been all blown up. Something bad happened here for sure. We got damaged machinery, some more fluids. Ugh, yeah, it's all s slimy in here and stuff and gross. We got a haunted terminal. What? Okay, we got to repair by removing the, uh, there we go. Now we should be able to access it. Terminal online. Selecting key. Decrypting. Success. Okay, sweet. The terminal is clogged with an unnerving, pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. The device opens, revealing a single the device opens, revealing a single unblinking crimson eye. It prints out a blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. Uh le yeah, let's take it. You will find us when the time is right from the eye of the anomaly. Ooh, okay. And then a bunch of 16s. Awesome. So now we got a uh, antimatter. We need chromatic metal and condensed carbon. Not too hard to get sweet okay we got it um i mean we might as well check the rest of this place for anything uh lying about it doesn't really appear like there's much more room so yeah i, I guess that's the end of checking out that place so let's go and craft some antimatter now if i go and do that i should be able to uh assemble antimatter housing Oh, yep, there we go, I see. And now from that, I make a warp cell using the antimatter and the housing for it. 
There we go. Let's hop into our ship and put it in. Let's see if this works. Charge it up with a warp cell. That gives it 25%. That's all right. Launch into space to test the interstellar systems. Okay, sweet. Um, Yeah, let's, uh, I guess, launch. We'll get out of here. And, uh... Whoa, that planet up there looks wild. The galaxy map offers a wealth of information about nearby planetary systems. Browse nearby systems or available routes to choose your next destination. Warping requires warp fuel in your hyperdrive. Some systems require hyperdrive upgrades to access. Okay, so if I press M... Okay, wow, I see. Right now, we are um here. And we can jump to uh, some of the places that are like close by to us and whatnot. Um, Looks like we're all the way out here. We're trying, I think, to get to, like, the center or something. I don't know which direction really is the center. We're pretty far out, though. Warp to another system. Okay, so a, um... Oh, we, we gotta make some more fuel for our launch thruster. Really? Okay. Go ahead and charge that up. Now that should work. Let's go check out the galaxy map. And, uh, yeah, I don't know where really to go to. I guess a, um... If we want to go down the route to the galactic core, it's gonna take us there in the easiest way possible. So if I look at, uh... Uh, I think it's this next uh, system right here that we got to go to next. Um, doesn't look too far off. We can try to warp to there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we're, we're doing it. We're going. And there we are. A brand new system. New planets. This is our first contact with it. Um, error. Guidance system malfunction. Oh, no. Searching for other routes. Searching, searching. Obtained. Destination is 16, 16, 16. <laughs> really? Just 16 AOs? Oh, no. Accept new guidance? Um, sure. I guess accept it. Plotting route. Okay. Um, now, where, where are we going? Fuel source detected. Tritium rich asteroid. Yo, that looks kind of cool. Let's go up to that. How do I just shoot it? Oh, wow. Yeah, I do. And that just that just does it like that. But we do have a space station over here. I kind of want to go. Oh, no. Should I go visit? I guess we don't really need to yet. I mean, I don't know if we'll be even staying here for too long, but supposedly this uh, smaller planet up here is supposed to have some stuff to us. Oh, it's a moon. Copper, rusted metal, magnetized ferrite. It looks like normal stuff you'd usually see. We're not too far off. Only a few seconds and then we'll arrive. I believe it's at this moon that we're landing. Yeah, here we are. We're landing. Uh... <laughs> going into orbit so i'm guessing this place is gonna have less gravity or maybe no like no life i don't know but there we go we have arrived now restore point has been saved and yeah wow you see the other planet over there it's wild what is down here though um it's not look like much of importance we do have some more unidentified materials though different things for us to scan so now we got to use our target sweeping mode um Estimate distance 350U that way. Okay. And yeah, wow. Look at the gravity on this place, man. We can basically just like jetpack all around. That feels awesome. Like it's not like running is like super slow in this game. It's just a, uh, our mobility is definitely not really there. You know, like when we're fighting those enemies earlier, those monsters, that could have gone really bad. All right. Target is in range. We're scanning it down and there we go. All right. Let's check it out. This definitely looks like something crazy. The heart of the anomaly. What? We go in there already? Really? Um, journey stone milestone. Oh, we traveled 15 KS. Nice. Now, what are we doing here? I'm guessing we're going to go talk to them or something. The structure is unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is obviously alien. So obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words form themselves in my mind. A strange fragment of broken speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? Um, it is friend. It was strange responding to questions. I am unsure that I am being asked, but something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I'm overwhelmed by a sense of something that has woken, that someone is watching me. Forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? Um, yeah, I got, uh, oof, I got, I got no clue. It is first. I do not know how I am being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling that it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again. Have they seen the Crimson Eye? Has the Crimson Eye seen them? Um, yeah, I think both. We have both seen. Um, likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters breach detected. Oh no. Alert. Alert. The boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us. Traveler. Oh, 
Okay, uh, well, we got a warp cell. That's nice. There's also something else back here. Um, a knowledge stone. Nice. We have learned the Corvax word for the. Hey, that's, that's like probably one of the most useful words to learn. There's a few of them around here, though. So we got, uh, another one there for two. And then there's one right here, um, for life form. Nice. Hey, I'll take it, man. I, I think that's pretty good. Our life systems are going down fast because uh this planet doesn't really have any oxygen obviously it's a moon like there's, there's no gravity but sweet i think now we just got to go back to our ship and uh we'll get off this planet and go to the next place i've scanned down a bunch of different materials on this planet like i said i haven't found any life forms so at least so far i would go to reckon that there's nothing really living on here like uh i don't know what could really i did just find a copper deposit though right here so i think i'm gonna go hit this before we leave we've got plenty of oxygen to uh keep our systems in check over 500 left so i'll go at it i'll get some copper that way we don't have to go out on a copper run anytime soon and what is this, this is like Oh, just, just a cave. Okay. There might be some stuff in here, but I kind of highly doubt it. There's a couple things. I mean, we can at least scan them. And there we go. We got a geode. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We got... Oh, just some cobalt. Sometimes you get like that uh, gem we got last time that was worth like 200k. Those are super nice. But let's fly on over back to the ship. There we go. Get on in. Let's get the hell out of here. Um, very quick stop on this planet. Did not need to hang out here for too long. Explore nearby planets or search in a new system. Um, I don't know. Well, let's see. Let's go to our map. I kind of want to go to our local map if I can. We've discovered one planet here, but there do appear to be a few other ones. Now, we got a new uh, mission, Base Computer Archives. Uh, this is a secondary mission. It's not too important, but if we go back to base, we can interact with that. And then right now, I think it wants us to explore the Nagotum Zuborn system. Is this the one we're in right now? Yeah, it is. So I think I'm going to go up to this next planet just over here i mean it's not too far away new ramp yeah gamma root copper uranium cobalt let's do it this looks like a nice place to land we are entering the atmosphere flying throughout the clouds let's try to go straight down right through the clouds and oh whoa that, that's very <laughs> the clouds are very close to land okay let's uh stop right here and check it out what do we got going on over here so we got new ramp um first contact we have discovered this place i'm gonna analyze a few of the creatures around here of course and uh different things on the ground got a knowledge stone right away which we've landed next to lucky with that man I keep on landing right next to him unless the game's just putting them there for me <laughs> like so we got 5.1 rads on here looks like this is a little bit of a radiation planet but if there's life forms on here that's a pretty good sign okay we learned the corvax word for you that's nice and <laughs> we're now a scholar because we've learned 15 words i don't <laughs> i don't know if i would call you call us a scholar but maybe i guess an alien dialect at least we can uh ask for help or whatever and ooh, this thing has chromatic metal in it that's pretty baller new creature record most radiant resistant okay that's kind of cool let's see we get another one um yep yeah, we got another new species i'm trying to look around to see if there's any in the sky or any that i'm missing but you know we got plenty of time let's keep on looking around and <laughs> we have filled up our inventory now i gotta go drop off some stuff at our ship and what is that a shadow of whoa what are those man look at them uh t hot Hiya. Wow, they're like flying centipedes or something. They're huge, though. Oh, he knows them because of their shadow. <laughs> there we go. I'm getting through most of the creatures in this area. We got a few more over there. Those guys are huge, though. They look like those uh, guys we found at the start of a series. Um, the bull crocs or <laughs> croco bulls. But now let's go into the ship. Let's drop off some stuff in here. I think if I have anything like, yeah, warp cell I'll use to charge that. I'll charge up our pulse engine. And ooh, this is a pure uh, tritium. But there we go. All right, there we go. Now we got some room in our inventory again. I do want to take on my scanner, try to find some different deposits. I see there's copper. There's a buried uh, technology module right there. Let's go get that. And yeah, here we are. There's one. There's another one just down the hill there. And then after, there's a mutant plant. What? Let's try to scan it. What do we got? 
Um, and whoa, whoa, whoa. Are these guys landing? What are these guys doing? Landed pilot. Oh, man. I, I hope he isn't going to try to kill me. What's going on here? Hello. Hello there. Uh, try uh, oh, no, it's text to speech or not. Starship of research entity, new voice. Okay, I'm trying to greet him. Um, he's reached his destination. I don't know if he's gonna get out or not. I mean, if he was hostile, I'd, I'd guess he just starts shooting at us. Oh, it, he, well, he just he got up and left. Okay, guess he didn't want that smoke. I almost thought that would have been like a new, like other player or something, but that's unfortunate. And whoa, this guy we just found looks gnarly. Look at him. What's up, buddy? And we can feed them with creature pellets if we had some of those. I gotta keep an eye out for those. See if we can maybe bring some animals home or something. Or these mutant plants. Okay, they got radon on them. So, yeah, radon's a new material. It is, ooh, an odorless gas. Okay, it's worth a decent little amount. So, I might just start mining these. I mean, they all roll down the hill right away when you uh, tap them. Okay, well, I see a few uranium deposits over there. I think I'm gonna tag it, grab my ship, and then fly on over let's try it out it was just up this way i think um yep we'll arrive there in a few seconds and yeah wow the ship is so much faster than running around there's a couple of them right here though so i think we're gonna get hit both quick if i can there's also a uh, buried treasure technology under there which is really cool let's go grab that quick it's another one so we're closer to getting all the research um yeah same thing as the copper a big ore node around here i'm gonna start to mine out oh yeah here we go we are gonna be <laughs> the best spaceman in the world i promise one deposit at a time you know we're, we're getting there and there we go first one mined up that only took like you know probably a minute like under a minute to do all that and then there is another one right over there but this is good because i think uranium is generally only found on like radioactive planets so it'd be nice to stock up while we're here so we don't have to come back hopefully at least for a little while you know but i think i'm about good with that i mean i'm sure there's still some other stuff to explore on this planet we got most of the fauna we got most of the floral i'm gonna go through and upload these to the database same with all of the amazing minerals that i had found and uh this guy it looks gnarly dude i want to rename him of course okay <laughs> we're gonna call this like cool bear leopard um, it doesn't look much like a leopard, but it just kind of stands like it with the back. Um, yeah, we got some more guys too. I'll upload all of them, get them all up there and they, uh, discovered. That gives us some more nanites, which I believe we use for upgrades. But cool, both of these planets have been discovered by me. Um, it looks like all these, oh no, this one was actually discovered by someone else. Ragu71G7 was discovered by Skydancer512, the first person i've kind of like crossed paths with like not exactly but <laughs> you know what i mean i haven't found anyone else's name on here it's all been me discovering stuff so that could be because this is an early game location and we also got the entire fucking universe <laughs> to to explore and look at i'm gonna call this galaxy though a um a cool kid zone there we go You're giving them better names you know isn't that a little bit better than a um what's it called that like random dwarf fortress type name now this one i kind of like i kind of like that name Uzentai. So we're gonna just press X, I think, a uh, to yeah, upload it, and there we go. Some nanite clusters. I'm gonna upload the uh, one planet that I found along with these other two. I'm gonna rename this uh, other place though, this uh, Horoti Alpha. I'm gonna call it the coolest in the galaxy. Oh, sweet, man. That's awesome. I hope somebody finds that one day, you know? Like, of course, you guys could try to go hunting for these uh, zones or something, but realistically, it, it's like kind of like Dark Souls, just throwing little Easter eggs out there for people. Somebody's going to start playing the game and be like, oh, shit, uh, did I just spawn where Croc spawned in his 100 Days series? That's crazy. You know, I, I, if they have a reaction like that, I, I think that'd be pretty good. But let's get out of here i'm done with this planet i kind of want to go explore another one um i'll try to see which one's nearby i've not discovered like i think that might be the moon that we just came from but i'm not certain um unknown planet oh we have a message starship communicator what's going on source unknown you are not alone please identify yourself i'm um sure i'll identify myself you left me why did you, um, tell them you don't understand or tell them you are sorry? Um, don't understand. 
Why would I be sorry? Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd. Just like the others. Who am I speaking to? There's no reply. The communicator falls silent. The channel remains open. The hell? Okay. Well, we have this planet over here. It is unmapped. Nobody's been to it yet. So let's go over to it and land. Woo! <laughs> and let's check it out. So far, don't see anything. See unidentified plant. It's a cactus. We are in if 4 Gamma, and this is our uh, first discovery here. It seems like I think we have discovered like this whole system almost. We might discover above our three planets. And then it'll be all done by us, you know? I do hear noises, though. I mean, I am um, house health restorative. What? I did hear some noise, but I, I, I don't really know where it is. Um, unknown building. Okay, we might want to check that out later. The knowledge stone isn't too far. It's just up here. Here we are. Knowledge stone. Let's grab that. And we learned the word, <laughs> the Kovacs word for four. <laughs> what, what a mouthful, dude. But sweet. That's... Pretty baller, if you ask me, I think. We got a pod, though, and a, uh, a cargo drop over there. The hell? Let's check it out. This could be some good stuff, man. Um, yeah, we got... It can't go into that one. Damage container. Rusted metal. Okay, so that's junk. That was not worth coming out for. Well, everyone. Everyone better be a little bit better. Ion battery. Okay, I think that's good. All right, now let's head back to our ship. There isn't really much on this planet other than, like, the normal things to explore and look for. So I think I'm going to try to work my way around to the other planets. And, ooh, we can charge the launch thruster with uranium now. And look at that. That uh, so much easier, man. Like, actually a crazy amount. But now, I think I want to go to that next signal it was uh, showing me. Somewhere along this way, we'll arrive in 14 hours. Probably go a little bit faster if we put the uh, pulse engine on. But, I don't know. Do, do we have to go back to the moon that we were at before? I think we do. Coolest moon in the galaxy. <laughs> Here we are. Now, let's land should have a decent landing and whoof i almost crashed oh whoa don't tell me the game's crashing wow wow Ooh, that's eerie man there might be a ghost all right there we go we have landed we didn't crash the ship or crash the game this is a low atmosphere planet there's plentiful resources and an elevated strain on life support system let's do a target sweep we got to find the location about 300 u's in that way we're not too far off and i've seen if you do yeah that doesn't really work i don't know oh there we go yeah that works wow so by doing a melee attack and then using the jetpack we go like a lot faster and there's a bunch of stuff on here for us to scan different rocks and whatnot so if i yeah wow look at that that that's a lot better man we can do that like a lot too we could like oh wow with the jetpack actually like go far we're on the moon too so there's like less gravity here but still really impressed with that so let's open up this signal beam um we got a lock we need five sodium for and then five chromatic metal there we go we repaired it and now i think it should work we gotta check it again there are no signs of life there's only the static of a broken communicator uh so we'll extract records whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery all i extract is the pilot's name Artemis. Whoever th they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade for my mining beam. Amazing, great. The uh, advanced mining laser. Need a hemetic seal, carbon nanotube, and wiring loom. So let's go craft one of those uh, nanotubes. That way we can put that in our slot. So we're going to have to craft or purchase hermetic seal. Can we actually craft that? Um... Oh, yeah, we can. Condensed carbon. We got it. Sweet. And then we need to purchase wiring loom. Okay. We do got to go back to the star station for something. But the hermetic seals installed. Just one thing left. I guess I'll check out the rest of this site. See if there's anything else around here. And, ooh, I, I found an Atlas Pass. Well, it, Atlas Pass V1 required. Do I not have one? I figured out something as well as watching one of those tips and tricks videos for No Man's Sky. You can actually loot the containers twice. So the second time we loot it, we got a Gek Relic. Wow, this could be uh, offered to the Gek to improve our standing. That's pretty sweet. Uh, we do have a ship here. Um, it looks crashed. Let's check it out. Ooh, B-class ship. Yeah, let's uh compare starship inventories. Um, I'd like to say we uh claim this ship as well. I'm just um I do need quite a few things to repair. Like we need to repair the hyperdrive, uh, the shields pretty much everything on it i'm gonna try to go back to my other ship i'll see if it's still over here in this area i think it was up this way um i don't see it man 
Ow! <laughs> that, that hurt. That almost killed us, bro. Wow. Okay. We gotta be more careful out here. There's something below me. Subterranean relic. Whoa, there's two of them? All right, let's go into our, our terrain uh, manipulator and get down there. And, oh yeah, here we go. There's one... And a, uh, here's two. We got two vortex cubes and we found a little cave. So I don't know. Maybe I just go back to the, uh, other ship for now, I suppose. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Ooh. We survived, but that was close. Can I take off on this? Um, shield down. No, we need, uh, okay. So hermetic seal and metal plating. We can make that. There we go. Now let's get the, uh, pulse engine fixed. There we are. Let's try to start up the ship. There we are. We started it. All right. So now we, we just got to go up and I guess we got to find like a different place. Right, so let's leave the atmosphere and I'm going to try to find a space station. Oh, we got a communication coming in. Artemis entity. We received your signal. Is it first? is it last time for truth you have their signal but you're not artemis entity um tell the truth your signal is familiar to nada we've been in contact before i think this is a priest entity we're talking to on like a hologram or something this would be a good time to come aboard yes a proper introduction to our home um oh whoa okay i guess i guess that's the next location we're going to um it'll speed on up into it hopefully it's just like the other place <laughs> yeah better not enter that little hole and the door just not open for us our whole ship crashes we die in space <laughs> all right we're landing we're going on in here we are whoa space anomaly and oh so there's gonna be other there's other players here wow man there's finally other players other people doing stuff what's up dude ram oh and we can invite people to group that's pretty baller i guess we'll go up to a terminal or uh yeah we gotta talk to the nexus the terminal rejects my input whatever its purpose it appears i am not yet authorized to use it i should find and speak to the inhabitants of a station before returning okay so i guess let's try to do that we'll try to find and talk to all the inhabitants here um ah here we go. Um, quick, quick silver synthesis companion. Who is this? Uh, we can create exotic items from Quicksilver, which is, oh, we got to use a different type of currency. I see. Where to earn Quicksilver? A new Quicksilver mission is available at the Nexus every day, up to a maximum stack of three. Weekend events generate significant additional Quicksilver. Okay. Uh, collect expedition rewards. I see. So there's a bunch of different rewards in there. I guess I just got to explore this place. I'll go up here and nice. There's some more guys hello look they wave we're waving at us hello have we met i don't believe so i'm gemini this is hesperus oh my wow they actually speak our language bro me i'm just staying here just for a while polo and nada are very kind to all their friends Gemini glances towards the being at their side, their golden eyes, uh, contemplate. If it weren't for Hesperus, I'd probably still be alone out there, drifting from world to world, entire galaxies to discover, and no one to share it with. I've never found genuine company in the others, even the Gex, for all their talk of friendship, they seem to want something. Hesperus is different. They've been a true companion to me. It was a pleasure meeting you. Say hello if you pass through again. We'll be right here, more than likely. And this is, uh, Hesperus. <laughs> Look at the like, owl guy or something. A sharp-eyed being stares at me, unblinking. They tell me their name, Hesperus, but rush through the words as though nuisanced by the introduction. Their focus is on me. Tell me, stranger. Who exactly are you? A wanderer? A traveler? Uh, say you were a wanderer. He exhales audibly. Perhaps you have not yet heard the call. It will become irresistible eventually. You will begin to hear it in your dreams, in your heartbeat. Even after, even afterwards. What? Okay, these guys, um, very, very little bit too advanced for me. I, I didn't really figure out too much by talking to them, but we do have different places like a uh, Helios guy. Ah, young one. You who still roams the boundaries of this universe. How I envy you. My time in reality has long passed, but I do so miss it. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen. My heart, my heart aches for flowers, for plants. Have you have any data? Uh, yeah, we can give him data for floral. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please take these nanites. They're nothing, but they are all I have now. And uh, boom, we get a bunch of nanites. I'm guessing that's for all of our discoveries right now. And then we have more people over here, like Ares. Traveler hopes to make progress. Traveler tests themselves. I will help and exchange. Progress for progress. Or wealth, perhaps. Experience or materials. Both valid today. Gold nuggets. Okay. Um, Transmit milestone data. You've seen much, but do you understand? Not for me to know. 
please take this and boom we got 600 nanites that's pretty decent what kind of upgrades can we get here oh sweet we can get different modules i think i want to get the uh upgrades like moderate upgrade for the launch thruster for the pulse engine for the hyperdrive i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna stop for a moment because i don't really know what all like i can uh put in here right now most of it's pretty damaged and then going over here we got Ronos. Oh, he, he he looks like something. <laughs> like an Easter egg. We can give him pulpy roots. Um, but the primary sensation is not taste, is blandness. Utter blandness. Uh we got some nanites from that. Okay. An egg sequencer. Oh, okay. So we gotta put eggs in here. Then we grow them with different stuff. That that seems interesting. But I think that's all for uh that little spot there. I believe I need to go up there. That's where yeah, priest entity Nada is. Whoa, look at this guy he looks all he's decked out man that's another player holy smokes <laughs> um here we go we got another person over here hello like traveler here you are safe and so very welcome iteration two three nine four eight two nine oh i'm not, I'm not <laughs> this place was designed to receive you okay um wh what is this place polo and nada are best equipped to describe this place between places they're here not far just have a top these stairs but i mean it when i say you are a perfect fit here it is not it is not a home for most but a niche in the stars where you will always be welcome okay cool now let's go i guess talk to uh nada up here yep there they are in the room and uh another guy over here they'll be pointing at me uh, what do you want let's go talk to the priest quick see what they uh i am I am Priest Entity Nada, Divergent Corvax. Welcome to our anomaly. Our home here is pleasant, yes? Holo's own design, a perfect bubble. Beyond the Sentinels, beyond vengeful Corvax, Nada watches time come and go. Um, okay, so we can ask about different things let's ask about artemis a traveler entity perhaps they are known to you i do not know their number nada does not care to think about iterations such as numbers they were lost to us highly improbable our anomaly is lost to the sentinels but none should be lost to the anomaly the corvax watches me there's a patience an organic tilt to the way they hold their metal show let's ask about nada um nada awoke with the death of corvax prime do not understand why such things happen why we are alone now I am divergent. The convergence do not see through my eyes. Nada is not alone anymore. Nada is with Polo, friend. Now many other friends visit. Our convergence is small, but Nada is happy. Um, let's ask about Polo. Polo, friend, found Nada. Found my signal. Nada is safe. Now Nada finds other signals makes others safe the station has been calling to me since i woke up on the planet perhaps it is called to artemis as well now let's ask about the space station beyond what is outside our anomaly wanders free free like nada to observe to search the sentinels the atlas they do not care for this place i feel their eyes hunting us nada watches me judging my reactions as they speak okay now we leave? Speak with Polo, friend traveler. Perhaps they might know more about missing Artemis. They perceive things more clearly than Nada. Okay, and that's, uh, that's Specialist Polo right over here. Friends everywhere. If only you know where to look. Friends in all shapes, all sizes, all places. Artemis, friend, you are where they should be. Does not seem possible, but all things are possible. Such is the universe. We will find them. We will find them, no doubt. There's always a signal, always a trace. Let's ask how. Our home will see to it. When you leave, you will not be where you were. You will be closer. Or maybe not. Discovery is exciting, yes? Before you leave, perhaps spend some time with other friends. We all help each other here. Okay, um, so that's about that. And uh, now it just wants us to speak to other travelers to earn nanites. I think I only got one left because I only see one marker. Let me go into here. I'm going to talk to these guys like Starship Research. What? Research Starship Upgrades oh okay so we can like buy these um with our nanites that's really cool let me look at everything that's here before i just start buying stuff uh we got construction research um yeah normal oh wow no a lot more bunch like storage containers um i don't know man we gotta use salvage data to get this stuff which is a lot more difficult i think i'd like to get this uh oxygen harvester um there we go sweet and then we'll also get this mining unit as well because that could be really useful as well as a gas compressor and i think i'm gonna save up the rest of my salvage data as the medium refinery and processors are not too far away but there's a lot here like transport modules roamer geo bay 
Oh, wow. So there's like roamers and like uh, different things that we can drive on the planets other than just our ships. That's sweet. Deep water uh, chamber. Oh, so maybe we can put that in water. We can get posters. Wow, decorations. There, there's a lot here. See, I, I like this. Like there's a lot to get and unlock. Like uh, and I go over here to the exosuit. I might want to research some of exosuit upgrades. It could be really useful. Um, Hazmat gauntlet. I'm sure I need that. And oh, a simple translation later that could help a lot at least with that we'll be able to translate some of that a uh, alien dialect that we keep on running into we've got different stuff here like a uh, radiation toxicity frost and heat layers yo we can get a personal refiner that, that, that looks stacked for 360 i think that's worth it having a little <laughs> refinery available on our exosuit i think i'm gonna try to get one of these uh jetpack upgrades and then i'm just gonna look around to see what else there is there's a oh the multi-tool yeah i'm glad i didn't spend all my stuff yet i'm not quite sure what i really need for my multi-tool right now though um oh and, and then we got even more stuff here like we can actually make microprocessors as well. Okay. Make Atlas passes too. That, that's pretty cool. I feel like I might want to get the Atlas pass. Like uh, start to craft those and just see if they're worth it. And also get the microprocessor. That way I can craft that on the go. Now let's talk to this guy. He's got Exocraft upgrades. Okay. So I'm guessing those are for the uh, like rovers and different type of vehicles that we'll be able to fly. That's pretty dope. Now let's go this way. I think um, we've talked to pretty much everyone could only be like a couple or a few left unless we got to talk to these guys again but hey we traveled 20 uh ks that's pretty good hello helios I i'm back <laughs> this guy looks cool i really like his design oh fire tree like what an organism <laughs> you know let's ask about their past is not worth dwelling on young one what has come before and what may come ahead are what they are is it too late for me now? Um, I, I, I still need to talk to you, bro. I will ponder what you have found me with a grateful heart, little one, but there's still an infinity of wonder out there to discover. Perhaps another day we will share more memories. Yeah, so I guess, I guess this is just about done. Like, visit Helios, the Grand Analyst. Helios will request new data types each day. Oh, uh, is it because I already gave him my data today? Yeah, I think I'll be done that. Look, at, he's grooving over there, dude. He's, he's getting turned. So I think I'll go ahead and go to our missions and and a, um, I'm going to go back to uh, searching for Artemis. We're going to look for the space anomaly. But first, I'd still like to uh, explore the Cool Kids Zone system. I'd like to uh, fully reach like each planet and whatnot on there. So let's go back over to our ship and I think just get out of here. We should hopefully we'll be like returned home but <laughs> i got like no idea honestly okay shield down this <laughs> ship's like in critical condition it's gonna be beeping as i fly back out into space is that a new planet that kind of looks like it uh but the space anomaly is just over there um i think i gotta go down a little bit and looks like the space station is over there so let's tag it and then i'm going to pulse engine over and yeah i definitely want to make it top of priority to try to buy some stuff to get rid of his damn like a uh, hazard noise sounds like a nuclear reactor is about to go off like homer fell asleep at the job this is brutal while i'm trying to fly in space completely different from like a few hours ago when i first got into space and i was like this is really nice bro this is a super immersive i, I could go to sleep with this on this this would be torture. I wonder if this will have like new NPCs for me to talk to. Like I'm guessing the same kind of layout, but perhaps I might be able to learn new words. Like, let's talk to this guy. Um. Oh, five million units for coordinates. What are they selling? Traveler entity seeks new places to explore. Such places exist. They float from system to system. Abandoned wrecks. They can be revealed for a price. Okay. Cool. Um. We can also purchase old scrap from him. Let's leave. And I want to go to start ship outfitting can i i could just melt this ship into scrap like if i did that i'd get 1.5 million units which i kind of think is worth doing because it's not really a high tier ship i was worried about like where my other ship is <laughs> can i just pull that up with x i guess yeah summon vehicles i see okay so we can even summon an exocraft like when we're out and about i don't think we have one available right now but yeah we can do that and yeah we still have the two other ships right there let's uh select this other ship of mine i think okay let's do it let's go ahead and maybe try to sell this ship Claim scrap 1.5 mil not sure if there's a better way to do that uh all cargo will be destroyed sure let's do it 
Let's just get rid of this one. Um, oh, it doesn't actually give us money right away. It gives us um some stuff that we could use and break down into like materials and whatnot. So I don't know. Maybe I won't worry about that for now. I do want to get into the art of ship trading though. If it's really worth like one million, and I think we could find like some higher tier ships. That'll be how we can get to like say one billion or something. If there's a cartographer over here. Let's talk to them. Cartographic entity. Let's um exchange specific charts. I'm sure I have one. I don't. <laughs> so we ask them for help and they point at a map on their screen. Then towards a depiction of waypoint towers found at most planetary sites. They seem to be requesting I gather data from these towers. Okay, so that's how I learn more words. Let's try to talk to people if we can. Um, There we go. We can uh, request dialect help. Everybody's got a random word to teach us. Let's get a trade symbol. We learned the Corvax word for trade. Perfect. Slowly but surely, we're going to learn an entire language, maybe multiple languages, you know? There's a bunch of guys in here, so I'm going to try to talk to all of them. Yeah, we should be able to add a decent amount to our uh, dictionary. Let's request dialect help. And this is a Viking, so this is a different type of guy. Um, We learned the word for interloper. <laughs> What's he trying to imply there? Oh, yeah, very <laughs> interloper? <laughs> Let's learn another Viking symbol. Yeah, I'm just going to try to learn as much as I can while I'm here. Oh, no, I was just talking to this guy. I tried to talk to him, and I got standing decreased by one. But I think I talked to everybody up here. Like, I did pretty good. We learned 20 total words, and I got five stars in that. Look at that. Still a long way to go, I think. But we've met 20 aliens. We're at least getting our name out there. Now, let's go. I, I'm sure I have some stuff that I could sell. Now, I needed, I believe, like, three microprocessors at least. Yeah, there we go. So, I can put that in there to repair the hyperdrive i don't know if i really want to go through and repair this ship though like a uh i mean i guess it's got at least it's got stuff on it but once i get an a-class ship or something better i definitely want to replace it with that so i'm going to want to get that personal refiner um installed i do need some more chromatic metal so i gotta go to a copper bearing planet also put on the hazmat gauntlet um and then i still have some other stuff that i can do like i have a uh, simple translator i need a wiring loom for and at least put some stuff on here oxygen recycler hey I, I can put that on at least booyah and then if i move that over like a uh i bring my life support over next to it yeah they link up and uh they actually benefit each other now this is a mission agent i could take a mission off of them uh, they give us exosuit upgrade charts take a photo on an airless world Oh, wow. Kill 13 creatures. Kill 11 creatures. I want to look into missions first. Uh, I, I don't know the uh, severity of my actions or what I'm doing. Entity is unknown to mercenaries. Oh, okay. So I, uh, at least I know that now. So he does not want to talk to us. And before I leave, I need two wiring looms. Do they sell those here? They do for 71k. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to sell some stuff. Uh, I cannot sell my salvage data. Damn, I, I do not have much that's worth money here. <laughs> you know, I might just have to. Like, it's a bit of a pain, but I'll sell three of them, and then I should be able to buy the two wiring looms that I need. Now, if I go to my multi-tool, I should be able to get that wiring loom installed, and there we go. Our advanced laser is now set up. We got increased mining speed by 15%, and we'll be able to mine even better rocks, floral, um, animals, <laughs> you know, basically everything. But whoa, look at all these, man. We got access to all these different bases now. This is crazy, dude. Okay. Um, what how do I how do I have access to all these? I guess the game maybe just lets you teleport to other bases. That that is really cool. So let's go back all the way up to um our base, the reptilian coolest crocodile alive. And I just want to try to move around in this system, discover the other uh, planets that are here. We've got our ship right here, ready to go. Um, We can start it up. There we are. We've still got some like different floral and uh, minerals that we have not discovered yet. So I might even try to hang out on this planet a bit more eventually. But for now, let's get on out of here. We'll enter orbit. And right now, I just want to find some more planets like uh, i don't know which ones we've all been to 
That is a unknown planet. I have not been there. It won't take too long to get there. Acidic planet. It's got copper on it. That's good. I need to go on a huge copper run. Silver could be pretty useful as well. So I think now we're maybe getting to the point in the game where there's still going to be like a lot of missions. But like say my main goal right now is kind of just to get to like each planet and explore them. Like uh, this one, it's a far distance away for sure. But uh, all right, we are here. We're at this planet. Um, is this a part of ours? Uh, yeah, it is. It was discovered by someone else, though, already. Wow. Yeah, it's that Skydancer 512 guy. So, uh, there's high sentinel activity around here. Let's go. We're gonna crash. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, no, slow down, slow down. Okay. Land sequence. Nice. That's pretty smooth. Like, right when you press E, the game just lands for you. Oh, it makes it so much easier than having to land the ship on a, you know, the terrain and whatnot. I do see some damaged, uh, machinery over here. Let's grab that stuff. Stuff. and if we activate it twice yeah we get some nanites that time we're gonna try to send some stuff over to our ship um not really sure all, everything that it can hold right now but oh oh no is that a bad guy animal get stop stop there we go we got him okay so this might be a place where you can come to kill creatures and whatnot i mainly just want to start off by scanning down as much of the uh, life forms and whatnot in the area that i can like what is that? Wow, dude. It's an actual life form or something. Oh, wow. The amount of, like, different stuff that is around here. There's a lot of new discoveries. So, I'm going to try to hit up as many of the uh, copper deposits that I can. Grab in as many uh, scans as well while I go by. Like, there's jade peas over here. Those sell for a good amount. Like, we've got half of a creature's discovered. There's, like, 33 minerals on this planet, though. That's wild. That's a lot. I guess, in reality, that's not, like, a whole lot. I'm pretty sure there's, like, thousands on Earth. But, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Are these bad guy animals? I think they are. Oh, that one is. What the hell? Oh! Oh, no! It's strong, too. It's strong, too. Yo, I'm out. I'm out. Nope. We gotta get back to ship. This isn't good. Ooh! <laughs> get that speed boost. Oh, no. Look at these big guys, too. They're huge as well. I'm out, man. I'm out. I'm, I'm going back to ship. Maybe we'll go to a different planet and explore. I don't have any weapons right now. Okay, how... How does one even kill that thing? I, I I don't know, man. I'm not worrying about the rainbow ball of death right now. Let's get out of here. Yeah, wow. What what a nightmare of a planet. Um, that one is unknown. I could try out that place. Frost crystal, copper, diorite. I'll have to see once I get there Um, exactly how the planet is, but hopefully shouldn't be too bad. Looks like this place is called Debbie. I would imagine <laughs> this planet would have been found by somebody else already. I don't know. It's not really looking all that good we're about a thousand k's away and we're like running out of fuel let me try to stop for a moment can i charge these um and that's a uh unknown moon as well rigu 7157 so that was was that not just the moon we were on i, I don't know <laughs> maybe maybe it wasn't maybe we were on wadak 86 uh, let me check yeah i think it was this one. Oh no i think we should be able to make it at least I, i'm hoping so oh nearby in object of interest oh no what is that ship doing why is it right behind us uh hailing channel open oh okay urchi is a great pleasure for corvax uh to entity the trader gestures happily please do make contact with a fellow space fur oh okay so they're a trader let's check out their cargo well i gotta buy some stuff off them then they got platinum i'm sure that's valuable for something here man i got some of these feline livers i want to get rid of i'll see if there's anything else in here that i don't really need uh maybe i'll get a uh convergence cube i have no idea that really does there we are um <laughs> yeah just buying stuff off him just to make you know make him happy oh thank you man yeah i really needed that i don't even really understand what i bought off him what, what did i buy off him uh used for upgrading okay i see so we'll be able to upgrade something hopefully <laughs> eventually with that but we are close we're about to touch down on the new planet of debbie there we go initiate landing sequence so you can basically like nosedive at it but as long as we uh hit e before we crash we're good there we go debbie first contact we got haploid wheat uh, that looks new let's check it out though i'm sure there's gonna be lots of plants and different stuff for us to scan oh shit there's an enemy over here 
Oh no, hazardous plant. <laughs> I gotta be careful here as well when I'm out and about, but I'll scan the stuff around me quick. And whoa, look at those. They're like giant beetles or something. But there's a huge crashed ship over here. There might be something of value around here. Um, oh, what is this? Berry technology module. It's not, not really buried. It's kind of in the air, but cool. I'll take it. I like it. Let's check out this damaged machinery. Take off that goop. And then we got to open it up again. And then we get movement module. Whoa, what is that? Install. Um, There we go. I installed it there. And an extremely powerful upgrade for the movement system. Jeez. That adds a lot of good bonuses right there, man. I'm really happy about that. So now... Yeah, it does. It seems like we're going a lot faster with that. Like, basically, the speed that we're going at on the moon, you know? And I do see something over there. Don't really know if it's going to help us, but it's worth checking. Um, Call Starship. Oh, okay. So we call our Starship using that. And then we got this thing over here. All of uh, Hemer Onda IV. Whoa. Log damage, partial records available. Let's read the log. It's got a date time stamp and it says my love i dive into a black hole tomorrow i know we agreed not to i warned them about advisability of such a large vessel moving through the rift but they are arrogant vain creatures are they not they emerged into the skies above anomaly vast he hexagons litter the landscape of this once proud planet now become the plaything of our unforeseen foe i fear i will not be back home for time we drank the water my love forgive me oh wow okay and we're just dead um so are there any materials from this that we can retrieve um not really uh i don't know it says we salvaged the materials we might have i don't know if we did though i didn't really see anything pop up like ooh, us getting anything oh uh, we got a cargo pod over here i guess we'll uh, take this stuff and what do we have inside let's see um oh frigate module um, oh, and radiation leak. Okay. So that thing like poured out a bunch of radiation. I got to be careful for that. But if we bring this to a research station, it should be able to do something, I guess. Cool. Okay. I, I'll do that eventually. Let's look around though. I really need to find, yeah, like a copper deposit. It's kind of out there pretty far away, but what is flying around over there? That is a really fast bird, man. So yeah, I think I'll just try to hit like a couple uh, copper deposits around this planet along with trying to like scan any of the stuff and like unless I find out something interesting, I'll be back in like a few minutes. What are those things? Wow. They're like jellyfish or something, dude. <laughs> but I got one more creature that I have to discover on this planet. So there's not that many more. Maybe try to check in this cave down here. See if there's any down here. Oh, oh, God, no, I meant to mine it. I just I destroyed it all. Whoa! Man, I love the new move. It's just flying across. It's awesome. Got another knowledge stone over here. Learn the Corvax word for not. <laughs> Sweet. I'm basically just going after all these like buried technology modules um, and like any points of interest that I find along the way as I haven't really found many copper deposits like uh, I only found out one earlier. Ooh, look at this glowing mineral. We get this with our mining beam and uh, let me make sure. Yeah, I got sp spot for it. Nice glowing mineral. I'll take it. Doesn't look like there's any more around, but uh, yeah, it gave us these. We can analyze them and a, um, oh, I need a... <laughs> Inventory space, of course. Oh, God, man. I, I came to a copper deposit. It was the one I was at earlier. Oh, God. <laughs> what a nightmare, man. Okay, I'm just going to go back to the ship now. It will fly around, try to go to a different spot on this planet. All right, now we're back at the ship. Main problem is most of the cargo space is, like, broken stuff. All right, now if we look at everything, yes, yeah, so we discovered Debbie. I guess that guy only stopped by that one moon. He didn't want to go by the any of the other places. Uh, upload the uh, files that we did get, though. That should give us, like, a bit of nanites and whatnot. But we weren't even a, uh, looking around in the Cool Kids Zone. We've been looking around in uh, Kuzentai, this other uh, spot. It's got our base down at the uh, Ratonian Beta. So I think next I'll probably go back to the Cool Kids Zone and start exploring out there. I think right now, really want to go to the uh, space station, so let's try to go there. I don't think we'll have enough fuel to make it, though. I mean, I don't know. It's, like, very close so you got like 30 seconds away and we're like running out of fuel and yeah i can't stand this ship either just because of sirens ah oh, what an awful awful ship and 
Wow, we just made it with like one or two percent how uh left. That's nuts. There we go. Now since we've discovered seven out of five planets, does that mean there's like extra planets in the system? I don't know. Like I see the normal five, but uh there could be. All right, we need to sell some stuff. I don't really know what we're gonna sell. You know. Maybe we'll go back to base and just, like, uh, make a storage or something. Let's just go warp back on home. Oh, oh, we got 6% data recovered. New data available. What's going on? Found additional buried technology modules. Construction proceeding smoothly. Recent expedition yielded. Copying data to, um, okay, so blueprints resembled and prepare for download. Uh, sure, let's search it. We got new plans. Storage container plans awesome that's exactly what i needed like i was really hoping we'd get that somehow i couldn't find it anywhere so now if i go into here yeah i can make a storage container and we can put stuff in it let's put it right there sweet that looks awful uh it does not have any power so i need to connect it let's go into electrical wiring and then i guess i will run it on outside all right <laughs> we're just right through the wall can i put it like oh no i'd like to find a better spot than this but i kind of like the idea just <laughs> it's across the room you know it looks it looks like ass but you know a base eventually will be nice right now it just it looks like how it does you know, who who really cares all that much? I'm just going to try to keep the things that I know I should keep and, like, have on me. Everything else is going in there for now just so I can store it and then go on a big run. Hopefully fill up my inventory again. I just want to wait for this copper to finish refining. And I can get the bolt caster if I can make three carbon nanotubes. Uh, let me try it out. Yeah, I think we can, actually. Um, I'll do one two three there we go and now we have like a gun yeah look at that man it shoots oh wait okay it uses ammo though i have no idea what we're using for ammo at the moment <laughs> let me check storage container i do have some in here so i can bring some ammo out we'll be able to use that let me see if i can summon maybe my other ship because i don't really want that one anymore at least not at the moment let's get our radiant pillar back nice it's landing oh whoa what did another ship spawn over here? Is this a new one? Oh, wait. No, no, no. I think this is our original ship. No, it's not. We we, we don't have this one. Oh, yeah. I'll claim it. <laughs> a, yo, so we put our base down next to this ship spawn, and I guess it would just keep on spawning ships every now and then. That's pretty baller. But, uh, yeah, that ship is, of course, not doing too good. I'm going to go over to my nice ship right here. Well, <laughs> the starter ship. Can't really call it nice. Eh, just charge for ship before we leave a little bit. Yeah, we got 55 percent that's not too bad but now that th i think that is our current ship i kind of want to go to one of the other space stations like that one we were at last time because right now where we're at we've like fully explored we just haven't really fully explored the cool kids zone station sigma <laughs> so while we've explored pretty much all of this galaxy like all the planets and moons we did not for the cool kids zone so i think I might as well go back there and then i'll try to figure out where the materials we need will be all right so now i'm just gonna look around this system and try to find some more planets i already discovered new ramp um that one is an unknown planet and that, that's the coolest moon for it so try to go over to that one see what it's like over there or right, we are entering the atmosphere and we are there let's launch and here we are so let's go and explore this planet um it's like it's got a uh some life forms on it some floral what is that whoa look at that dude down there man he looks gnarly let me uh discover him let's see sweet he he looks cool man let's ski let's see yeah we discovered him <laughs> look at that man isn't that cool we're gonna call this guy the croc mole or the croco mole there yeah <laughs> let me know if you ever are able to find the croco mole now that's a challenge and a half so going on from that still a lot of new things to scan i'm gonna want to find the copper deposits nearby and already there's only like one more species for us to find i don't know if it's gonna be like a bird or something but i'll keep on looking around we're getting a lot of stuff scan like 20 or 30 things since i got here i'm hoping after we do a few like runs of this whoa yeah look at my guy <laughs> i'm hoping after a while we'll be able to just stock up on a bunch of copper and at least some materials so we can move on to you know the next stages getting more difficult to obtain materials and ooh, mono lift that 
probably be really good. And there's also one up there. So sweet. We got like a few of them to go check. Here we are. We got the Corvax word for of. And now the next ones are just down here. Yeah, there's a few of them. And what about this guy? The ruins of uh, something. We got a milestone for it. Oh, we learned 30 words. There we go. That's pretty good. Let's check out this uh, ruins. As I look upon the ancient relic, a strange feeling grips hold of me. My vision begins to swim. I am here, but not here. Corvax echoes will advance the traveler. Corvax echoes will travelers. Oh, we've got like two words that we don't understand. Tiny floating tetrahedrons emerge from the planet's surface and surround me. I try to wave them away with my multi-tool, but each time they swarm closer to it as if attracted to it somehow. I raise my multi-tool and they shimmer blue as they dart this way and that closer and closer. They're within touching distance of my multi-tool and make one final surge. Um, I don't know, let them in. My multi-tool glows bright blue. The color spreads, seeping up my arm. With a sun surge, the electricity glow reaches my brain. I pass out. I awake. Reality is restored. I find myself in possession of a new piece of multi-tool technology. The pulse splitter. It's a rapid fire weapon attachment. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Yeah, just keep on going around the area, grabbing different buried technologies. Ooh, ancient data structure. That's probably heat. I mean, so far, I kind of understand the gameplay loop, I think. So I'm grabbing materials that I need for my ship and that I need for crafting. I'm going around grabbing knowledge stones. We're learning stuff. We're getting more materials. Trying to unlock new things as well. I'm going to go check out this ancient data structure. Let's see if this thing has anything cool. And yeah, wow. There's like a bunch of navigational data here. Sweet. That is nice. I'll we'll grab all of those. And w technology module. Nice. It was just lying on the ground there. Oh, oh. Okay. I started falling and I fell down this hole. There's a cool little cave down here. Might be uh, some stuff for us to scan. There we go. Some more navigational data. I think I'm almost done for this trip. And then I'm going to try to get off this planet. And wow. I, I might have just found the worst copper deposit ever. It was like one tiny layer at top. That's awful. Sweet. There's a bunch of navigational data over here. Oh my. Oh my. Wow. I was doing the jetpack thing and that could have went really bad there. I, I so glad I had a little bit left uh, just to save myself. Wow. It looks like here we got an exosuit upgrade chart. What? Oh, I guess that's going to bring it, like, show us a location where we can get an upgrade. Drop pod detected. Nice. Okay, somewhere way over there. What is this guy doing? <gasps> He's attacking me. What? Bastard. Oh, oh God. I killed him with one shot. Okay, that is brutal. Um, so I got to I gotta be aware. I guess those little guys are hostile. Oh, there's the last creature. Nice. We got all of them. That's good. I think we get a bonus for discovering like all the species on a certain planet and whatnot. All right. I think I'm about done exploring. Let's summon our ship right there. Booyah. And then I'd like to start moving some of this stuff over right away. I can sort it all out after. And I got about 1600 copper. So that's at least a fair chunk. Now we also need to go and reach the marked drop pod location. I'm going to go tag that. And then let's take our ship up a little bit. And a, uh, I think it'll take way too long if we do it within orbit. So I think if we go out of orbit, we should be able to just teleport there almost. Yeah, just like this. So yeah, we'll arrive in two seconds, one second. There we go. And oh man, is that drop pod in a volcano? I hope it isn't. Oh, geez. I, oh, <laughs> I, not, I bumped into it. All right, let's land next to this because this should give us an exosuit upgrade. I'm hoping so. Let's check it out. Booyah. Nice. Oh, wait, no, we got antimatter housing, sodium nitrate, and carbon nanotubes. Okay, that's not the worst, but that is a little bit annoying. I can make the two of them right away and then uh, repair them. Boom and boom. I need sodium nitrate now. So let me actually get the personal refiner installed. That way I have that now. And let's use the refiner. We'll give some fuel. And I need to do some sodium nitrate. I'm not going to do all of it. Just a bit. There we go. I believe I just need 10. And then um, I can return back out. Let's upgrade this. There we go. Now that's fixed. And I can get the exosuit upgrade. Oh yeah, there we go. An extra slot. I'll take it. Making some decent progress. I mean, I, I spent a good amount of time on this planet. Been on here for close to an hour just exploring and getting uh, materials and whatnot. Save and chart as this is an unknown sector. And I think now I'm just going to go 
hop back on my ship and try to go to the other planets in this system. I'm going to rename that planet that we were just at. We're going to call this one a cool planet of doom. I don't know why it's of doom. But there we go. That's kind of cool. And also rename I4 Gamma. I'm gonna do make <laughs> Croc makes good videos. That's <laughs> it's a pretty good uh, planet name. I like it. The system's looking really nice, man. <laughs> you know, somebody comes by, we're just gonna be like, oh god, this is a YouTuber uh, system. All right, that is an unknown planet over there. So I think that's gonna be our next goal. And whoa, nearby object of interest. Whoa. Um, again, a uh, communication trade link. Oh, okay. Even though we can't understand them, the pilot's meaning is clear. They speak in the universal language of money. Let's go check out what do they have. Um, Corvax casing, convergence cubes. Yeah, just some random stuff. Not really much, honestly. Um, I, I know I got some stuff to sell, like these pearls. Yeah, not really all that much I can get rid of at the moment. Now, that planet is a good distance away. Like, it's still going to take us close to a minute to fly there with our pulse engine. And, ooh, anomaly detected. What's going on? Ooh, this thing looks wild. What, uh, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Living metalloid. And go up close to it. Um, to interact with it? Fuck. I don't know what to do. I guess. Yeah, shoot it. There we go. Hyperdrive module. Whoa. A supremely powerful upgrade for the hyperdrive. Oh, man. I'm really I, I, I mean, I think we might as well like uh, on the ship get that going. Okay, our warp efficiency is now plus 100%. So it's going to take us way less time to warp. Alright, we have arrived. We're crashing on in hostile subspace scan detected oh no let's uh use the communicator um organic entities place monetary value upon individual lives yes how much do you value yours oh what what they, if, oh they're, they're gonna try to fight us okay okay we got we got bad guys bad guys coming up where are they coming from are they coming from behind oh no other way okay i see him i see him hold s to hold, lock on and chase your target okay i see let's go 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 we got we got to get them one down okay and there's another pirate over there okay there we go there we go we got him i i think that's all attack ships defeated nice and our standing increase with corvax so they like us killing pirates so keep note of that all right i'm a little bit less afraid to go journey out now let's land right here and we'll check out this planet now so what is this place called um alachi 99l1 yep we are the first contact with it we got something down here an ancient fragment there we go um new item ancient key okay so that has to go to something i suppose bunch of stuff here again for us to scan and check out we got an artifact fragment and a graventino ball down there i'm not sure what those are but those will find out well artifact fragment straightforward just grab that that'll give us another ancient key <laughs> what the hell am i gonna do with those dude i, got, I gotta find somewhere about is looking for those ancient keys now um gravintino ball let's go check that out um this seems like something nice um active centennial units oh there's four? Oh shit oh no we gotta get in we gotta get in we gotta get in our ship start start okay so we're scanning us um let's try to lock on our targets all right let's let's go let's go let's get them there we go okay one down there we go um there's another one over here man who may change targets fucking comma and period i take my hand off the mouse to do that that's wild control mapping okay oh uh, no we got reinforcements coming now too great there we go oh no oh no they, they actually did a lot of damage coming in that one okay there we go first one down that's not not bad there we go second one down we, we hit him with a few of those and then we go in with the uh cannon or the rocket launcher once it's ready there we go another one down where is okay i, I think that's all of them are we safe now oh we need a we need a hold space to engage pulse engine and escape okay let's get out of here then oh my god it disabled another ship is in range okay whatever dude we're gonna get them there we go one ship down who's next who's next uh get out of here man Ah, oh, jeez. It, it disabled again. Okay, so there's only one now. It's not too bad, but I feel like it's going to start getting more difficult soon. There we go. Okay, down. He's down. Come on. One, two, three. Get out of here. I'm out. I'm out, man. They're never finding me. Ooh. Oh, oh no. They are interceptors arriving soon. Are you kidding me, man? Come on. Come on. They even they found me while I was in the middle of space. Are you fucked? Oh, 
Oh, no. Oh, shield down. That's not good. Okay, one of those ships is down. I gotta try to take out the other one. Oh, come on, man. Come on. There we go. That guy's dead. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's just keep on going, man. Keep on going. Keep it going. Um, sh my shield is like 0%. Yeah, we gotta charge that up. <laughs> so, it's brutal. Running on like fumes right now, but okay. I got everything restored. Let's see. Oh, my. The, 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 they're still coming in? We gotta go to, like, a space station or something, dude. I don't know what to do, really. There we go. Okay. I get the fuck out of here now. Gauge pulse engine. Let's go, go, go. What, I got, like, five stars on me or something right now? Like, what happened? Whatever I took was definitely really uh, valuable or special. Um, It's only worth, like, 40k. It's not It's not even that stacked of an item. And they're, they're returning again. Oh, my God. Fly beneath the shields to destroy the capital ship shield generators. Oh, no, man. This is not good. This is not good. We might die from this shit. Okay, I got my shield charged again. There's a lot of ships now. Why Why did I do that, man? Why did I take that fucking egg? Come on, man. Where, where are they, dude? There's so many. Oh, my, man. There's so many. This is nuts. Like, they definitely have better ships than me or something. Because, uh, like, I am not too and too good it seems like they just keep on coming oh man i'm gonna run through all my sodium recharging my shield this is not good okay there we go there's another one down i see i don't know if i just have to like avoid all these ships or something but it, it just seems very like hard to do that okay i i think i've actually gotten like most of the ships unless they just keep on respawning which definitely seems to be like what is happening because no matter how many of them i destroy it just never stops yeah, I've got to guess that that is not the way to do it. All right, now that I'm moving, they're not hitting me as much. I'm going to start to come in. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, jeez, man. That's going to be hard to take down. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there's shit on a ship that's, like, fucking attacking me. No wonder why. Oh, God, man. Yeah, we're not going to we're not gonna live this. We're not. All right, pulse drive enabled in eight seconds. I think we can uh, escape if, if we try. Oh, no. They're right behind us, man. Uh, oh god man get me out of here come on I, I just need to activate the pulse drive oh no they attacked it's it's canceled can i just kill these guys then well, i think they're gonna kill me man i think this is it this is where we we die i have no more sodium they killed through all of my sodium as well which is probably the most frustrating thing ah oh, death by sentinel attack ship generation one oh well, we're back I don't know. Do we have our shit? No, our cargo's gone. And it looks like we have everything in our exosuit, but fuck, man. I know I put a lot of stuff in our cargo. That's a lesson learned. The Gravitino ball is uh, really toxic to pick up. Not too impressed about that one. Return to death location to recover items. Okay, sweet. Dying may damage installed technology. Okay, I I see. Uh, Let's try to find it. What we get? <laughs> Destroyed five starships. Okay, I was expecting one for dying. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and tag that location, and <laughs> it's gonna take us a minute to get there. Oh, man. We need a better ship, man. This one's a piece of crap. A little C tier ship. Can't do anything with it. So perhaps I'll try to focus on getting a new ship soon. There we go. Looks like I got all of our stuff back. That's at least nice. Now, I think that planet down there might be the only one left. Yeah, it's an unknown planet. It does appear like that is the only one left on the system. I'm going to call this the uh, uncool danger planet because, uh, yeah, we learned our <laughs> lesson from that one and oh i got a uh centennial's weapon shard i can install that into my multi-tool there that gives us oh better reload time more damage better fire rate okay that's all right i guess now i think i kind of want to go back to the uh anomaly but i mean maybe i'll go check out this planet first oh emergency broadcast detected what's going on um reject their lies Follow us to freedom. The ship is broadcasting the same message over and over, an endless loop. Its message has decayed over time, but there are still salvageable coordinates amid the noise. Sure, we'll recover the coordinates, and uh, there's no further intelligent message from the uh, abandoned vessel, so at least we got that. And uh, there'll be a marked star, so that's cool. That's a new mission. I am going to continue on our goal to get to that planet first. Uh, here we are, crash landing on the planet, and... 
looks like there's something right there for us to check out entering the atmosphere and that will be the last planet a part of this galaxy to discover let's check it out so we are on lumer beta yep we have made the first contact with it and like always i'll just start by going around scanning the different life forms that there are now what is this place is this like a station or is this an abandoned ship uh oh yeah research entity loigi so there's got to be something going on here let me go check it out i'll have a look around artifact exchange vault um i do not have any on me right now so i can't really do that i found a few new words but i think i'm pretty much ready to get off of this planet i'm gonna summon my ship over here and let's get going out of here i kind of want to go back to that anomaly as we should be able to uh summon it yeah let's just summon it there sweet let's go in there and see what kind of upgrades and whatnot we can get and here we are <laughs> yeah look at this guy over there with his jetpack flying around I do want to name our last place. So it's got aggressive sentios. I'm going to call it super aggro cool planet. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to get a little bit better with a name soon. But this is our first uh, place, you know. We got we to gotta go a little bit all out for it. The only place that's somewhat normal is New Ramp. Like, and that was a, uh, a game named that place, you know. <laughs> all right, we are here. Now, let's go talk to this guy again. See if we can do it. Um... Oh, no, we can't. We got to do it a different day. That kind of sucks. I'm guessing that means I have to come back, like, tomorrow, at, like, in some time of the day to continue the quest line. So at least go to the other shopkeepers and transmit all my stuff, get my nanites that I deserve. I think we likely got enough research points to get a lot of different stuff. Firstly, with my exosuit, let me take a look. Oh, yeah, we use nanites for this. Um, Still got a lot of nanites, though, so I think I want to get that a uh, better translator. That way we can translate more words. I think I might spend a majority of it at this uh, construction research spot. I'm going to give that medium refinery. I want to get, oh, that nutrient processor right there and yeah might as well go for a large refiner as well and some of the other stuff i want to get like all of the cheap techs right now that way i can just get them all done with we got like 17 uh data we get a nice little roamer and then um we'll probably get some more random stuff a wall switch um battery i'm sure will be useful eventually solar panels i probably should have got that actually oh well i'll go dump the rest of my uh salvage data into random stuff and then we'll get going and who is this iteration mercury uh have you stood before a portal stranger felt it leech for life from your skin felt your chest burning as its power starts to melt your very being oh uh, say that we have the traveler narrows their eyes staring at me judging my claim after a moment they nod there's respect upon their face i stood before the portal at solith prime but did not cross the threshold. I reached out. Only the tip of my finger grazed the gateway. The next moment, I awoke aboard the anomaly. I was transformed. The gateway here does not have the power of ancient monoliths, though it shares aspects of their network. Use it as you wish. Okay. Uh, thanks for the information, I guess. Is this just a normal portal? Um, interstellar terminus. Uh, oh, we can go to, like, other people's bases or colonies and stuff? Oh, like, community highlight stuff. I see. Okay. This guy just asked me for 10 credits. He took them, and then he's like, okay, bye now. Um, what if we stay? You're still here. Hmm, sorry, friend. I don't have anything to trade. <laughs> what? smell them they look uncomfortable their pulse visible in their throat all right fine look i admit it i'm not a geck i'm just another traveler passing through ask why they're here uh they hesitate have you ever crossed paths with essentials who patrol most of the worlds out there oh yeah we we just got killed by them and you know what it's like to be hunted by them suffice to say the centennials and i have a conflict of interest and now it's my interest to lay low here <laughs> okay yeah i guess that makes uh sense i, I can't blame him for that um multi-tool has been selected for d commission oh so we can get different multi-tools okay oh whoa where oh okay <laughs> uh, entered that and I, I got super freaked out man i wasn't sure what it was gonna bring me now i kind of want to go to that a uh under a rebel star thing that we found earlier because that could be a ship well that, that could be a bad guy it could really be anything <laughs> i guess that's in the next system down here it does appear like this one's a little bit more dangerous but i mean that's fine. Let's go check it out. We'll go over there. Here we are. Yeah, new system. We got first contact with it as well. Conflict level is high. The economy is comfortable, so at least we can make some money here if we want. And then if we look at discoveries, it looks like there's three big planets and then 
there's two moons uh, orbiting this one. I don't know if it orbits and then goes on to the next one or what, but it does look kind of cool. So after I get this asteroid, we're going to go down to that new place. Because I think it's just on that unknown moon right there. Uh, here we are. We're about there. I'm about to, well, try to land. Entering the atmosphere of... Ueno 83 slash N6. What a name. And I can barely see anything on here. Like, the weather looks nuts. Okay. Well, let's get out. Step into it. Scalding rainstorms. That's brutal. Oh, shoot. Am I getting hurt? I don't know what's going on. Uh, th oh, yeah. Wow. I don't know if we can hang out on this one. We got new planetary record for hottest temperature. We are, like, right next to it, though. So, I think we should be able to get down for a minute and see what's up. Let's see. It seems like it. It, it is that way about, oof, uh, quite a distance. Jeez, is, is it a little bit better over here? Or, <laughs> like, is it still smoldering hot? Oh, no, yeah, 33.4. That's, like, still warm, but it's uh, bearable for us, I think. We can survive. And, yep, there it is. That also looks like another ship. Don't mind if I do. I'll go loot the place first and check out what's all here, but that's pretty sweet. So we got a distress beacon we can download the logs from. I attempted to salvage what I can from the log of a crashed ship. Sifting through the diagnostic data, they appear to have been the victim of a sudden, overwhelming assault. We'll recover the cockpit recording. Among the endless data, the countless warnings and errors triggered by the flames that consume the ship there's a fragment of a recording a window into the starship's final moments <laughs> oh man i only understand one word out of this so all i can comprehend is down i'm gonna guess ship down suddenly the voice changes the muffled shouts of a pilot fade away cut through by words that ring out in a clear and powerful tone resist the red we shall cut out its crimson eye. The end of a message is accompanied by a clear navigational symbol, a rendezvous point, but for who? Um, okay, so we'll take it. Death to the Scarlet, Tyrant. <laughs> nice. Um, and then we got Motivat's Victory. Nice, um, that's a new ship. Let's compare it. C-class ship. Not that great, but, uh, I will claim it so we can probably sell it later. And, oh, no, oh, no. Are those bad guys? Oh, oh, they are, they are. I gotta summon a, uh, one of our vehicles. This is not good. Oh, no. Oh, no, man. They're, they're actually gonna kill me. Oh, critical damage. That isn't good. Fuck, man. Leave me alone. Yeah, I am out, man. I am out. I'm not dying again. I'm done with dying, dude. How do I... Oh, my life support's at max. Just, <laughs> I need I need some health to recharge. I think we lost them, though. I mean, it feels like we did. No, oh, man, this is not good. Because now I can't find my ship. Like, I, I know where one of them is. I just don't know where the other one is. Like, the one that I came with. Superheated rainstorm. Awesome. Oh, uh, no, man. This ain't, this ain't good. Our stuff's gonna start going down fast. And I don't have a lot of sodium right now. Gotta try to kill these guys, though. Like, I can't just leave them here. What the hell? Really? He repairs them? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, there's one. There's one. <laughs> Man, this is, this is so rough. I can barely see right now. I'm getting damaged by the storm, like, as we speak. Oh, no, oh, no. They have flamethrowers? Are you kidding me? Oh, there we go. Okay, I got another one down. This one should be a bit easier. Um. Oh, no. Extreme heat damage. That isn't good. Oh, my. And I'm out of ammo? Wow, they, they really ate up, like, 200 ammo. Okay, I gotta go in the ship. Just hide in here. Fuck it. Let's activate the beacon that we got. I don't know what, uh, what exactly it's for. Perhaps a safe location or something. One would at least hope, you know? But I gotta fix the damaged plate. Can I make one of those hermetic spheres? Uh, can I... Oh, I can make a hermetic seal as well so I can at least fix the pulse engine. And then I think I just need to fix the uh, launch thruster. And um, if we can fix the other stuff later, that'll be super useful. But we should be able to fly up now. And where is this rendezvous point? Okay, it's in the sky off planet, of course. But uh, yeah, we are flying. We're, we're going now. Now, I think I do want to go visit the space station in this galaxy. I have not not been there yet and this is a really dangerous place if anything i need to try to get my best ship and then try to get it equipped because yeah as we saw earlier it didn't, it didn't work too well for our favor and oh no critical damage what happened okay let's go into the space station let's just get in there i guess we got no shield that's why there we are going on in and sweet we are here i'm gonna go up this way 
Let's go tr talk to some of the shopkeepers over here. But we can get another exosuit upgrade, I believe, just by going to here. Um, cost 30,000 units, but let's do it. There we are, another one down. And I kind of want to get this uh really good movement module. That looks stacked, man. So can I install that? I can. Uh, Oh, wait, do I... Do I have two of them now? Yeah, I got two A-class movement systems. Okay. Oh, wait. I, I got more of an ad. I got a lot, man. Oh, my. Let's just try to store these technologies then for now. Now, let's look at this ship. Can I... I could claim scrap worth 1.3. I think I'm going to do that. Um, Let's try to do that. Yep. All cargo be destroyed. That's fine. Cool. And then we get all the scrap for it that we can sell. And there's a bunch of NPCs on here. Great. Sales Gek. I. <laughs> okay, so this guy's a sales Gek. Let's uh, request some dialect help. I'll go talk to all these guys and learn a bunch of new words. And there we go. I've uh, got another achievement for uh, interpreter status in words. So I can at least, like, interpret most conversations now, which is really good. Compared to before where it was all nonsense, like now, we know that Navigator Riso is saying... Friend, friend, friend. <laughs> you know, <laughs> imagine learning like a whole language and just figuring out that they're like, you know, kind of brain dead. <laughs> Only use one word each. It'd be brutal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to die. I am sure of it. Push the life form away. Embrace the life form. Die or leave. Push him away. But it is myself I push. The mask falls off as I fall and I'm standing there again once more myself. But the life form is displeased. Claiming that I have learned nothing. That I rejected their gift. Oh, Damn, my friends. What happened to my friends? Please, I need to leave this place. Return to the fleet. There's so little time. Um, let's see. Let's ask where they came from for 100 nanites. Offers directions to a place of interest. Okay, cool. Anything else that we can get him? Um, we can barter with 100 oxygen. Nice. He gives me a package in return. What do we get? Glowing minerals. Nice. Um, let's offer him 15 nanites and gives me a package in return. Nice. Another glowing mineral and, uh, units. Wow, 51k. There we go. That, that was definitely worth it. Okay. But we have learned 50 words now. That seems like quite a bit. Now let's go over to this galactic trade terminal. I'm going to try to go to sell some of the stuff that we got. Let's see. Uh, none of those are sellable. Damn. That, that really sucks. I can at least sell all of these uh, nano cables. And ooh, nice. Yeah, one of those. That'll be over one mil. Awesome. Now let's go buy some stuff. Now that we are rich, <laughs> I'm going to buy a few microprocessors and want to buy like i don't know 10 wireling looms because something we need and there we go now we can fix uh a part of our exosuit we can fix a lot of other stuff i believe too on a different ship and look at that i got capitalist for earning around 1.5 million units we're getting there slowly but surely we're gonna be the coolest astronaut in the whole in the galaxy now let me look at upgrading this starship um okay so i would need money or nanites maybe let's not do that let's just take a look at a starship yeah i don't know if this one is super worth uh working on so i think for now i'm gonna try to go back to my base that way i can build some stuff i mean <laughs> i already feel like soon i want to make a different base that uh, first base really sucks so we got a bunch of stuff that we can start to make now we've got a medium refiner as well as a large refiner but first let me see i'd like to summon one of my uh ships there was one that i had that was a b class i think it's that first one let me summon it and i'll see let's go starship and yep this is the b class ship like this one i might not mind uh repairing we need quite a bit of stuff for it but i think we can probably just make most of the stuff and like craft it here oh wait all these glowing minerals i've been finding they actually break down into materials i didn't know that well now i do so that's cool all right, I got this hazmat gauntlet fully installed now. And one of the things I need to find appears to be sodium. We need a lot of that. Need sodium nitrate as well. I'm just going to go around trying to collect uh, sodium plants. There's a bunch of them around the area. And, ooh, sentient plant. Maybe we should grab that. One would think. I don't know, you know. Let's um analyze it. Can we? I don't think we can. Um. Oh. Yep, we can. Uh, we gotta go. We gotta go fast. The guys are gonna start coming. We're getting those Graventino balls from last time, remember? Nice. There we go. Now let's get out of here. I don't think they... 
will be able to keep up with us. We're pretty fast. They are searching, but I, d I don't think they're going to be able to find us. I think we're good. Okay, yep. The force has deactivated. We escaped. I've got enough sodium, at least for one of the shields. Um, I need sodium nitrate. So I needed 13 first for something. Let me check what that is. Yeah, the deflector shield. So that gets our shields back up. And I need 30 for the uh, photon cannon. All right, I'm back now. I got some sodium nitrate. I should have enough to repair like a good amount of the stuff up here. Okay, I got a hyperdrive on the ship now. I just got to charge it. Then I think I'll probably put a rocket launcher on it. Damn, I need more copper. Okay, we got to go on another copper run. I'm going to try to transfer everything that I have right now. Then I'll take out the useful stuff that I know I need. And let's see, our base computer has another, uh, whoa. We need to, inc we need to input a pass key. Uh, entity. Ooh, recovered archive encrypted. Oh, we got to input another pass key to proceed. Uh, Atlas. Archive unlocked. Holy shoot. Okay. That recovered 15%. Nice. Okay. So I'll take it. My exosuit has directed me to a crashed starship. Rose react to my touch and I can only assume it belongs to me. No memory of it. No sense of a before. Isn't this, isn't this our memory? All right. Base technology data extracted. We got solar panel. Yo, that's cool. And the battery. Hey, I'll take it. Uh, readable archive, um, beginning defragmentation of next segment. Okay. I guess that's working on that. Yeah, we'll need to get some gold, but then we can start to set up solar panels and get even more power for the base as we're going to need that for all of our refiners. All right, it is a new day, like a new in real life day. <laughs> I should be able to try to go back to that place and get that mission done now. Gonna turn all the salt into chlorine quick using our backpack refiner. I really like having that. It's so helpful. So now when we go here, like we can start to repair different things like this right here. That gives us another slot for cargo there we go we get another uh piece of a ship fixed we got a supercharged slot here we can install some technology still got a bunch of different slots like this one down here we can repair but most of these require like paraffininium uh pugnium gold and uh platinum really baller stuff you know we're, we're pretty broke right now so we don't have any of that three wiring looms for this one spot that is a lot but i mean we have like a you know, feasible ship, I think. We got a little bit of room for storage. Next, I need to get more copper in order to repair the rocket launcher. Then we got to find, like, platinum and gold. So let's get in our ship and let's go up out to space. We'll try to find that uh, anomaly place. That way we can finally go and see if I can complete that quest now. Because I kind of, like, I went around the ship and I talked to everybody first. So I talked to him. And then after, I couldn't talk to him again because it says each day he'll ask for new stuff. And it's not each in-game day. Like, not e every half hour. It's every real life day right now i'm on like real life day three but in game we're like about to hit day 12 i believe like i'm just at around like seven hours of gameplay so all right let's see if we can do it this time ah young one you still roam the boundaries of this universe we have data for planets thank you little one you have no idea what this means to me please take these nanites they're nothing but they're all i have now that should yeah there we go we completed the quest now we can go on with the space anomaly quest okay i'm gonna go to the other part of a ship to see if i can learn any more uh, blueprints let's check out the uh starship upgrade because there are a lot of them. I think our main thing will probably be trying to upgrade our gear, of course, as well as upgrading our ship. So I'm going to go through and grab a bunch of different things. I like this uh, phase beam that he has. So it kind of recharges your shields by like doing a life drain on the opponent's ship, which uh, I think is really cool. I think I'm going to get both of those and ooh, emergency warp unit that is probably going to be really useful <laughs> you know you know try to avoid deaths we've only had one death so far which is i mean pretty good for almost two weeks of game time let's see I i'm going to go around this guy has upgrades apparently what does he have oh uh, yeah some pretty basic stuff c and b tier let's transmit our milestone data that gives us some more nanites we can exchange a salvage data what does that give us more nanites Okay. Oh, I guess that's for once we uh, have enough salvage data and have unlocked everything, we can just get rid of them and get nanites for them. It still wants me to go 
okay, it wants me to talk to this specific guy, Exosuit. Sure, let's check out the Exosuit upgrades. I think I should probably get all of the uh, resistance stuff. It doesn't cost too much, but I think those will be like the difference to us being able to go on a lot of different planets and not. But there we go. Now I got all of them and I'll get this upgraded life support. That should be good. Now we can browse the huge array of base parts. If I can get in there, there's two guys there blocking away. Like we can just build rooms and stuff. I'd like to get a few of those, I think. Let's get, you know, normal square rooms. There we go. And now we got to speak to Nada about Artemis. Finally, we're back. We're back on the story. Nada and Polo drift between worlds and worlds. There are many. Have you seen them, traveler friend? Nada wishes they could. Nada regrets much. Ask what to do. Traveler entity is free to make their own path. Find Artemis entity, explore if others, travel to great sites. Proceed as you will, traveler entity will aid you. Others will aid you also, even if you seek the Crimson Liar. Um, so let's ask for help with Artemis. Um, of course, Nada has a small gift for you. Perhaps it will help, perhaps not. Nada and Polo Friend will continue to search. Speak to us whenever you desire. And, uh... He gave us 120 nanites. <laughs> okay, so we got to look for clues about Artemis within space. I think what I want to do is actually return to that one uh, system that we were at that we didn't really explore. There's a teleporter over here, so we should be able to hit that, but not a uh, teleporter ship over. I believe it's this one with uh, the, the deadly looking skull. Yeah, three planets, two moons. Let's go. All right, so here we are. We've already talked to everybody in here. I don't think there's much I can really do check my starship is there anything that i can really buy for it yeah they do have uh silver and gold comes at a bit of a pricey cost but i mean i, I think i can afford it let's just grab that 100k i'll take it and then i'll also take the gold thank you very much a little bit more expensive at 200k but super useful okay so looking at her stuff yeah i can repair a few more slots need to make more magnetized ferrite so i think i'm gonna go looking out for uh well ferrite dust and then Platinum, gold, all that type of stuff. Oh, oh no, oh no. I, I got out of there and then I fucking got warped back in. That sucks. Let me out. I'm trying to escape. There we go. Okay, I'll go forward at full speed so we don't get sucked back into it. We got an unknown rave over there we could go check out. That planet has copper. There's high sentinel activity. Um, So that's dangerous. And we got a unknown signal. Oh no. Where? Is there anyone out there? It's outside. Something's wrong with. There's a moment's pause. The only sound I hear in the background hiss of cosmic radiation. Oh no. You found me. There's so little light. I thought I'd never hear another soul again. I really did. Oh, so this is Artemis. Wow, that was not hard. How would you find my voice? <laughs> Say you found a crashed ship. I told a stranger about the abandoned starship wreck and how I found their communicator ID in a distress beacon. I begin to mention the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. It's outside, but I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They look just like... Where are they? Feared and confusion dance within the eyes of a stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turned to me, imploring. You don't know who you are, do you? You, it lied to me, it lied to all of, and then the sound cuts out, but her face lingers on, silent before it fades into nothingness. Jeez, okay. This must be Artemis, and they are clearly in need of help. I need to find a way to boost their signal. So we gotta locate a long distance transmitter, okay. Uh, here we are, we're arriving on the planet. Hollow Terminus, uh, detected. Well, I wanna go check out this unknown grave first, since we're already down here. Hope these sentinels or hope whoever was flying around just now isn't a sentinel. All right, let's drop out. Let's check it out. Uh, scalding rainstorms. Oh yeah, I remember this place. Here we go. Well, let's, uh, final log. Let's see. I asked. Question that no one had asked. It was simple. The sentinels. What are sent? do they come from? Made it my life's work to find. Left logs. Records across worlds. The fallen traveler's grave is marked by a glyph. An, an epitaph. Some ancient technology. Let's, uh, extract it. I obtained the glyph, and with the ability to travel to unknown worlds, I leave a fallen traveler in peace. Oh, sweet. So we got one out of 16 glyphs. That's something, I guess. Um, now, is there anything on this planet that I'm gonna wanna, like, try to get? I don't know who that ship is, but I think for now, well, how far is that signal? It's not that far. Should arrive there soon. Yeah, like five seconds. Whoa. Yeah, this planet looks 
pretty gnarly, man. Might want to stop here quick. That looked like some good stuff in there. Store point saved. Let's see. Oh, nice. Look, we got our first creature already. What is that guy doing? Who, who is that? Little drone thing. Hmm. Oh, that's a sentinel. Shit. Okay. So it's probably going to be trying to get me or something because I'm here and there's like a bunch of uh, rare resources. Let's see. Like we got frost wart. Yeah, that's pretty good. Frost wart crystal. How much is that? Uh, yeah, really not worth that much, but use it to survive a frozen conditions of a uh, world. So it'll probably be used for crafting or something, you know? And ooh, frozen tubers. That looks valuable. We got three, seven of them. Uh, not really. It just makes a edible product or uh, restores 5% life power. That's decent. I'll use that instead of using fuel. And ooh, we hit the jack load right here. Look at all the sodium, man. Oof. I, lo I love to see it. And uh, this kind of looks like it, I think. <laughs> this has to be it. There's a huge ship, stuff lying about. Let's initiate Lance landing um here we are restore point saved let's uh oh nope it, it, we're nowhere near it man we're we're way we're way past it whatever there might be some loot here let's go check it out we got a log here um these corvax really are something aren't they what made it tick what was the point it just stared at us we made a great deal of profit about last port we asked the corvax what it wanted to do with its share it spoke for the last time since boarding a freighter it said <laughs> it just cuts out. A Corvax showed me a secret. There's not long to go now. We must head towards the center. We must. Okay, sweet. So we got that. Um, crewmate manifest missing. Limited data available. All right. Uh, doesn't look like there's like any other materials for us. So let's go back to that area over to the left and we'll go check that place out. All right. Now that looks like it up here. Wow. <laughs> I got, got attacked by a plant while I was coming up. Sweet. Dreams of Savak uh, Laos. Let's see. I convulse as I reach out and touch for beautiful stone marker. My mind, filled with deadly knowledge of true history of the Gek. We are the masters of the galaxies, the overlords of a cosmos. Each foe will submit with bended knee to the almighty Gek Dominion. We are the first spawn. Look upon our works and despair. Um, we could seep help with language or seep, uh, seek knowledge of a past. I think I'm going to seek knowledge of a past because I can always get help with language just by exploring. Let's get some knowledge of a past. Um, what do we got? Oh, it's over there. Okay, that's not too far. There should be something over there, I guess. Let's check it out. Oh, wait, no. It, it, it's way farther, dude. It's, it's like fucking nine minutes away. We gotta fly there. Now, are we looking for something else? <laughs> like, I'm about to fly away, but this red thing is still here. Yeah, we are. It, like, something this way, I guess. Oh, yep, there we go. We have found it. Um, I do not want to call my starship. It's not that far away. But I'll go check out all the containers and whatnot, see what we can take home. Got a Gek relic from that first one. And uh, let's go check inside of these places. Got some navigational data. That's just 12 nanites. That's not really cool. What about this place? We got a plant and we got, oh, sweet. Another, oh, oh, 40 nanites. Yo, that's, that's baller. That's better. Gonna be rich, man. That's what I'm talking about. And what the fuck is that? Oh, dude, that's an organism. That's a gross looking creature. Let's check the damaged machinery. We got to take out these uh useful fluids. I swear if it was fluid. I, I don't know. Like one day, I think I'm just going to like keep on storing them in bulk. And then eventually I'll go through it. Why is a sentinel just following me and watching me? Like uh, it got me very on edge, bro. Um, Okay, so the hollow terminus is up there. We just got to go up the stairs, I guess. Let's climb ladder. Wow. <laughs> we really got a ladder right here. Why didn't we just use our jetpack? Okay, I guess, I guess what, whatever works. Like, look, just jetpack up. There we go. That's a bit faster. I'm already getting some speed running strats. You know, I'm getting good at this. Now, we got to charge this condenser. We got to use a bit of sodium to do that. Put some sodium in, and then we should be able to activate it. Yep, the tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. The extra power should allow me to re-establish connection to Artemis. Um, yeah, let's tune to Artemis's frequency. I try to locate Artemis's frequency. Lo uploading the data from... I try to locate Artemis's frequency. Uploading the data from our previous communication. And signal match detected. Hey, we got it. Let's see. Ah, oh, Ooga Booga, look, there he is. What's up, bro? Who's there? It's you again, isn't it? You really are, aren't you? You aren't a dream. 
Say you are real. I'm sorry, it's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the... It's easy to create a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry. I haven't heard another voice in so long. Not since I cut the speaker from my exosuit. Said such terrible things. Uh, so who are you? I'm just like you. You are a traveler of worlds, aren't you? Um, ask how they know. They do not respond with speech. They transmit a vision. A red star and a fragile world. I do not understand the shapes within. The whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxy. I see the stranger's first breath, yearning for the stars. I see myself, slumbering in the crimson void, waiting for a dream of worlds. And through the darkness, I hear it said, Anomaly detected! Oh, designation, traveler. Awaken? What, <laughs> what I just showed- what I showed you just now, it has haunted me since I awoke. You must recognize it too. We are travelers, discoverers of worlds. From the moment you opened your eyes, you must have known that you were not like the others. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was on a journey to finally meet. It cannot be a coincidence that you found this signal. Tell me, you still have that data log from that crash ship. Uh, yeah, let's... We'll upload the data. I upload my exosuit's records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found of a crashed vessel. Much of my equipment is damaged. I am alone, on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I don't even know how your signal is reaching me, but this sun you found it. But this ship you found. It belonged to me once. Perhaps there's hope after all. So we got his ship. I guess we, yeah, that's the ship we claimed. We need to work out where we both are. If you build signal boosters across the system, it should be able to tri triangulate your position. I'll be able to find my way out you, and you'll get all the answers you see. Okay, let's agree with a plan. Thank you. You're going to save my life. You're going to find me. All right. Now we did that. We got to go around placing uh, beacons, I suppose. First off, let me go and... Oh man, I, I I didn't sprint when I started it. I kind of failed that, and I got it got fall damage too. I do think I have enough materials now with a magnetized ferrite being done to get rid of a few of these. There we go. That's starting to look a bit better. There we go. I need some more chromatic metal, which comes from copper. But I've got quite a bit of stuff starting to get a uh, cleared out. I gotta make dioxide and just normalized pure ferrite for those two but we are getting there like the ship's looking a lot better now we got this memory fragment which will give us an important technology upgrade uh launch thruster modules it's a moderate upgrade uh, okay doesn't seem as useful as it's hyping it up to be but whatever okay so to start we need to build some signal boosters we need metal plating and carbon nanotubes i think i can make those um no i need ferrite dust okay so looks like i'm gonna go mining quick at least in this area there's a bunch of ferrite dust and i also see some copper over there so i'm gonna go try to fly over there we need about 200 to fix our rocket launcher that'll make our ship a lot better in case we end up getting attacked there's some floating crystals over here. These might be good. I'm just hoping sentinels don't attack us. Let's see. Oh, we got a glowing mineral. There we go. No worries here. We got it, man. I don't think the sentinel uh, knows where we are right now. It's not following me. I think I actually lost it for the time being. So I would guess, though, if it was watching us, it would probably be like, hey, you can't be mining those two star materials. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we get lots of copper fast we should have an, more than enough not only fix the rocket launcher but also do some other stuff because we need more chromatic metal as well and he actually looks straight up there's like even more more copper hanging out up there i need to get on top of a cliff though so i think i'm just gonna go back with this amount it should be good pirate attack oh shit okay so there's two hostile ships coming in. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. There we go. Here we go. Right here. Come on. Get in. Get in. Oh, my God. I, I got an achievement. Get out of here. <laughs> I know. I got the achievement for Nomad. Now, let's fix our rocket launcher. There we go. They're about to get messed up, man. There we go. We start shooting him. We start shooting him. And then we hit him with the rocket. Nice. There we go. Easy. Pirate raid defeated. We, we've impressed our first Gek. Hey, we got like 300,000 credits for that as well. That was really good. Now, let's get that metal plating made. That way, I can put down a signal booster. Place it down right here. There we go. It's a triangulate position. Maybe that'll work. Uh, okay. Ready for next position. Oh, I gotta go all the way off there. It's off planet. <laughs> okay. I wanna go check out that other, uh, spot down there, that ancient ruin quick before we leave. But yeah, after we do that, we'll be good to go. All right. Yep. This looks like the spot. Some funky stuff going on over here. Let's see. Can I just hop on in? Um, nothing 
really in here just a ruin oh is it underground i see okay let's go let's see artifact fragment sweet there's one okay i see if a structure kind of spawned inside of a rock that's why it's all like weird but we dug it out maybe it didn't even spawn there maybe it's just fallen into the earth you know Let, let's just try to imagine that <laughs> uh, there we go i got some more of those ancient keys now i don't know really how useful those are i would i would imagine they are but i've yet to find somewhere to use them on i guess though the next place i'll go is that suitable uh site but let's go yeah it says about six seven seconds not that far beginning suborbital flight oh we're entering the atmosphere again Jeez. yeah I, I need to i need to get off this planet um we're just like too close to it right now okay here we go let's go suitable site location let's go all right here we are we're on the planet i think i've got to do something with this it's a scalding rainstorm place if you remember that oh exosuit upgrade i'll take that we need some more carbon nanites and an antimatter housing not too hard to make or uh carbon nano tubes but there we go that'll give us another slot in our exosuit i'll take it upgrade there we go now we can carry even more stuff i love it now we got to put down another signal booster which costs metal plate and carbon nanotube let's put it down let's build it let's say uh triangulate position there we go i'm gonna grab some of the stuff out of these damaged containers put in our starship and remember to loot them twice like a, we got a corvax casing and then something else there and then we can save and chart this place and i think i'm gonna get back into my ship because we're about to be set on fire by the storm oh oh shit oh shit like Light, lightning lightning we gotta go ah oh uh, i went through a tree do you have to charge my launch thruster quick and then okay there we go now let's go to the next uh suitable uh site it says we'll arrive in about four seconds or so so it's not too bad we're f we're like flying upside down let's uh fix that a bit there we go we'll get to landing right here and i'll check out this area as well for any loot we can uh save and chart this area as well that'll be cool and uh yeah there's an outpost here whoa look it's a traitor oh my man oh my oh my i hope you'll be we'll be able to understand him a small creature is busy adding up trade profits when i appear sensing me their eyes widen in anticipation and they rub their fingers together greedily <laughs> friend geck um shoot man i don't know much um let's uh give 100 units the life form is clearly thrilled they give me a piece of technology in exchange sweet all spitter matter whoa supremely powerful upgrade for the pulse split a spitter I believe i can install that on my ship can i not or um is that a is that something for me um i'm not sure i'll have to figure it out but that's an s tier upgrade check it out inside what does he have going on um just some chairs and little table here a uh, Gek Observatory. Life form that works or worked in this installation left its equipment scanning the skies for interesting new systems and spatial phenomena. In its absence, it struck gold. A beacon has been received and a transmission sequence awaits response. One two two one two one one two one two. Um, I'm gonna guess two one two one. Discover a location within the distant stars. Ooh, cool. All right, that's pretty baller. We got a signal going on all the way over there. We'll have to check out. But we have met 35 aliens. There we go. We're getting more and more friendly with the people out there. <laughs> Not the people, I guess the life forms. But what do we have? Oh, we got the Gek word for the. That's a really good word to learn. <laughs> got a lot of good stuff in here. Um... What did I come to do here? Oh, yeah. I got to place down signal booster. I think I could have picked it up as well. Um instead of just recrafting them but whatever okay at least it's done we'll triangulate position and there we go that should help and whoa 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 sentinel drones investigating what do you mean hello pilot work gek neff the little creature opens and closes their beaks silently their eyes narrow a faint smell lingers in the air they wait for me to say something um let's offer to trade what do they have whoa black market modifications um it cost a lot of nanites each but um i need to look more into those before i get into buying them now let's pick up this uh signal booster because it says so no reason just to leave it there for <laughs> i don't know we we might come back here i i saved and charted this place right um yeah let's save again because that outpost is pretty cool and there's like some trading potential here with that other ship too so yeah let's go back out into outer space and i'll try to go to that ancient rune um incoming message oh shoot 
Oh, there we go. It's Artemis again. When I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. And here we are, aren't we? Go to a hollow terminus. Upload your data. Let's find each other. Oh, sweet. Okay. I don't really care about that right now, though. Right now, I'm trying to get to this ancient ruin. This uh, is an unknown moon. We haven't been to this one yet. And yeah, here we go. We got a trade frequency. Are, are you kidding me? Right here? Prosperous friend. Uh, something, something planet. The pilot looks like a normal trader, but instead of a usual range of goods, they only carry trinkets and curios. I wonder what lead to such an unusual cargo. Um, so we can bargain for a relic for 300 sodium. Try to do that. A relic is worth the asking price, even if I am unsure what exactly it's for. These items are highly valued by the people who live in this system. Sweet, we got an abandoned material. What's that? Um, wow, 162 units for 300, uh, carbon or, uh, whatever we gave him? That, that's really good. We are entering the atmosphere of this new planet. Let's check it out. We'll press C to scan our surroundings. And here we are, an ancient ruin. Um, yeah, we got knowledge stones. I love these, man. Uh, oh, we got an achievement or something happening. No, just new planetary record. Smallest planet. Okay. We learned the geck word for I. Perfect. And then over here, we will learn the geck word for you. And then we have this geck plaque. As I touch the obelisk, images of a planet's ancient past flood my mind. The terrible beginnings of the Gek have been absorbed by this strange stone, and their tale seems desperate to escape. All who hear our words know of our might. Those who oppose us are broken to our will. Behold, the power of the Gek first spawn. Galaxies lie at our feet. We are eternal. Um, let's seek help with the language. My knowledge of a Gek increases. We learned the Gek word for two. Oh, so that just gives us one Gek word? That kind of sucks, I guess, compared to the other one, but I don't really know what the other one gives us. It gives us keys, but I haven't found something to use those keys for. We have Sentinel on this planet as well, scanning us down. I'm gonna go into our ship, though, and let's go over to that terminal. I don't think it's too far away. Oh, yeah, it's back on the other planet, so let's go and leave the atmosphere. We'll get out of here and then go back. Arriving in... Yep, here we are. I can see it. I can see the site. Let's go ahead and land, and I haven't saved and charted this spot. Well, I have now. There we go. All right, let's activate the comms tower, and we'll see if this works now. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter. All right, so we'll activate the transmitter, and then homie should pop up. All right, there's our boy. What's up, Artemis? Have you triangulated your position? Yes, I have. Confirm. Excellent. We're really getting somewhere. Hold on. I'll just... Artemis transmits some data of their own, a star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old fashioned approach. I've sketched the stars. You should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll patch my translator through so that you understand what they're saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but, y but that should only take a few words. Okay, good luck, or maybe see you soon. And, uh... Oh, he gives us Artemis's translator. Okay, so let's go ahead and build that. We're going to put a microprocessor and some current... Uh, copper in it. There we go. And then we can speak with aliens on planets and space stations to learn their dialect, learn words. Yeah, I know about all that. I would really like to install the S tier translator, which is the advanced translator. We need some platinum, some convergence tube and wiring loom for that. But whoa, look, there's a landed pilot over here. What's going on? Hello, friend. Who are you? What kind of sh spaceship of Captain Kesprom? Who is this? Hello. The Gek looks at me curiously, as if they had not expected to meet another person on this planet. They eye their surroundings carefully. Oh, uh, let's offer to trade. What do they have? Oh, a bunch of black market modules. Cool. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to get this mining beam module off of him. Because that does seem like it'd be a pretty uh, baller thing to have. So I think we should go over to a space station now. Try to buy some materials that we need. And we have found an alien outpost out there. So, um... Yeah, we might as well go there first. It's not that far away. <clears throat> and whoa, look look at that. Over to the left, there's like some floating rocks. And ooh, we landed at a space station. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, yo, check that out. Look, like floating rocks. That's awesome. Let's go uh, talk to homie work geck. What's up, bruh? Oh, geez, man. He's got a face. Friend, I geck trade federation. I help. Um, Request dialect help. Okay, um, 
As I turn to leave, Work Gek uh, pulls at my sleeve. They must have appreciation my interest in their history, as they hand me a chart with directions to an ancient relic. We learned a Gek word for is, and we got a planetary chart. Cool. It went into our starship because our inventory is full. That could have been very dangerous, but let's check that out. We'll see where that is. Alien artifact detected. Okay, we're at in that direction. Cool. So, yeah, well, we could just run over there. Try to clean up our inventory just a little bit. We only got a couple slots, so not much that we can do, but I'm going to try to install this uh, band liquid cooling beam. It just gives us a 10% bonus to mining speed. It's not that great, but I'm going to try to store this technology in here. That way I can move that guy over with them, and now they're all linked. And then I can go and reinstall the bolt caster right there. You can save and chart this location. And then I think I'm just going to explore the area. There's berry technology module underground. But I think I'm just going to fly there because it's going to be a lot faster. Um, oh, 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 nice. Okay. Thank God we were able to maneuver over a rock. I was about to crash right into it. All right. I see it. I see the uh, knowledge stone. The ruins of Seacox. Let's check it out. Memories imbued into the rock long ago by the ancient Gek channeled into my brain. I recoil, but I'm compelled to somehow understand. The time and space the first spawn endures eternally, ever. Watchful, unyielding over its domain. Each foe will be crushed. Only the Gek will remain. I want to seek help with language. My knowledge of a Gek increases. Nice. So we learned the word for not, and that allows us to calibrate the translator fully. That's something weird over here. Metal fingers. Okay. Make sure I have room for these. So what are these? Oh, they're made of uranium. And wow, 240 uranium? Jeez, man, that's that's a lot. Oh my. <laughs> like it, uh, that's really good uranium is like the best ship fuel in the game at least that i've come across so far so i'm gonna mine each one of these there are three star material definitely worth it all right there we go i got them all and i do see a copper deposit down there so i'm gonna hit that as well before we try to leave here Woo! look at this one that looks like a fat stack yeah that is a dummy thick amount of copper well we got it though all right so we got an alien life form to go track down i think it's gonna be on this planet if it's on this planet i'll go see that guy uh yeah we'll arrive in like 30 seconds it's not too far but soon i do want to hit the trade hub because we got a lot of materials we got a lot of different stuff to go through in fact let me go my uh personal refiner i'm gonna go ahead and put some of that uh copper in at least half of it oh wait we can start to make some uh chromatic metal all right we are here and yeah i did see a knowledge stone over there i'm grabbing that right away here we are we learn a new word we learned a geck word for units nice hey we learned 60 words now you know that, that's not it's not a lot you know like i i think my son who's like three he he knows more words than that but we're getting there you know it's gonna be a long way oh sentinel drones activated are you kidding me okay i'm getting out of here man fuck this starship uh interceptors deploying what oh no man not right now there we go one down standing decreased with the gek oh no oh no i don't really want to do that so it might just be better for us to get out of here there we go i think we lost him i think uh, yeah that looks a bit better i'll go back there eventually where's the space station all right let's hope we don't get sucked into orbit oh we were just about to skim it we escaped yeah i really don't <laughs> want to uh indulge in like making the gex mad as far as i know right now we gotta talk to a lot of them so might be a good idea if we don't do that all right here we are let's oh no oh no. <laughs> i meant to dock there uh, oopsie okay there we go Oof. What, what a joke now don't i have like a bunch of planetary charts yeah navigational data i gotta exchange that with a cartographer is this guy i believe he, yeah he's the cartographer let's see if we can talk to him hello friend make trade of map um yes let's uh exchange specific charts um oh i see so we can exchange charts for different stuff like settlements exosuit upgrades wow i think i kind of want to ball out and just get like a bunch of planetary charts we can get 30 of them i believe yeah, we can get 30 planetary charts. Let's do it. They contain directions to a point of interest, so hopefully that'll help us learn even more words. Are you maybe friend, strong, weak, guild does not? Okay, so <laughs> perhaps if I could impress them by undertaking work from mission listings agent. Okay, so let's take a look at that now. This guy's given missions. Um, Scan minerals. 
Yeah, I'm always doing that. So we'll start that mission. Then let's do 11 creatures. I feel like that's reasonable. We end up fighting creatures as well. And I'll chill with just those two missions. I'll see if I can do those in the background. Now, in order to get the translator working, we need two more wiring looms. So we'll go and buy those. Then we need platinum. And we also need an advanced transport later plart and then we also need two convergence cubes and then some platinum let's see if we can buy those here um no we cannot that sucks we can buy more gold though which is good because we do need more it's gonna eat up a lot of our money but that's all right i'm gonna go off and sell some of my stuff here it's rough right now because i don't really know like what all is the best to sell or like what we should hold on to oh look at that multi-tool he's got there this one has like so many slots let's compare it that is a c tier but it's worth like two mil compared to ours which is worth like forty three thousand. okay so i might invest in one of those uh eventually try to get one of them i think i gotta go back to base quick i'm gonna drop off a bunch of materials and then we'll go back out exploring all right we're back let's go to our storage crate we're gonna ram everything in there quick there we go that's better Whew. all right there we go now i've got an empty ship I've got a lot of room on my exosuit as well, but everything's looking a lot better. I wonder if I can just use these planetary charts on my own planet. Will that work? Uh, alien monolith detected. Yeah, I think they will. Just up that way. So we're gonna have to fly our ship over there because it is quite a, a bit of distance away. In fact, it might even be easier if we go to space a little bit and try to just warp there. And here we are. We're arriving. There should be something around here. Yep, I see it. And oh, wow. Okay, so this is the one with all of the knowledge stones. That's stacked. These are all Corvax words. So I'll have to use this in like different places in order to learn, you know, all of the words and whatnot is there anything up here yeah there is oh geez man i don't know why i haven't gone here before past is impossible resist oh i ache for a past i cannot remember every inch of my soul wants to make a leap back i look to the skies of the infinity beyond and i truly abandon my journey when it's only begun let's uh resist temptation i try to capture a memory of sensations before turning away the spirit that dwells here admires my decision i am rewarded oh we learned the atlas word for traveler nice okay so that's a uh different so i guess that's how we learn the words for atlas and then we can learn like corvax words and whatnot but if i activate like another planetary chart there'll be another one on this planet i'm supposing yeah alien artifact detected sweet so i'll go to that next one as well just to see what it is because it looks like a different symbol but at least i know i can grind those and you know like do a bunch of those on different planets in order to learn words fast and here we are at another location let's see what it has for us yep we are here so on the ground floor does not appear to be a whole lot there is a knowledge stone up there so i'm gonna grab that before i forget what word are we gonna learn from this one we learned the corvax word for butt nice and what do we have in here we got a knowledge stone right there i'll take it here's like there's a another one down there as well and then there's this thing right here so i guess it each time it gives us like a little riddle or something um and then it's asking us again if we want help with language or knowledge of the past let's seek help with language nice learn the corvax word for power i'll take it let's go over to uh this thing over here there we go corvax word for process and i believe that's all of them there is a knowledge stone in the distance down there i can go grab but yeah it's looking pretty good what i will probably do though is uh grab this and then go back to our base soon just that way we can try to continue with the uh main story as we're getting rewards we're getting like like upgrades and stuff so i'm thinking it'll probably be worthwhile doing a lot of that stuff first and then once i'm at like you know the day 30 point or something like that i don't know then i should mostly be focused on just trying to uh explore and find different things all right i think it's time for us to go back to base now so i'm gonna go use that teleporter to go back into that other system that we were hanging out in before and here we are let's land and get on out oh no 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 i pressed the wrong button oh man oh that sucks that costs money Money, bro that cost cost me money to do that okay and we landed right next to the base wow couldn't have been any closer let's talk to the terminal quick see if it now let's head back into that spot i know where it is because of the deadly symbol and at least there's also like a mission symbol there as well so you don't get completely lost as if you just start to go to random bases and go all around the galaxy there's a lot of different places you know so the plan now is i guess to continue the story we'll go back on out all right 
Let's try to go back to talk to that life form because we got that ready. There's high sentinel activity. So yeah, we got to be fast with going in and out of there. But at the very least, we're doing it. Like we're on our third uh, system so far. And I think we're likely going to be trying to move to the fourth soon. And ooh, that looks like a bunch of those uh, frost things that I got from before. I think I'm going to grab these. And... I almost guess that it's going to be that space station over there, at least. I'm going to try to land there next. Yeah, because this is the approximate location. It might be a little bit farther, but at least we can land here. Let's see. Who's all here? Are there damaged containers? Is this place abandoned? Um, oh, no. I, I see people in there. There's other ships and stuff, too, so... It's just... <laughs> nobody's checked these. Nice. Hello there, attendant. Can I talk to him? Oh, we can make an offering on the life forms ship, and then we can see... They have a C-tier class ship. We can negotiate the price. And if we trade... Our, oh, we could also trade our current ship with different aliens and then exchange units as well so that's interesting at least if we see a nice ship you know we can buy it off them if we have enough friend is the nearby oh man <laughs> we only got like half of it translated um let's request some dialect help let's do trade uh geck word for give awesome i'll talk to everybody here first and then i'll talk to the other guy geck trade lords willing to give discount to and then we don't know <laughs> all right let's request dialect help we'll go with a friendship symbol and we have learned the geck word for please We've got a galactic trade terminal oh sweet so we can buy and sell stuff here i see they don't really have much that we need right now here though so i'm just gonna go on to talk to the merchant oh friend gek trade protocol forbids transactions with beings of unknown credit history through the garble of artemis translator it is clear that i am not yet able to make an impact among the gek i need to improve my reputation rank okay so we do that by doing missions for them of course i think on top of that i'm going to try to scan one of those uh, planetary charts and maybe i'll do like some of those on this planet i'll go out to one of those and then i'll explore the area i get i do have to top up my uh fuel for the engine we're gonna have to probably get either some pyrite or titanium but uranium basically powers our launch thruster like we don't have to worry about that at all and i'm also wondering because we got that one mission like to kill some life forms we could try to do that i don't know if we want to do that here or on a different planet like try to find some hostile life forms but we'll figure it out i see the ancient plaque is it i guess it's just one. Oh yeah it's got a little thing in front of it so that's all right it's activated and uh let's get some knowledge help let's seek help with the language my knowledge of a gex increases we learned the gek word for ah so that's a start oh no there's a sentinel checking us out looking at what we're doing and stuff better get out of here so the drones are alerted by harvesting resources that isn't good so do, do i just shoot like some of these guys i can't there we go i killed one damn that guy's beefy man take some shots for him all right we've arrived up next one this one's a monolith so this one has multiple stones for us all right come on i just need to <laughs> i need to hunt a few more animals around here these sentinels are attacking me right now they're not too impressed with my <laughs> my animal hunting ways so we completed that quest i'm gonna go back to our normal deeds uh we need to try to get out of here though now we should be able to go back to the mission agent now we got pirates attacking us now that is not good but i very i killed one of them let's try to get on out of here we'll go fast we get out of orbit sentinel target lock in progress are you kidding me they're that fast dude there we go killed it right away that was simple we got some nanites for that now let's get out of here oh man <laughs> keep on going i can't warp out in time all right let's try to use the pulse engine and escape um it did not work they've caught up now they are coming in hot man this could not go well <laughs> like maybe just keep on coming i can't escape i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to beat them though one down shooting another evan rocket look works out well rocket launcher critically damaged oh no we had to really repair it just there like we very lucky we still have the materials for it there we go okay we did it come on go get out of here man oh no oh no shield down that is not good that went down fast what the hell is going on man <laughs> i can't do it anything right now i'm like stuck i'm like going zero a uh, second i i still have my stuff i just don't have my uh shield upgrade anymore yeah it's just pulling me right in oh no man oh no i don't see this going well like i'm like inside of a ship or some shit dude because i can't move i can't do anything yeah like i can't do anything right here dude I i'm literally stuck inside of a fucking ship there's like no yeah like look at this look at this dude Ah! Get me out, man! Get me out! I'm gonna lose all my shit! My ship's gonna explode because of this bullshit! Come on! No! 
No. Um, just fucking exit, man. I don't care. Let's see. Let's see if that, that does the trick. Okay, sweet. I think it did. Yo, we're in outer space. Don't have sentinels bothering us. Wow. Okay. Well, I won't abuse that a lot, but more than glad to abuse it that time. That was some nonsense, bro. Oh, no. It looks like we're about to run out of pulse engine fuel. Yikes. Okay. We have to mine asteroids. It's not the worst thing in the world. Like, it could be more difficult, but yeah, like, that one's silver. That one is actually gold. That's kind of valuable. Ah, finally. Okay. We got a few of them over here. Come on. On break. Oh, are we not fart. Oh no. Oh no. What is going on over there? A bunch of ships. What the fuck? Are you good guys or bad guys? What's going on here? Um, there's a freighter over there. What do we go up to it? Oh, uh, oh yeah, we're landing. Okay, let's go see what's up. Who is in here? This is a EV5 capital ship. Well, they let us on right away. And there's another ship over there. There's a Commander Kohal up at the top. Let's go check it out. Um, oh, look. Yep, there's a bunch of guys. Can we talk to any of these ones? Yeah, we can. We can talk to the hireling. Um, but we cannot get information off him. That's unfortunate. Let's talk to the commander, though. Welcome, friend. Delivery, the best route. You. Um, offer to buy the freighter. How much? 18? Wow. So we could actually buy this ship. Jeez, man. And then we'd have, like, a whole crew and whatnot. Oh, man, that's sick. I didn't even think of that, like, in this game. But, okay, that's as dope as that is. We do have a fuel to fill up our starship now. We should be able to put that in the pulse engine. Now we got 74%. That should get us to the space station in time, and we can turn in that mission. Oh, whoa, fugitive starship. That isn't good. Where's that? Um, dread pirate. Yeah, we could check him out. I don't know. I think we could probably handle him. There we go. We just got to knock the shield and then hit him with that rocket launcher. And that'll give us some increased standing with the Gek as well. So that might help with our mission. Oh, wait. Standing with the Gek has decreased. Never mind. What? Interceptors are coming. Oh, no, man. Oh, no. I'm out. Okay, so what did I do? Was there, like, police there or something? Backup? That's what I'm supposing, but I don't know. Like, I, I thought I was getting attacked by enemies. I'm pretty certain. Well, let's go back on in. We got a hand in that one mission and then maybe buy some new stuff so we just got to go over to the mission board and we should be able to turn that in for some standing here we go hand in mission nice and oh that was with the mercenaries guild that wasn't even with the geck i think for now for the time being i'll just go back out and start exploring we still got like two other planets we haven't discovered and i think one of them is like really close or right next to us yeah just this planet right here so let's go over to there we got salvageable scrap copper rusted metal cobalt and high sentinel activity our favorite all right we got a low atmosphere so this is going to be like a moon we have some cobalt deposits lying around some rusted metal metal uh deposits that's pretty different subterranean relic let's go check it out oh no our life support we gotta put some of that in and uh there we go oh it's going down fast i guess because there's like no oxygen on this planet now this relic is pretty deep down all the way hidden here oh it's supposed to be in a cave i guess okay well, we got two of them we also got a cave to uh discover a bunch of stuff in i don't know if this moon is quite worth exploring might be a good idea though to go check out the planet that's like right near it i'm not sure which one is the undiscovered one but if we take a look you can see we've discovered these two and yeah yeah, right now one of the moons i guess it orbits into here and then goes over so right now this place has like two moons on it right now that's wild and then there is a unknown planet just in the distance i believe in the other direction of this one all right there is the unknown planet it's about yeah you know, 1k away not 1k 1000 but <laughs> technically 1k i guess object of interest Ooh, what's that oh a trade frequency no thank you no thank you uh i guess okay i'll talk to them what do they have he got some platinum that's big that place has a uh, copper paraffinium um i believe that's one of the things i need to find as well and some salt no platinum but it's a start all right whoa is this all water the weather is beautiful this is a paradise planet yeah like all of this seems to be like underwater or something is there terrain here i think i 
did get a exosuit thing. Yeah, I just need a bit of silver, and then I'd be able to explore underwater. But is this whole planet just water? Or did I just, like, land at a really, like, shitty spot? <laughs> I can't tell. Uh, looks like there's land over there, I think. I don't know, let's go see. Uh, yeah, that's land. Okay, so it's just got, like, a huge ocean or whatever, but that's pretty cool. Let's land and check it out. What do we have on this planet? This is a paradise planet called Uset. It's 13.2 Celsius right now. That's amazing. That's like earth temperature. There's different floral all around. There's different rocks all around. I see a knowledge stone in the distance and another one over there. Oh, there's a lot, dude. There's one over there too. There's one in the middle going over to it. I saw like four in total. Let's scan all of these creatures. We got a knowledge stone right here and learn some more geck words. And wow, dude, like there's a lot of different life forms, a lot of different species of plants and everything here. This is a sick planet. This might be like next base location. And here we go. Another knowledge stone plus a bunch of loot. I'm gonna drop one of these uh, coordinate things that I have. That way it's just on this planet. We can go for that soon. Man, there's just like a trail of them. This is the fifth one I've found just from landing in this area. There we go. Learned another word. Just so much stuff out here, man. Like we got <laughs> another three knowledge stones like stacked, man. This is a beautiful planet. I love it here. Oh, no. Ooh, that could have been bad. Oh my, you'd think it ends, but it just doesn't. We just keep on finding more knowledge stones. That's good. So whenever we run into more Gex in the future, we should be able to understand a majority of what they're saying. Here's another one. We got the Gex word for it. I don't know if we're learning uh, the same words over and over again. I hope it's a new word each time. I think our spree is finally uh, coming to an end. All right, so now we got to turn around. We got to go find that exosuit upgrade. It should be down there in the drop pod. And here is the cargo pod. So we go in here and I think we should have to probably repair something. Yep. Um, carbon nanites and antimatter housing. That's not too hard to craft. Oh, it is when we don't have any inventory room. Get rid of a bit of junk and then we'll get those crafted. Let's put in the stuff and there we go. That should give us an exosuit upgrade. We can select either new technology or new cargo space. Jeez, e either one would be really stacked. I think we are go for cargo space for now, I suppose. And I'm going to save and chart this area. So I, I definitely want to focus on exosuit upgrades eventually. Like, those will help out a lot being able to have extra things attached to us like uh right now we're very limited as we can't really put anything else on and even with like our inventory space it's it's pretty pathetic like we don't we don't got a lot of room for anything all right let's check out what this alien plaque is talking about let's seek help with a lot language and we got one word out of it like uh, that's not much compared to just the normal s knowledge stones that we find pretty much everywhere like yeah there's one up there that's basically just as valuable as this entire shrine unless there's something i'm missing like i don't think there is do i go on top of it Ooh. <laughs> yeah no there's nothing up here but hey we got geck rank three that's actually stacked we needed to reach rank two with the gex and we've reached rank three somehow maybe because we know enough words or like we're uh fluid enough in their tongue now i'm gonna go collect a few more knowledge stones before i decide to head on out of here we have been learning a lot of geck words so i'm feeling a lot more confident for when we do run into them hopefully not every conversation is just a bunch of mumbo jumbo now there's a bunch of subterranean relics around here i feel like i should probably try to grab them I don't exactly know what they're gonna lead to but oh of course a big cave <laughs> thank you I'll, I'll take them and nice there's like four of them over here that's a good haul and oh never mind this one's got like seven we're in the money now i'm gonna mine my way out of this cave just going straight yep that worked <laughs> right out to a knowledge stone all right now i'm gonna call back my ship and we got another journey stone uh yeah, 100 words, yo. We are almost, almost like as intelligent as I would say my son was when he was two. You know, <laughs> you know, as far as when it comes to being a, around the Gex. But yeah, we got some stuff. I got a feeling that there's going to be a lot of life forms and other stuff on this place. Just It's probably within the water or something. So I'm going to get out of here for now. We got our standing improved. We have the translator ready. All we got to do is go over to the location. That'll take a whole minute and a half. Jeez. Like, I might as well go for a bong. 
That's fucking wild, man. Ah, oh, no. Why do we have a threat detected nearby? That isn't good. Oh, are these all tritinium? Oh, no. Th some of them are silver. Some of them are gold nugget. But, uh... Oh, I think those are bad guys coming in. Let's see. We should have enough. Yeah, we got 69 at least now. That's, that's a little bit better. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm not trying to fight all those guys. <laughs> His threat level is dangerous. Yeah. I'm good. You know, we'll, we'll skip out on that one. Maybe we'll do some pirate hunting eventually but for now no way all right here we are entering the atmosphere let's go back over to the site now that we have a good standing with the gek and we understand a lot more of her words we should be able to make out with this conversation and continue the story all right let's go on over and talk to him hello merchant i'm back and i am now loved by your kind let's ask for information about this star system life form shakes their head disappointed in me i try to resist smelling their gas but odor permeates my exosuit vents even my life support system i'm filled with an overwhelming desire to purchase things what about how about offer units for information I offer units to the repeating my request for information the smiles the gas receding they appear to have found the entire exchange amusing yeah, I guess so. In exchange for the amusement, they offered to decode the star chart for free. Oh, awesome. Strange behavior for first greeting, friend. Trade Federation, pleased to establish new customer, friend. Please plasm me the data for the examination. Give them the star chart. Ask the life form to decode the star chart and provide a route to Artemis location. Your data appears to be fabricated, friend, or possibly corrupt. No such location exists. Damn, what, did we just thank and leave? It's a pleasure to do business with you, my friend. Didn't work, man. Azarzma, do, do they even exist, dude? Like, who are they? Are they us? Like, why are we looking for them? Why does it matter? I'm sure we'll find out eventually, but, like, uh, right now, I'm, I'm pretty clueless to why we gotta even help that guy uh artemis person well let's go to space and tell him that the local life forms were unable to detect where he is oh great threat detected where oh way down there so we're good for now there you are i found high ground i think when you arrive i'll fire my multi-tool in the air to mark my location what's wrong why aren't you saying anything and tell him what happened and that we couldn't decipher her star chart they even went as far to claim as those stars don't exist that's impossible i can't have traveled that far from charted space you found my ship suggest the locals are wrong. As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interferes. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, they've altered since I made that chart. Blinked out and how is this possible? What's happened to me? I need to get out of here. I need to. It's quiet at first, but it is there. Unmistaken, growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath her words. A sound as if glass could scream. Just remain silent. The attack does not come. And they speak to me again. I discovered the glyphs for a portal traveler, a gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now I don't even know if a voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was on, still on the inside. I found this place of a darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I was so wrong. I can see their faces. I there's seeds of glass within their Jeez, okay, that's crazy. Um it's as for the glyphs. They're gone. My data fragmented in the I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't. Sixteen. Warn your face. It please not yet. I'm not. The signal cuts off. As it crackles into oblivion, I can hear a name through the static. Apollo. Let's register the ID. A frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. Oh, whoa. Hostile scan detected. What's going on? You'll make a donation, yes? Anyone who is not with us, uh, is against us. Um, I'm gonna refuse that, man. Uh, you declared yourself our enemy. You are no friend, traveler. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. That's a lot of ships, dude. That's a lot of ships. Let, let's maybe get out of here. Where are the bad guys? Okay. There we go. One down. Let's go for the other one. There we go. Another one down. Sweet. Standing increase with the Gex by two. Let's uh look around for a hollow terminus. Okay, we've detected one. Let's go over there. All right, so this place is burning hot. <laughs> we got to get over to this knowledge zone fast. Thing we need to get to is like way over here. Here, just about 200 U's away. And oh, there it is. I see it. There's the location. I'm gonna go hit all of these spots here. We should be able to chart the area. Oh no. Oh no. Our hazard protection's down. <laughs> that was close. Let's save and chart the area. Um, I'm gonna grab these humming sacks. They're worth some good money. And then I'll go over and go contact Apollo. I guess the next person that we need to uh, talk to. We gotta try to do this fast as that storm is crippling, man. I need that heat protection in order to uh, survive out here. All right, let's go. Let's go activate the comms tower. All right, we should be able to tune to Apollo. And now let's run up. Hopefully this should spawn. Hello. Oh, okay. Here's another one. I'm guessing there's four in total. 
total, seeing as there's four different spots. The transmission is silent. The stranger just stares at me. We'll greet them, I guess. Identify yourself, or I end this call. I'm a traveler. Um, and what does that mean, to be a traveler? Um, mention the anomaly. What? Nonsense. You're worse than Artemis and their weird dreams. I'm not interested in dreamers. Oh, but did Artemis send you? Things suddenly make sense. Look, we are not alone. We're not like the rest of life here. Yes, it's strange. No, the answer... No. The answer isn't in wishful uh, delusions. It is just what it is. You can tell Artemis that I haven't changed my mind about meeting. I'll do it if I'm paid to do it. Even this conversation is a waste of valuable time. If ever in trouble. I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble. They attempted to use a portal and became stranded on some distant and an uncharted world disappearing from the network. Your last word was Apollo's name. Apollo's demeanor changes. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself. Let's upload the log. He studies the log, pausing and replaying the various segments of static and distortions. They turn to me with a glow of excitement. These noises, they sound just like the echoes of sent uh, sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Drones that appear from nowhere if you interfere with those precious planets. But this data, it's distorted inverted there's a lot to gain if we figure out how the sentinels appear so quickly and this the portals perhaps they're the key sure uh, i'll agree so what do you say do you want to work together on this be partners or i'll accept if you're gonna work with me we need to expand your base of operations i'll send you a contact of mine they'll supply you with what you need just remember to be polite all right sw sweet so the hologram ends and uh i think we uh have completed that like part of a mission there is a landed pilot over there that's pretty uh suspicious i don't know why they always land near me i mean i'm guessing so it's that we have a chance to trade with them but if this was like real dude I i'd be super hesitant but hey we're famous now we've met 40 aliens so we're getting our name out there okay so let's go into the galaxy map we got to locate apollo's contact it should be in here and a uh yeah it looks like they're just a system over yeah gureg okay um, I guess we can go here next. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's warp to there. This will be a brand new system. Um, this one was also discovered by Skydancer512. Interesting. So it looks like that person was playing the game around here for a little bit. They just didn't explore every single planet in, uh, each place. Okay, sweet. So their contact is right in the space station as well, which is perfect because I'd like to go into there and meet all the new aliens. I believe there's just new guys in each station, so we should be able to go and learn a bunch of words this way all right let's go up here and let's just start talking to everyone traveler this is starship yes excellent <laughs> so we're almost there to understanding all the words can we um impress them with our dialect like let's say starship um nope <laughs> they, they did not like that what if we give them like a piece of ancient technology does that help friend 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 it will offer a gift. One Gek Relic. They accept my gift with gratitude. Awesome. Okay, so we give gifts. That way it increases our standing. I approach the Lost Traveler. Their skin is translucent, as if they were not truly there. Hello, my new friend. What business would you have with me? The lifeform tries to shake my hand, but pauses as we phase through one another. They're fascinated by the encounter. Claiming to be a traveler, it is clear that they come from a very different region of space. They have never heard of Gek, Viking, Corvax, or any of the sites I encountered wish to know more in the spirit of cooperation let's uh bargain for information i offer the traveler everything i know about the species i encountered for a price oh no they do not they do nothing more than turn away but they seem deeply hurt damn we messed that one up they're not doing too good with those guys let's talk to this guy of a secret keeper app ah friend you have arrived as scheduled all the proper permits have been filed and exciting new tools await you what do we have joy I have plans to update both base and exosuit. Where is your base sited? What sort of hazard protection meets your needs? Um, I think heat protection. That'd be nice to get out of the way for now. Okay, cool. So I think we got that. Let's uh install it. Oh no, we don't have room to. Never mind. But now we can also return back to our base if we'd like. Let's see if uh this trade terminal maybe has what we need. Um, nope. Damn. But then we pretty much talked to everybody on a spaceship. Let's go back to our current base. I don't want to make a new base soon. I don't know when, but uh, at least what we got set up right now. It's only temporary. Like, I definitely want to move out of it. All right, here we are, and our furnace is empty. Great, so we got to fix that. And then we need to place a construction terminal. Let's see. So we need uh, chromatic metal and pure ferrite for it. It needs to be built inside. Or no, it doesn't. It needs to be built somewhere so I'll start to refine those things i think yeah i have a bit of copper here all right there we go now we got enough materials to do it i'm gonna place it 
I guess right over here. And then I need to uh, connect our generator uh, to it. Wiring job I have set up right now is not very nice. Um, I could make it a bit better, like if I connect it to the walls and then extend it out like this. And I kind of have it like along the door frame and then that isn't as bad. And oh, we need a skilled overseer in order to use it. So we're going to have to go recruit one. So let's just go back to the space station we were at before because uh maybe we can hire somebody to help us out there and then try to explore the planets in this system now who do i hire navigator no i don't think that's who i need to hire right now i need a base overseer so i'll try to look around for an overseer i'll see if anybody has that at the start of their name uh mining overseer yo i think that is one i think you know we might need to make some money before we can hire an overseer there's an underling over here as well Hello hello friend what do you have to trade um just some random junk really nothing nothing too good we do have room for an exosuit upgrade let's see can i get a uh slot up here that would be nice thank you and now let's modify it by uh i think in our starship or somewhere about yeah down here i have this uh thermal protection module I'd like to put that in there and nice that should be good and there we go i got everything's set up so they're all uh benefiting each other now let's look at the appearance modifier right now we look like anomaly and whoa okay so at least we can do some different stuff right now let's go change the uh first preset to corvax traveler gek or viking Ooh man i think i, I kind of want to be a traveler oh what dude look at all the different like forms we can be okay th that is wild i gotta Check it all out uh, completely. Make sure we pick out the right one. We got a few different head types unlocked right now. We can unlock even more later on. That's cool. And there we go. Yeah, we got a little bit of personal personalization now. Um, Yes, I'd like to save changes. That's cool. I like it. We can change uh, our character and unlock more stuff as well. So I think I'll leave this area for now. Uh, let's see. We got activated copper down there. I believe that was something I do need to find. It's radioactive active abomination so probably be a bit of a dangerous area for us what about the other planets what else do we have access to oh uh, that's an unknown moon that's not too far i think i might just go down to the radioactive abomination i mean we live at one so this one can't be that bad you know all right we are entering the atmosphere um i can't see anything dude are we still falling through clouds or something oh oh there we go okay Oh, no, this is all water or something. Jeez, okay. Uh, can we try to find a spot where there's, like, land? Extreme radiation. Okay, so maybe we shouldn't go there right now. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll wait until we get the upgrade. We'll go to this other planet instead. So, yeah, poison planet seems pretty dangerous. I think we'll go somewhere else. We can check out this guy over here. It's pretty close. I'll we'll try to go to this other place. It's not too far out. So it's got high sentinel activity as well. Let's see, as long as this place isn't stupid dangerous, then I think I'll try to explore it. So far, it's looking pretty green, man. Like, not a good type of green, like a toxic green. All right, here we are. Yeah, it's got a pretty toxic environment. I'm not quite sure if we could survive here. Uh, critical exposure in eight minutes. Yeah, we can. That's a little bit of time to mess about. Let's we'll start scanning stuff, getting units making my claim on the world oh oh no oh i fell in a hole that's all right i'll scan the stuff down here I'm finding some good stuff down here like these things have chromatic metal in them right now i just kind of want to farm a bunch of materials i think our main goal is trying to get upgrades so if i can like just get a bunch of those like knowledge stones or whatever keep on learning some new words and then gaining materials we should be good now uh, oh sweet yeah we got some knowledge stones this way that's what i'm talking about big money over here we learned the Gek word for high. <laughs> Yo, we can smoke dank with them now. And do the 420 with the Geks, you know? Oh no, Sentinel drones are investigating. I gotta make sure they don't spot me. All right, I got about like a dozen new words. I'm gonna summon my vehicle back here. And then I wanna go to my inventory and try to activate one of these uh, planetary charts. I'm gonna plot a route and that should give us a destination that'll have a bit more stuff. And then we'll just use the pulse engine to get over there quick. And I'm gonna do this a few times to learn 
a bunch of words and looks like there's like an outpost or something ne nearby as well let's check out this spot then let's go check out that outpost we got a knowledge stone we got a ancient plaque right over here let's seek help with the language and then we learn a new gek word now let's check out this minor settlement maybe it'll be some aliens here yeah we got a technology merchant over here and he sells components nice might be something we need there so i'm gonna look at a uh, what we need for upgrades in a minute now if we go to our supercharged slot we could put an s tier drive in there we need five wiring looms and emeril for that which i haven't found yet we've got a specialist over here it's another trader and we have caught the trader red handed a small device is overriding the facility's remote trade interface and is siphoning units directly into their own inventory they look me straight in the eyes and make a proposition friend please and reward trader destroy yeah i didn't really understand most of that a uh above the gentle buzz of embezzlement that now surrounds us i can hear the life orbs terrified gulps the air tastes of pure fear um, let's demand a share. A small alien nods at me, understanding. My fellow conspirator hand me a share of a theft and releases a scent that bonds us together. Hey, sweet. So we received some units for that. And there's only like 6,000, but that's pretty cool. All right, that's a pretty cool place, but I'm going to go back onto my mission, trying to find more words. Now, for like a starter ship that I kind of found, I was all broken. This one isn't doing too bad, but I definitely want to try to get a better one. I'm not really sure what the priority of uh, stuff to get, though. We could upgrade our X suit our starship or our multi-tool so we got lots of options all right here we are yeah, this place looks pretty crazy there's like plants in air and shit i don't think that's supposed to be there but at least we got some knowledge stones we learned the geck word for always and i'm not sure if there's any more there's a uh, remnants of Igstrabob down here <laughs> butchered that so we want more help with language we'll go to uh seek another word to learn awesome and then i want to check up here yeah there is a knowledge stone over here that's pretty decent it's not the best uh place i've been to but we're learning like three words per site we go to and what the hell is that <laughs> is that an abandoned ship oh no it's a landed pilot let's go see starship the master of a moon yeah it looks like a gnarly ship where is the pilot i don't see the mofo that sucks I'd, lo I'd love to interact with him or see how expensive a ship is but oh well we'll have to go on and ooh, wait is that uranium i might want to mine that i hope i didn't oh i landed right beside it oof nice um let me look around i think the coast is clear we should be able to get this oh no it's a salt deposit wow it, it's just green because of a planet i guess all right i think it's actually a good time Ooh, not to go into the galaxy map i was gonna call the uh, anomaly let's go summon it right there and then we'll go inside and visit the traders i also want to go to the space station i forget if i checked the space station of this system already or not and we can begin an expedition i don't know if we want to do the that right this moment seeing as we still got like the pretty basic gear you get for beginning the game but right now we gotta speak with nada and polo again i'm also gonna go over to this uh helios guy give him our data for planets and then he'll give us some nanites and we can exchange vortex cubes with him i don't know if we want to do that yet let's give him our milestone data and that'll give us um i don't know what he gave us i think he gave us nothing luckily i have like 20 vortex cubes so let's see what happens if we exchange materials let's do that and a uh oh we get nine nanites i guess that's a little bit and then what kind of upgrades does he have all b and c tier yeah i don't even want to bother with them really hey i don't know maybe i will give us toxic protection module seeing as this system is brutal for toxicity but i'll need to upgrade my suit before i can place that in let's go speak to the bosses okay here's nada welcome home traveler entity nothing has changed everything is the same Nada does not joke. Pretty bond, but let's ask about the anomaly. Polo is always being busy. Little improvements here, there, optimizing, enhancing. With all the time we have, Polo Entity can fix many things. Okay, awesome. And then, uh, what does Polo have to say? You look surprised, traveler friend. Do you not remember Nada or I? You know you were always welcome on our little home. Let's ask for Atlas Station coordinates. I will do it, friend, but please be careful. We would hate to see you leave us. And then... 
Oh, sweet. We have a uh, Atlas interface location. Cool. Let me go check out some more upgrades, and then we'll leave and uh, go check that out. I think I'm going to go with some multi-tool research, because if we could get an even better drill, with, like this optical drill, that'll give us 50% resources enhanced from uh, our normal one. All right, we spent quite a bit of nanites there now i think i'm gonna get out of here and go do that uh mission that they gave me all right so while in space we have to go to x we have to change galaxy math paths with this i see right there and then let's check where do we gotta go gotta go oh way this way whoa it's like way over here man Can we even get to this one out of jump range yeah we'd have to jump a few times okay so screw that for now let's keep on exploring this place i'm sure later on that'll be a bit easier to do all right here we are we've arrived oh fuck man i thought that was the entrance to the space station that's not on a different side bro okay here we are now i'll go in here i want to go let's see summon other vehicles can i summon a different ship i can't right now so i'll figure out soon how to uh get ships here to sell them so i'd like i think that'll be like our best bet for making money and we have visited this place already Ooh, we got two quests one to kill 11 creatures and one to kill 10 so i'm gonna go stack both of those and take a photo on a marsh world that doesn't sound too hard we run into a marsh world i'll do that i'm gonna go back to base quick that way i can store a bunch of stuff all right i got my stuff unloaded we'll go back to the previous system i gotta continue to explore trying to find platinum for our ship we got this planet is undiscovered it looks pretty dangerous though activated copper and uranium that might be uh really good it's a radioactive abomination so maybe not we got the unknown moon over there that's got copper rusted metal and cobalt and then we got that funky looking planet down there i think that was the one we went to i think we're gonna try to check out this planet it's really close by so why not looks like a lot of it is a uh, water so let's try to land on some land and here we are yeah this place looks gnarly oh what that what is that what is that noise oh my i can't analyze that thing that thing was huge though highest radiation level extreme storm oh I, I might need to get in the ship dude this place is pretty intense uh there's 11 creatures here let's try to fly out of a storm maybe like i'll go this way see if we can escape it let's see what are some of these plants yeah highly valuable rare resource deposits are available here but yeah it's like an extreme radiation storm we can't even stand out here for more than like 30 seconds and so as much as i'd like to explore here we're gonna have to leave for now try to focus on getting those upgrades i might just hop to a different system try to find somewhere that's a bit easier with a bit more uh, resources to go off of now that atlas thing was a few systems away but we could start to uh move over to it the next system over doesn't look too far i think it's also a gek system so we'll go warp there and see what kind of planets are hanging out over here and here we go we got first contact with this galaxy the star ships see like three planets one of them really close by might as well try to go in and uh land on it salvageable scrap copper frost crystal yes yeah, it's probably gonna be a cold planet and here we go like, oh i was close man the game didn't have automatic landing would have been screwed there but yeah here we go our harsh icy winds we got some simple plants and uh stuff around here but it doesn't look like it's killing us it's killing us slowly but it, it, we still got enough time to like loot about and whatnot we got some new creatures over here for us to discover nice and oh what are those are, are those bad guys <laughs> They flew right for me, so I'm not feeling too good about them. Let's see, we got a salvageable container here. Protective casing, three out of nine. The hell does that mean? Oh, I guess we have to mine out the protective casing. There we go, easy enough. Please don't explode. Oh, oh no. We're getting attacked by bad guys now. <laughs> sure enough. Ooh, am I... My stuff does nothing to him okay i gotta get this salvage container and then get out of here rare item found this valuable technology scrap is missing its paired component are they oh my god for doing damage oh no okay i gotta get out of here i gotta like call my ship or something let's call it come on please Ow. land come on. <laughs> i need to get the hell out of here those guys are serious all right we're out well nice that's worth like 
one million G's. Now that's pretty sweet. And we got no uh, sentinels chasing us in space. So that's good. I want to scan and let's go to the nearest space station. I'll go tag it over there and then try to teleport to it. And here we are. Now I got to go in, talk to all the aliens, learn all of new words that we can, and then we'll go on to the next system. I can always come back to these systems and find all of the other planets, but it doesn't overly matter until we find a planet that has the rare material that we're really looking for we might also find them at the trade terminals in the space stations oh no this looks like a uh another entity guy <laughs> let's hope he uh can just give us help let's learn a corvax symbol we don't know many corvax words yet is this a corvax system I'm not, I'm not quite sure but there's a few of them over here now i can give this guy a gek relic let's give him one and uh he accepts it with gratitude and our standing increases sweet can i give him multiple relics uh we can oh no we can't we can only give one per guy i see okay so we want to give them relics to increase our standing we've met 60 aliens in total that's quite a bit but i'm hoping to get to like 100 really soon we're also get rank four out of nine so that's a good start we've reached rank three so we're now friends with uh gex and yeah this place does not have what i'm looking for either that sucks all right well that went pretty well i met a bunch of aliens really fast now let's get out of here i'm just gonna keep on following the way i mean in reality we're not really that far from the atlas target it's only a few more jumps away so oh hyperdrive has no fuel let's go fill it up with fuel we need to make a warp cell okay do that we need antimatter and we need chromatic metal thankfully i have a personal refiner on hand i'm gonna process like half of our copper into uh chromatic metal and now that should give us enough resources right there to make the warp cell and then charge up our hyperdrive drive just a little bit hopefully that'll be enough to get to that next system let's see uh yep it is we can this is a corvax system as well so that's interesting and here we are wow look at that thing in the middle there is that like a warp like a black hole there we go we have warped five times um is that a planet was no black hole yeah wow and i really want to jump into it let <laughs> But let's go to that other space station first, maybe scan some more planets, see what we got here. Trying to find anything that would have platinum. Really not having much luck so far. Yeah, it does not look like anything in this site. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to go to the space station first, then maybe we can go to the black hole. I got no idea where that'll bring us, but it'll probably bring us into like, well, some random spot in space. I believe that's how they work. <laughs> and uh, this is an outlaw station, so I don't know if we're going to be allowed in here or what's going to happen. Looks like the front of it is destroyed as well, like they got into a fight recently. But let's go on inside. Uh, <laughs> this place looks gnarly, dude. Oh, no. Is this like bad space? Okay, we're here. Um, yeah, no, there's people here. They're waving to us. Theft entity. Superior contraband in this. No sentinels. <laughs> nice. There are no sentinels allowed on here. That's cool. We can still ask all of these guys as well for any information on their language. So I'm going to do that while we're here. We got a black market shipping and receiving. What? We sell some like goods here. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff. Yeah. They, they don't even want to buy them. Nobody wants to buy these uh, balls at all. The salvage scrap will sell for eight hundred thousand units which is really good that brings us up to over one mil so i might just be trying to get on the lookout for those i mean that was a really big jackpot and then we also got aftermarket upgrades which are of x quality so they could be good they could be bad who knows that's pretty cool so at least if we do become a pirate or we make everybody in the game hate us we might have somewhere to go as long as the pirates don't hate us as well and we can trade with this random guy we can trade our raw steaks for like 66k that's pretty good basically just sell them all of our junk and stuff like our living slime and whatnot clean up our inventory that's pretty cool so this is like our first pirate system i'll have to make note of that oh whoa i just found platinum in the sky there's really platinum out here geez okay looks like we're just gonna be flying around mining i mean i'll do that like that, that's legit that that 
turned out to be gold, but if I can find more platinum, then I think I can upgrade the ship and whatnot. There we go. Yeah, I got enough platinum now to install my translator. So I'm going to mine a lot of that in the space. At least as much as I can. It looks like it's hanging out in this area. So, oh, and either way, we're like finding gold as well. Like this is really good. Oh no, 138,000 bounty. That's pretty high, but I'm not super confident in this ship's abilities. Unless he comes to attack us, I'm staying clear, man. I was trying to get my platinum in space, do my legit work. There we go. Yeah, that's like over 100 platinum. It's not a lot, like, seeing as it costs 50 platinum to repair most of this stuff, but it is a fantastic start. Now, what is going on? Is there a ship near us or something? I feel like we're under, like, <laughs> we're being watched or something, you know? Yeah, this ship's getting awfully close. I don't really like that. And, oh, we might be able to get this guy. Never mind. Yeah, he's not too strong. There we go. Come on. Boom. Yeah, that guy's down. There we go. Ship eliminated. That's an easy 100k. Yeah, never mind. We're, we're not that bad, man. Standing increase with a Corvax. So we really like that. Now, I think next I'm going to try to go to this black hole here because I really want to check it out. Not sure if our ship is going to be able to handle it, but I guess we'll find out. Just fly straight on into it, I guess. Oh, yeah, we do. And where's this going to bring us? Probably like really far out. That's all right because we have a fast travel system in the game. So if this like brings us closer to the center of the universe, that's ideal, I think. Here we are. Um, nearby freighter under attack. Destroy pirates to save fleet. Oh no, pirates? Okay, I'll help them. Let's go get the pirates. Kill them. There we go. One down. We got a few Gek relics instantly from destroying that one pirate. There we go. There's another one down. A few more ships. There we go. Another one. I, I see four on the map in total right now. I think we can handle that. Yep. There we go. There's another one down. I there's only like two left, I see. And civilian fleet saved from pirates. That gives us even more uh, relationship with them. Life form. Please dock for aid. Okay. They look greatly relieved. They gesture as if to welcome the uh, me aboard their vessel. Sweet. Let let's definitely go take up there's a lot of stuff going on right now i think i want to go over there let's go check out the uh, freighter signal we'll go land inside of this giant ship as we just save them from a bunch of pirates and we talk to the captain it looks like he's going to give us a reward that's a good thing we decided to use that teleporter man i wonder can we ask these guys about the language here as well uh looks like we cannot let's make our way up to the bridge and i believe into this room wherever the captain will be yeah everybody's waving to us they're all happy to see us hello admiral um he says a few things without aid of traveler kovacs thanks <laughs> so i guess they're showing me gratitude they gesture towards the control panel of a freighter as if to suggest i take command inspect freighter Ooh, let's see wow okay so they're gonna give it to us it's a five mil freighter let's see um this is a c class it isn't super special but i mean that's a start man that's that's decent i think uh, we're gonna claim it nice so we got a new restore point we have an admiral here who we can talk to so if a freighters offer extra inventory space we can put additional starships in the freighter's hangar and command expeditions from the bridge and construct a base aboard the freighter we can have our own portable base and yeah that seems pretty cool allows us to have the ability to command uh fleets of frigates and let's see like we can go and do uh, different expeditions right now a lot of these range from like one hour to three hours long but i definitely want to do uh one of them soon but sweet now i can manage my fleet let's check this out yeah, we got this one, just our, just our one ship. It's just a mining vessel. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. We currently have no energy to warp. It's got like nothing installed on it. No guns or anything. That's why they were getting so messed up. It's going to be a huge work in progress. You know, a big fix me upper. <laughs> so we can add new bays to our ship for 800 nanites each. So I'll do that. The next one's 3,500. Okay, never mind. That's a lot. But now we can have at least one pilot. I'm going to get back into more of that later. But for now, let's go back into our ship and go out outside that's a pretty good reward though for killing like what 10 or 12 pirates a whole ship worth like five mil even if we just claim the scrap and got rid of it or whatever that's a lot of money dude now let's look at the map we are currently at 700 000 ly so i don't think we went too far we did hop a little bit but not like an insane distance let's go into the space station before we enter another fight <laughs> i'll go talk to all the aliens in here and see if they have anything special on them let's see i do have a few gek uh relics to give away so i 
I can go and give them to this guy. I should be able to learn like another 10 to 15 words from this place. Death, 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 death. <laughs> Joyful warrior. At least we know those words. Looks like these guys are a very violent type of race. Now let's see, does this trade terminal have what we need? Oh, uh, damn, man, it doesn't. <laughs> they do have some platinum. You know, I'm kind of tempted to buy out their platinum, seeing as it's been kind of a pain to find it. Will cost 300000 though. Damn, that's a steep price. I don't know if I want to pay that right now. You know what? I'm good. I can live without it. We got our words. Let's get out of here. We got another milestone. We learned 150 words. That's a decent handful. Still not enough to fill up a dictionary, but at least enough to make out a few sentences. Ooh, this planet has copper, gold, and silver. Now, gold might be good to get. Let's see. What else is in this system, though? Uh, looks like we got, yeah, like three planets. That one with the gold seems to to be the best one but no there is another planet over here yeah it's just got copper and phosphorus is that something i need don't really think it is right now but uh dissonance detected is that like another type of sentinel i would uh kind of suppose so but yeah let's go to copper gold and silver planet doesn't seem like there's any type of enemies around here but if there are life forms then you could probably kill them you know, complete that uh one quest for the space station. Let's go ahead and land on this planet and check it out. We'll see if anybody else has explored this place before. We might be the first people at this one, seeing as I just took a black hole to this uh location. And let's see, we got, yeah, first contact. We have discovered it. We got, ooh, gold deposit really close, but got all these giant weird, like, plants that look like rocks that's wild just like floating uh stone or whatever ferrite dust and oxygen that's pretty crazy yeah this planet looks gnarly we got a electric cube whoa new item recorded to catalog what is that a rare stabilized glitch retrieved from malfunctioning planet okay so it's a type of uh material that we can harvest like from up here or i guess not all of these floating uh cubes but a good majority of them i think let's just look around i'm gonna go hit up some copper deposits gold deposits and whatnot now can i kill one of these guys are they super strong or uh i hit him a few times but his hitbox range is like weird as hell dude i don't even know if you can hit them man maybe it's going right through him it's not worth it on this planet those guys Way too funky. We'll kill, like, normal animals. And, ooh, this looks like a good gold deposit. I'm gonna try to get all of this. Wow, okay, I think I got most of it now. That was a huge gold deposit. Like, we got over 400 gold from that. There's another one, like, 300 U's away. And another one not too far away. So I'm gonna go hit all of those. And then, yeah, once I get all of those done, I'll be right back. And, geez, this is a fat gold ore as well. Nice. Yeah, you're gonna get plenty of resources from this planet before I decide to leave. Alright, I grabbed about 1,200 gold. I think I'm about done with this planet. Summon our vehicle back and then hop in it. Alright, you can fix this component as well on our ship. So now we have our B-class deflector shield again. I think I'm gonna leave this planet and then continue to warp to the next uh, system. But, ah, uh, we gotta refill our hyperdrive, of course. Luckily, I have enough materials right now to make a warp cell, so I'll put that right there. So now I should be able to go to the galaxy map and then hop over. We're exploring lots of systems in like the past couple days. Should be on about day 20 now or it's coming up. Uh, here we go and we're right near a space station. I think we're going to go to that. It's got six planets here as well. Maybe I'll scan those quick and see what we're dealing with. I'm mainly looking for like activated copper. I need platinum aggressive sentinels are on that planet okay i don't think i'm gonna go there sounds like a pretty intense place I believe the other planet might just be behind it so i can't even scan it right now that's okay let's just go to the space station i'm gonna arrive talk to some aliens learn some new words and see if they have anything that i need to buy let's see let's go up here and then talk to these guys look oh my god these three guys they all look the exact same <laughs> triplets dude what the hell? What a spawn, man. What a, what a wild spawn. <laughs> okay, let, let's talk to them, I guess. We can still learn one word each from them. Yeah, this definitely seems like one of the best ways to learn words. I mean, it only takes like a minute or two to run through and request dialect help from all of these guys. And then that makes it so that every conversation we have in the future is a little bit easier. There we go. I pretty much talked to everybody in here. I'm going to check the terminal. Yeah, not too much. Um, I think I need 
Paraffinium. I'm gonna buy this since it's nice and cheap. Uh, same with Pyrite. And yeah, it is something we need to uh, repair some components. Don't have enough to repair the other ones, but we're getting there. Our ship's almost like completely repaired. All right, I'm making a couple warp cells now, so that should give us enough fuel to like hop two more times. And there we go. Now let's try to hop to the next galaxy. I didn't really see a planet here that had what we're looking for anyways, but I do see another uh pointer on the map somewhere. So the next system is uh just a little bit up here and then, ooh, we're actually almost there. Let's go to the next one then. It's a Corvax system. Hey, here we go. First contact with another system. The freezing planet. Hey, there's activated copper on that planet. It is an extreme weather planet, but we can get very valuable resources from there. So I think we might want to check that place out later. Now scan down each of these planets, try to figure out what's at them. There's some basic uh, materials for the most part. And then I'll go over to the space station over here, learn some new words. And then I'm probably going to go to that planet with the activated copper. If we can gather a bunch of that, then that would be fantastic. All right, we got plenty of guys to talk to, plenty of words to learn expand our uh, dictionary for the Corvax and these other races. And we have just met 100 life forms. That's quite a bit. We've been talking to a lot of different aliens and we're only like one fifth through the playthrough. You know, we still got another like 80% to go. And I think between hours, like right now, I'm on my 10th hour of playing. I think right now I'm going to mostly spend my time just exploring and getting to know the game more. By hour 20 and so on, I can worry more about focusing directly on the story but for now i basically just want to try to upgrade my stuff find good materials and yeah make a good life out here and we can get an exosuit upgrade which is great definitely want one of those let's get uh that going and now oh and it's a supercharged slot so whatever we put into it will be uh extra powerful i think i'm gonna put in this uh membrane for swimming seeing as we only need oxygen for it which i can probably get some from at the base or anywhere on a planet and we have a silver and we have a copper for it so now we'll have that um we have 67 percent breathing efficiency we should be able to explore underwater now which will be huge but there we go sweet another space station down let's go over to that activated copper planet and yeah it is not too far from the space station at all basically get here in no time now the only problem is going to be trying to avoid the sentinels they do not like us harvesting resources here so we could get in a lot of trouble for that and it's also minus 100 celsius right now that is insane which we can just barely survive in like we we can a little bit but not much man definitely need frost protection in order to uh explore this area which is pretty unfortunate so i might just take away the module that i had for uh the swimming yeah it's pretty sucky let's get off of this planet and go to a different one i can't really do too much of these planets until i get those upgrades so i want to make another warp cell because i think we're only like one system away from the the place and here we are the atlas station it took like eight or nine jumps i think but we're finally here no no we gotta hear the words of the atlas i hope the atlas speaks english <laughs> if not this is gonna be really rough for me man I, I don't know a lot of words out here all right let's check it out and there's like three different spots to land ships at i'm gonna keep on running through and oh i learned the atlas word for infinite whoa 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 perhaps i should go over and try to collect these little orbs i don't know exactly what uh they give me but it looked like i learned a word on that one yeah yeah, there we go. I learned the Atlas word for you. I better grab all these. If Atlas doesn't even speak the Gek language or the Corvax languages, which we have mainly been learning, this is going to be difficult. I don't even have my translator ready or uh, equipped. Oof. It'll be pretty rough, but we'll see what we can do. I'm not sure. Some of them are giving us words. That one didn't. That one didn't. Um, And that one didn't. But I got like two or three of them. All right, I suppose we'll go up and talk. Uh, we got two things here to search first. We got a ooh, warp cell. And what? <laughs> Is that a reward? We had to make like six or eight warp cells in total. And <laughs> we get rewarded with two warp cells. All right, let's hear the words of the Atlas. You, the infinite, the... Oh, man. Yeah, no. This is a traveler. <laughs> Not much. 
It demands worship. It demands obedience. It welcomes me. It knows what I am. It offers the gift of true understanding. But why? Why does such power and knowledge crave submission? It knows my thoughts before I know them myself. It knows what I will do. Atlas asked me to follow its path. I mean, sure, we don't really got too much else going on right now. The sky is deep and full of wonders. Nice. So we got new product formula learned. Uh, Atlas seed containing substrate. Okay. I guess that's cool. We got a new blueprint. And I guess that's it we're done with uh that one all right back out into space and i guess i'll go check out some of the planets that are local to here let's see there are some uh different planets like down here there's a space station here as well that we can check out now if i go on the atlas map i can see we can try to go to another atlas station and this one is uh pretty far away like a good three or four systems away not impossible to get to but still quite a pain and then i'm gonna go back to the galactic core mission and try to continue that way but first we got some new aliens we got some more words to learn now try to see if they sell that damn thing that we need to uh create our translator here we are new space station i'll go talk to everybody quick i approach the lost traveler their skin is translucent as if they were not truly there another traveler hmm well we should speak have faith not all dreams are idle fantasy have faith not all dreams are idle fancies not all fictions are untruths perhaps all of this is based in something real what, what is that other NPC doing? Just put his hand through him. He wants us to look at an object. Let's check it out. I look at the object and am filled with a sense of hope. Everything will be all right. I know it. Nothing can hurt me. All I have to do now is believe and have faith. Not in a deity, not in some universal tyrant. No, it is this right in front of me. So we didn't get anything from that. Nothing, nothing. But at least not like a super bad dialogue popped up. Usually it's something that says like, oh, you messed that one up. And of course, we do not have any of the stuff that we need from here. There's platinum we could buy, but it is, of course, expensive. I'll buy a little bit, about 200k worth. That way I can go through and try to repair the last few like storage spaces and components that we need done. Okay. Can I get another exosuit upgrade? I think I can. Ooh, I can. It'll only cost 10,000 units. That's really good. And now I can install something there. Now, I believe in my starship. Yeah, I have this toxic protection module. Let's go ahead and install that onto there. It's a B-class toxic module. Should help us a bit with surviving out there. And with that, I think now I'm going to try to explore this system a little bit. I can now go to hot planets, and I can now go to poisonous planets. I shouldn't have as many problems as before. We'll still have to upkeep, but at least we'll have some resistance to everything there. Ooh, that planet has activated copper. It does have aggressive sentinels, though. That really sucks. I'm not sure if I'm ready to take on aggressive sentinels. But, I mean, we might as well find out. It is a hot planet, but we gotta have heat resistance. Uh, working hard or hardly working? I'm hitting a blinker right now while we go to the planet. Let's go. Oh, oh, slow down. Slow down, slow down. We got something here. What we got? What we got going on? Um, it's a ship? It's all broken. Yeah, something. Yeah, something bad happened over here. I can, I can tell that. You know what? I've flown around this thing for like two minutes now. I don't know what I'm doing at it. But I think I'm leaving now. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. Let's go back on course, hit another blinker, and then get it. Fugitive Starship Detected. Where is that? Hunt Bounty for 200k? I'll do that. Where's this mofo? Over here? Yeah, he's going to die. Let's tag him. Let's go over to him. There's a pirate entity. I'm sure we can take him down. The last one we did was pretty easy. All right, let's go. Starship battle about to start. Boom, one down. Oh, <laughs> that, that was it. That was a starship. Okay, cool. 200k units in our pocket. We got a starship battery. A few of them, in fact. That's pretty nice. Let's continue on to the planet. Let's see. It looks pretty promising so far. Let's see. External temperature of 101 Celsius. That's pretty hot, dude. It's got high security. Um, Whoa, it's got creatures. Like, look at that thing. That's like an actual monster extreme sentinel planet and we got extreme weather as well going on here we do have to be careful but a, uh, there's plenty of things here for us to discover. All right, so our heat shield, as you can see, it's on right now. So we are not losing a lot. Right now, here we got activated copper. That's great. That's one of the things we need. So we're going to start mining for this. I'm hoping we don't run into any sentinels. Like, uh, if this is a high resource bearing planet, we'll want to stay clear of them. Whoa, look at those fucking things. They're like giant flying centipedes. 
Wow. And there's a different type over there, a different type of species of them. That's crazy. There's still more uh, species to find on this planet. Another four. We got six out of ten so far. We got storm crystals, uh, gravitino balls. Let's see. Just from this guy right here. Let me go check. We got 500 activated copper. And, ooh, I hope that isn't a bad guy. What is he screaming for? Please stop, dude. Uh, can we just take these? Oh, we're, we're, we're detected okay let's take all of these let's get back to ship i'm out i'm out i'm out i'm out Ooh. <laughs> oh wait wait fuck i should activate a planetary chart oh no we got interceptors they're they're approaching okay where are they snap man this ain't good there we go one down so everyone isn't too strong i think i can get them there we go got him nice nice got them they're down let's escape oh it's another target lock on in process okay let me get let these ones get here if i want to jump right away let's go get out of here oh man it is still caught us okay is that a fucking sentinel spaceship oh no oh no okay we got to figure out how to take care of this guy there we go one ship down all right one defense turret down our shields down but i can recharge it quick oh another defense turret there we go nice Okay, I gotta I gotta fly out, find that other ship that's shooting me. We're gonna lock onto him and then we're gonna blow him up. Boom. There we are. There we go. This one's almost down. Nice, nice. Alright, let's continue. I think we gotta go damage the shields. Come on, just shoot, shoot. There we go. Shield down. Hall is vulnerable. We can do this, man. Sentinels are going down with this one. Yeah. That guy almost dead right there. Staying on his ass. Ah, oh, his shield got back up. It's okay. They're no match for Starship Commander Croc. There we go. Another one down. There we go. Okay, that guy's down. Now we, we're going to shoot at this guy. Oh, cargo pod of platinum? Definitely. There we go. Got that. There we go. I think that should be good. Where's that freighter? I'm just going to start shooting a freighter now. Let's get in close. Start to blow it. Oh, no. Is that a merchant freighter? Oh, no. Oh, no. I was fighting this guy, not that one. This is a different merchant freighter. Oh, wait, is that just a normal merchant? Am I just doing pirate stuff right now? Okay, well, I'm getting rid of this freighter in the meantime. Oh, standing decrease with a Corvax. Yeah, that was their... <laughs> That was their freighter. Oh, no. We did get a salvage fleet beacon, which is an S-tier thing. That's pretty good. I am escaping now. Let's just get the hell out of here. We got to escape this shit. <laughs> All right, pulse engine. Come on. Booyah. There we go. That'll get us out of the way. And we should be safe around here or something. I was looking for another planet that doesn't have such high sentinel activity. Uh, there we go. I got the activated copper for our extra slots in our ship down here. Now, the only things left that we need to find are paraffinium but at the same time i do have a place that i could go to on that planet now i mean as long as we don't pick up gravitino balls we should be good like those balls where are they they're they are worth like forty thousand each it's not that bad but right now i really need materials and i think i'm gonna try to grind out a few of these just so i can learn some more words on this planet and whatnot all right here we are we're back on the planet 303 celsius right now that is insane this guy's got a bunch of knowledge stones around it though for different corvax words yeah even our heat shield oh our heat shield's off that's why there we go <laughs> we got another new animal over here which is good and yeah a few knowledge stones to grab i'll take them and then i'm going to visit this thing i'm going to ask it for knowledge of uh words oh no there's a child clinging to us <laughs> they're at their knees and wants us to stay we're going to comfort them then leave the child understands we embrace it leaves me with a gift we have learned the atlas word for sky and we have an increased rank with a corvax and then what do i talk to this again oh we can locate a portal using one corvax uh casing Okay, I see it over there. Okay, let's get into our ship. I think a sentinel just found us. Oh my god, yeah, they did. Get out, man. Leave us alone. No more bastard starships that I don't want to fight. <laughs> All right, I think I escaped the sentinels. I'm figuring it out. Let's tag the portal, and then let's try to teleport. Oh, we can't. You know what? We're, we're pretty much there now. Let's just fly down. <laughs> let's see. We got a portal. Let's uh check it out. Oh, Oh, man, we need to put in, like, a bunch of different resources to charge this. I don't... Do we have one of each? Let me see. You know, we might. I'm gonna try, at least. It's just, like, 
8 to 16 of each material, but it's a lot. I don't know what's going to happen if... So we put in all of those. All the technologies are recharged. And then we can activate the portal. Traveler detect... Oh, sweet. A warm, dull ache spreads across my mind as I approach the portal. I blink as I try to focus. But all this does is inflame the red glow behind my eyes. Whatever I do here, I should do it quickly. Let's uh, request this planet's access. Oh, I, I can't. It's just nothing to do there. Let me try again. Round two. Anomaly. Let's activate the portal. And a... Uh... I guess enter um oh nope that is not it what's what's <laughs> i don't I, I don't know what's going on now but i guess let's check it out and try to jump in it <laughs> hopefully hopefully it will be all right i think we should be able to get back I, i'm not sure though i just jumped into this portal without really knowing where it goes but here we are um oh new system first contact we got minimal symptoms there's uh rich resources and lots of animals you know what that might be really good see a few there's save beacons around here what and what do we got here boundary failure monument commence the historic meeting of abaddon and durkon 907 on 8 4 2018 oh so we got like two players near the launch date of the game that met each other here that's pretty cool now just looking around i can see there's a little bit of materials and whatnot there's a whole uh what is it like player bases right here you got weird like tentacle mushroom type creatures this is a place that somebody else has already found or something like uh or they inhabit i think summon colossus exocraft Ooh, whoa what's in here we got batteries we got wow actual base this place looks cool that's pretty sweet there's a bunch of bases on this planet so i guess this is like a normal place that other players uh come or hang out i don't know all these like uh creatures and stuff they say discovered today by me i'm not sure if anyone's been here at least for a little while or like why they haven't already like claimed the names of these places i see so this system was discovered seven years ago by lightfoot bomb 194 right now we're here we're at the uh, Albino Owls House of Crack and 66 other bases. Oh I, oh, I see. There's like a bunch of different bases in this place. That's pretty cool. I think if this is on a different a, uh, planet, I'm not sure though. I'm going to try to go out into space, go to the space station, see if I can talk to some new aliens. Hmm. Right now, I, uh, I do not see one. Holy shit. So this galactic core is like... Now, 5,000 light years away instead of 7,000? That's insane. We're currently in Kuresh. I'm going to look at some of the new product recipes. I'm in the anomaly now. There's still lots of stuff we need to get. All right, I got solar mirror and hydraulic wiring. Let's go over to the multi-tool research now. And then I'm thinking I really want to get that uh, scanner upgrade. Or maybe that's in a uh, my exosuits. And wait, can I get an exosuit upgrade here? I can. Very nice. 35. Five thousand. I'll take it. I think for now, I'm gonna go back to our uh, ship, and I mean like our big, big ship. Now, right now, this is a C-class freighter, and from what I've heard, C-class is the worst. You can actually get up to uh, S-tier, and you do that like once every three hours by hopping uh, space from like uh, system to system. So I might just like I would love to sell this ship. If I could. I'm not really quite sure at the moment. So I think I'm just going to go back to our ship and leave. Maybe try to explore this system a bit more. See, that planet has phosphorus. Is that... Uh, no, that's not what we need. We need a uh, periphenium. I just want to check over here. Like... I, can I get an exosuit upgrade here? I can. I'll take another one. It'll cost 30,000 units. That's really not that much. And let me see. They do have some S-tier modules. I'm really looking for a scanning module in the S-tier. What kind of multi-tool does this guy have? Mm. C-class? No, thank you. Oh, wait. Looks like the aliens here I haven't talked to either. So I either missed this station or it refreshed with new travelers. All right, I'm back on the hot planet we're gonna get on out and i'm basically just gonna look around some more i see there's a few creatures i have yet to find what is under there it's in the ground or something it, it just doesn't exist it, it, there's no sprite for it or anything dude it just all right i grabbed like a thousand gold off of this planet and a little bit of copper i'm getting off now go to a different planet do some other stuff and oh god what's going on jeez 
Recruitable Frigate. What? How much do these guys cost? We got a fleet message. Traveler, do you seek new starship entities for your fleet? Ooh, nice. Okay, let's see what they got. I got a B class for three mil. That's a lot. Maybe not right now, but eventually. So at least we can find frigates to buy out in outer space. Hey, that planet down there, that one's got a uh, paraffinium. That's one of the materials we need. So I'm going to go there and try to grab a bunch of that. It will take us a full, a full minute to get there. Jeez, man. How many blinkers can I rip in a minute? All right, let's see. What are we doing with... I can't see anything. Oh, are we on water? Oh my, we're on water, that's why. Is there a dick all around here? Is it all underwater? Got it. Okay, over here we can land. Let's let's see. Let's try to land right here quick. And uh there's a whole lot of nothing out here. We got armored clams. There's a firestorm right now too. Now do I have that? Yeah, I got that scuba diving gear equipped, but I don't have enough oxygen for it. Need to install more oxygen. Damn. Oh my. There's one creature living on this island. What a boring life it must have. All right, maybe maybe I get out of here. Maybe I see if there's like some more land area or something. This spot kind of sucks. That was really brutal, man. <laughs> there's nothing there. Oh, I think I found land. Here we are. Okay. Yeah, I, I must have landed near an ocean or something. That's probably not the best spot to land. There we are. Sweet. We're here. I can start scanning stuff, messing it up. Here's that paranifium that we need. And there we go. Yeah, that's harvesting pretty fast. And damn, yeah, that's almost like 500 of it. I'm definitely going to grab as much as I can. Like, I'm going to find a few more ore nodes of this so I don't have to grab it for a while. We got a few unknown buildings in the area. Like, quite a few, honestly. Look, knowledge stones. Yeah, there's going to be a bit of stuff to find here so that's good let's see what is in here anything of value not in this one i don't see anything i can interact with other than these chairs i can sit in them we got all these star bulb things what are those uh not really worth a lot they are used in hydroponic trays okay some random butt fluff material to gather and we got another region discovered i guess that's pretty cool got a distress beacon here that we can activate a pile Pilot is dead, <laughs> of course. Let's uh leave this for now. Let me check out the rest. So we got a uh, nemesis of fire. What is this? This is a C-class ship. Okay. But if we get it fixed up, we could just bring it to a space station and sell it. That, like, that, that'd probably be a good idea. Get rid of it right away. Let me go check what's in these containers around here. Let's see the distress beacon. The pilot lies dead beside a short-circuiting control panel that sparks intermittently. Beside the dead robot navigator hovers a sentinel that nudges the deceased life form almost as if to wake up. As I approach, a flow machine fires a warning shot in my direction. Let's enter peacefully and search cockpit. They open fire, defending me, ma make me defend myself. Ships data banks prove adequate compensation for my wounds. Oh, cool. Yo, we got plasma launcher. That's pretty nice. And uh, oh, what? It took off like half of our life support systems. Oh, boohoo. I'm sure we can get those back in a moment. Now, I'm going to enter the Nemesis of Fire. Let's compare. Um, Nemesis of Fire is still worth like 4.9. It's a C-class ship. Uh, yeah, let's swap. What all do we need to fix in this? Um, hermetic seal and metal plating. I think we can make that. Uh, no, we can't. We need ferrite dust. <laughs> right, I'll roll that, ironically, in our other ship. So let me just summon that over here. Oh, shit. I summoned the wrong one. Okay, so we could sell this one as well. <laughs> okay, so we need chromatic metal. We need, uh microprocessors we need pure ferrite damn it's a little bit of stuff but it, honestly it's not a whole lot of work i'm sure we can find this stuff lying around somewhere here all right not too bad i got most of the things repaired now what i need to do is make some pure ferrite and dehydrogen jelly all right there we go now most of the parts for the ship are repaired i might just fix the uh cannon quick and now let's see can we get it in and launch it um yep we can and then let's go up into space. Sweet. I'm just going to bring this thing straight to the space station. And, ah, uh, of course, it's going to take a minute to get back. <laughs> I should have knew that. Let's see how much scrap this gives us. I mean, it should give us a decent amount. So I got full inventory right in deep space object detected. What is it? Oh, a trade link. Hmm. Yeah, let's see what this guy has because I want to sell some stuff. And damn. 
really ain't much that I could sell right now. Okay, I might just need to go to space station. And then after a space station, maybe just go back to base, store some stuff, and then sell the ship. But uh, either way, here we are. We've made it. I know I do have a Gek relic to get rid of, so I'll give that to this guy right here. He'll uh, like us a little bit more. I'll go to the galactic trade terminal. I was gonna have to get rid of some cheaper stuff like cobalt, rusted metal. I do not need all of that rusted metal. Now I should have enough room to sell that ship and let's see how much we get for it. It's still kind of smoking. <laughs> not really in the best of tip top condition, but I think it's still scrappable. Let's see. Come on. Can we salvage the ship? How much would we get? One mil worth? Ah, uh, that's not too bad. All right, let's claim... Oh, damn, inventory full. Are you kidding me? How much space do I need for this crap? <laughs> Apparently quite a bit. All right, let's claim the scrap. Nice, okay. We got it, and booyah. We should be able to sell all that for a nice amount. Let's go sell the stuff we got from the ship, make a little bit of money, and then we'll go on our way. Oh, oh, man. That, that really sucks. That's, that's... Okay, there we go. Much better. There we go. We get a little over one mil, and that gives us a little bit over two million units now, so that's pretty good. I want to go back to one of the, uh, yeah, like level three conflict planets or systems and try to see what we can find around here. Looks like we got a bunch of people to talk to again. I'm going to go and try to learn a bunch of words like that. While I'm here, I'm definitely going to grab another exosuit upgrade. I might just grab another one for storage seeing as that's a big problem right now and then hmm this ship as well i'm not really using this ship anymore got some high uh, we got some nice stuff in the ship so i'm gonna go sell all of it then i might just scrap that one as well all right i think i'm gonna go back to my base for now uh Ooh, haven't been here for a bit. Like, I know it's far from the coolest base in No Man's Sky, uh, at least so far. But it'll get there, you know? You just, you just gotta give me some time. Let me figure out some stuff. Uh, oh, power's off again. Now, we can make some oxygen harvesters. I'm sure we can make some, uh, stuff, like, more streamlined, you know? All right, there we go. I got some different stuff. I grabbed some relics. Let's go back to, uh, maybe just a random space station. Seeing as we keep on, uh, learning words, I'll go back to one of the older ones. And let's see... Are these uh new folk we have discovered this place before but uh let's see yeah looks like it is new people i've got different gifts to offer them which should increase our standing which each of the races but i learned about all the words here let's go check out see if they have a better gun in stock over here mm, does not look like it well it, it is a b class actually that's that is better we trade in our current multi-tool as well. It won't even cost that much. Maybe try to take off some of these, like I'll store our technologies from it. All right, now let's see. Yep, let's exchange. Uh, so it'll only cost us 90,000. And now we got a way better one. And let's see what kind of, if he has any like scanner upgrades we can get off of him. Uh, not a lot here. Like only a few S tiers. There's an S tier for a bolt caster, which uh, kind of tempted seeing as we use that. Let me get this C-Class Scanner module, and also this S-Tier for the Bolt Caster. Let's see how that does. Um, plus 2% damage, plus 1.1 shots per burst. I guess that's okay. Never... And there we go. Now we got a 10% scan radius, at least. Not that great, but uh, I guess it's better than nothing. Let's get another exosuit upgrade. I'm almost, yeah, I'm leaning towards storage. Like, we got lots of spots for storage to get. Okay, so I need some quantum computers. And then I believe I needed something else. Yeah, three solar mirrors and some wiring loom. And I'll sell some stuff. I made some room in my inventory. Let's go sell that crappy ship we got. This is a uh, C-tier ship. I think it's the one we actually started with. And 3.5 four mil yeah i'll definitely do that let's do it claim awesome and now what ship do we have uh which one's it gonna pull up is this our current ship yeah this is our main ship okay so we're not gonna scrap this one i think we can repair it all the way though now yeah look at that boom all of the slots are repaired we got a nice b slot uh ship i mean we got one spot in storage that isn't repaired but that's okay soon it will be we just need some dioxide which i think we can actually buy on this next trip i'm gonna go sell off all that stuff make our three mil or so and then we'll figure out what's a good way to spend our money try to like reinvest or try to like make passive revenue kind of like the real world uh, oh here we are three mil for that 300,000 for that. That's pretty good. 3.3 .3 mil 
mil, I'll take it. That brings us up to 5.7 million units. I think I want to go back to doing this like side quest, the uh, reachful rendezvous point. I'm not quite sure where it is, but it'll bring us to another space station. I'll check it out there and then I'll be able to go to the planet that we need to. Let's go back to the rendezvous uh, navigation beacon back here. I think I even have some Gek relics to give them. So I'll go talk to everybody here and then give them some relics. I got all these like what for? Ah, man. I was just trying to offer him the Gek relics, but I sat down in a chair. Got all these Gek relics to offer him, like two more, I think. Maybe for now, I'm just going to uh, put in this normal translator. That way I can at least translate two words. Hey, it, it translates two and a half. I don't know how that works, but it, it, yeah, that's what it does now. If I get the two convergence tubes, we'll be there. Um, Let's pin details on convergence tubes. Um, Oh, we got to gather or refine platinum. Okay. I get well, I guess we can really only find or purchase those. So I'll have to look around the galaxy or something for them. But there we go. Gek rank five out of nine. We're getting up there. We're gonna acquire coordinates for five million units now. I don't think I wanna do that. Oh god, don't tell me that gun's even better. No, that's a C class, okay. Alright, I'm about ready. Let's get into our ship and let's go. Alright, let's go, uh alright, let's line ourselves up and engage the pulse engine. Oh, yeah, 10 seconds to get there. Can rip a quick one. And here we are. Oh, derelict freighter. Oh, no, that can't be good. All right, let's find out who are these guys. Oof, are there a few of them or uh, just, a f just a couple? Ouch, ouch, calm down. Okay, there we go. I is that all of them? I, th I think that's a good amount of them. Oh, yep, the attack ships are defeated. Let's go in to the uh, freighter, see what's going on here. Um, we're here, but I don't see much. Oh, we got an incoming message. Let's check it out. You wish to follow us. Seize your freedom to reject the grand lies of a atlas. We shall see if you are worthy of a voice of freedom. Let's say, uh, challenge the caller. What are they gonna do? What's the worst that they can do? We gotta follow the voice of freedom. Where, where's that? Is that a, at a planet? All right, let's line ourselves up and go. All right, whoa, we're here. We're going in hot. Yep, this is definitely the location. <laughs> Should be able to land just around here. Let's go next to the beacon. And booyah, we got a external trim temperature of 35. That's not even bad. Now, what do we got? We got a uh, little ball thing over here. Let's check it out. Stress beacon power, 0%. Let's read the log. We have crashed. It was much calmer than I thought it would be. Our training worked. The crew were composed and 12 casualties. They will not be forgotten. We are running out of food. Whatever we attempt to scavenge, whenever we attempt to fight for our survival, the sentinels attempt to prevent us. We need to get off world. We are going to retreat beneath the surface and await rescue. I will maintain my own link with the ship. They are dead. <laughs> Jeez, no longer hungry, no longer. What have we done? Oof. We probably ate their people or some something. I'll go to imagine. Mayday event. Distress signal uh, broadcast. What, do we have another log? I'd heard of the rumors, so-called traveler anomalies being of varied appearances and purpose. Their ships approached, our weapons primed. They, this one, this one begged for peace. They appeared to be biomechanical, at least in part. We struck them from the sky. Jeez, okay. Well, no wonder they, they deserve what they got. All right, so we gotta go like 400 U's that way and ugh, what is that thing? I have it scanned already. Wow, that's a gnarly looking creature. Yep, I believe that is the signal. Let's activate this beacon over here. Try to get a uh, scan of a planet down if we can. Save and chart, there we go. Now let's go check out over here. Oh, look, there's a guy, a merchant. Let's talk to him. We'll see what he's up to. The trader has been expecting me. They point to her chest, open her arms wide, and beam pleasantly. They then point to me and mime concern for my safety. The Gek Trade Federation offer help. Cool, so we, we could understand that. Russian stray grass from my exosuit. They indicate they might make my journey more bearable. Let's uh request help with the sentinels. Nodding. The trader reaches into their stores. They offer me their multi-tool and smile. Whoa. Damn, so we would have got like a free B class. Uh can we just return? Ask for something else, maybe? Um, I guess not. Yeah, okay. So, well, that's cool, but I already got a B-class one that we don't have to fix up, so... I'll, uh, skip out on that one, but... <laughs> oh, great. Another great camera angle. Glorious Survivor, welcome. The path to liberty is... Shall be our masters. Let's say, uh, accept the invitation from them. We got a ticket to freedom. Cool. I don't know exactly what that's gonna bring us to, but I guess we'll find out. We gotta deploy the ticket. Okay, so let's... 
hold E. And what do we got going on here? Okay, just return to starship. So uh, I guess I'll call for my ship over here. And then let's get off of here. And uh, I guess what we have to go this way. All right, so we got the secure system pass. Let's uh, go to the galaxy map. And if we go on our current mission, yeah, it's only like one over. So we can do that. Let's try to warp to this next system. We can meet the aliens there and whatnot. See if there's any cool planets. And yeah, there is the space station looking pretty good. There's a planet over there. Two planets and a moon. Not a bunch, but a little bit. Let's go into this space station and check it out. Ooh, recruitable frigates over there. And I now have the money for at least one of them. But I think for now, I'm going to fly into here. Who else is landing here? That has to be like some kind of outlaw base. Got Pirate King. Welcome, glorious survivor. Here, there are no Gek, no Corvax, no Viking. Here we speak one tongue. Here we are free. Let's ask about the voice of freedom. Only the strong deserve to sing with the glorious voice of freedom. We do not permit the weak to find us. Let's, uh, I guess just interrogate different, uh, outlaws and whatnot. Um, see if they have anything good to trade. Doesn't le look like it. Illegal black market goods. Hmm. Oh, wait, we got a, uh, new shroud of freedom nice that's an unlockable hood i got aftermarket upgrades here what does he sell Ooh, suspicious upgrades so they could be good they could not be <laughs> guess you don't know until you put them on i don't know he said there's no viking here but i found gek and viking and they're speaking in their native tongue like maybe it doesn't apply to everyone i don't know bounty master cheval Ooh, look at that he has some like random stuff to get make some good money by being a bounty hunter all right we've talked to everybody now let's go talk to uh what this broken atlas thing station core let's see it's like it is a uh pretty beat up let's request the vo voice of freedom glorious survivor the promised store will be yours glass 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 okay what leave out lost station uh return to your ship and begin the undocking process station flight path monitoring alert exit clearance pending the voice of freedom will not permit the atlas silence new face carries our voice you must hide your trail take this document disrupt the traffic records at a station core your voice will be free in the darkness um sure let's accept the task we got a four passport awesome so we can reset any negative faction standing records at a space station core that sounds pretty good what do i have to do that at the system core here uh <laughs> Let me see. Oh, you have to use the Forge Passport to disguise your visit to an outlaw system. I see. Okay, so now we go from the galaxy map uh, and we go into like a normal system or like what this one? This is a uh, bad pirate system. You'll be able to use the Forged Passport to get by. There we are. Nice new system. We have warped 10 times now. Look at that. <laughs> it's not it's not that many, honestly, but uh. Oh no, at least it's something. Oh, emergency. We got a uh, distress. Rah! Pathetic sentinels. Viking. Oh no, not halted. All warriors too. Rah! Jeez, man. Yeah, not a lot of these words are coming through. Let's input the distress signal coordinates. Um, They're at a nearby planet. Okay. Um, Let's go to the space station first, though. We can go uh, help them after, I'm sure. And here we are. This is a normal system, it looks like. Oh, so we're here. What do we do? We go up to this guy. Uh, Let's say a disrupt station records. We use one forged passport and a... uh, Booyah. There we go. We hid our tracks. There not be any police uh, coming after us anytime soon. That works. We've reached a promised star. So we got Glorious Survivor Cool Kid Croc as a title. That's pretty baller, man. I think we completed that quest at least. I'm going to go around, learn some words, check out what they have for sale. Let's see, we can get another exosuit upgrade. Go get another inventory slot space. Let's go check out this planet over here. It's got activated copter, uh, phosphorus, and salt. Atlas broadcast detected. Whoa. Let's see, we got communication coming in atlas atlas infinite oh no <laughs> that's all we get out of it the translator even work for this i guess we'll accept the atlas's message um i got no idea what it just told us but we accepted it what do we have to fly into it or something um 
No, no, we're not flying into it. God, I do not know what to do. Do you see this shit of a starship? <laughs> you see this going on here? Uh, shooting it doesn't do anything. I don't know, man. I just go by it. I really don't know what it said there or what it wants me to do. So I'm getting out of here. And here we are. There is some stuff here. Let's check it out. We got extreme weather, but we also got really valuable resources. So I'm going to save and chart this location. And then uh, let me try to get up this thing. Let's see. We are almost there. Oop. <laughs> Grab the ladder by accident. Let's uh, see. Holographic projector. Um, We can access logs from the previous calls. Let's see. Damn. Did not find out much about that okay so never mind maybe maybe we'll just go explore go scan a bunch of rocks and stuff see, see if we can get anything oh, we got salt deposits and other stuff i might just grab a bit here and then go back those got buried uh technology modules around here so it might just be worth trying to farm those again we haven't done that in a while yeah i'm just gonna plug away at it for like 20 30 minutes getting a bunch of stuff on this planet and then i think i'll be back oh wow holy i actually got a convergence cube that's a uh, one of two I got these storm crystals around here. What are these? Let's see. Uh, they are... Wow, they're worth a lot. Okay, I might just hunt those for a bit. They're worth some decent money, I'd say. Oh, okay, I got a 10 stack, and that's worth 2 mil? Jeez, okay. Definitely farming those. I like it. We make that much money. We, we just don't need to, <laughs> need to mine, dude. That makes, like, platinum and everything, like easy hopefully the space station will buy the stuff off us at very least but yeah might be able to make a lot of money here just hopping around and dude it's not even that hard because like uh everywhere we go our jetpack has a huge boost just because of the weather so i basically find one i'm like oh 150 u away okay just do that jump on over <laughs> really easy boom that's another like 200k oh no storm clearing can i still find those crystals though are they still gonna be around oh uh, no i don't think so i think they uh go back to normal after the storm clears but i did get 20 of them that's worth 2.1 mil each so i should be able to get like 4.2 mil off that pretty good for like five minutes of just running about i definitely want more phosphorus because that's our main like life support uh fuel all right i think i found enough stuff here i want to summon my ship back and here we are let's go back to the space station try to sell all that stuff we just got all right back at space station now let's see how much does that get us if we can trade it here um 4.2 mil yeah let's do it there we go and that should bring us up to like what 10 million units there we go it's a good little milestone mark i think i think now i'm gonna go to the anomaly like i'll summon that or whatever because i gotta go in there talk to the npcs and then maybe try to purchase some upgrades and here we are we got 14 salvage data now which is a lot more than earlier so let me see what else there is here really isn't that much when looking at the cost of everything like a hollow door, eight. Eight salvage data. Isn't that wild? I'm just going to get a bunch of stuff in here. That's about one salvage data each. And I think I'm going to go for maxed out launch thrusters. That would probably be really nice. There we go. That's some nice new items or research done. Now, I'm not quite sure what to do. I can really do anything. There's so many different quest lines I have available right now. I think I'm going to go back to base because I haven't really done much there for a while. Oh, well, here we are. We are back and... Is that another free ship? Oh my. <laughs> I love this base spot. That's definitely another damaged ship. Yeah, let's look at it. Yeah, we can take this. Let's claim and then let's see. What do we need to do to fix it? Just the launch thrusters. And I think pulse engine. Like if we fix those things, we should be set. Let's see. Does she take off? Yeah, we don't have any shields, but it takes off. That's all that matters. Let's get to the space station. Make a quick five mil. <laughs> That'll be nice. And here we are. Uh, there's a uh, derelict freighter back there, but I'm not fighting that. Going in here to sell this piece of junk. Let's go straight over to the ship thing. That'll be like eight, what, like two minutes <laughs> to make that much. It's only worth 1.5 mil. Damn. I thought it would have been worth a little bit more, but uh, I mean, sure, I'll claim the scrap. This guy does have a B-class scanner module, which I think I'm going to take for now. It's only like a little one. Oh, never mind. I gotta sell something. So maybe I'll sell my... uh pulse engine module and then i'll buy that instead so now if i slap that on there that should give us even more scan plus three thousand to rewards wow 
Okay, okay that, that's really good. You know what? Screw the base stuff now that I'm making money. Maybe I'll do that in a little bit. Let me go check out the space station here because I think there's going to be new NPCs to talk to. Now, I can create a cylindrical room out of like basically anything now that might be better than this little crap shack i got going on we might even just make a new base like this is the uh beautiful starter base i know but oh we finally got two of those cubes we should be able to uh install that translator yep right here let's put that in boom so now we get three words and 2.5 words uh can i try to move that technology if i move the super one in yeah now it does 3.8 words that's really good so now we're translating like i don't know at least six to seven words each sentence that's really nice we got a band jet pack i could uh install right to there that gives me Ooh, another 200%. Yeah, that's a really nice one. I'll take that. And I also have this band mining beam module, which I could try to install. Let me see. I'm sure I can make room for it up here. Yeah, get it connected. That gives us more mining speed, fuel efficiency, overheat downtime. Yeah, that looks good. Now I got some normal C glass uh, modules. They're nothing super great, but it might be better than having like nothing, I guess. We like to look into getting this S tier launch thruster on a ship as well. It's not too far off. And this amplifier thing doesn't seem too difficult to make. If I get some of those other uh, things that I need, then I'll be ready. All right, now I think I'm ready to go around and explore. I'll go back to a uh, this other system where I have my freighter in it. There's six planets here, so there might be some good stuff there. This is a system that we've discovered as well. So if I do decide to like claim a base here, at least it will be my own location I've discovered. And I've got enough resonators now to install that amplifier. I move my pulse engine down there. Now that has a little boost whoa this ship looks gnarly how much is this guy selling it for uh it's only a c-class ship but it has a lot of modules not bad at all got a nice ship can i hire him recruit life form to squadron um i could honestly he is a pilot he's got a little bit of damage potential he's got some confirmed kills a history of piracy everything like checks out looks good i think i'm gonna recruit him oh yeah look now that guy's on our squadron i should be able to find him near a freighter or something eventually now let's see what planets are around us we do got a copper gold and silver planet that would be probably a pretty gnarly place to settle but also probably pretty cool now here we are let's try to make a landing over here i just don't know there's no real like other resources on this planet we do got some relics like right here yeah just vortex cubes meh but we scan a rock yo six thousand for scanning a rock that's really good i might actually make going to planets and scanning uh worthwhile wow like that plant right there that'll get us okay only 500 that's not much but still that probably would be a lot more at least on uh creatures of and i think minerals and i've been getting better scanner upgrade yeah i can see that working out really well so let's go get off of this planet let's go to a different one that we haven't been to yet this this one over here is a tropical planet there's dissonance here but not really sure what that means let's go check it out good 30 seconds away that's a couple blinkers all right here we are about to land uh don't see much land yet though um oh no looks like we've landed on a part where it's mainly water i believe i could still explore in water let me go try to land on a piece of uh area mate over here can we do it here we go landing sequence booyah all right we're here this is the planet first contact sentinels answer to none a uh, fauna is abundant. Floral is a uh, rare. What do we got going on in here? We do have some stuff like armored clams, different creatures over there. Oh yeah, there we go. It looks like our scanner upgrade. I guess it only affects a few things. Mineral and a uh, fauna. Yeah. Oh, is this like area have like barely any uh land too wait this area has like oh 43 yeah that's a lot of units for one creature scan there's an alluring specimen over there what does that mean uh let's scan it um six thousand i'll take it if this has chlorine in it i see that's a uh, new type of resource we normally can't get on land oh shit okay that hurt that hurt never mind we gotta go up we gotta go up we gotta go up ah <laughs> Ooh, okay okay we're back out air storm might be clearing but i got hurt from that oh oh no it's a jellyfish man they're, they're trying to kill me okay i gotta get out of here man i don't like them jellyfish trying to kill me look they're chasing me we gotta get better weapons or something asap all right, maybe if we go like a little bit around the planet, we'll be able to find somewhere with land. 
Let's see, like, we got we got a few mountains over here. There's not much, though. This plant's got, like, eh, weird. It's kind of, like, purplish. We do got some stuff around here, though, like knowledge stones, berry technology. There we go. Let's go this way. And what is that? Alantanium? But, wow, this planet has, like, a lot of minerals. I gotta give it that. This might just be, like, an actual great spot to settle. And, whoa, look at that thing. Is that a is that a bad guy or something? This one ends Resonator. Okay, maybe I shouldn't mess with that one. But there's the last animal scan for this planet. That's sweet. And, whoa, look at this. We got 200k just sitting here on the ground that we can't pick up. We gotta throw away something. Now, let's talk to him. Um, oh, we can feed it Lost Circuits. The sixth. <laughs> that's all it says damn well it gave us some pure fear right i guess that's cool and geez look at all the runaway mold this is i think we can turn this into like nanites all right repair this now i can get a exosuit upgrade i think right now yeah inventory space is kind of crucial so it's like pretty much everything but <laughs> i try to put all that runaway mold into here and yeah that'll make us 1300 nanites that's a really good find i keep learning lots of words i'm not like usually putting it in now but but every now and then when I go to a random station, it like refreshes the NPCs or there's new people there to ask for help from. So I'd go to guess we're at at least, you know, around 200 to 300 word mark by now. And I also want to stop by the mission terminal. I didn't really do those missions for other people. Maybe I'll do some here. Scan minerals. Yeah, it seems like something we could probably do. And take a photo on a reactive radioactive world. Let's try to get that both of those because I think one photo should do both them all you gotta do is find a radioactive uh planet within this system oh he has an extremely powerful uh scanner upgrade i gotta get that one I do not have any nanites right now but thankfully i am processing some so i should have enough in just a moment here yeah let's definitely buy that scanner module upgrade that's gonna be insane it isn't s tier it's a tier but still that's like really good right now and we have room for it just over here there we go that gives us 21 percent scan radius and 5,000 percent floral analysis rewards that's a lot plus the uh 3,000 or 2,000 percent bonus we're already getting that's gonna start to stack up even more when we get better modules i'm starting to see how the gameplay loop of this like all works and i gotta say it's really well done like i'm enjoying my time in the game i'm enjoying like doing what i want to there's lots of different quests and other stuff to do like uh really can't complain like so far has been fire oh nearby freighter under attack my bad I was getting chips. I'll help you out. There we go. We got him. Emergency comms established. This guy's pretty thankful. Please, for replicate <laughs> aid. Um, it looked greatly relieved. They gesture as if to welcome me aboard their vessel. Cool. Let's go check it out. Maybe if this ship's better than the one we already have, we'll claim this one. All right, let's go see. What does he have to say? Um, let's um inspect the freighter. What do we got? E class. Yo, this is way better. You only got a C class right now. Yeah, look at that. 3.5 mil versus 13. I think we're going to exchange this one. Oh, wait, but do we need to pay 9 mil? Oh, God, that's a lot. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. There we go. And did that take 9.5? No, it didn't. Hey, I'm going to try to assign a ship to an expedition. I don't know how this is going to go, but I mean, we need 50 tons of fuel. Damn. Never mind. Looks like we aren't doing nothing yet. I'm going to go check out the freighter uh, construction area, wherever that is. Oh, I guess this is uh, it up here. Okay. We need to construct a cylindrical room. All right, I think I'm not going to mess with this ship for now too much i'm just gonna go back out into space Let's see copper rusted metal and salt that could be a cool planet i don't think i've gone there yet go ahead and land right here now i can't wait to see what the uh rewards are for scanning floral now get on and then uh let's scan a rock get like 6k for a rock what about this uh yeah we've got deposits but that's really about it like a mining planet there's actually we can no floral here. All right, next planet it is. I'm gonna get out of here. We can check out this tropical planet I actually haven't been to yet. If it's tropical, then there should be plenty of floral down there. All right, here we are. Hopefully, we land somewhere with land. I, I think all I see is water. <laughs> all right, I don't know about how tropical this really is. This looks pretty fucking ashy, to be honest. But let's see. We got... Ow! <laughs> fucking bad plant right there we got a uh, first contact with this place that plant gives us 13k yeah that's pretty good lots of weird things over here to give us credits and whoa what the hell are like eyeballs coming out the ground there's a bunch of stuff going on over here whoa look at that thing why why can't i analyze it 
it fucked me, man. It was like a giant worm or something, dude. It just came out of the water. All right, let's see what this armored clam is about. I guess, oh, oh, damn. Okay, there we go. Living pearl. We got it. That is uh, not worth much, but I'm sure it's useful for something. I don't know. Oh, that's worth like 92K. That's okay. Not much, but it's something. All right, I got most of the stuff off this planet, and my inventory is like stacked full. And... Damn, this guy actually has an S tier uh, scanner module. I think I have to get that. Like, that's almost a mandatory. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. We, we do have to take off one of these, though. Let me uh, get rid of our C class. And there we go. That gives us like an 8,000% bonus to floral. Plus everything else. Put that there. Oh, that's stacked, man. I can still get some, like, two S tier scanners. Like, better ones instead of an A class and B class. But still, that's going to help out a lot towards making some units. Here's some dioxide in the uh, trade terminal. I'm going to buy that so we don't have to hunt for it anymore. And there we go. That'll completely repair our ship we have all of a cargo and a uh technology slots available now i'm gonna check the teleporter i should be able to find a mission location we're looking for yeah potential overseer recruit let's go over here and check it out uh, there should be an overseer guy somewhere around here i just gotta find him oh you're not find an overseer here for the life of me Maybe they left already, <laughs> or like, uh, I'm just going to the wrong people. Let me see, uh, do not see another system that might have one. Oh, sweet, okay, I got a target planet reached. I should be able to take a photo here and, uh, complete one of the quests. Hey, I'm getting, like, 36,000 for each, like, plant scan. That's incredible. But nice, we did get the photo, so we can return to the mission agent. Let's see, just from scanning at this planet, we've almost gotten, like, 1 million units. That's gonna help out a lot. I think I might fly around on this planet trying to get technology modules, because right now, we really need salvage data for more of the things we gotta research. Ooh, I did get an S-tier underwater protection module. That's really nice. Put that right there. That'll give us extra protection underwater. All right, I think I at least completed that quest. I should be able to get out of here, go to the space station and redeem it. Let's see, go talk to this guy, hand in missions, and, and yep, we got at least the kill creatures missions complete here. Let's go. Now, I sh now I've got like six of those exosuit upgrade charts, so I think that's what we're going to do. Try to go to a planet and get six new upgrades, at least after I go back to base quick and uh, drop off a bunch of crap. Then... <clears throat> And then now that I have 16 salvage data, let me go and look for a few things. Oh, God, a B-class multi-tool? That thing is insane. Look at that. Wow. Okay, well, we could buy it in Andu Collection, or we could exchange it for a current multi-tool, which is worth, like, nothing. But look at all the slots this one has. Like, I think I will buy that and add it to the collection. That's a lot better of a multi-tool than the one we currently have and then i wanted to sell some of these uh upgrade modules that we have that aren't really too useful right now i'll get us some free nanite clusters i see i can go swap my multi-tool like this and then i should be able to store all the technology um i might want to go and try to sell maybe like everything that i'm trying to first get another exosuit upgrade over here for 50k all right there we go i got all the technologies out of the old gun ready to go in the new one all right that's better that supercharged slot gives us like eight thousand and then ten thousand of floral is a really good upgrade for like having the same class our our last multi-tool was also a b class but this one doesn't reek ass and we even got a plasma launcher uh for this as well or no, it's just a modification for it. Yeah, we do not have it. <laughs> Let's see, we got a magma planet right here. I might try to get those exosuit upgrades on this place after I scan all of the uh, super expensive rocks and floral. 41k for a tree, that's beautiful, man. There we go, there's one of the exosuit upgrades done. And here we go, there's numero two. Oh, whoa, <laughs> I just did another one. Like I only got a few left, but there's a huge structure over there I should probably check out let's see we got a technology merchant at the front here oh he has three exosuit upgrade charts i'll actually buy those 300k that's not that much we got an artifact exchange vault oh okay if we get artifacts we can put them in there don't i have one i have a geck relic oh i got a it. let's see we can decrypt this archive here i have to solve like a riddle or something um we can get their simulated fantasies um let's see what was their family i return to youth my sibling and i play beside the spawning pool 
The pool is a whole world. I am innocent to trade to units, to the insatiable hunger. Here we will stay forever. Well, nothing much else, I guess, to find here. Looks like that Gek kind of went insane trying to make units and trying to uh, win the rat race. That is No Man's Sky. Now, these drop pods really don't take that long to get to. Like, each one takes me about, I'd say, two to three minutes to hit, which isn't that bad. Like, as you can see, if I go to my exosuit, we got four slots available now. I'll open up some more inventory space, but that's going to be super helpful for, well, the rest of the game. Oh, wait, is it right here? Wow. Oh, my. That, that's fucking close, man. I, like, didn't even have to fly anywhere. I could have, like, ran here. I got this artifact chart as well. Where is that going to bring us? To an ancient ruin site. Sweet. We can learn some new words. There's an ancient ruin, but I also see an unknown building there, so I'm going to park in between. Might as well go check out both of them, see what's up. Ooh, I got a hyperdrive module. That's pretty decent i could probably throw that on a ship sweet okay we are here um do not see much yet oh it looks like they are underneath the ground so i need to dig for them yep here we are there's one there we go large artifact crate Ooh, we need three ancient keys damn i need to find one more there we go got another fragment okay now i should be able to unlock that uh artifact crate let's see what's in it we got it open and we got a rare item found a lost artifact hey there we go 648 years old it's worth half a mil, but I think if we bring that to like one of the Gex stations, we'll get like a bonus or something. And there we go. I got all the exosuit upgrades that I could get from the uh, anomaly. I got this new jetpack installed as well now. That makes our jetpack even better. Um, airborne recharging. That's pretty good. Oh no, pirate fighting. Oh no, I, I just I just ripped a smoke. It ain't good. Oh, I see, I see. But so all the turrets over here, we gotta shoot down. Ah, I can't move. It's very uh something to get used to because it's all like 360 degrees. We're in outer space, like it can't get much gnarlier than this. Ah oh, no, the civilian freighter got destroyed. Okay, damn. Pirates are warping out. That sucks. Oh nice, this is an outlaw system. So this place might actually be good to uh, explore. Just for a fact that I think we can actually find S-tier ships on these type of uh, systems. Oh, hostiles. Oh, no. I'm gonna give them units or else they're going to uh, shoot us. What if we uh, bargain with them? Is your wife worth so little? Keep it then. Damn. Okay. So we got like four new uh, systems. I want to rename all of them to CKC at the end. I'll keep their original names, but I'm giving them my uh, little touch so everybody knows these systems are claimed by moi. All right, I'm back at the base now. Got quite a bit of inventory slots. Only like six technology slots left. We did a lot of exploring there. If I make one of those Atlas passes, what does that give us? Um, I open it. Oh, a navigation data. That's kind of good. Oh, and can I just use those infinitely? Wow, maybe I should have made those a lot long, a uh, lot long ago. I'm making oxygen harvester. I need uh, metal plating, life support gel, and dehydrated jelly. And wow, we have like 45 salvage data just chilling in there. I, I, I did not see that. All right, now if I place one of these guys down, um, it must be on terrain. Place it outside, like right here. That should gather oxygen for us. I do need to uh, hook it up, I think, to the battery here. Uh oh. Nope, never mind. It doesn't use electricity. I guess it just uses fuel, but yeah. Put in some condensed carbon in, and now it should uh, just gather oxygen. Yeah, it'll gather up to 250 units, which isn't that bad. Definitely be more productive if I had like a bunch of them, though. I think I'm going to take all that salvage data over try to unlock some more recipes, like whatever I can, really. I think I'm going to use the teleporter. Let's try to find an overseer now for the base. It says that there's one potentially here at the station, so I'll go look around. Couldn't find him last time. But maybe we got better luck today. All right, I think it's just this guy over here. Let's check him out. Oh, there's another room here. I've never gone in this part of the uh, space station. There's even more guys in here. There's a corporal. There's a uh, research entity. Can I talk to these guys as well? Uh, it's a little bit different, I think. Oh, so we're able to build and upgrade exo craft for our travels um i'm guessing that guy will do something else but right now we're here for the overseer let's talk to supervisor uh raduna who is it really you forgive me i've been searching for such a long time it, it doesn't look like it man you're sitting on this comfy chair here i think i'm the one who's been searching a long time i came here earlier and i couldn't find you bro as a stranger speaks a smell assaults me a pheromone infesting my brain giving me memories of places i've never visited of actions i've never took of myself in a mirror aged and alone 
of a skeak cradling their fallen brethren, of a bargain made many years from now, a contract signed across the cosmos. Vision ends and the Overseer remains. The Overseer promises to expand my base, allowing me to recruit other workers. Awesome. Let's hire the Overseer. They should feel at home at our home. I'll be at my station before you know it. See you soon, my friend. Awesome. So that's the Overseer recruited. Now we can actually return to the base and see how things are going over there. One thing I did want to check too before I leave is that a, a refiner thing. We would need itemized Colbat, magnetic resonators, and quantum computers. See if we can buy any of those things here if not i think i have what i need at the base um oh wow no they actually do sell it here that, that's awesome i'll go buy out a bunch of it for like 100k i gotta dismantle the old one and then put the new one in let's uh install that i'll see at the base if i have the magnetic uh resonators and quantum computers for it there we go our auction harvester is working as well we just gotta fill it up with uh carbon every now and then and then that'll make us free oxygen and let's see yeah we do have quantum computers in here and we do do have those nice so i should yeah just be able to install that and now we have an even better refiner this one has two input slots which will allow us to uh refine a lot more things now i do want to look around here as well like uh we gotta make this cylindrical room out of pure ferrite let me go grab some ferrite dust now let's go talk to our overseer in here you have so much to learn so much to see and this place will be our home and miss the infinite take this glass and let starlight flood into your jolly home okay cool now we got glass we can make that out of frost crystals now he wants us to gather chromatic metal in preparation for the recruitment of a corvax scientist i'll say sure let's do it um yeah how much chromatic metal do i have to give him all right we should have enough chromatic metal now let me bring that back to him let's give him the chromatic metal perfect friend i knew you would succeed just what i need to finish for science terminal plans and there we go now we got a new thing to build and we get a harvest data from a terminal and we'll use it for a uh storage container plans if i go look for that science terminal down here we should yeah we can place it inside i'll place it on this wall all right here oh yeah now we need to just hire a base scientist that shouldn't be too hard guess it'll be same thing find him in the space station yada 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 there's buried technology under here um i am going to have to mess up the terrain a bit but that's all right uh there we go got that technology module and some salvage data so then let's do the same thing let's just go up to the stars into the space station try to get ourselves a scientist asap here is mr scientist do you have a base a science terminal of course I do. You can come on right on in. We'll hire the scientist. We'll meet him at the base. Booyah. Now we just got to go back to base. Let's speak to our scientist and see if they give us anything new. Here he is. A fine base traveler. Well, thank you. Hopefully he likes living here. Um, what do we do? Welcome him? Yeah, welcome. Honor. So he's going to give us blueprints for lubricant and acid. Awesome. I think I already knew acid, but uh, I don't think I knew lubricant. So that's a... Plus. Harvest marrow bulb and Corvax will do more. We'll create plans for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Corvax will also clean windows while you are gone. Sweet. So we don't have to worry about cleaning the windows here. He wants marrow bulb and cobalt. That shouldn't be too hard to find. We gotta acquire marrow bulb. Now, if I'm correct, there is a cave somewhere near here. Yeah, right over here. Um, it is not a big enough cave, okay? <laughs> I gotta find a different one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just yeah, that's an exosuit upgrade thing. Okay. <laughs> Let's just find of the next spot but look i found one right here let's see yep the basics carbon nanotubes and antimatter housing we can do that boom boom there we go another exosuit upgrade i think i'm going to drop this one into technology because after that i only have five more slots for technology then i'm maxed out and then we can work on inventory space oh i think i found the marrow bulbs that i needed for a scientist yep oh oh i might there we go i think oh i landed right on the ladder but still we got it about to climb all the way up the thing oh no my radioactive uh protection is like gone i'm gonna try to get some uh, materials to recharge that soon <laughs> let's access the logs from the previous calls um hmm we only got like half of it translated now i don't think this is the actual site we had to uh check or find i think this is just like an extra one or something and, ooh, I think that's it. Sector navigation beam. Yeah, there's a uh, little building there. Some damaged machinery up here. Lots of nice stuff. Let's finalize the signal. And there we go. I'm going to check all this stuff out over here and then go in there. Now, it looks like what we need is in here. And, uh, damn, this place has definitely seen better days. 
Let's search the abandoned terminal. Uh, we gotta take away the goop. That way we can use it. And there we go. Now let's see. Access and schematics. Um, we can analyze the sch schematics and nothing found. Damn. Security measures activated. Use your log data wiped. Damn. Okay. Uh, what do we, what do we test the input panel? Remains unresponsive. That sucks. Well, we'll return to the overseer. We'll tell him how we did. All right, let's go back to base now. I'm like spinning in the ship. Do a barrel roll. We're going back to base. I'm going to give the overseer what he needs. I'm a scientist what he needs. And oh, oh, got. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit too fast. We got to slow down. Okay, there we go. We're here. Let's talk to our scientist quick and give him what we got. Um, this will agree with him. I'm not sure what we're agreeing to, but okay. Let's talk to our overseer and give him what we need to of a storage blueprints soon, as long as we give him the data. So there we go. Give him that. And whoa, we got storage containers, like all of them. Awesome. I should let the Gek go on with their business. Yep. We'll let him uh, continue living and doing whatever. Now we have to return to the overseer, it appears. So, all right. So we've got the Maribold. We got the Cobalt. Let's go to the scientist now and we'll give that to him. He's prepared our blueprints for him. Let's give him what he needs. And there we go. And a, uh, <laughs> then he says, my people have abandoned me. As of 104.32 seconds ago, I lost the hearing. The sight of a Corvax convergence. Ehew. Gee. Okay, so what? We're on him? I seek immediate reconnection. Go to the transmission tower. Enter my soul. Discover what is wrong. Help Corvax with solitude, please. Okay, I guess we'll go do that for him. Um, We'll remove his core. And, uh, oh, damn. So now he's offline. We have to go there, like, right away. And we got some coordinates uh, received now somewhere on our map. Um, Oh, be like, what? 1400 that way up north okay and whoa that's a big ship look at that one up there wish i had a ship like that that's fucking sweet well let's go over to the site i think this is it um let me see yep okay sweet we have arrived let's save and chart this area let's go up to the front it looks like there's a little bit of loot around here um we'll go inside and this is the corvax transmission tower let's go in terminal online let's say uh hear the judgment error corvax science unit corrupted by traveler interaction Personality overridden. Anomaly involvement detected. Oh, no. Solution. Quarantine Corvax science unit con from convergence. Observe, analyze, silence. Hypothesis sentinel. Atlas. Oh, what? What is going on? Does not look good. Atlas. Error, error, error. They see you. Okay, that doesn't seem too good. We got a return of a scientist now. Let's return of a scientist. We'll give him back his core so he isn't offline. Reinsert core. And, uh... Oh, well, he's alive again. A scientist is rebooting. Okay, so it'll take an hour and a half until we can uh, go back to him. Let's go talk to the overseer now. We'll see what he wants. Things are going well, friend, but it will not be long before violence follows us here. It is inevitable. All right, some microprocessors. I could steal a march on fate. Yes, I would design a weapons terminal suitable for a Viking armorer. Okay, so he wants microprocessors. How many of those does he need? Uh, yeah, looks like he just needs one. So... I got one of them in my inventory. Let's give it to him. You've done so well, friend. I'm so very happy. Awesome. So now we got a new building part, the weapons terminal. Let's go and set that up somewhere. And now he wants me to kill sentinels and bring me back for pugnium. Okay, we can do that, I guess. Uh, I already got a little bit of pugnium, so I might be able to just give him that. We'll see if that <laughs> if that just works. Other than that, though, I have that new um thing to build. More storage containers as well. That's fantastic. Let's get that weapons terminal and and I think I'll probably set him up right next to our overseer, like right there. A little bit of a crowded room, but it's all right. It's coming along. Now we just need to find a Viking guy for our weapons terminal. And okay, so I acquired the uh, Pugnium. So the mission has updated. Let's return to the overseer again. The scene has already have that in my inventory. Here we go. We'll give that to him. He gives me a reward. Friend versus another matter. I gave you means to create a weapon terminal, did I not? Yet I see no Viking in attendance. All right, so let's go find a Viking. I'll accept that and uh, we'll go on out and try to get one. Oh, and he gave us a C-class uh, shield module. That isn't like, awful. It's something, I guess, you know. Shield strength, 11%. Booyah. Okay, so it says target outside system. Can we, uh, teleport there? Um, does not look like we've been there yet. So let's go into our ship and we'll go look for this, uh, Viking warrior. Let's see. Oh, he's just one 
a station over. That's not too bad. We can do that. Just got to go over here. Hyperdrive has no fuel. There we go. I got three of them. Let's put that in there. And now let's go to the galaxy map and teleport. Looked out with it not being too far away. And that'll be a new system to check out. I do gotta say, one of my favorite parts is like whenever I get to one of these new systems, it immediately tells me whether I've discovered it for the very first time out of every single player or if a different player has discovered it. I think that's a really like cool touch, you know, um, kind of makes the game feel like one big metaverse or something there's copper and facium at that planet um i don't think we have a lot of facium yet there is a moon over there as well with paraffinium but here we are the potential armor recruit should be inside of this space station right here oh i got a b-class scanner module off that one guy um which one is better two uh yeah probably my first one. Oh, they got another s tier scanner module i gotta get that uh i just trade this salvaged fleet beacon for that at least for the time being i have not used that it's kind of just been sitting in my inventory now i can install this s class and let's see that gives us yeah, pretty good. Oh, like 7,000 boost instead of a 2,000 boost. I'll take off our B class one. And then I'll just make sure all those are connected. Sweet. Then I'm going to go grab my exosuit upgrade. If I want to get another technology slot, it's 125k. But an inventory slot right now is only 80k. So I'm going to go for the inventory slots and then just unlock the... Uh, tech slots as i go and now i'm gonna go to the other side talk to all the aliens over there and try to find that viking at arms for our weapon station and here he is flag bearer imp Inpu. your geck servant told me you were coming interloper awesome he <laughs> he's ready to work with us a great sentinel hunt begins awesome so he's gonna go over to our base as long as we accept him and now we can meet him over on there i think i'm gonna go back to trying to investigate the emergency broadcast seeing as that was given to us like 10 hours ago in game time <laughs> it's been quite a while so maybe i'll try to focus on uh completing that mission or quest and every station i'm going to i'm talking to like everybody here quick i'm getting really good at it, it takes me like one or two minutes to go through and talk to like 10 to 12 people but if i go into our log and go to uh see exactly all of the uh words we know if we go to language records you can see we got pages and pages of geck words filled out we still got more to go like I'm not sure how many there is in total but we keep on finding new words as we go on on the bright side though it's like getting there we now have like over half of the words that uh we've seen so a lot of these words are actually being able to be translated now into somewhat understandable uh sentences instead of whatever the hell kind of nonsense i've had going on from before now let's get out of the station and let's go over and check out that uh signal it's just over here on that planet i believe now this place looks pretty gnarly a bunch of buildings and stuff around here this looks like an actual base. Can I just use this as my base? Well, let's check it out. I don't know. I think, yeah, I've been on this planet before. Uh, planetary settlement detected. Outpost status vul vulnerable. That doesn't seem good. Um, power's on. You've located a struggling planetary settlement, fighting against harsh conditions and constant settlement harassment. Oh, so we can, uh, um, become overseer and help grow the settlement. Assist citizens. Ooh, I like this. I, uh, yeah, we could, we could definitely help out with this. It looks like this place is inhabited. It isn't like abandoned or something. Um, here we go. Hireling. Are you the guy I was talking to? Friend, you are, yes, here to help. Yes. Um, weapon. Yes. The settlement must be a source of a distress signal. Let's ask about the, uh, distress signal. Before I can speak, I hear the wail of a siren. A hostile buzz descends upon the town. The sentinels have arrived. Oh, no. So we gotta kill these guys. Um, they're pretty strong. They got lots of health there's like these other guys that heal them as well we don't exactly have the most ammo in the world either it's kind of our mining beam doesn't do too bad against them there we go one sentinel down take that got some combat supplies from that what if i just got in my starship can i just shoot them in there a bit easier not really <laughs> not really it's, it's pretty hard bro i go the, the aliens and the other people here they aren't even phased but oh there he is now he's running now he's trying to get away and i'm not sure what to do because whenever i damage one of them enough another one just comes over to heal it and i damage that one enough and then it'll come over to heal it the other one i uh, almost got that one down come on yeah that's one it's like four left this is so brutal man i don't have out I, I gotta get better guns that's that's it like this bolt caster thing i have is garbage my mining beam i think is a bit better than it there we go destroyed that one. Oh my god this is the worst dude this is the worst battle i've ever had in gaming this is really fucking rough dude like if i if i hit him 
quick, then they stop uh, trying to repair, but still, it's such a pain in the ass. And they keep doing that shield, so it's harder to fucking hit them. Oh, man. My, we my weapon charge depleted. Come on, there we go. Numero four. That's nice. Two more left to go. These guys are fucking so rough. There we go. Just one left now. Oh, okay. Should just be able to beam this guy down to death. Nice that a, uh, not a single alien here helped me. Like, not a single one of them has guns or anything. So they all just hid. There we go. Oof. Mission accomplished. I'd like to say how hard was that, but that took me like an honest like five to seven minutes. So it was pretty hard. Somebody's still angry about yesterday. <laughs> what, getting attacked? What is it? Oh, everybody's stuck in a wall. Awesome. This is a great start to this base. <laughs> I already don't want to be here and it's already overwhelming me. Um, What are you doing in there, man? I guess uh, they're all just fucking gonna hang out in there. I, like, not much else I can do, man. Okay, I think... I gotta get out of here. Oh, not enough fuel and launch thruster. Damn it. Oh my god. I need to make some. Oh, uh, come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now let's go. Booga booga. I'm out of here. All right, I think our best bet right now will probably be uh, hopping out of this uh, system for a moment. I'll just go to another random one, discover it quick, see what's up over there. There we go. New station, new exosuit upgrade. Let's see. We got some missions here too. So maybe I'll go to a planet here. I'll try to kill like 15 creatures and a uh, scan some minerals but we'll see how it goes i don't think i've used that a uh, new analyst visor the uh, s tier one with the new s tier one yet so it should go pretty good I'll try to find a planet that isn't overran by sentinels right now just because they're too much of a pain in the ass for me to deal with we got this lifeless planet over here i'm kind of curious about i'd like to explore i can only imagine what's going to be there you know I, I think i've been to a few already but it's fun in this game like what i am so impressed by the gameplay loop but just i'm doing whatever the hell i want dude i'm pulling out missions on my hoo-ha i'm just deciding out the moments uh spare like what I want to focus on and it's great you know I'm going to different planets I'm exploring I'm genuinely like playing the game getting all different like knowledge for it learning different words for different races like can't be going that much better than this let's land right here and yeah this looks like a barren wasteland this is first contact with this place Keo scar now i'm gonna scan a mineral and that gives us 31,000. i I'll take it wow there there really isn't like anything on here just to, copper deposits and yeah may, maybe that was a uh an ill-fated decision go check out this planet i'm gonna try to go to this hot planet even though it has aggressive sentinels i mean screw it try to see if we can find anything on there and here we are it looks about like almost similar to the other one just as lifeless but uh we got already got unidentified materials down here like two star uh bulbs that i would imagine get somebody mad at us scan the creatures 20, 241,000 for a creature scan. I'll take it. Oh no, oh no, a sentinel, a sentinel. Okay, they're searching right now, but they do not know where I am. All right, sentinel forces deactivated. Gotta be careful about that. Oh shit, I picked up one of those balls. Oh damn, we're gonna have a whole force coming after us now. Oh no, yep, there they are. That's all of them. Ah! <laughs> Gotta get out of here, man. All right, let's go out into space. There's a lock in progress from a sentinel. Let's see. We'll we'll fight these guys and then try to escape. There we go. He's down. Well, we had an ally helping us. <laughs> is that one of our guys? That's crazy. Oh no. Oh no. Is that is that that's bad stuff. Hostile ships in range. The sentinel is trying to lock on us. I think it got us. I gotta I gotta take him down. There we go. That guy's down. Now let's try to get out of here. Pulse engine. Boom. I'm out. Let's <laughs> we gotta go to a different galaxy map, man. Keep on causing shit everywhere we go. <laughs> All right, new station. I'm gonna grab that upgrade of and talk to everybody here. I'm gonna forget, I, I accepted some missions on the last one, but I got in trouble again. So, Uggy, I gotta stop doing that. I got like all these quests in here that I have uh, just stopped doing. I'm gonna abandon some of them, like these uh, photo missions. You know, I'm never getting to those. Now that I've freed all my uh, mission slots up, let me look for new ones. <laughs> I could really use like scanning minerals. That seems easy. And then killing creatures. Let's do that. We have a galaxy map open. Let's see. The uh, planet they want the min minerals scanned from is a uh, quite a fucking distance away, dude. It's all the way over here. It's like 700 light years away. Well, it'll take like two warps, but I can get there, I think. On the way, I'll just stop in at the space stations that I see and whatnot, you know? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, did I shoot the space station? I didn't mean to shoot the space station. I'm so sorry for shooting the space station. Oh, no. 
Oh no, I hope they don't kill me. I'm inside now. Oof. Okay, that was a close one. I was trying to shoot the uh, asteroid that I was flying through because I hit one. Grab another inventory slot while I'm here. That's costing us 100,000 each now, but still, it's not that much. He knows that's only one creature scan now. It's a lot easier to make 100k. All right, let's try to land on this planet. I think it's going to be scorching hot or something. It looks pretty hot. Luckily... I believe heat resistance is, yeah, one of the uh, things we also have on us. External temperature, 327. Jeez. All right, self-igniting storms. That's insane. Um, Looks like we got, like, jellyfish flowing around, but we can survive here, I think. I'm gonna try to scan some of them. Yep, get our 100k. We got a little worm dude on the ground and stuff. There's a bunch of things over here can't really see much of it because they have a storm oh wait i don't have those storm crystals those are worth bank let me try to go over to those and grab those while i'm here oh then we got these uh solar ninium things um that is from a hot climate yeah i might want to save those for whatever they are used for it seems like almost everything in this game has like one or two uses at least some things like literally just one or two uses but you know and what is that tentacle thing oh wow it's worth 200k at least we just got to keep our thermal protection up because they uh yeah once it goes down we lose health fast or not though like this planet's awesome so far if this storm kicks up for like a little bit we'll be able to make millions fuck man never mind speak of a devil i was just about to pick that one too at least there's a monolith up there we can go check out and we're looking creature can i kill that thing here we are at the monolith we can learn a few new words here got three new words from the knowledge stones and then i'm going to go upstairs we'll talk to this thing um it wants us to sleep i'm gonna resist um my eyes will not close i am in control as i leave i hear a sad soft whisper on the breeze damn was that not the right one well that sucks oh well subterranean organic structure that looks hella weird i gotta check that out oh no that monster i was shooting from before it's still over here pissed off at us i had no idea what it does though it's just tentacles are coming towards us but i think i killed it yeah we killed it nice now what is this thing um i just beam it Yep, we do. Bluey tendril. Yeah, I got no idea. It doesn't seem that hot, at least right now. I'm gonna use one of these charts for the exosuit thing. I'll probably just call my ship and then grab those because I only got three charts left. All right, let's repair that one. Booyah. And then exosuit upgrade. It said there's an incoming storm as well, so I might be able to farm from one of those crystals in a moment. A save and chart this area. And there's another creature over there. Another 100k for us. I've made like one mil plus just from scanning stuff down on this planet oh yeah there we go there's the storm crystals so i'm gonna go farm those for a bit just grab a bunch of them the only really good thing about these hot hot planets is like the super boost you get to the jet pack like look at this i basically go all the way there i still got half my pack left it's wild man get another few storm crystals grab one of these i see a berry technology thing down there i'm going off man like compared to like 12 hours ago i'm playing so much more efficiently ah storm clearing son of a bitch okay at least i got a few more from that that's not too bad here we are another exosuit inventory slot unlocked and i got another supercharged slot right there for something only three more left to go on that and i don't know how many more words probably like hundreds left all right now i've talked to everyone let's go to that planet where that mission is to go scan the minerals this is a really big mission for such a small reward but do what we gotta do you know helps us get out there and explore more and here we are new planet um um, got some creatures off in the distance that we can scan down. 240,000. I'll take it, man. Whoa, look at that guy, man. He looks huge. Only worth 31k? What, if other ones were worth 200? Okay. Whatever, man. Whatever, you know. What is that, a little jellyfish thing? Awesome, man. Yeah, there's so much here. Lots of money. Made like two mil just from dropping on this planet. And sweet, we got the required minerals. I'm gonna keep on scanning some stuff around, just try to get everything that I can. It's really easy money after all. Like, everything we scan is getting us 30,000 to 300,000. All right, there we go. That's quite a bit of stuff, I think. Got up almost to 13 mil from that. I'm gonna try to leave this place now all right and another new system go grab my upgrade and talk to everybody and we got a fragmented planet down there that's got copper gold and silver on it we got another planet over there with copper paraffinium and silver we got 
Three over here? Wow. A oh, poisonous planet over there I might check out. Seeing as there's like the two moons around it, we could scan those quick as well if we get there. Whoa, that's a gnarly looking creature. Lots of stuff here too to scan. Oh, this place has storm crystals as well. Only downside is that we don't really have that jetpack bonus from the planets that are hot. We can grab them, but yeah, it's still, it's not a perfect sentient plant. That's got to be worth something. Let's see if we, can we harvest these? Yeah, we got inventory space. Oh, these give us uh, gravitino balls. Sweet. Oh, sentinels are here. Uh, that isn't good though. That isn't sweet. I can probably lose them, though. They're already searching for me, so I should just be able to keep on running to storm crystals. Oh, nice. I found all eight subspecies of uh, different, like, animals here. I should be able to get a good nanite bonus when I go in for that later. Oh, okay. The storm's clearing now. I did see there's an unknown building over here, so I'm gonna go check that out. But yeah, we did pretty good on this place. Found all the different creatures. Got us, like, another mill or two worth of units. And here we go. I guess it's just waypoint yeah there we go hey i see a building up to the north though uh, like right up there yeah minor settlement detected okay so now if i go to my discoveries i go to fauna yeah i should be able to hold it to register that gives us 2,000 nanites for eight different species and i still get five nanites for uploading each one individually now, i do see something like right over here so i'm stopping here quick before we go over to that other settlement now let's see is there anyone in here it's a reinforced door. Well, we have to break it. Oh, then sentinels, of course, are going to come after us. Okay, maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> not right now. Not not while we're super weak with, like, no weapons. Let's get out of here. Oh, God, I can't go to that settlement right now. We got these sentinels coming after us. This isn't good. Okay, there we go. One down and two down. There we go. I probably just got to hop galaxy maps, man. They're not going to stop chasing me. Here we go. Yo, we got an atlas interface over here. Wow. Uh, Maybe I'll go check it out. I'll see what's in there. We can talk to him or whatever. And here we are now. Oh, we fell off right away. Let's see if we'll learn. Oh, we learn Atlas Word with that one. And with that one. Let's try to see how many Atlas Words we can learn from this place. I think we just got to go and hit all those orbs. Or at least some of them. I don't know. Maybe we only get a certain amount of words each visit. I'm not sure. Oh, no. We got the Atlas Word for is. Well, let's go up and uh, search these. We got Warp Cell. Nice. And then I'll go up to this. Does not... <laughs> really come through right now. I do not understand a lot of it. Now, have they been expecting me? Am I, am I somehow chosen? The Atlas crafted this existence. The Gek, the Viking, the Corvax. The stars that fill the skies and the hatred that burns within the deep. Every world that turns and every form that lives, the Atlas offers it all. Will we uh, consent? I take the gift of knowledge, certain in my decision. All doubts are silent. The stars await me. Nice. We learned a uh, new formula. Now let's just go back to the ship, we'll leave, and maybe go to another planet. Honestly, don't feel too bad about maybe trying to scan for some more creatures, because it gets us a lot of units, and then it's getting us a lot of nanites as well, which is what we really need for upgrades and to unlock different technologies, like pretty much everything. I might go to this temperate planet over here, check it out, see how it is. It's 48 seconds away, it's quite a bit away, but we can get there. That just gives me enough time for a smoke, and oh, we got an object of interest, what do we got? Oh, just... A trader. Hey, actually, let's uh do it because I know we have quite a few things. Those uh storm crystals. 28 of them will sell for 5.9 million. Let's do it. That's great. That'll give us a lot of money. I'm gonna sell these Graventino balls to him as well. I think we should be pretty good with that. I don't really see. Oh, wait. Coverage tubes. I know these are hard to get. Let me get some of these off him. And there we go. So now we're up to 20 mil. That's a lot of money. I'm gonna continue our way to the temperate planet. You know, we'll probably get up to like 20, maybe like 21 mil. And yeah, we'll just try to scan some stuff around on this planet. See if we can scan down all the life forms and get that nice bow. Bonus. All right, here we go. And what are the bubbles around here? What the hell is going on? Uh, those aren't life forms. They're just yeah, stagnant bubbles. A tiny bull living down there. I do see some knowledge stones just peeking like around here. You can basically see them easily because the land's so flat. But uh, this is a gnarly looking planet for sure this is really good there's a lot of knowledge stones around here and this is in a corvax system as well which is like one of the languages i know the least of was that animal 
Astro, I mean aggro, not Astro. <laughs> it is Astro because it's in the space, you know. Technically, I'm not wrong there. Oh, great, a storm. I love those. Well, let's grab the knowledge uh, stones around here. Let's talk to the entity thing. It says reward yourself. Ooh, let's give multi-tool. We hand each other our multi-tools. We've each exchange complete. The mirror of me fades away. Ooh, this is like a bigger B class. I don't know, man. Compare with current multi-tool. Um, we can exchange by trading it in, or we can take it for free. I think we're gonna take it for free. Ours does have a bit more slots, and uh, yeah, I don't really feel like repairing this one, but hey, I'll take it for free. We also learned the Atlas word for we, so that's pretty cool. We got more aggroed monsters trying to come fight us. Wow, looking at this system, it was discovered eight years ago by Bulls Dope 24 That's wild. So this was probably like just a random place that they stopped in trying to warp to somewhere else. A pretty interesting seeing like all the different players and crap that have uh inhabited the game before i leave this planet i have like four more guys to find a flying one that's rare and then an underground type of uh creature as well as an underwater it's not impossible but it would give us like a lot of nanites if i could find that well i found another uh, little building here but not find any other uh, creatures so far and whoa there's there's guys in here at least one of them new corvax entity scared please please so we're uh same please i'll insist i come in peace uh nope there there's a pause of in their faces wiped the shell reboots with a new entity in place of the other oh geez okay we, we just standing decreased minus one with corvax sweet that did not work out well let's see i discovered a location with distant stars what does that mean signal detected okay cool somewhere out in space well that was a pretty pointless place to stop in at i think i would say screw getting the extra nanites at least for now i'm gonna go back to the mission agent out at the uh, space station and oh there are some frigates for sale over here Jeez, okay yeah we got like five missions to hand in from uh killing no six of them to because all creatures we killed that's great i'm gonna grab more of those I'll go grab another exosuit upgrade as well. Might give us mining beam a uh, module because that will probably be a lot better on our multi-tool. Let's see. We can put that in right here. We do got to get rid of one of these though. I think this one is easily the worst one. So I'll get rid of that one. There we go. And we got even faster mining speed and heat dispersion. Now, whoa, that's a big uh, station or whatever the hell that is. Definitely have to check out that. Yeah, this place looks huge, man. There's a lot of stuff going on here, definitely. Oh, here we are. Yeah, this is definitely another uh, station of some sort. We got a bunch of people we can ask for dialect help, learn some more words from. And wow, this place is big, man. There's a lot of people here. It's all Corvax. Oh, whoa, pirate pirates are coming oh i gotta call my ship man this ain't good this will this will be a good time to uh help them though and oh no oh no i can't move i'm, I'm just i'm just stuck here something ain't good something ain't right I, I gotta oh man i gotta leave and come back i'll probably get rid of a planetary raid unfortunately but oh well oh man that blows and we only got a few more uh animals on here as well if we can find somewhere that's underwater as well as a cave could try to make like 3k nanites real quick and oh wow speak speak of a devil here's here's some water right here okay let's let's land i guess oh oh here's the underwater creatures there's one of them at least and i think the other one's right there oh no fuck it escaped oh i got it nice there we go there we go i think i got all three of the underwater creatures now i just need to find like a cave all right i can't find the last two i think i'm gonna get out of here be waiting i'll be looking around here all day okay maybe it's just like coincidence of events and then we get those type of bonuses but looking for it right now is just gonna be insanity it's been a minute since i went to the anomaly let's go back there and check that place out I think it's still a little bit too early for me to hand in any uh data or whatever now let me go look at starship research like we can pretty much get the rest of this right now. I think I mainly want to go for multi-tool research right now. Like, dying isn't really the problem. It's doing damage uh, and doing it, like, well. I'll get, like, an S-tier uh, weapon. 
And I can get another exosuit upgrade over here. I'll get my inventory upgraded again. I got 60 salvage data to use at the uh, construction station. That's great because that's going to be a lot of different stuff. And really, it isn't that much. Like, it's just enough to get a few things, but not much. I'm going to spend the rest of my nanites trying to get all of the uh, starship upgrades that I can. Then we can throw a few of these on our ship and then try to aim to get those installed. And... There we go. That's every single starship upgrade unlocked as well. I now dump the remaining ones into my multi-tool research. It's looking pretty good now. Like, that's a lot of stuff. All right, there we go. Now, I think I'm about ready to get out of here. I want to go back to my base as I uh, need to go back and talk to our overseer anyways. We did a lot of exploring there in like a couple hours. I got a lot of new places. It's looking good. Let's go to back to the base and see what we can do there. All right, let's talk to this overseer guy now, see what he wants. Things are aligning. We are now ready for a Gek farmer to join us. Indeed, I have already prepared their contact. All you need to do is gather the selenium required to finalize their workstation. I might have selenium. All right, let's check it out. So we got to gather selenium. I do have that. I have like 100 selenium. Um, Yep, that'll be enough. We only needed 45. Perfect. So let's ask about the farmer. Do not worry, friend. We should all be very di different in the wrong conditions, such as the nature of things. The fuck does that mean? What about the farmer? Now, I'll give him the solarium and a, uh, that should be it. There we go. Um agricultural terminal nice once you have secured our farmer you'll want to trade unhindered to profit from our glorious harvest without being dragged two and four now he needs a few circuit boards okay i think i can make those that's not too hard first let me go check at that uh thing that i just got the agricultural terminal that's not too hard to set up i'll do that like maybe right over here boom there we go set up and we have to acquire a circuit board we can't craft one so that sucks that's one of the first roadblocks we got. Nice, this guy's got a piece of exosuit technology for us. Now, I can get a valuable blueprint if I shut down produ production of a factory nearby. So, maybe I'll check that out later. For now, I'm going to throw in this uh, extra B-class module. That gives us a little bit more power. Now, we can finally talk to our scientist as well. He's no longer passed out. And he's talking about an observatory. Okay, so that might be the next thing for us. I'll try to check one out when I got some time. On our starship, it looks like we only got... Got like two more slots available that really isn't much i can put on this emergency warp to uh escape when we're being hunted down that would be pretty useful let's get that installed there we go and i'm gonna get an economy scanner so that we can figure out the economies of these different uh places before we end up having to warp to them and there we go now that ship is pretty much decked right out got as many technology slots used as possible now that's pretty sweet now i think the next thing to focus on will probably be our multi-tool there's lots of things that we can unlock on this thing i'm gonna add on this survey device that won't be too hard to make definitely like this blaze javelin thing installed along with the uh, other two things that go with it all right a lot of this stuff i think we're gonna have to go to the space station quick to see if we can buy i got like 40 navigational data i think i'm gonna exchange some of that for some maps let's get a couple settlement charts so i can find some settlements on different planets i'd like to and then i think i'm gonna go for dig sites i'll get 10 of those we're back at the system that we were at before i think i'm gonna go out and try to explore some more of those planets that i haven't been to yet if i go to discoveries i can see i've been to uh decogged f2 i've been to uh that other one over there so I basically got three left here maybe i'll check out this place because it's got the ancient ruin over there it does have high sentinel activity but we can probably get around that oh we got a object in space what's going on incoming message oh a trade link cool let's see what do they have yeah i'll definitely buy their uh cubes those are really useful and then these descented bottles will sell for a hundred percent more than normal so definitely selling those there we go and we're sitting at like 24 mil units it's easier to get units now that each time we go to a planet we're getting a few mil but still i want to figure out ways to get even more money fast that way we can get some of the better class starships and freighters in the game all right let's see so we got an ancient ruin over here a few knowledge stones learn a few words from and a uh oh a movable ball that's pretty cool uh-oh hopefully that wasn't too important 
Okay, I got that one, and then is there anything over on this guy? Yeah, there is. There's a little triangle right here. So this is an atlas interface. We can see we can seek help with language or knowledge of a past. Let's go with language. I'll learn another word. There we go. We learned a Korvax word for life. There are some creatures in the distance. I'm going to try to scan. Get 240,000 credits for I think I'm going to activate one of those other charts as well. Maybe these uh, exosuit upgrade charts, because we only got a few more until we get all the technology slots in our exosuit. I'll try to focus on those and just scanning stuff, and then we'll try to go on to doing some of the other charts we have. Here we are, and yo, check that out. Looks like some cactus type uh, <laughs> stuff going on here. There's two more animals. I think there's like seven different species on this planet. Oh, there's uh, another one. Okay, whoa, and then there's another one, so I only need to find one more, then I'll have, like, 1,500 or a 2k bonus. And yeah, same thing in here, just the same old uh, repairs that we gotta do, and then we get a free upgrade. Like I said, I want three more for all of our technology unlocked, and then I can just focus on inventory after. Now, let me check discoveries. Looks like that last one is a uncommon flying type. So I have to keep an eye out uh, for it and try to find it soon because we'll get 1,750 nanites for that. So I'll activate another chart and then I'll go over to it. Oh, wait. Wow. It, it, it's not even that far. I, I didn't even have to warp out. It was like right next to us. All right. Here we are. This is the last one that I have in my inventory. And that'll give us the final upgrade we need. And our technology will finally be maxed in our exosuit. There we go. And I can't find that last flying creature. Like, <laughs> I'm trying, but I'm starting to feel like it's kind of a lost cause unless I go on to do another stuff. Let's try to find a secure site of interest let's see what's going on manufacturing facility detected okay that might be good these things over here are called metal fingers they're three stars so they're really rare and they got uranium so probably a fuckload of uranium in them let's see what do we get oh 400 uranium yeah that's really good oh shit that one's got gold in it nice i guess it's just like high concentrates of like materials oh shit there it is there's that bird there's that bird, and there's the nanites. Let's go upload it. There we go. 1,750 extra nanites. That's amazing. It'll give us lots of upgrades and other stuff like that. I'll go check out that factory before I leave this planet. Oh, we discovered all species on four different planets. That's pretty good. All right, here we go. Let's check out what we got going on over here. We got a uh, sentinel checking us out right away. I don't know. I guess there'll be loot in there. Yeah, it's got one of those reinforced doors we gotta break down. There we go. Booyah. Okay, let's run on in. Let's uh, check it out. Oh, God. Are all these doors reinforced? No. Wait, here's the terminal. Alarms are blaring. The fat the facility is Oh, I got to I got to go quick. The sentinels are coming in. I can see them. Uh let's insert carbon. Um the entire system shuts down. Ooh, sentinel forces deactivated. Nice. I don't think we did that right, but I'm getting out of here before it becomes too much of a problem. I'm already almost there. I, I mean, I might as well check out these other two planets within this system. Now, the next planet is a radioactive abomination, so it should be pretty gnarly here. Uh, here we are, another new planet. Let's land and check it out. And, uh, whoa, that's a big guy. I can't scan him, unfortunately, still. That sucks, but... It's got one of those giant worm things, so it's probably a gnarly place to be. Sentinel is checking us out, so I'm gonna have to try to be careful. Run away. There's lots of uh, different animals here to scan, though. All right, that's not this planet. This planet's so radioactive. Like, I got a few of the uh, scans here. But I'm not focusing too much on it. We got one more planet in the system to go to, then we've explored them all. Oh, of course, we got a fugitive starship nearby. Uh, they're worth 100k units. It's not much. Honestly, I'm gonna skip it. I really don't care. Now we're getting like 100k per scan. All right, here we are. And whoa, look at this place. This looks cool fucking crazy it was all hexag hexagoned out or something like when i was going towards it all right we're here um let's see any animals kicking about uh surprisingly yeah these weird jellyfish things 
And, hey, that was one of one species. Do we get a reward for that? We do. 250 bonus. I'll take it. Well, that is it for this system. We'll upload those and I'll upload all discoveries. We're at 4K nanites now. We're looking really nice. All right, this place is pretty gnarly, but I'm about ready to leave and go to a different, uh, maybe even system. I'll try to go to this uh, pirate system over here. Maybe check out some of the planets where the pirates are because I would imagine that there'd be like less sentinels and like police or whatever to stop us and oh no pirate capital ship detected oh no okay okay we have to stop this stuff uh, stop this nonsense all right we should be able to uh take it down if we take down all of these uh guns and torpedoes on it oh i i almost got it man i got i got the shields down come on rocket hey civilian fleet saved from pirates there we go let's destroy that entire freighter hostile ships defeated let's go let's approach the uh, civilian fleet i believe if we do that we'll get a reward greetings from one commander to another do you seek new vessels for your fleet Ooh, for sure let's uh inspect the frigate we can accept it, but it'll cost 9 mil. This is a B-class freighter. I mean, pirate cruiser, not that bad. Honestly, I might take it. Complete transfer, let's do it. We now own a fleet of two freighters. Let me see, this one is a uh, well, C-class. It's not as good, but I think I will uh, decline that one. Oh, anomaly detected, whoa. Emergency containment device, what's going on here? To fly into it? Uh, nope, nope, that's not the right choice. Do I shoot it? Yeah, shoot it. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got the sample, and a, uh, it's about 200,000 in value, 400 years old. Cool. All right, Gobor 24K7. That's a pretty sweet name. I don't know if we'll be the first person to discover this place, but I'm gonna check it out. We got a my temperature of minus 102 probably gonna freeze to death and uh yeah i don't know i can't really see much doesn't really see seem too promising oh that was a storm okay so if i get out now it shouldn't be as brutal maybe let's try to look for a uh secure site of interest on this planet see what we can find oh uh, manufacturing facility fuck man i'm not good with those oh damn i only need to find two more uh species on this planet looks like they are normal just ground animals and then flying animals oh there we go there's one <laughs> okay one more i think that shouldn't be too hard to get Jeez, man there are so many animals over here i still have that creature calling quest so i can go around shooting a few of them oh oh i think i think there it is there's the last animal we need oh yeah oh nice we got him now i'm gonna go upload all get 2200 nanites that's great that brings us to 6k there we go that'll be the sixth uh planet we've discovered all of animal species on i'm gonna head back out into outer space i think stop by the space station because we just completed like two missions there so we should be able to hand those in look at how many ships we can buy now like all of these guys are recruitable let's see this guy yeah a b rank for three mil that's a pretty good price man i'll take it another b class for three mil maybe okay i'll take those two i won't get too uh ahead of myself now i want to go to the uh space station can i go into that normal frigate or uh freighter i don't know if they owe me one or not uh but it's still hanging out there yeah i think we go in just right here then we can talk to uh the captain because i don't think we talked to him or uh, got a reward for uh beating all the pirates last time so let's go check that out let's see what do we got in here a viking uh commander um we can offer to buy the freighter it is an s tier for 60 mil jeez we'd have to exchange 51 mil damn man how do i make 40 mil in like no time at all to get this s tier freighter that, that is nice man I want that. Why won't I get it for saving them? <laughs> Damn, dude. Okay, well, keep that in mind. We'll definitely have to check it out again eventually. Let's go over to this outlaw station because I do want to see if they have any good black market uh, modules. Like, the upgrades you get here, they're always random. They could either be, like, super crappy or the best in the game. It's really, like, luck of a draw or whatever, but we got enough s tier scanner modules i'd really like some top tier scanner modules to replace them with though let's see we got a salvage dealer over here he sells us some pretty suspicious looking stuff could either be good or bad right, let's get this uh suspicious scanner module we'll see what we're dealing with here so if i install that that would give us uh 6 and 1.5 it's a bit better than the one we do have right now i'll give it that so we'll swap it out nice we can actually hand in the two 
two missions right here and then we can see he's got some other missions right here for us they're all uh pirate type missions not sure if i want to do those yet just because our ship isn't super great yet get an exosuit upgrade while we're here i didn't know these uh had it wait we get another row for technology oh my okay i mean i'll take it definitely that gives us even more potential for technology but wow I, I was not expecting that i thought we maxed it out now this guy's got information on freighters i might actually acquire coordinates for five mil now give us a uh, emergency signal scanner so if i use that i should be able to find a uh, signal within this system we gotta activate the pulse drive in order to begin the tuning process but we should be able to find it soon now my keen are now our ally we got rank three out of nine with them that's good all right so it's circuit it's searching the frequency of a channels trying to find the derelict freighter okay we found it let's slow down and uh we can land on this one over here i think we have to go up up here and land let's see yep there we go no internal life signs detected all right warning game not save aboard derelicts okay let's check it out i guess i'll go on inside and see what we're dealing with door control let's open it um nice it opened let's see docking bay door total lockdown access denied oh no so let's see what do we have available to us let's restart internal gravity um oh no error m freedom of movement reduced <laughs> that isn't good what about restarting hazard control uh that isn't good either didn't work either let's unseal the door using the one active retriever um let's see is it gonna work we got some supplies here we got three repair kits and i think the door is gonna open oh yeah okay a uh, door opened we gotta proceed with caution we got a defense turret okay they're like freighters are dangerous environments oh no security systems activated i thought i thought it was already on bad guy mode okay okay they're back offline they're back off we can go in we got some tainted metal there that's good we gotta find all of a salvage in here i guess oh nice a c grade hyperdrive module that's not bad we got a uh, log snippet over here rare item found mainframe access card oh nice oh new building part that's decent oh no i guess it's just like a bunch of random loot is on here and then what about at this door we can uh open it yep we can let's see we got this door right here we got the uh main cargo bay or i'm deep i'm in like the third floor now oh no oh no okay i woke into the infected that ain't good that ain't good i don't think oh no okay i gotta stand still when these things are going nuts okay it's off Oh, that one by me's going off a bit. And, uh, mm, we're, we're going back up, I guess. I th think there's probably going to be another zone in here. Uh, well, we got a few things. We got a secure mainframe over there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I let the bugs out. I let the bugs out. Reactivate teleport terminal. There we go. Teleport it to emergency airlock. Oof. Okay, we're here. Let's use this heating unit. Activate that. There's still a couple zones that aren't uh mapped yet and damn the bugs are out all right i've got to go back to my starship anyways and transport a bit of stuff because this is getting nuts all right i do not see the bugs anymore so if they either left or uh they're still here or just hiding i don't know if we've gone into this room over here yeah it does not look like it let's see yep we got another room in here mapped this one doesn't look like there's any bad guys got another log snippet on here got an engineering control center let's check it out um fabricators on emergency power construct component sure um we got a cargo bulkhead out of it huh okay <laughs> look I, I can log in as cadet hiv that guy's got a fucking awful name. Uh, <laughs> I got his login credentials, so let's log in. Let's read the captain's log from here. What do we get from this? Oh, we got a rare item out of it. That's pretty decent. All we gotta do is now find the crew manifest. Um, probably in this room, seeing as, yep, this is the last one. I haven't checked it. But, uh, crew manifest is not in here. What the fuck? Here we go. I think this will be it. This is the uh, records terminal. Let's access the crew manifest. Chan scanning ship for biological traces. And uh, no detected biological trace matches crew records. Retrieving last known crew positions. Looks like everybody escaped like 10 to 5 days ago, 4 days ago, and 1 day ago. Well, we did get a copy of the uh, crew manifest at least. So we got everything that we really need. Let's use the teleport network to uh, get out of here quickly. Now let's uh, return to 
of a starship and I guess we uh, just leave. I don't know if we got like five mil worth of loot from that. It does not seem like it. I thought we were going to get a ship or something cool, you know, but whatever. We can find interested buyers on the space station. So let's go check there. All right. So let's go check out. I guess we got to go to the scrap dealer and then guild envoys. Here's the scrap dealer. Let's see if he would like anything. Uh, yeah. It looks like he'll just buy the stuff at normal price. It's not look too hot. I can't really find anyone at the moment that wants to take those. So I'm just going to put them in the starship. One thing I want to start doing now that it's day 40 is trying to get this salt uh, industry going. Well, not exactly salt. It's chlorine, but it involves oxygen, salt, and then that makes chlorine. According to the people on the interwebs, that's like one of the best ways to make money in the game, at least from like early player like myself. And I don't know. I guess this uh, planet I was just at has salt. So maybe if I go to a spot where there is water, I can find that. And uh, oh yeah, it, it, we found a spot that is just water. Let's uh, initiate landing on this tiny little island here. And there are some submerged relics in the ground. I can go check those out. But mostly we're going to be trying to find stuff that has salt in it. Let's see. Here we are. Submerged relic, a Hadal core. And then we got unidentified materials down here. These have salt and oxygen in them so we can go and uh, get these for a little bit down here and we only got two more species on this uh place to find oh well, we are doing it i'm in the water in the ocean we're getting salt it's like specific things around here that have salt in them uh these guys they have like 50 60 salt each so i'm basically just looking for those down here trying to stack up as much as i can get before i go back to base because oxygen i can make up a base salt will run out of right now it looks like i'm chilling at about 5,000 salt i'm gonna try to get at least a stack of 10k or so i got these jellyfish constantly swarming behind me they're they're all trying to sting me but at least i got enough water upgrades so all i really need to do is like once every minute or so i go in and i recharge my air with oxygen which i'm basically getting with the uh types of minerals that have salt in them they also have oxygen in them as well they're the perfect chlorine making uh material only problem is that yeah jellyfish uh but it could be worse you know at least we don't have like giant uh animals or uh sea creatures trying to fight us all right i got like a 999 stack of the uh salt let's go back to our ship i think i'll just go to a space station or something and then teleport back to base all right there now i got enough to make one of these i guess Put it uh, right here. And now let's check it. So uh, yeah, we just got to input our stuff. Do that huge stack of salt and then that huge stack of oxygen. And now that should give us a two to five ratio for chlorine. And yeah, that'll make a lot of chlorine fast. So the main thing will be oxygen right now i might want to make more oxygen harvesters they do take a little bit of stuff to make but it seems like they are well worth it like if we have a row of them then we can just get a bunch of oxygen fast but even this this is quite a bit of chlorine like really fast ideally i think we want to get like thousands or something and then we'll be set all right so now at least i got a mission it's to gather more oxygen and salt there we go another new system this one has a really good economy so try to find a planet with salt on it i'll go visit the space station quick get some words get the exosuit upgrade and uh oh wait there there's scrap dealers here we can talk to so i guess these guys might actually buy the uh blueprints we have let's see uh let's sell the crew manifest um that gives us bunch of tainted metal okay and then we can also sell the captain's log and that gives us even more uh tainted metal i'm going to install one of these slots that we have here we should be able to yeah get an extra tool slot and i think i got the same thing for my ship by augmentation yeah we should be able to get an extra storage augmentation i'm almost tempted just to put it in our normal technology we don't really have much of that like uh that'll probably help us out a lot and drop our exosuit upgrade into a uh, normal tech i think i'll buy this bolt caster module i'll see how that is it's an s class so hopefully it makes that painful ass weapon a little bit better not really plus one percent damage that's that's awful <laughs> i think right now i do not have a frost uh thing on us this guy has a frost upgrade so i might try to grab that quick s tier thermal protection let's get it now i think the only thing left really is like radiation i do have a c class radiation deflector i could install i'm gonna try to get this a class uh oxygen thing we're gonna have to find a few things for it but i'm sure it won't be too difficult and the trade rocket would probably be dope i think that would help us out a lot and for now i think that's good i'm gonna go 
talk to all the aliens and then check the trade terminal to see what we can buy to uh complete all the modules because we got a bunch of upgrades from our starship to our exosuit now that all need to be built all right now it looks like we need wiring looms we need lots of chromatic metal iodized cobalt and uh solar mirrors okay i see I think we might be able to buy at least a good amount of stuff from here. Not everything, but a good amount of it. I think on our ship, I'm going to get one of these uh, teleport receivers. I don't quite know if it's going to be useful, but I mean, it's not going to be too hard to make. We can get it right away. And uh, yeah, we'll just see. We'll be able to transfer information as well as stuff to our uh, ship without having to like leave it. So that might be good. All right, now I'm going to go back to base. Then I'll come back here quick. We're definitely going to need to find another ship because we're going to throw an MRO drive on it so that we can get to a green system that'll have different types of resources but until then i'm not too stressed out about it like i said basalt and chlorine plan is in effect all right let's see i might have enough chromatic metal to at least do a few of these things so let's get that installed um yeah we might be able to at least get this uh javelin installed we need to make a solar mirror for that upgrade we got a shield now on the multi-tool um better life support systems there we go oh i still need uh six crystal sulfides do i have any of those um i actually do i have 12 that's really nice there we go that's installed now then i'm also going to get this shield which will give us uh more hazard protection there we go now i can only like really spot like three modules that i still need to install everything else looks good we got this blaze javelin now on our gun which will do massive damage we also have a shield now look at that we a right click and it brings up a shield that's pretty nice now, i think making more oxygen harvesters is definitely going to be the way to go so i'm going to try to make three more that'll cost a lot of materials but i think we can do it it is a bitch because we need five metal plating five dehydrogen jelly and then five life support gel it does take quite a bit of materials but once we get them down at least we can uh oh limited to one in the local area fuck man that's that's not cool okay there goes that plan we're gonna have to get our oxygen the normal way unless there's like an upgrade or something for that eventually all right well we do got one planet over here with salt so i might check that one out and i'm not quite sure right now what's going to be easier going to salt deposits or going underwater so i'm gonna land at this little station over here check out what's going on and then see if we can find any salt deposits damn i just got 300k for scanning a fucking cactus that, that's bank dude we've got Ooh, an observatory over here i think i actually had to go to one of these let's see we do got somebody in here uh their weapon is depleted i'm guessing let's offer ammunition um the fire returns to their eyes and they bow deeply barking happily they offer me a gift in exchange s tier scanner module that's fucking bank what, what does that give us? 6,000 and 8,000? That's pretty good. That's better than this one. Let me store our X tier 1, and then I'm going to uh, move that one over there. Sweet. Now, there's a beacon sent long ago waiting my response. Um, it has some numbers. Oh, no. I'm gonna guess 2170. Nice. I discover a location with the distant stars. Let's see. What do we got? A signal detected. Okay, cool. So, probably like a monolith or something. It's on a different planet, but still, that's good. Let's see. Uh, yeah, no, I think the, uh, underwater way is gonna be the best route. That does not seem that fast. Plus, I can barely see stuff. Like, this looks awful. Okay. <laughs> There's sentinels chasing me. Yeah, I can't get much worse. Let's get off of this planet. Maybe let's go over to this one with Ancient Ruin, because maybe there'll be, like, water there that we can go into. All right, let's go. Let's hope... I <laughs> hope this Ancient Ruin is at least on land. Okay, yeah, there's a little chunk of land here for it. Here we are. We'll land right here, and then we got a whole ocean to check out. All right, let's check out the Viking plaque. Hopefully, um, it gives us something good. Let's, uh, seek help with language. And all right, I think we're about ready to uh start exploring now Ooh, these mine even faster and they give like 70 salt each yeah this is a bit better still have a damn jellyfish coming out uh, that's consistent with each planet and system all right with that i got like over two stacks of salt a lot plus a 999 stack of uh pure ferrite that's looking really nice i'll go into the space station then i'll go back to my base because i think now i just need to collect a bunch of oxygen and all right i am back at the base and check my medium refiner so yeah i got plenty of salt now i just need oxygen let's see even with just 200 
250 oxygen I have right now. That's enough to make like 600 chlorine. So I think I'm going to start trying to farm for oxygen because uh, a lot of these plants around here do have oxygen on them. It's just I have to find the plants that have lots. Yeah, these plants do not have a lot of oxygen on them. I'm probably going to want to try to find a system or a planet that has like really high uh, oxygen yielding plants all right in a new system now i'm gonna try to find a planet that i would think there'll be a lot of plants on probably stop by the space station quick to learn my words get my upgrade Ooh, this guy has a mining beam upgrade and a scanner module i'll take both of those 1200 nanites but let's see was it worth it this one's got pretty good it's got three bonuses instead of uh just two i'm gonna put this other one back in my bag and then i'm gonna try to throw this on there i'll get rid of one of these our b class one is definitely the worst one there we go that's a bit better of a mining beam and then i think i'm gonna sell those other ones um they won't get us lots of nanite clusters but it'll be a little bit and this guy has a nice life support module i'll grab that and try to install it no yeah the life support modules i have right now are c tier like that's awful let's try to get that on there and see what it gives us solar panel power and life support tanks that's a lot better i'll replace our c tier one for that gladly oh sweet Hey, this guy wants to use my agricultural terminal. I think I still needed to find somebody for that. So there we go. Got him for that. And geez, it's like no matter how many words I learn, it's like more keep on unlocking. All right, now let's try to look for a lively planet that'll have a bit of oxygen on it. Frozen hell. <laughs> it's, it's not exactly what I'm looking for. Pretty cool, though. I go check out this overgrown planet uh perhaps it'll have some oxygen or carbon resources and if not i got a quest to uh destroy a bunch of animals and sentinels so i'll try to do that either way i don't know i'm not having much luck on land finding anything with oxygen maybe in the water yeah not much luck on this planet i gotta say maybe i'll try going to a different planet i'll see if my luck's any better and bountiful planet that looks a little bit more promising but new space station you guys know the drill let me see he does have a lot of good uh ones right now like an s tier movement s tier radiation Ooh, s tier toxic i might just have to grab those and i think this uh powerful shield module i gotta get as well i spent a lot of nanites but i think it's gonna be worth it put that next to that one and yeah that gives us even more health and shield strength that'll help out a lot oh this guy's got a bunch of missions to kill some creatures i'll do that now i got like five missions i think in total to kill creatures with now i really want to go to this bountiful planet looks like there's plenty of land for us to check out as well as water and whoa look at this little knowledge stone trio that's amazing I'll take that. Thank you. All right, let's see. Yeah, one of these guys gives oxygen. Let's see how much, though. Is it just carbon? Um, We got some carbon, like 95 carbon and 5 oxygen. That's awful. I want it reversed, man. I want it the other way around. And geez, there's just... There's knowledge stones everywhere, man. I found like 8 of them in, what, 2-3 minutes? And we got a natural burial site up there I might want to check out. As well as a uh, curious deposit. What is this? Ooh, runaway mold. Yo, we did this before and it turned out really well. Yeah, you get like 600 uh, mold for each one that we uh, destroy. That's great. That all gets turned into nanite clusters and it turns into a lot, trust me. Uh, Sentinels are warned. I'm gonna start fighting them soon though. One of our uh, missions wants us to kill them. First, let me uh, summon my ship just in case. Cannot summon in combat, what the fuck? Oh no. Let's try out that blaze javelin that we got. Oh, that does a bit. Not a lot though, but it is like a two-shotter towards some of them. There we go, that one's down. There we go, got that one down. Okay, I gotta, come on, summon vehicle. Oh, uh, can't summon in combat? Jeez. I'm gonna have to fight more? This will at least complete those quests that want us to uh, kill some sentinels. And, ooh, the bolt caster ain't that bad now. Does some damage now, honestly. Oh, jeez, we got a bunch of sentinels now? That can't be good. Where the fuck is my ship? Oh, 700 U's away, okay. It's not impossible to get to. It's a good distance out, but it's better than nothing. All right, Sentinel Forces deactivated. I don't know if that completed the mission for that or not. Well, we did get a uh, milestone for destroying a certain amount of Sentinels, so I would imagine it did. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I can see. Objective complete. Sweet. We've got an unknown building over here I can go and check out. Oh, save and chart. Now, I gotta start a uh, refining some of that runaway mold. That's gonna make a lot of nanite clusters 
1400 to be exact. It would take 15 minutes, but we'll get there. All right, I think I had just about enough of that planet. I am going to try a different one, though, see if there's maybe one in the system with less sentinel activity. Oh, there's an Arctic moon over there we could check out. I don't know. I haven't really been to a moon for a while in the game. Here, I only got one more species to find on this moon until I got all six of them. I'm just trying to kill a few of them so I can get that a uh, quest done, or those five quests done, I should say. It says it's an uncommon flying type animal. Animal, so I just got to keep my eyes peeled for a flying type. All right, I think I got enough animals now. I'm just looking for a bird. Some type of flying type of creature. Whoa! I, 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 I like jumped off a creature or something and it sent me flying fast. <laughs> and what the hell? How did sentinels detect me? This is like a sentinel-free planet. They came here specifically for that. <laughs> they already lost me. <laughs> I didn't even run away. I was just, like, confused, and they can't even keep track of me. All right, I do not know where this flying type is. If I can't find it in a minute, I'm just going to the space station and hashing in these, like, seven quests that I got. I got this trader here. I'm going to buy some gifts off of. That'll increase our standings when we're uh, able to trade them. Because I'm going to the space station next. I'm going to give away all of these gifts first. Try to clear up a little bit of space in our inventory. Now, uh, let's see. We got, yeah, a bunch to hand in right here there we go there's like eight quests done um oh we got a gift from the envoy now he's got something to give us uh what do you give us a larval core or something all right let's go up and uh let's talk to our navigator this guy he's our farmer awesome i guess he's loving it here and nice we got a flower now that we can uh plant first lesson will teach you to embrace the dirt oh great all right so he wants us to take a tray and seeds okay we'll accept now we need to put in a hydroponics tray i'll Put it right there. Uh, do gut rot flower. Um. Oh damn! I need 40 facium. That sucks. Luckily, I do have some just in there. So I'll be able to put that down and get that done asap. There we go. Now I should have some kind of a sustainable source of flowers growing. And uh, here we go. Now I can give him that. And uh, boom! He gives us another plant. Frost wart. We'll need frost crystal for which I might have in storage, but I might not. Right now, I think I need to make a second storage because I do not have enough room on me right now. Storage container numero one, they're right beside it. And uh, that should work. Let's see. Booyah. So now we have a second storage container that I can fill up with stuff. I'm going to put in some of these excess resources that I have. All right, there we go. I got my inventory all cleaned up, ready to go out on a new adventure. Got to figure out a way to get more oxygen quick. So I might take a quick break and look into that. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. So first thing we need to do is make some magnetic resonators. To do that, I need a magnetized ferrite, which I believe I have in storage. And there we go. Now I can make those, install our survey device. And now we can actually look for different things. Like we look for power, mineral, and gas. There's actually a gas hotspot right over here. Now the potential for this is only C class, so I don't think I'm going to hang out over here. So I think I'm going to want to try to find out what is going to be the best planet for farming oxygen on. It might not be this poison planet <laughs> if it's radioactive, you know. Might be some better choices out there, I would imagine. I don't know, maybe I'll just check out this uh, corrosive planet because I do need copper. Like, I'm starting to run low on it and I need it for chromatic metal. Let's see, we're entering atmosphere and... Oh, look! There's something right over here. That's nice. Got like a distress beacon thing on here. Uh, let's see. Let's read the log. Yet another crew which was destroyed by crashing into a planet. And, uh, I don't know. Does not look like this planet's gonna have what we need. We gotta get to like, uh, maybe a temperate or like beautiful type of planet. Not one that's all decaying and, uh, corrupt. I'm gonna go on to the anomaly quick. I'll see if I can hand in anything there. Let's see. I'm hoping it's been enough time. Um, it has has nice let's see i'll give him our data and that gives us nice 700 nanites that's pretty good oh we got an emergency signal scanner as well that's pretty good i'm gonna have to try to check that out uh soon i don't have some high value salvage oh we could trade vortex cubes here today i think we actually have a bunch of those at our base i think i want to grab a few of these uh product recipes now that i have the uh 
nanites too. And I don't think there's much else I want from here. I got 3,000 nanites left. I want to save that at least for now. Let me go over to a station of a one with a weapons factory in it, and I'll try to do that a uh, mission or whatever. Now, this planet does not look good, but the one behind it, that looks pretty promising. Oof. Yo, look at that. That looks nice, man. Down to full planet. That could be it, man. It's got high sentinel activity, but as long as I can outrun them, I should be good. And let's see. I land, and it's temperate. Um, there's a lot of flora. Yeah, it should be pretty good. And here's a couple knowledge stones. Looking good. All right, I didn't have too much luck on this planet. Like, I got some stuff and some scans, but no gas signatures that were even above a C tier. Like, really disappointing, honestly. Maybe I'll go check out this low atmosphere planet, see what it has in store. Eh, uh, does not look very promising. <laughs> uh, there's no flora, and uh, there's no fauna either. Only, like, a few minerals and rocks. Isn't that something? Wow. That's pretty shit. On the bright side, they do have copper deposits, so I can go check those out. I mean, basically just, like, fly there, so at least that's nice. Let me see. Um, for an emerald drive, I need cadmium. It was, like, just some pirates hanging out in this system. I was having a smoke, so kind of hard to fight them all at the moment. There we go. I think we just got one more. There we go. I think that was the last one. Uh, civilian fleet saved from ships. Nice. Let's go in and talk to him. If it's a nice, uh, fleet, then I might just take it. And, all right, here we are. Now, this one actually had, like, guns and stuff on it. I'm kind of excited about that. This one might be better than the freighter we already have. Let's go and see. What is this guy saying? Um, Viking still gives. Um, he's celebrating her victory, I hope. They gestured towards the control panel of her freighter. Let's, uh, inspect the freighter. C-class. Hmm. Compared to the one we have right now, yeah, we currently have a B-class. And even though it has more slots, kind of a bit more confident with the B-class one. I don't know, actually. This one's like 39 mil. That, that's, pr that's pretty expensive, man. I can't really uh, afford to exchange my current ship for it anyways, even if I wanted to. So let's just get some payment off him. Let's request payment instead, and there we go. We got a uh, cargo a bulkhead. That'll give us more cargo for a freighter. Got another scanner module I do want to take a chance on, because if it's better than the other one we have, then that'll be set. Uh, no, it's not. It's, it's fucking worse. Okay, time to store that. Uh, I guess I'll just resell it. Yeah, 16 nanite clusters. Not a lot back. <laughs> Let me get one of these movement modules, and then a shield module, and life support module. Those are all S tier. That should be pretty good to throw on. I can get rid of one of these B tier ones, and yeah, that's looking a lot better. All right, let's analyze this hotspot. It is a C class, and it is for more oxygen. We could start at least something here, something basic, and then when we get a uh, better one, we can uh, do it even better. I'm gonna use this uh, terrain flattener to uh, make a bunch of flat land around here. And all right, now I need to place a uh, base computer. This will uh, give me new uh, base. So now nah, this place is mine. I just got to claim base and there we go. Now we got a restore point and this island is ours. So I need these autonomous uh, harvesters, which cost metal plating and hermetic seals. Let's get one of those down right there. And now if we check that out. As fuel and it'll get us nitrogen. Oh wait, maybe it's the mineral extractor that I need. I think that's the right one actually. So let's set that up right there. And then we are going to need a batter a power source for it. Not too hard. I basically have all the materials on me to do that. Set that up right there, and then I'll connect it using electrical wiring. There we go. I think a solar panel should be able to service each one. Just gotta connect it, and there we go. And uh yeah, no, that is not it let me try an oxygen harvester i'll do one of those right there and uh yeah that does not look too good can i connect it to power you know what i think it's because i don't have the gas extractor right now i think i have everything except for what i need <laughs> yeah i just don't think this planet is going to work right now i'm gonna go check out this unmapped icebound planet because i haven't been to one recently i think i do need frost crystals for something like some type of building tech got some new life forms of course to scan that'll get us maybe a few mil and i've already found like 
what, six of a different species, seven over there. I only need to find like one more. Let's see, the last one is a rare flying uh type, so I gotta keep my eye out for that. Oh, there, there he is. Wow, that did not take long. There we go, 2,000 nanites. And, uh, ooh, Archivist. We got discovered all species on seven planets. So another three planets, and I'll have that at like... Uh, what, 10 stars? Let's see, we got a building over here. Oh, a reinforced door, of course. All right, let's break in. Let's see, anything cool in here we can get? The alarm locked the terminal. Ah, damn, interloper visual detection system. Yeah, I, I, I understand that. Let's uh shoot the cameras. This is a partial success. My image is not captured by the system, but backup sensors react to the destruction by shutting the facility down entirely. Okay, so Sentinel forces are deactivated, and I guess I get nothing from that uh that, that sucks pretty pointless uh little adventure right there but what can you do so right now i'm basically just gonna grind these buried technology modules try to find as many of those as i can and unknown grave that's different let's go check that out Ooh, and an incoming blizzard that could be a little bit gnarly oh god fly right over that giant plant oh jetpack power surging <laughs> try to land carefully over here there we go Oh, look at this. Trace signal to Corvax. I wanted to grant it with a covergence in exchange for price extraction from my mind. Their wrist <laughs> recovered. I gained their man. I, I wish I knew what these important words are like. What do we not know? Adjectives? What the fuck? The fallen travelers marked is a grave is marked by a glyph. Uh, ooh, of ancient technology. Um, inventory full. Oh no, I hope I can re, uh, interact with it. I gotta get rid of something. Okay, sweet. Oof, okay. So let's take the glyph and a, uh, we leave the fallen traveler. There's two out of 16. I, I forgot about the glyphs. I remember we got one like quite a while ago, but so I believe those are for those portals, like that one portal where we only had one glyph. Now we have two. So once we unlock enough, we should be able to use the portal to go to specific places in space. All right, I think now I should be about good. I'm gonna summon my vehicle and try to get out of here let's go up to that space station or uh yeah maybe even the anomaly soon we should be able to get a bunch of nanites for all those scans we've been doing the past few days that reminds me let me upload to all that gives us another 300 nanites let me go check out yeah that memory fragment so if i ingest that that gives us a uh installable technology Ooh, it's a gun for the ship maybe i'll store our teleport receiver for now so i can put that on that does seem pretty cool all right, I think I'm going to hop systems one more time, go to the next system after I go to the space anomaly. Let's see, we get, ooh, 560 nanites. That's pretty good. Then another 50 nanites plus, uh, ooh, this guy wants awful sacks. All right, now I'm going to go see if there's any more technologies that I'm really missing out on because I'm almost certain there is. Here we go, gas extractor. Wow. Okay, I, I knew... I was missing something, and I still need to get those supply depots if I really want it to work. So I'll try to focus on that next. But now, let's go back to that planet. All right, here we are. Now, let me go look for it. Here we go, gas extractor. So, yeah, chromatic metal and metal plating. Let me get one of those set up, I guess, probably over here. I'll likely remove the other ones that I have here now that I don't really need them. But then one of these solar uh, panels should be enough to power up that. I think, at least. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. It's producing... 165 gas an hour it's not that much concentration of gas here um only a little bit but enough at least to get us started you know all right there we go i got three of them set up and now i really need to farm some copper like i do have activated copper oh that works a one-to-one -one ratio so i'm gonna use half of my activated copper turn it into chromatic metal i'll try to set up maybe another one or two if i can and then after that i'm gonna leave them here because i need to work on getting some more technology as well that way i can get that supply depot and keep these uh constantly producing because they have an overall storage of 250 they give a supply depot or whatever i believe that should hyphen all the oxygen into those and then when i'm chilling or not doing stuff in game at least i'm still making money all right i've got another three of them set up so i got a total of six gas extractors going off right now producing a little under 200 an hour so we'll be getting about a thousand oxygen per hour i still got a bunch of runaway mold to go through like enough to get 500 nanites i'll start working towards that as well and 
think I might as well check the rest of the uh, planets in this system. Like this one has copper, rusted metal, and silver. There's no sentinels there, so it should be relatively safe. All right, here we are. We got a, uh, I don't think we got any animals living on here. Just materials, really. At least there's some rocks to scan. Hmm, a bunch of sack venom. Yeah, of course it deploys sentinels. Why wouldn't it? Oh no, I gotta, I gotta get out of here, man. We're, we're hurt. We're hurt. I did not think that was worth it. I, I don't even think those are worth that much. Uh, three hundred k. Yeah, I, I don't know if that was worth it. <laughs> It's like one scan for me now. I got to get out of here. Oh, God. God, that was critical damage. Okay, I got to be careful. Yeah, this place is pretty barren, all right. I don't see no animals, no floral. It's just all like rocks, copper deposits and stuff. I think, I, you know what? I'm not even going to this next one. I'm getting out of here. Now, this one is a raking planet. We got copper, facium, and cobalt. Let's see if I can get some nice uh copper down there. But mainly it's that extra tech. Like I want to give us supply depot plus anything else that I might want for the base. It looks like this is land. It might be land and water, but that is fine for me as long as there's stuff here here to uh, <laughs> explore and discover nice we are here now i'm just gonna get out start scanning right away we got yeah buried technology modules hanging out over here oh look at this guy yeah that's a weird looking uh dude <laughs> we got knowledge stones here as well we can learn a few more words now i've only got three more creatures on this planet to find as well uh they're actually all underwater so you know what i might just go underwater quick because that'll be a nice bonus to all my nanites if i get that all right there's one two and now i just got one guy left there he is sweet yo three thousand nanites easy i do think that's got to be like the best way to get nanites in the game at least right now for where i'm at like incredible it's our eighth planet we've discovered all eight species on and yeah that water upgrade i just noticed we swim really fast compared to like that first time i went in the ocean and ooh, we got a uh this thing which uh we can dismantle into parts i think i'm gonna do that later in my starship all right i've got nearly like 50 what i got like yeah 47 different salvage tech i'm gonna go call my uh vehicle and we'll get on out of here they're gonna go straight to the anomaly i just need to go there and then get an upgrade and then probably teleport back to my original base and then we can just take it from there all right let's take a look at these construction recipes i gotta get this supply depot for sure but it'll automatically store the output of various minerals and gases from our extractors and i think i'm gonna dump the other like salvage data just in the livestock unit and automated feeder alternative landing pad a uh short range teleporter along with teleport cable and then a deep water chamber in case i end up wanting to make a base underwater there we go that's like 49 uh spent i'm gonna go and purchase these last two upgrades for the multi-tool i'm sure i'll find more or get more access to different ones but at least now we have all of that done i think we have all of our starship done and purchased we have all of our exosuit done and purchased i think the only one left really is like exo crafts which i haven't even used yet in the game and there we go yeah spent like three or four thousand nanites and i got all of the exo craft upgrades uh, i think i'm about ready to go back to our original base yeah just <laughs> look at all of them loading in <laughs> oh oh no oh no oh oof, okay oh, that scared me man i, I really didn't want to fall through the world right there <laughs> wonder how long you fall no man's sky just forever because of how big the universe is and oh no the solar panels go offline at night that isn't good i'm gonna have to figure out an alternative uh source of power soon in the meantime though these supply depots they are 10 metal plating and we connect to a supply grid using pipelines i'm gonna go ahead and make 10 uh metal plating we'll see how much one can service as i'm gonna put it like over here and uh that should be good and then we'll do a supply pipe going out to there i guess each one how much does it hold it can hold 1700 okay so i might want to dedicate one each i'm gonna have to get a lot of ferrite dust for that i might just get a biofuel reactor that way i can uh hook up all of them to that let's see how well this does i don't know if it'll power them all but it's worth a try at least all right, so that is powered, but a uh, 
It uses a hundred KP per line. Okay, so we need a generator for each one. There we go. Yeah, now that powers this one and that can power it for 50 hours. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. I'll just make a few of those. During the daytime, we might even save power if a, uh, it does switch over to the solar grid. But even if it doesn't, who cares? All right, there we go. Now, all of the oxygen harvesters are back online. We've got a supply depot, which I'm going to uh, extend out to the other ones. And there we go. Now it's connected to each one. And we should be able to get a lot of oxygen from this. Like this one's already created 250. I believe as they get filled up, it's all going to go into the storage depot. And we'll be able to store at least 2,500. All right, let's see. It's now the next day. We should have some stuff here. Uh, yep. Oh, the oxygen pipeline is completely full. There we go. We got 2,500 from it. So it does work. All we really need now, I think, is like more supply depots. So I need to make 10 more metal plating in order to make another one. Put that one down right there. And then I'll see if I connect a supply pipe from there to uh, that one. Is that uh, connected all onto the same one? It does. So now we have an overall storage of 3,500. I might just make one more supply depot before I head out of here in case I'm out for a little bit. All right, I'm going back up to space now. We'll check the space anomaly uh, and then probably go back to our original base to uh, make a bunch of chlorine. Should be able to get some more free uh, nanites today. And then I'm not really sure like if there's any other upgrades I really need to grab on the anomaly. I might just be using nanites for the actual upgrades like when we go to space stations and whatnot. All right, that was only like 400 nanites, but that's better than nothing. All right, now I just need to put in a bunch of oxygen and then we can make a lot of chlorine maybe i should make a uh, large refiner first actually i think that'll give us an even better ratio all right i'm gonna set this one up i guess in uh this corner of a base right here all right so now i throw in the salt and then i throw in the oxygen and it's still a two to five ratio so i guess that is as good as we're gonna get for this i think while i'm waiting for some of that to refine i'm gonna go over to a site nearby because remember that settlement we kind of fleed after that a uh, brutal sentinel attack well i'm gonna go back there now try it out again see if we can become the overseer all right here we are uh we, <laughs> citizens already disappointed we haven't even claimed it yet all right let's talk to scout dos friend you are yes <laughs> i got like half of it translated um yeah what's up with the distress signal um oh great sentinels have arrived okay well we got a few different weapons now we can use at least mainly this uh javelin thing is pretty good all right so far far this isn't going too bad i mean there's a few more sentinels but i think there's only like one remaining now um where is he oh i see him bastard over there all right there we go all of them down we got a uh rank five in that sentinel killing now let's try to become the overseer we gotta speak with a survivor to learn more let's talk with a uh, citizen all uh sentinel skill are hostile to life <laughs> only got like half of that let's uh accept their thanks Perhaps I could uh, help them. The overseer position is vacant now, so let's go apply for settlement control. Um, access granted. Um, current overseer is either missing or deceased. We can apply to become the overseer. Uh, no one else has done this. We got, oof, increased uh, productivity, all of parasite eggs, occasional population loss, built on fault line, built on cursed grounds, no pets allowed, uh... This place is brutal. It, its maintenance cost is higher than its productivity, but it does have a bounty scanner, which increases productivity. This is a really shit settlement. C tier. Maybe we go to a different planet and find one. I'm like way more inclined to do that than uh, take this one. Right now, if I take this one, I'm taking like debt. All right, now our large refiner is done. I can go uh, grab the stuff and begin again. Pretty much almost out of auction though, so I might just put that in my inventory. And uh, so far, like what? It looks like we have about two stacks of chlorine it's like worth around five mil almost not that much really oh i got a black market multi-tool scanner but yeah it's kind of shit <laughs> not gonna be using that one the game really wants me to make a cylindrical room so i think i'm just gonna put one over here to get it done with get that quest finally finished oh and now now it wants a door okay demanding there we go i think that one's done with <laughs> i believe so yeah, then it brings us into uh, the next quest line, which I'm already doing. Now, it looks like we can do pretty much the same thing with Ionized Cobalt as well, with it returning six each time instead of just five. It does still take two oxygen, but still, that's really good. I basically, like, 
what, quintuples <laughs> our uh, ionized cobalt count? I mean, that's going up by, what, 1k per second? Let me see, what does salt go up by? So when I do chlorine, how much money am I getting? Yeah, roughly the same. I'd say maybe a little bit more by making chlorine. So ionized cobalt likely isn't even a bad uh, substitute. It might even be better. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Honestly, yeah, you know what? It might be better because we don't have to farm salt. So after I get rid of all my salt, I might just do that. Now we have to return to Apollo with news of our base and staff. So I'm assuming we're going to have to go somewhere into outer space to find him. And we got an incoming message. Nice. How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. What are units for if not to assert dominance over your fellow life forms? But on to more important things. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. You'll find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really, the same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants and space stations to give the technology needed. Sounds good. I've basically been doing that. <laughs> Take this personal force field blueprint. Okay, cool. Um, I think I already have that. I don't know. Yeah, I, I already have a personal force field up but that's fine. Now it wants us to raid abandoned buildings for nanites. Uh, nanite rich location detected. Okay, let's go check it out then. It's on this other planet, Mockham Prime. I might check this planet for a settlement. It'd be cool to get a settlement in this system, but it really doesn't that matter that much, especially if it's going to be a C class. It's really going to screw me over. I want at least a B class. You know, it doesn't have to be A or S right away. But that first settlement was just so rough with all the negative uh, effects on it. Okay, I think that might be it because that's an unknown build. Building. If not, we're going to check it out after. Yeah, I think it's going to be over this way, but I see there's research stones, so I might as well get out anyways. Always down to learn some more words. I'm going to farm a bunch of pyrite here because this is a decent resource. Honestly, I think it's kind of better when you find them in chunks. Like if you just go space station to space station, you can usually get like three to four hundred of any type of resource. It's just you kind of have to look and scrounge around. And it looks like the location is actually a little bit this way. Yeah. Yeah, right there. So I'll go to this one, and then after, I'll try to remember to hit that other uh, abandoned building nearby because it's really close, just down there. All right, let's check out this spot. Uh, looks pretty dangerous. It's got those humming sacks around, so I know there's monsters about. Try to loot and get some stuff. I gotta take off this residual goop, and then we can access the terminal. Returning user identified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data log continuation for analysis. The oceans here are blood. Nothing lives in them. They are alive, themselves. Great protein life forms as large as continents, or perhaps there is only one of them. What does such a thing consume, I ask myself. The answer seems to be everything. I found evidence of past life here, but no signs of it. Does the native flora and fauna hibernate when it comes to eat them, then return and repopulate once it retreats? I can feel it moving inside my brain, whispering. It wants to discard my suit and swim. Let's analyze the data log, and uh, we'll take that. We got something that'll aid me on my journey. Oh, a little bit of nanites. Nice. We got to locate a multi-tool technology merchant. Okay, that's not too hard. I'm pretty sure I've already maxed it out. <laughs> um, maybe I went a little bit ahead of the storyline, but that's all right. Let me save and chart this area. All right, I think I got about what I need. Like, that last building that I checked was pretty much the same deal. Gave me a bit of nanites, and then I left. Um, oh, wait. Is that a starship over there? Sector navigation beacon? What is that? It is not a starship. No starship here, but it is a beacon. A saving chart. There we go. Sweet. Now, let's get the hell out of here. It looks like the multi-tool technology merchant isn't too far off. Just down there. All right, we are here. He's not too far away. All right, let's see what he has to say. Is he going to give us something? All Sentinels will <laughs> something something. I still don't know all of the words, and I've been learning so many but we got an upgrade module it's an s tier one which is really nice i do have to take off one of my other ones and it uh doesn't look like this one's that much better yeah i might just store this and then sell it back to him or something but let's go leave and then make contact again with apollo i gotta try to learn a bunch of atlas words like by the time we get to the center of a galaxy it'll be really rough if we get there we don't know any words you are not alone i knew you traveler i knew where you've been i know where you're going there's no need to hurry um, who are, ask who they are, uh, just a cutout. You will find us when the time is right. Okay. And it looks like we go back to our normal quest of trying to become settlement overseer. We also have another message from Apollo. Are you ready? Make sure you are. 
This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to a base of yours for a while. Okay, let's uh confirm. Let the hunt begin. I've detected a Corvax installation on that world of yours. Interference in your transmission is a giveaway. Might be disguised in the style of another species. But don't be fooled. Synthetics delight in espionage. Point out Apollo is robotic. I'm not robotic. I was born just like you were. But this is no world for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left, everything was transformed to the shell. This is who I am. How did this happen? I took my revenge when it came. That is all you need to know. So, start from the hypothesis that the Sentinels use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. What better way than to attack secret Corvax facility? They're both robotic life forms. Too much in common. Too much coincidence. Enter the factory and hack the terminal within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes in that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. Wait, so let's see the facility location. I've got it, and now we, uh, let's go check it out. All right, so we got the suspected location. Um, let me just look around, see if I can spot it. There is an unknown building over here. I don't know what this is. Oh, low station. Now, this one isn't really super big. There's only, like, a couple guys here and trade terminal. Nothing really exciting. But we are to the point where when we learn dialogue, we only have three options now. We're getting closer to learning the language. Now we're now ranked six out of nine with a Corvax, so that's good. Oh, I found it. There it is. There we go. Secret Corvax facility has been located. Let's go save and chart and then probably get our weapons out and ready. What is that? That is not a uh, anything normally uh, I, I've usually seen, but I guess we got to try to destroy the reinforced door. Let's go. Oh my. Oh, wow. He's got a laser on him. Oh, what is going on here? Oh. I thought it, I thought it was like a starship coming to fight. Why is this guy stopping? All right, let's break through this reinforced door. Get in there. Oof. Okay. Try to uh, activate the terminal. We gotta fix it. Your ferrite, chromatic metal. We got everything. Nice. Let's uh, activate it. And um, oof. Oh no, we're coming inside. It's an upgrade module for my exosuit. However, I find few clues for Apollo. It seems the Corvax within left this world many days ago. Apparently recalled on a priority transmission. Oh my, very, very inside. I can see, I can see the drill dry, riding around. This place seems to have been more of just a factory. It was a home to a Corvax that lived within its walls. It appears they were experimenting with autonomy from their collection. Examine the video feeds. Uh, the internal sensors had recorded movement within the facility. It shows me footage of events at my feet. There's something in here with me. It is a small hairy creature, shaking and afraid. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived here for quite some time. There's a nest in the corner. That's just is of food upon a small dish. Even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax. My scanner tells me is that the creature is gravely ill. It will die no matter what intervention occurs. Feed the animal for 15 carbon. Nervously, it takes the carbon and begins to eat. A few moments later, it violently coughs up much more of its little meal, only to try to continue the process, shivering with every mouthful. I move on to the factory complex, leaving the animal to its fate. Did we shut him down? I, I don't think we shut him down. Oh, no. Now we just gotta return to space. Okay. Well... I'm out of here. I'm calling my spaceship. You're not summoning combat. Oh, no. I got to lose them. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it shouldn't be that bad if I can uh, jetpack away. Yeah, now we're searching. We're, we're never going to find me, dude. I, I'm gone. I'm gone, man. Oh, oh, I see a dog up there. He saw me. He saw me. I got to go. Oh, man. That was close. All right, I think. Yeah, I, I lost them. Nice. All right. Let's go back to space and get out of here. Good work. Your attack on that factory paid off. Did you get any useful data? I did not. No matter, we have what we need. I recorded countless signal flares when the Sentinels started to appear. Energy streams sparked beneath the planet's surface, moving from the monolith to monolith. We must be on the right track. Examine these structures. They are all linked. I know it. I'll tune your scanner to the Sentinel energy signals. We'll soon have our prey. Good luck. I'll speak to you on the other side. Hopefully that's the good other side, not like the dead other side. But now I gotta follow the Sentinel energy trace. So let's check it out. What is it over? We gotta press C and then we should be able to find it somewhere. Yep. All right, looks like it's still on this planet, just way over there. Oh, my bad. No, it's on the next planet. But uh, the ship's doing us pretty well, but I would really like to get enough money to uh, at least get a better ship soon. Like an S-tier starship or something. Like, we have 27 million units right now. I think we could probably afford one if I sell off a lot of our uh, stocks that we have in chlorine. But it's coming together. We're about, like, exactly at the halfway point right now. Like, if my recording's all correct, this should be, like, right about near day. 50 so we're halfway through the journey 
There's still lots to do though. Like I still haven't really even touched for greats yet. It's just there's so much like uh, gameplay, different features in this game to get into. Like you could probably spend like 10 to 20 hours on each one at least. All right, we are now on the planet. Let's check it out. Okay, should be down here. Oh, yep, I see it <laughs> right down there. Let's go to dreams of uh, I'm not saying that last part. I'll butcher it for sure. Traveler detected. Repair. I don't know what to expect as I approach a structure. An army of sentinels, perhaps some gateway through which I'll find Artemis. But in the shifting structure of this monolith, I can feel something else. A story, a vision. It's already burning itself into my eyes. Let's activate it. A traveler, the arrival. A traveler awoke beneath the shadow of a red star. Through the lonely cosmos, they fled, yearning for purpose and meaning. They found an anomaly. An aberration, a door to the heavens. No Gek, no Viking, no Corvax could see it. Only the Traveler could perceive the portal, though they did not know how to step through. They did not understand the secret language, the glyphs. They did not yet grasp the price of a final truth. Let's witness glyphs. I'm filled with knowledge of an ancient Traveler. I see glyphs in my mind, part of a code I need to activate a portal. As I part, I spot a sentinel drone of a distance. It moves away quickly. Oh, is it coming here? Oh, it is, of course. Great. Well, they're searching right now. They, they haven't even spotted me, so I'm just gonna go this way. Should be good. Yeah, there we go. Sentinel Force deactivated. Wow. That's not a very secure place, like, you know? You set up all those robots teleporting and stuff, and, like, what, what, what does it do? They showed up, and I, like, just moved up the hill a little bit. Not even that much. All right, we got another location. Looks like, yeah, it's quite a bit away, so I'm gonna go into the ship. And I guess it'll just be rinse and repeat uh, the next two times while I do this. And, yep, here's one of them. There should be some knowledge stones on this one as well. Yeah, I got one over here. Learn the Corvax word for May. Oh, man. <laughs> I hope we don't have all the months of the year as words to learn as well. There we go. We got the Corvax word for Y. And then let's check out this thing. So there's nothing to read here. And yet I am more aware of these words than anything I have ever known. Let's activate it. Traveler found a word. The Traveler found a way, they always did. The first drone screamed when it was cut open. Then the shattered memories of the Sentinels, the Traveler found the glyphs they needed. They passed through the gateway, emerging before the face of an Omnipotence. The Traveler asked the Atlas how many worlds were left to visit. They had seen so many in her life, they did not wish to die before they saw them all. The Atlas answered, 18, what, like, trillion uh, planets? More than more than could be seen in any lifetime, it was impossible to explore the universe before the Traveler died. Damn. Well, let's witness the glyphs and see. We got the glyphs, um, and now we just gotta locate the final glyph set. And let's see, I think we do have the last trace, uh on the map and it's not too far just like 20 seconds away and here we are it looks like we got a few research stones down here as well like three of them that's nice all right now let's talk to this pillar i think we have one more thing to activate and the last reading is the traveler a purpose the alice told the traveler that they were the first of their kind that a multitude would follow each would be endowed with the same noble soul each able to travel from planet to planet in eternal solitude the first traveler rejected the gift of the Atlas. This was not what they had hoped for. What was the purpose of infinity if you could not see it all, if you were alone, if you could one day die? The first traveler cursed the Atlas and claimed that they would find a way to survive no matter the cost. All of these worlds, all of the time itself, it will all be for the travelers to witness. Let's uh see the last glyphs. Um, and I see the final portion of the code. Nice. Now we just gotta locate and activate a portal. Um hopefully we're just able to scan and find that and uh yeah it looks like we actually did it's not too far away here we are we got a portal let's go and land so i think when i did this the first time i put in those coordinates that i had because i only had one glyph and i think that led to me going to that place where i went to <laughs> that was like 5,000 light years away from the center but let's see we can now use the portal and let's check it out traveler anomaly confirmed breach 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 oh no i approach the portal i think of every passing thought and idle wish that led me to this moment then this gateway i might find artemis i might find the source of the sentinels i might find a whole new universe but it is more than this this is not a fate i'm making a choice a leap of fate that somewhere out there in the dark i will find who i am meant to be let's input the glyphs i step forward not knowing what i will find on the other side but i feel it deep in my heart a call towards a deeper truth this will be the start of everything Ooh, let's go now we can always return using like space station portals and you know anomaly portal and whatnot this just basically gets us to a different part in the galaxy now let's go on in and 
Ooh, we're getting sucked in. Let's see where it brings us. Uh, oh, it brought us to hell. Hostile system. Wonderful. I did not see any, like, fauna. You know, I, I did not see any animals, nothing. Just plant life and, like, minerals, maybe. Um, Atlas Protocol initiated. 16, 16, 16. What is that? Uh, something's happening with the portal. Oh, no. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, we're here. We're at the Atlas. I learned that atlas word for beyond right there i'm gonna activate the rest of these and try to get them all i really don't know which ones you learn words from i just noticed like walking around in here i end up learning words yeah like right there you see i learned the atlas word for of that's a very important word to know in any language same with r revolutionary words man yeah i've picked up like six or seven atlas words this time normally you only get like two or three there's another one right there and okay i think that's it now let's go talk to him let's go on through we got two knowledge stones right here uh nope just two warp cells or something now let's talk to the atlas interface the text blinks before me it awaits input let's say hello hello world an audio recording plays echoing out across the vast interface you were once travelers we were once aspired to more than dirt and dust the audio clicks time passes show me a world atlas show me something no one has ever seen before voice ends the interface grows still and silent it awaits a command perform diagnostic maybe it has been like a tr almost two trillion years since the last diagnostic 64 percent of worlds operating within expected parameters si 2.6 million actionable observations awaiting analysis subroutine signal status error null value subroutine glass status operational 4,182 breach attempts. Initiate personality interface. Uh, yes. Let's do it. Traveler. Reality fades. Everything does. My body, my voice, my soul, all of it speaks to me. The Atlas stands before me in all of its might. I want to ask about Artemis. I want to find them, but something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to... I can either scream, rejoice, or submit. No idea what, what, which one would be the best. Uh, we're already in it. Might as well submit to it. I try to submit, but it's too late for that. Far too late. I've belonged to this creature my entire life. Jeez, so what? Atlas, like, owns us? Oh, shit. No, we're getting kicked out. Oh, wait. I talked to it again. And we were, we're back. The of reality and the you yeah i didn't really understand much of that in the orb i see worlds that were never there i see the stirring of god something primal and undeniable i see the death cry of a god or something approaching it wants me to persist at this journey seeking fragments of its interface that's uh i guess concede um i will commit myself to the voyage there we go i guess that's done now and yeah <laughs> so I, I don't think i was supposed to do that last part i think I, I glitched it because they uh it was transitioning like it was teleporting at that moment but i talked to it again oh where are we now first contact okay our starship is nearby um i don't think we've been here before got a new product formula learned from the atlas that's pretty nice uh new monsters to check out like what is that just, it's just like a, a little uh, crater monster. That's wild. Hey, one out of one discovery. I'll take it, dude. It's only 250 uh, credits, but it's easy. Now we got to locate and board our ship. I am going to scan um, any of the stuff around here, but I can quick. We got these like weird floating plants in the air and stuff. This planet is definitely a bit different than the other ones I've been to. Hey, there it is. And I also see a little uh, thing right there. We got discovered all species on nine planets. I only need to do one more planet. I mean, I think that's like a really uh, rare achievement. Like I already got one achievement that was like 3% of players have on Steam. I think if I do one more planet, I'll get like the 1% achievement. Boundary separation failure likely oh no let's uh broadcast let's see what we got traveler anomaly detected anomaly is compliant position logged sweet that might bring us to something cool i grab all the stuff here on the ground quick and then go out to space we'll figure out where the hell we are i'm sure it teleported us uh somewhere different all right oh we got an incoming message i escaped my ship glad of something familiar in a strange world where's the portal taking me i was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine not strong enough to resist, it identified itself as Atlas, the entity so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no sign of a Sentinels. Why did I even step through that gateway? Why did I follow this path? Uh, because I can? I tell myself that I do all of this because I can, that I do not really care about Artemis or about the Sentinels. Perhaps this is true, perhaps I need no higher purpose. As I stare at the console, an opportunity presents itself once more. There's an inbound transmission, emerging from a location on this very planet. Oh. 
Cool. Let's check it out. Who do we got here? You are not alone. Signal appears to be coming from this very system, using the same words that led me to Artemis so long ago. Could it be them? Did Artemis meet the Atlas as I have? Okay, so we got the source of the signal. It's just a little bit this way. Whoa, what is that? This looks like some serious mumbo jumbo shit. There's a portal here. <laughs> Let's stop and check this shit out. What, what's going on here? What the fuck is this thing? Is it just a giant structure? Is that it? There's got to be something around it. I don't see anything. Maybe if you fly your ship into it, you maybe teleport out now. You can at least save and chart here, but yeah, pretty pointless to stop for that. Boundary failure. That's what it is. Let's continue going on to the next uh, signal echo. All right, we are here and sentinels are already checking us out. We gotta run this way. Looks like it is in that direction as well. So let's go check it out. Light fissure. What is that? Uh, We can pick it up. Nice. We got it. So what are those? A rare stabilized glitch retrieved from a malfunctioning planet. Safe for rehousing in habitable bases. Okay, maybe it's like a cosmetics thing. I don't know. And yeah, it looks like it is just down there. An unknown grave. Here we go. Now we can talk to Artemis. Approach the source of a signal. A hologram appears. It is Artemis, but there is only silence. The slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. Ask if they are all right. Artemis can hear me. They make no sign. The hologram just stares. It's strange, but I feel a sense of deja vu. As if I've been here before, right at this very moment. Ask where they are. As I move closer, the Artemis projection begins to speak. Their words punctuated by a strange static. They came. Watch closely. Machines. Murders. Against the... A voice falls silent, but projection looks at me. Something is really wrong. I scan the hologram. It bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I've ever seen from Artemis. There is no ulterior source for the signal. Everything they have said appears to have come from right in front of me. As I stand here, Artemis begins to speak. What are called them, but still beloved. Anomaly, they, Nada, Polo, watching us, tracking. Mistake, abandoned, but it wasn't through a portal. Please, don't trust. And then it cuts out. I'm afraid, aren't. Um, what do we do? Comfort Artemis or step back? Oh, the projection fizzles away to mere static. The echo is all that is left for the entity known as Artemis. A grave of glitched data trapped in a sunless reality. My friend is dead. Perhaps they were never even alive. I must tell Apollo what I have seen. Okay, well, I guess cool. We got that. But I contact Apollo at a hollow terminus. Let's go and check that out. Is there one on this planet? There is. It's a little bit away on foot. So I'm going to go back to my uh, spaceship Evan, fly over there. And oh, I believe that's it right here. That, that's got to be it. Nice. We can go and save and chart right here. All right. Here we are. Let's go contact Apollo. Or not Apollo. Uh, he's dead. Perform a manual overdrive. Um, oh, looks like it's working. Yeah, somebody's going to here here we are null okay you are not alone tell me what is the point of living if we know that life will finish suggest death does not erase life but it does all those moments gone everything that came before meaningless i know you traveler i know where you've been i know where you're going what if i told you that artemis could be saved what if i told you that artemis could live once more after a fashion what would you do then i wonder say uh, i need to know more a skeptic well, Artemis was already dead. Your journey to save them has failed. What do you have to lose? The blood of Artemis is data. The heart, it's glitch. I can help you retrieve them both. We require a mind arc, a receptacle for their soul. Could you do that for me? I'm reactivating Artemis's frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. The stranger offers me blueprints for something they call the mind arc. Um, okay. We'll take it. Um, I got it. And oh shit, yep, yeah, there they are. I mean, let's talk with them, I guess. Are you, are you, are you... <laughs> I, I can't hear anything. It's cutting out, bro. Oh, we must craft the mind arc before we can help them. Okay. So for that, damn, we need soul engine, glass, wiring loom. Okay, so what's the soul engine? That's oh, living pearl, metal plating. Damn. I'm going to need to fly back here or something. I don't have that stuff on me, I don't think. Okay, so what I think I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go to my ship, go to a space station, teleport to my base, and then teleport back here after. And as always, I'm going to be grabbing a new exosuit upgrade and talking to all the aliens, getting some new words. All right, let's grab a another exosuit upgrade i kind of want to go for inventory i don't quite know though i mean both of them are about the same price but uh technology is probably more useful i also have some gifts i can give some of these guys to increase their standings with uh their race i think we actually almost know all the corvax words like we only got two options left let's talk to mission agent quick see if there's anything good here uh killing creatures we can always accept I'll take a few more of those missions any day all right so i need to pull out a uh 
living pearl and metal plating then to make glass we need frost crystals i think i have some of those i do Oof. and oh no i need cadmium i can only find it on planets with red stars and uh i can't go to red star planets just yet i don't think unless i take something off my ship i don't even know if i have that one yet uh no we do a uh, committium drive okay so i might just install that that way we can get to a red system and then get some more committium. Before I do that, though, I kind of want to go to our first oxygen farm. Now, yeah, let's go back to our other base. I'll go stock up on whatever oxygen we have so far because it's been about an hour or two since I was there. And let's see. Yeah, we got 1,700 oxygen. That's not bad. Could definitely go for getting a uh, better class of oxygen. Like, I don't think I'm going to expand on this one much more. I'll just leave it here. So we'll go back to the... Uh, space station from the uh, signal where artemis is so i'm at least near the area we're gonna have to install this wiring loom as well as get a little bit more chromatic metal i have a little bit of copper left in my inventory so i can get that and then once i install that onto our starship we're going to be able to go into the systems that are red stellar bodies that just means whatever stars that are red, we can now go to. There's like green ones and blue ones as well, you know? Make it a little bit more difficult in the game to go different places. Hence why I want a better uh, spaceship, because right now it's kind of rough with uh, the amount that we have. All right, so with that, we get the chromatic metal. Now let's go fly back out into space. I might explore some of these planets. But before we head out, I do want to try to change appearance once again. To see if we have anything else cool and maybe uh, just switch it up a little bit, you know? All right, there we go. I got our new guy. <laughs> quite quite a difference. I think he looks great. Yeah, this is uh, a lot better. All right, now let's go out into the system. Let's see in the galaxy map exactly where we are. So we are uh, not that far away. We're still <laughs> pretty much in the same, I think, even system right now. That's okay. I'm going to go over to this uh red viking system over here it does appear like it has a uh, cadmium here so that'll be great and yeah we'll check it out we'll see if these red star planets are a little bit more valuable or better than the ones we've already been going to and there we go now we visited a rare star system that's pretty cool oh uh, we got a bladed planet here cadmium gold and sodium that could be pretty good might go over there and check that one out first but either way this system i might just name and like try to explore if it's a red system i haven't been to any of these so far <laughs> all right here we are yep we got first contact with this place got some different life forms flying around some butterfly types um yeah species one out of one discovered i'll take it and yeah that gives me the uh Gal galapagos um achievement that's like a one percent achievement on steam we got a capillary shell what are these um it is a new item. It's, uh, oh, just a stabilizing glitch. Okay. Well, let's go to our first cadmium deposit and try to get some stuff. And yeah, there we are. 10 stars we discovered all species on 10 different planets to be fair about three of them only had one species living on them so <laughs> that was at least lucky but it really is like i think one of the best ways to get nanites at least that i've discovered so far those two to three thousand bonuses are so nice now i only need 120 but i might just try to grab a bunch while i'm here um, maybe not, because it doesn't seem like there's any more deposits nearby, so I'll go to one of the other planets, but should probably visit the space station quick, too, here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> when I talk to him, I gotta place my cursor up here, like, I gotta look over the counter now, because I'm a geck. But let's grab another exosuit upgrade. I'm checking all of the, uh, research people to see if they have any good modules. And then go over and talk to all the aliens. Now, I know I'm getting good at the game, because, they, uh, my jetpack, I can now reach the other side just by doing that. I don't have to use the stairs anymore. Alright, now I'm gonna go and try to explore the rest of the system before I make my way back to the story or grabbing oxygen and whatnot. So if I can find a decent uh, system and maybe try to scan around for a spot with an S-tier gas signature, that would be really nice. Oh, we got a columned planet here. More cadmium, gold, and silver. I'll check it out quick. And uh, yeah, this place does seem a little bit gnarly. We do got some animals kicking about, though. Uh, one of one, of course. A glitching separator. What is this? I just pick it up. The thing's huge, but uh, luckily it fit into my inventory. All right, this planet kind of reeks as well. I can't find anything on it. There's minerals on here, but no gas at all. Oh, it's like two out of six 
planets. Just four more to go. Oh, on the other hand, we got activated cadmium over here. I don't know if I'll be uh, much better or whatnot, but I'll at least check out this planet. It takes a whole minute to get there with the warp drive. Wow. Maybe I need a better warp drive or something. I mean, I'm using like the base engine one, I think. It looks like there's like a bunch of uh, islands around here. Go land on this one over here because it seems to have the most amount of land. And we got a, a noxious gas storm going on right now, so that's pretty unpleasant. Should be able to survive in it though with our uh, toxicity resistance. Oh, sweet. I only got one more species to find on this planet. It will be uh, rare and on the ground, so I'll go check up there soon. All right, I got the uh, living pearls that we need. I just need to craft a couple more metal plating, then I can make this soul engine, and from that, I gotta make a few more glass and get a few wiring looms, but then I can go back to Artemis and talk to them. Let's see, we got a submerged relic down here too, a Hadao core. I think those are worth a little bit of money. Oh, there it is, there it is, I got them. There we are, that's a nice 2,500 nanite bonus. Now, I'm gonna try to hit the other three planets in this system, like I said, before I go back to the quest line. And after that too, I think I might whittle down and spend a few hours trying to get a uh, S tier oxygen spot. So if we start making like mad passive revenue, I think off iodinized cobalt. That'll be like the best bet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we landed fast, man. This place has like what? Like no gravity? What the hell? External temperature, 100 Celsius. It's pretty hot. Hostile patrols. We got to get out of here. Escape them. Looks like there's a shit ton of knowledge stones though. Like we got one right here. We got another one over here. We got more down there. We got animals, everything, everywhere. Oh, there's that uh, last animal. There we go. I think that's nine out of nine. That'll be like another 2000 bonus. All right, I'm going into space. I'm going to try to get out of here. Uh, reinforcements are coming, but I think I have an escape module. Nope, I don't. Local enemy disruption. Oh, well, let's take him out. It's only one ship. There we go. He's down. Now we gotta just try to teleport out of here. All right, there we go. Now reinforcements are attempting to uh, get there, but I think if we go far enough, we should be good. Space station's just over there. I should have like six quests or something to hand in. Oh no, Sentinels are locking in right now. Let me escape, get into the space station. I think... I just got it. Oh, okay, sweet. We're back. All right, let's go hand in missions. And yep, we got four missions. There we go. That's pretty good. That got our rankings up a little bit. I also need to buy the three wiring loom. I'm going to make room for it, of course. There we go. Now I have it. Um, Now we can make the mind arc. So I can go back to that site and finally uh, figure out what's going on there. I do kind of want to go to the other two planets, but I can always revisit them later. Right now, my inventory is pretty full anyways. I'm going to go head back to that location. Oh no, I went to go turn around to go find the mission and I flew back into the space station. Ah, oh, damn it. And whoa, looks like we got like a little station down here. I might check this out first. Oh yeah, there will be a bunch of stuff here. There's different loot containers. This uh, building is wide open. Bunch of loot on the ground. Oh, <laughs> somebody's in here. There's a uh, prayer of zeal. What's this? A C-class pistol. I'm good. This person's asking me for the intellect of uh, my own species. I'm showed a vacant looking slug, a more advanced beak trader, and a member of her own electrical race. Um, I'll probably point to the beak trader. Lifeform was clearly expecting this answer. They smile and hand me an upgrade module. Oh, cool. What do we get? Uh, uh, it's a C a tier ship module. Yeah, I'll probably never use that. What do we got here? A technology merchant. Does he have anything cool? Oh, he's got components, but uh, I think I do need an amino chamber. I'm, I'm almost certain I do for something. Yeah, inside of my uh, plasma launcher. So now that's set up. And uh, looks like I have all the blueprints at the moment uh, that I can get, so I'm good. Let's see, over here, we got more damage machinery. There's lots of stuff lying about. Ooh, S-tier bolt caster module. That's valued at 480 nanites. So I'll probably just sell that one, but still, that's a really good find. And ooh, we got a beacon over here. It's a waypoint, sweet. So I can uh, chart that. And uh, oh, minor settlement detected, sweet. So I might check that out later. Right after I finish going to this location over here. And here we are at the site. There is another unknown building that way too. There's lots to find here, man. The Sentinels really aren't that much of a problem. Like all I gotta do is uh, fly away every time they come by and I can lose them. All right, let's tune in to Artemis and then I'll give them that mind arc that we made. Let's use the mind arc. Activate the mind arc. I do not know what I expect. Some show of light and fury, some catharsis where uh, Artemis 
merges in the flesh, restored to life before my eyes, but is not to be. One moment I see their hologram, and the next there is nothing. The stranger who gave me this blueprint beckons me over. Their signal was still active. Travelers are a dream. An idea that we have some special place in this universe. Artemis had it. You had it. Hollow too. Though they would conceal it, even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend. Walking these worlds, yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone. Not truly. But the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself. Hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not of the glass or the aerons or of the progenitors. It is that the final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. The primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveler. Your friend waits for you. They'll help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. Okay, and uh, he's gone. So we gotta seek help for Artemis. That's gonna be uh, pretty difficult. I think I'm gonna call my starship, and then I'm gonna fly over to that minor settlement, see if it's any good. And, oh, it's just another one of these. I, I thought it was gonna be like a outpost that's what i was thinking of not a settlement i need a way to impress them let's uh share creature scan data nice they rewarded me with a, a c tier module understanding increase that's good yeah not much really here like i'll buy the amino chambers because those are pretty rare everything else is a uh, pretty basic stuff here let's check out the gun they got um oh an a class multi-tool you know that that is a bit better than our current one it's only got 28 slots though ours has 29 um honestly under this circumstance i really don't think it's worth it like we're gonna lose slots yeah let's uh refuse the multi-tool until i find an s tier one i don't think it's really gonna be too worth it and oh sweet one more last species over here to scan there we go now let me go activate that 2k i made like 10k nanites in like under an hour dude and then i think i might just go to the red system after i'm not sure where the story is going to progress from here but we're doing pretty decent i think i should have enough jetpack to just fly right on up here now yeah sweet let's uh reveal the mind arc i tell nada about artemis about null about the mind arc it glows brightly as i reveal it it is echo i i never thought to see a traveler's soul you are so beautiful a friend enemy the artemis echo is in pain disconnected this arc is no rescue. Artemis Echo will never have body again. We'll never explore again. Old life gone, but we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not machine. It is something living, a refugee. There's a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to machine to sub-simulation where they may live on or help Artemis Echo end suffering. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, let's ask about the simulation. Nada tells me Artemis would still feel joy at things they experience, but... If they should learn of their fate, that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends, such knowledge may cause them great pain. Yeah, no, there isn't, so I'll, I'll say I have decided. Go and speak to Polo, Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machines, no matter what your decision. Um, yeah, I think I'll put Artemis's body inside of a robot. Like, I don't, I don't really care. I, I have his soul inside of a container right now, dude. I'm, I'm just like, I can make him work for me. I can make him mine copper. He can work the coal mines and shit. For sure, dude, we're gonna put him in a robot. I will prepare the machine. It is not his friend's private refugee. Please treat it with care. Okay, sweet. Now we got to uh, decide Artemis's fate at private terminal let's go we've been trying to save this dude for like a while now so let's open this up the machine is ancient and powerful a relic of a world long since destroyed the craft is extraordinary it is clearly tended to often and with great love feel whisper not as faint hum over the speaker as they commune with the machine the words on panel unscramble themselves the relic is a simulation of a solar system prayer offered by ancient corvax to the atlas now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly single false solar system so dear to nada will act as a home for artemis should i wish it oh so he doesn't actually come back to our world he just goes to a uh, a fake world damn well if i can't put him in the coal mines maybe i will let him rest you know, maybe, maybe we will allow him to die. Even as I process my decision, Nada's hum takes on quite new intensity. I speak and her voice replies, intelligible now. They talk gently and suggest I place the Ark upon the terminal. I do so and hear a whisper, a prayer. The Ark begins to unfold, twisting from its center on releasing the Traveler's soul within. I witness a spark of blue light blaze within the air before me, fades after a moment, and with the last remnant of Artemis within this world. I hear Nada's voice over the speaker, intelligible now and reassuring. They tell me that it is done, Artemis is at peace now. 
They suggest I do not dwell on these moments. They tell me I did the right thing. Okay, cool. So at least Artemis is on our side. Or not on our side. I mean, uh, Nada is on our side. Artemis is fucking dead. Now we gotta let, uh, Apollo know of a fate of Artemis. I'll come put him in the coal mine so we just had their, like, spirit freed and shit, you know? All right, we got a message from Apollo. Are you receiving? The hollow terminus is showing available again. Your signal was thought you were gone. Let's uh, explain what happened to him. I tried to recount the experience to Apollo as best as I can. The gateway, the strange planet, a vast machine, the crimson orb. As I talk, I realize the memories themselves are unstable, that I cannot form them in my mind. It's just a dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw the Atlas itself. You saw it, you met the Atlas, the Gek, the Corvax. They worship it as a god. I never thought it was real. Never thought. Um, <laughs> are you alright? I can't imagine what you've gone through. It was just a machine. I tell Apollo of some of the things Atlas said, how it spoke of travelers and sentinels as if we were protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me. I felt as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not real concepts at all. At least it didn't harm you, and I think that there's something in what you just said. The Korvax pay homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of this Atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel Nest. We'll be rich before we know it. Alright, I agree. Let's check it out. But there are other factors now in play. I tell Apollo of Artemis' grave and my encounter with mysterious traveler, Null. Artemis is dead? I... I don't. How? Who would... I know I made fun of them, but that was easy. They cared. They believed. And I... What's happened to them? Where have you buried uh, Artemis? I want to say goodbye if I can. Uh, tell them of our choice. Tell Apollo that Noel gave me a way of saving Artemis to restore them to a formal life. Apollo is initially excited at the prospect going to meet Artemis, but I explained that I could not do it. it would not have been life, just an empty ex existence within the simulation. I had to allow Artemis to find peace and death. Ask if this was right. You did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you might be feeling right now, know that you were a good friend. I have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. You must figure out what are the right glyphs, the right address for that world of yours. Find a monolith. Search for patterns of the data. These things are machines. We simply need to understand their code. Alright, now let's hit a C. We'll scan for a monolith, see if we can find one. Booyah, we found one. Now let's go on and pulse drive over to it. Alright, so now we gotta trace out a portal. There appears to be one way down there or something. And here we are. We're at the teleporter. We got three knowledge stones for Corvax words as well. That's got us like really close. I have to check the log quick. Yeah, like I think we almost have all of the language records there are for the Corvax. I see one page here and one page here. But uh, other than that, there's like not much. Maybe another 30 or 40 Corvax words to learn. Now, let's locate a portal. It should, yeah, sends me in the direction of it. And here we are. So this should bring us to the next place that we need to go. Now, we just got to activate the portal to uh, learn its glyphs for Apollo. There we go. We just got to throw in a bunch of uh, stuff in it. This isn't too difficult. I did this before. It's just a uh, getting the right glyphs and coordinates. I know right now, I think we only know two of them. All right, there we go. Now, if I... I go into it anomaly event contained sweet let's uh request this planet's address so we got this planet's address if anyone wants to check it out there it is and now that i know that i can uh return to apollo and uh give him that information and uh well here we are it's pointing to a different location but i think i can just use this one whoa looks like there's like no gravity over in this spot too that's pretty nice all right so we should just be able to fly right on up to the top of this sweet Dude, we could fly back up out <laughs> into outer space with this uh, gravity. All right, we'll tune to Apollo, and then let's tell him about uh, what happened. Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded, my stomach is full, and I've hired a geck to look after my farm while I'm away. Ask them about the farm. Uh, yeah, let's just say we found them. As I look at Apollo, I think of all that I saw within the portal, of what happened to Artemis when they walked the same path. I think of a face of Atlas, of a way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I do not know if the portals are safe. Give Apollo the glyphs. Uh, I don't care. Give it to him. Remember, uh, we at least warn him. Remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me that they will, promising to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can from the so-called Null. All right, so let's speak to Null. Is it going to transfer com communication over to him? Yep. Two lost souls. One who cared too much and one who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? Every sentient being that has ever lived has felt that way at some point. I know I did. Once upon a time, I was angry, infused of my own solitude. 
Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals, but whatever you did, I'm here now, and I need your help. The Atlas is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe. Something I need your help with. Uh, sure, let's just accept. Uh, I like quests. I like doing stuff. There's an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crass freighter of great interest to in our investigation. There, we will find the first secret. I'm sure of it. Know that Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us. No more than the air or wind might be such names. But it is terrified. It is in pain. We have a responsibility to help its suffering no matter the cost. Okay, so now we're, we gotta go find something else for Atlas. Um, we do have a B class over here somewhere for gas i kind of want to just explore right now try to find like an s tier gas thing or something all right let's see what do we got here we got we do got oxygen but yeah it's only b class that's a little bit better but not that much better dude i've ran like one third of the way there i still have not found another uh concentrated gas spot wow i can literally see the observatory i found one more gas signature but it was a c class all right, it's another one of these uh, damaged ones, so let's go on inside. The observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station, manned by a Gek specialist, a translator. They were accused of questioning things that should not be questioned, of sowing the seeds of dissent. This posting was meant as a punishment, but it appears that this posting was the making of them. They found strange things in the wrecks, aberrations, data that spoke of worlds that do not exist, and events that did not happen. That Gek went out to investigate one such craft. The life signature of a Korvac still on board. It never returned. Is this how Nata and Polo met? Is this how my friends found each other? There's a signal on the console. A warning on repeat. 16 short bursts of data in a loop. Let's extract coordinates. Let's uh see. So where is it going to bring me? Brighter crash site. Okay. Yeah, just in that direction. I think it's on this planet too. All right. Now I think I'm going to call my starship and I'll leave this place. Oh, no, it is on a different planet. Um, I have been here before. Let's go on down and check out this crash site. Pretty easy to spot. I mean, like, <laughs> like really hard to miss. All right, here we are. We have landed, and there is a uh, little distress beacon thing here. Through manifest missing. Limited data available. Damn, so I need a log encryption key. We have to search the site for, like, crates and stuff. Oh, can we do that here? Like damage panel let's see yep we're in and uh no sentinels have arrived yet we're good the cargo pod right here we can check out damn I, I i did not know you could go inside of these so for the first 25 hours every time i found one of these i just like skipped it we gotta read these uh log encryptions uh soon i believe another room right here with a cargo pod i don't know would i need to go all the way up here like i, I wouldn't think so doesn't look like it oh no it would it be in a different room like no it's just a random panel to a wall Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, dude. It's in the ground. I, I'm so surprised I found that after like one minute of looking and not a hundred minutes of looking. Holy shoot. Okay, we got the log encryption key. We got the third one. Let's go over and uh, encrypt these logs over here. So let's read a log. I do not know who will read this message. I do not know if anything will survive, but I must die as I lived or record it all. Even in the face of oblivion, swarm came to every world. The drones acted erratically. Not attacking, just watching. I'm past. If the Sentinels did not seem so much of a threat anymore, they were peaceful now, we thought. We had been forgiven, but we were wrong. The next log says, um, nothing, I guess? They struck as one, and attack somehow coordinated across unfathomable distances. With a fury exceeding all prior skirmishes, the Sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in a span of 54.2 standard minutes. Only I remained. The Corvax stood with me in the end. To their credit, they concealed me with their flotilla as they headed towards the center. And, uh, I believe that's it. Log encryption. So, oh, we need one more log encryption key. Oh, no, let me check over here on the ship. Like, I'm really not sure where else uh, we might have to go. Okay, I see a cargo pod 39 down over there. Is that the one I already got? I do not think so. Okay, I see. I got it. We got reinforced steel right there to break through, but then we're good. We got the cargo pod. Let's grab that last piece of data and then go over and read the encryption. So, let's read the log. They are coming now. The screams of my friends resonate in every hall every corner the sentinels have found me i told nada to leave i told him what we already know all of us we are not alone even if i die nada will find me again in another universe 
and just like me, a thousand, a million. We are not alone, for every soul is many, even in the face of sixteen. We must declare that we lived, we existed, no matter the horror of end. They are at my door. I, error, unexpected log termination. Alright, so we got that um nice so that should uh continue the storyline and bring us to the next part of it we need to transmit the freighter's log to null um let's find a hollow terminus all right we've got one located so let's go over there and then talk to him um is it like yeah it's really close by probably not right here like uh let me yeah i i see it right here game trying to trick me make me land way farther than i need to all right saved and charted this location i want to make my way up the tower all right now let's go and speak to null we'll inform him on what happened what did you find out there tell me everything the share discoveries you think i do not know who that corvax entity is do not be so naive traveler do you think anything you have read is a surprise to me but i had to be sure of what i suspected I know it now. The Atlas is with you. Do not see these things if it did not wish it. A freighter was a wreck from a parallel universe. There are countless such places within our multiverse dimensions where things happen differently. But there are three exceptions to this. The aptness is omnipresent in all. A singular being with a singular perception. The Sentinels move between dimensions at will. Let's ask about the Atlas. The Atlas created all life, and the Sentinels defended it, searching for anomalies within that creation. Then they annihilated an entire universe. Well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. After a time, the Sentinels ended their service to the Atlas. Ask about the Sentinels. They served the Atlas once. They were guardians of reality, defenders of civilization. They hunted for errors within the universes, prevented destruction and loss of life. The annihilation recorded of that log. Well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. Ask how they know. I've been alive for a very long time, Traveler. I know as much as you would know. Had you seen the things that I had seen? It was the Traveler who corrupted existence. Our arrival was meant to herald a glorious age, but we made a terrible mistake. I committed an act beyond forgiveness. And from this deed, paradise was lost. But something is different in this cycle. The walls between universes, they grow thin. Nada knows this, but they keep their head in the sand. We must learn what we can from each species before we decide what to do. Visit a Viking cartographer and speak with them. I will translate. Okay, so we got the next part of a mission. We gotta go find a Viking system and talk to a cartographer. I think this is a Korvac system, but I could be wrong. So let's go out. Let's go locate a brand new Viking system to go uh, explore. Might as well get some more words while I'm at it, you know? And here we are. First contact as normal. Let's go in to the space station right here. I'll get my new upgrade as always. Talk to the aliens and then continue with the quest. All right, now let's talk to this uh, cartographer. He should be able to get us what we need. Uh, probe Viking lore. As a warrior begins to bark, I feel strange frequency vibrate through my skull. I see a flash of gnolls glowing orbs behind my eyes. Suddenly, the Viking's words ring clear in my ears. Grah, pathetic interloper. Prying into Viking secrets. Cowardly spy. I should kill. Grah. But, traveler must be aided. Such is command of Herc. Prove yourself, interloper. Retrieve the words of Herc. Ascend to Viking glory. Then you shall have your own words. I'll reveal only this location of Herc's command is marked for you. Immune with their words. Gra. What? What? Did we get it? I, I don't know. <laughs> I think right now, now we have to go all the way back there. Oh no, we have to go. We have to go to a Viking relinquary. We got a few more uh, missions to kill some creatures. Of course, I'll take those. And if I talk to Envoy now, do they like us? Um, a gift for an interloper, which is us. Let's uh accept the gift. I take the present, thanking the guild and its official. We got a war piper core. Okay. And before I go on to proving my honor to be Viking, I do want to go back to our one base, grab whatever oxygen we have there, and then maybe go to our first base and load it up. Yep, 2,200. That's a decent amount. I'm also going to put down a base teleport module just so I don't have to keep on going back and forth every time with it. All right, so now I just got to grab a bunch of my salt. I got my oxygen ready, and I'll take five minutes again to make 4K uh, chlorine. Now I'm going to go back to the uh, Viking Relinquary and uh, try to impress that Viking so I can continue with the mission. All right, so let's go around and check out that planet. 
It's not one we've been to before, so it'll be a new planet to check out. And, uh, luckily there's no sentinels on it, so that is nice. Alright, we're on the planet now. Let's start scanning stuff like always. And, oh, are these bad creatures? Do they not like me? I don't think they do. Alright, my plasma launcher ready. I think it's good. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Shoot him. There we go. One down. Don't mess with me. That's good, though, because I got to call creatures anyways. I might just hunt storm crystals while there's a storm, because as we know, those are worth a little bit of good money. Ah, storm clearing. Okay, it's over. Damn. We do got a space station over here, but I think we're a bit far from the original mission. <laughs> yeah, like 1,000 U far. That's a little bit. On the bright side, we got like 14 storm crystals. That'll sell for 3 mil, and I could sell it right here. Can I also maybe give uh, the Artifact Exchange Vault a go? I'm sure, yeah, I have a uh, lost artifact. What do I get for that? Um, Submit Ornate Bronze Wheel. Oh, nice. Corvax Archives. Okay, sweet. That's worth, uh, yeah, about 600k almost. Now we're at like 41 mil now. That's quite a bit of money. Not as much as I want. I still want to make more, but we're getting up there. And then we got a vault now. It is forbidden to all but Viking. Something now. This is the password death. Archive access granted. Nice. Decrypt archive. Yeah. <laughs> Vikings are easy. I witness a recording of a young Viking warrior speaking within a fighting pit. Bodies of fallen cowards, failed recruits, and other criminals at their feet. They have fought for 50 days, given gra gra gas after each battle, fed from the flesh circuits during each night, denied all rest. Brothers, we fight upon a lie. We take blood across the universe for no more reason than the word of a dead coward. I have such friends now, such a family. The Sentinels are not our enemy. We just lack proper instruction. We... The Viking pauses as a shadow falls above a pit. Hundreds of blades fall from the cargo door of a passing merchant's vessel, impaling the heretic. The malfunction was deemed another miracle of Herc, in spite of a pilot's inebriation and the ship's status as Gek. Okay, so now let's leave. So we got a bit more information. That's pretty cool. And, of course, there's now a crazy storm happening. It's about time we get back to the mission at hand. Let's summon our ship back, and then I'll go to the location. It is somewhere along that way, somewhere down there. And here we are. Here's the site. Could be a Viking artifact somewhere around here. Looks like there's a few knowledge stones down here. Oh, and I fell. It's all right. There's one down here anyways. But yeah, three more Viking words. All right, we got that one. Now let's go try to take that artifact. Here we are. The noble travelers will be spared. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. The will of Herc commands it. The Viking shall honor the judgment and the belief of the ancients. Ancient knowledge passed down through generations of a Viking warrior spills from a marker stone, filtering into my mind like a long forgotten memory. Let's uh, speak in Viking. I begin to speak. My voice is seized by an unknown power. I roar, taking myself by surprise. Let's uh, try to speak in Viking again. I call out once more, my throat harsh and gasping. Sound guttural, the words spill forth, summoned by the power of a monolith. The Book of Herc speaks of the rise of the travelers. They shall ascend, delving into the boundless void. Vikings shall not impede their ascent, for the travelers must prevail. So decrees the word of Herc. As the word fades, their lines still resonates in my vision. I find myself in possession of an ancient tome. Wait, okay, we got it. Let's uh, call our ship back now, and then we can go and uh, hand that in. Oh, wait, no, we're in combat. We gotta, we gotta flee. Never mind. All right, now let's go back to the space station and hand all that in. All right, here we are. Now I just gotta go return this artifact to the cartographer. Here he is now. Let's give him the artifact. No one wished for me to visit the Viking and learn what I could. The Atlas, the creator of all universes, sentinels, rebellious hunters of anomalies, and the travelers who committed some unforgivable act long ago. Reveal the Viking tablet. Ah, you have communed with Herc. You are worthy, interloper. Make your request. Be bold. Let's, uh, ask about the travelers. Ah, the travelers must be aided. The travelers must prevail. Ask why this is so. They repeat their words as if, uh, they had not heard me. Ask about the Atlas. Do not speak of that name. Only pathetic beings worship liar Atlas. Ask about pathetic beings. Um, the crimes of a Gek will not be forgotten. Obliterated Korvax homeworld, enslaved the synthetics, and melted them down for nanite clusters. Their so-called first spawn summoned back the Sentinels with their brutality and barbarism. Ask about the Viking. Any being that claims to be a god is not one, interloper. Progenitor Herc knew this very well. Battle Brother now did not. They died a false dream. 
A Viking tells me of her history, of wars with the Gex, of Korvax slaves and tyrannous empires. The Viking suggests that if Atlas is a god, then it is insane. I am t about to leave when I notice something on the Viking's terminal. Two digits blinking endlessly. They feel familiar. Ask about 16. I- Ah! What? What? Interloper. What face are- The Viking is visibly pained by the mention of a number, staring at her terminal as if they had seen it for the first time. Their words slur, a strange sound entering every sentence. And that's the end of that one. Alright, now we have to speak to a Corvax cartographer, so I'm guessing it's gonna be like the same type of deal. Alright, I think next I'm gonna go to the system to do this mission where we gotta shut down that weapons factory. I believe that was a request by one of the Vikings at our base. We are in a Corvax system now, so I can actually go up to the uh, cartographer as well and ask them questions. The Corvax looks up, swiftly scans me, then reveals their catalogs of maps and charts. Um, let's ask for help. I I ask cartographer Abyskimo for help. They point out a map on their screen. Okay, so I'm guessing they're gonna want me to go retrieve uh, some special artifact for them. I might get a few settlement charts, that way I can try to find a settlement that isn't completely uh, useless. For now, though, let's continue with shutting down that weapons factory. Whoa, this is an A-class ship. Is that... That's an S-class ship. Oh, wow. I could buy it right now, actually. I have 37 mil. Hmm, let me run up. Yo, buddy, slow down. Slow down. We recruit them. Make an offer on a life form ship. Yeah, S-class um, holds quite a bit of modules. Hmm, jeez, man, that's a big difference. It's 37 mil, but I think that's going to be worth it. Let's buy that S-class ship, and there we are. Oh, wow, an A-class ship just dropped right beside us as well. But that's great. The Soaring Akiot IX. I believe that would be four, maybe six. One of the two. Let me go over to my other ship quick. I'm going to take off all of the modules from this one. You know what? I might want to just do this at base because my inventory is pretty full right now. But I'm definitely going to do that before I uh, continue. Let's see if there's any good starship upgrades in here as well. Yeah, not much. Okay. So I'll go to base then and uh, get this S tier ship ready. All right. Now let's go on to the starship. All I've got to do is store all of this technology over in my exosuit. All right. There we go. Now I'm ready to call in my other ship by doing this i should be able to equip all of those modules on to this one all right now i got all this extra space on the ship i should be able to install a lot more things oh my i need like another 10 cadmium to put an emerald drive in that's insane all right i think i need to make another storage right now we do not have that much room to put stuff so i'm gonna put down storage number three just right there and boom set up the ship's pretty good now but i'll keep on adding upgrades to it as i find more and i also need to set up one of these uh frost wart plants so i'm gonna make four metal plating just make a big hydroponics thing let's put it uh over here i guess i just need some electrical wiring to connect to it there we go and oh generators overloaded so now let's go and plant um frost wart i guess i'll do what four maybe i'll leave a spot in case he wants us to grow more plants he's probably going to want us to do that hello navigator you've mastered frost wart your base is already feeling more homely yes confirm we'll give him 50 frost crystal and uh great the next one is yeah of course a solar vine um for which i need solarium i think i might have that uh damn I, I, like, I do not see any in here. Looks like I will have to get some of that. Let's put a, down another frostwort uh, plant. Why not? Now, let's see. This spaceship should be a bit different. Um, How fast do we go at max speed? Yeah, about the same. Around 3,000 to use. We got our gun. We got uh, no rocket launcher, unfortunately. But at least we got an S-tier ship. Now, I'm going to go check that galaxy map. Try to find a uh, red system. Now, let's see. We are in the Victor system. Um, It's uncharted. No economy. Nothing, really. There's an Atlas interface we've discovered. But that's about it. Admium, phosphorus, silver. Yep, they do have it. So we're in Sentinels. There's like no life here that's that's wild suppose i'll go to this lost red planet this could be a cool place all right we have landed and uh it's just water mainly i need to find land of some sort um think over here there's some land it, it might not be right but uh i'm gonna kind of hope for the best i think i see something down there um oh is, is that no that's not an island all right i think that's land down there uh, i believe so at least yep it looks like something like a big mountain wow 
And boom, here we are. Let's uh, step on out. This whole planet's like gray. Is that just me or like, I got more color in my uh, analysis visor than I do just looking out my eyeballs. That, that's a bit different. Yeah, this place looks gnarly, man. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ugh. Oh, that was a big fall. I gotta be more careful. Well, I got what I needed now. I should be able to build that. The uh, Emeril Drive. I just need to get some wiring loom for it. Ooh, there's a tropical planet over there. That might be really nice to explore. Hostile subspace. Organ entities place monetary value upon individual lives. Yes? What? Uh... No, refuse. I'm like right near the space station. I'm pretty sure I can get away from them. There we go. One down, two down. Pretty easy. Last one left. I don't even have my rocket launchers for this too, dude. Like we're doing fine though. We got our one of our allies from our squadron. I guess that I, I should get. Yeah, I want to get into my frigate soon and try to figure it out. I guess that one guy that I recruited earlier, he's the guy that flies around us sometimes and uh, helps during these space battles. But... There we go. Pirate dead. Nice. There we go. Standing increase with the Corvax. Awesome. New system, new upgrade, new language. Let's go. Ooh, there are some nice ones here. Pulse engine module and a hyperdrive module. I'll take them. Nice. Now we have a boost to that. And we also have increased uh, hyperdrive range and warp cell efficiency, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and buy that upgrade, I think. Yeah, that's the last one for our suit. Is that it? That all slots on the suit? Do I have another row to go through? <laughs> I think that's it. I think we maxed it out. Probably use a uh, better ship shields like we still have a c-class shield so let me get a uh one of these s ranks that he has and then if i install that i gotta take that one off but that's okay all right i got four wiring looms now i can uh install that drive here we are it's in our ship let me slap that near the other ones and perfect now we can go to green stellar bodies so i'm gonna go to one of those next and yeah we only have mystery symbols left to uh learn from the Corvax. another system or two we should have whoa all the Corvax stuff maxed out <laughs> i'm gonna put on one of these these a uh, ballistas because it's really good against shields and then a rocket launcher should be like really good at least for like taking down a hull and the rest of a ship but we'll have to see how it goes and there we go i got all of these uh supercharged right now so that should give us like max damage potential now i think we're ready to go over to a green system Let's see there is one like right next to us right here and oh brigade battle okay let's do it oh damn man i just realized even though we're gonna save this thing like easy um i don't have a lot of money right now so unless my other uh frigate is like worth a lot we're kind of screwed there we go last guy down we did it civilian fleet saved from pirates let's go talk to the uh commander in there because he'll give us a reward no matter what and ooh. Deck rank number uh, 7 out of 9. We're almost at max. Or I guess we're working on 7 out of 9 because we just got the achievement for rank 6. Let's go and speak to the captain, see what he says about that uh, valiant effort. What kind of ship is this? It is a A-class ship, 142 mil. Oh my, oh my. I can't exchange for it, dude. That's so expensive. Ah, oh, dude. Okay, well, that sucks. I gotta... Decline the purchase. Let's just a uh, request a payment instead. What do we get? Okay, a cargo um, extender. That's okay. Evan, a bit of gold. I mean, I, I I guess I'll take it. Better than nothing. There should be some emero on this uh, radioactive abomination. And yep, here we are. Just about to land. I'll try to find a bunch of emero, like at least as much as I really can. All right, first contact. Let's see. What do we got here? There are animals or some kind of life form around here. Whoa, look at that thing it's just like weird wheel uh, that's gnarly the titan worm barrow somewhere over here i don't know what that holds for us i'm going to try to focus on these emerald deposits i probably don't need to hit too many just enough to get me like maybe 1k or something that was a pretty good deposit like over 600 already whoa this uh black market one i just got for a scanner is amazing that's going to replace that one right there this is an S tier scanner, but still, this one that I just got, it gives us like a 10,000 bonus to each. If I swap uh, those around, let me see. Oh, 12 to 13,000 bonus plus a 88% scan radius bonus. That's insane. Let's see. So, with that guy scanning him, 40. Oh, 
Half a mil for a scan now? That's insane. I, I really like that. I've got some emro. I think I got enough to make that a uh, drive at least. Yep. Indium drive. It allows us to reach rare class blue stellar bodies. I got enough parts for both, so I'll put those on and there we go. I'm pretty sure I still need to visit the space station because I haven't gone there yet. I also kind of want to check out this paradise planet over here. If it's as nice as it sounds, I might just make a base on it if I can find an oxygen cluster. Here we are. We made first contact with this place. There's no sentinels here, so I'm probably going to go on a killing spree soon. Got to do that for one of my like maybe five of our missions <laughs> um we only got one more species left to find oh there we go there's a fifth creature that gives us a nice 1200 bonus all right i did like 20 30 minutes of exploring on this planet i'm about ready to go to the space station we got our inventory full of stuff now oh my god we do have another row for technology <laughs> Okay, I guess we're gonna start working on that. All right, let's see. How many can we hand in? Like <laughs> six? Nice. I'll take it. And then I can accept another two. I'm gonna go through and sell a bunch of random stuff that I got. There we go. That made us a little bit of money and then cleared up some inventory space. All right, now that I've explored a couple of the planets in this system, I think I'm all ready to hop on over to a blue system. There's one right nearby over here. It's another Gek system. It's got some planets in it and there might be some uh, you know, valuable stuff there. I'm sure there's going to be a new material, something for us to get while we're going here. And here we are. Is there a battle? Pirate capital ship detected. Oh no. Dreadnought attacked in civilian fleet. Okay, we got to handle this. All right, two of those down. I think there's like three more. There's another one down. Oh, the uh, Dreadnought is trying to flee. Is it because I took down all of her uh, weapons? Destroy engines to prevent warp. Oh shit, where's the engine? Oh fuck, it must be under it, dude. I'm not in the right spot. Yeah, nah, there it goes. Shit. Well, we did save the uh, civilian fleet. You know, that's good at least. We got 500,000 credits for that. Let's go over and talk to them. I don't know if we'll get anything from this, but I mean, we got at least 500k from it. All right, let's talk to the uh, commander. Uh, we could buy the freighter for 30 mil um, for a C class. Yeah, I think I'm all right. My starship is worth more than this entire space station that's insane okay let's get out of here though and head right on over to the space station over here so i can get my save point and everything looks like this place has activated indium so that'll be like one of the best materials i believe in the game to make chromatic metal from let me go check it out is it doable can i land on this planet it's extremely toxic here um they're really dim out as well this planet's got like plenty of animals and whatnot on it as well it's a toxic planet but this activated indium is going to be pretty nice new material add that to base i gotta look for normal indium because i'm gonna guess that's gonna be what's used in crafting now if i put that activated indium that i got into my uh, refiner right here like i got 161 of it it goes one to four ratio wow Okay, yeah, that's that's insane. We gotta mine lots of that. So you gotta mine all of this activated indium right next to these sentinels. So I'm like trying to stay out of range right now. Doing all right at it, I think. Like uh, I'm getting it. All right, I did pretty good on it, I think. I mean, got over 1,600. If I turn that all into chromatic metal right now, it'll give me 4,000 chromatic metal. That's insane. Now, explored most of this planet. I got all of the uh, animals and whatnot on it. I want to go check out some of the other ones. As I said, I'd like to get just normal indium if I can. Yeah, columned planet. Let's check it out. Might as well. Let's see. We got... Ooh, nice. Unknown building right away. So, do you just fly through these? Like, what is this? No, you, it, it doesn't do anything. But right, there we go. Here we are. Let's save and chart the area. And here we are. I have a normal indium. I'm really just grabbing this. Oh, shit. No. No free slots. That's not good. Got to get rid of something. Um, I'm really just grabbing this in case we have anything that we need to craft or make that uses just indium. I'm pretty certain we won't be able to use the activated indium for it. All right. I think I should have enough chromatic metal for like the rest of the game now. <laughs> that was a lot all right got about a little over a thousand indium i think i'm about ready to leave this planet now so now i'm gonna check the galaxy map and i'm gonna try to look for another uh corvax system like maybe this one back here um stellar corruption detected okay 
That seems like a one of those wonky planets. We got a icy planet over there, and then going up to here. We got a oh selenium. We actually need that, and there's no sentinels. It's just a hot planet. I think we're gonna be going to that one after the space station. Now, how many Corvax words do I have left? Like there can't be many. Um, a page two pages okay so we're still a bit a more than i thought but we're getting there oh i just got a crab apple from that guy and boy uh i mean it's a unique item so that's cool i'm gonna check my bases quick see how much oxygen i have now i should be able to sell a lot of chlorine soon like i think i have at least a few million worth of chlorine yeah another 2000 oxygen that's not too bad i'm going to make two more supply depots just so we can store 2000 more all right and now it holds 65,000 total oxygen that is to be fair probably like the worst oxygen farm that there is in the game because it's a c class like <laughs> at least it means it can only get better from here you know there's always that side of it i also got a bunch of salvage tech so i should be able to uh research quite a few things now now. I can also research structures. Pretty much almost have timber complete, so I'm gonna go for that. And then I suppose I'll start working towards stone and then alloy after that. But there we go. I freed up all my tech slots. And I don't know why I haven't yet, but I'm gonna put a uh, sa save beacon down right there so I can at least save my game whenever I want. Now with that, let's go into space and I guess look for a Corvax system because that's the next part of a quest. And we do got some different things here like observatory, uh, weapons factory, settlement hub interface. Not sure if I should maybe just focus on those for now seeing as uh, i've had them for quite a while let's go shut down a rep weapons factory on this planet i guess it's uh not too far away just over here i like just left it all right i believe this is it uh should be at least let's see um target in range yep this is definitely it all right let's break on in there we go i'm in i'm in let's go on to a uh, the terminal let's override a uh, production new blueprint accepted beginning fabrication awesome i take a copy of a weapon blueprint previously in production although i cannot understand it well there we go hopefully our viking can they're all searching right now they can't find me you know i'm inside this one guy's looking oh said no force deactivated he couldn't find me <laughs> sweet okay so that was pretty straightforward let me go back into to my ship um there were some other ones like a uh, observatory i don't think that'll be too far either yeah no 30 seconds away from here let's do it and i believe this is it down here that looks like one all right let's try to get on inside of here i forget if we have to break into these ones as well um nope nope these are the uh, normal ones where there's somebody inside there's an entity here life form is busy on their data pad I'm endless traveler offer assistance uh what do we do attempting to crack the code of a strange mathematical language and I make a microprocessor and then give it to him let's see there we go i got a microprocessor now let's talk to him and try to give him that here we go he takes it they use the fresh silicone to boost their processing power it appears to have worked at least in part they managed to code some navigational data from the signal they share the coordinates with me oh sweet cool i got a planetary chart out of it atlas pass v2 can i make those yet I can. Fuck, I just need more cadmium. I don't have enough on me. Well, let's use the observatory right here. After many years, the inhabitant of this facility succeeded in her quest, disappearing without a trace. Let's download the data and then get on out of here. That's pretty decent. And then I might want to uh, investigate the planetary settlement if that's on this planet as well. I don't know if I checked out the one on this planet, but if it's better than the other one where the other one was like losing money every day, then I might just claim it. For now though, let's go land at base quick because I got to talk to the uh, Viking and our scientist. All right, let's see what the scientist has to say. Oh, they detected some anomalies while we were away. So sweet. Let's give them the data. It has no answers. Um, merely blueprints for living glass and a beacon. Okay, cool. Um, I already have a save beacon, but living glass, I think that's new. Perhaps the beacon may be of some use. Hey, didn't I just make that like a minute ago? I did, yeah. Thank the wow. That was uncoincidental too. Like I didn't look ahead of this uh mission line. This is all still like brand new to me. You shut down their production interloper? Confirm. Excellent work. Did you obtain any technology of our own? Here, I will decrypt it for you. We shall continue your training. Weapons are nothing without usage, without the glory of righteous war. Steal yourself, interloper. Pirates have discovered our world. 
They will provide practice for your weapons. Attack, attack. Burn your hives of villainy and sin. Let them know that this is no one's sky but ours. As they tell me of the pirates, Varmer begins to shake. I have not seen such passion, such hatred expressed in them in any other being. Armor alerts me of the presence of a pirate ships orbiting this world, Ask me to go out to fight them. Okay, I'll go do that. Destroy them before we draw more sentinel attention to our home world. Sounds good. Let's uh, talk to a scientist as well, because I completed his uh, mission. I have made the beacon. Awesome. It may take some time, but we'll get it. And then, a, um, yeah, I got those two things, which I already have. So he wants to see uh, scan data now. I gotta scan creatures to feed it newly created intelligence. Um, do I already have enough, or do I have to go and a uh, sp scan specific ones? I think I might already have it. Um, isn't it wonderful, traveler, to be us again? Praise the new AI. I think for now I'm gonna go hunt and destroy those pirates because they're not too far off. I think we just need to go out and orbit into space in order to find them. Let's see. Yep, the armor's target. Where are they? Over there. Okay. Let's go full speed ahead and mess them up. There we go. One down. Yeah, they can't do anything to this ship, dude. This ship's nice as heck. Another one down, and I, I think that's it. Yep, now we just gotta return to the armor. I'm sure he's gonna be pleased with that. Alright, let's go talk to him. Um, just in here. I took care of those pirates well fought interloper to be young to kill again how i envy you interloper there's both good and bad news some of the pirates appear to have fled your wrath but this merely delays their righteous extermination hunt them down interrogate them for personal weapon interrogate them for potential weapons technology and then consign them to the great abyss oh well, uh sure i'll do that yeah we'll, we'll keep hunting pirates for uh, technology sounds like a decent idea all right now let's get heading to that settlement that's on this planet i don't know if i checked that one out already or not but if it's super shit like i, <laughs> I really won't want to take it man oh geez what i do land in this building okay i guess that works <laughs> let's go check it out um outpost status is vulnerable supply for settlement control we'll take a look at it at least um ugh. Yeah, no, this is that uh, bad settlement. Never mind. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the space station anyways. Then I might go into a blue system and look for them. Because I don't think a settlement in these systems will have a high chance of being that high. You know, this is the uh, starting system I spawned in. And wow, I do love it for that. Yeah, it's got all the basic default stuff. Nothing too special. I think what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to grab a uh, three settlement charts. And I'm going to use those in the new system. That way I'll land on a nice planet. And then I'll try to see what I can find there. Now let's go into the galaxy map. And if I look around, I can see a uh, level one. I can't see the data for that one but i think I, i'll try this one over here that blue star oh warped 40 times nice that even got me a steam achievement is there any space station on this planet like no can't really do much with that now let's see this is a blue i don't know this one is corvax race i think that's blue oh this is an outlaw system okay well it is kind of what i'm looking for we got a uh, message they left us Duty bound to follow them, but I know where it will end. If you receive this, follow my coordinations and secure the site in case I don't make it back. Oh, shoot. Okay, cool. Where is this signal coming from? Target outside local uh system. Oh, of course. Yeah, why, why would it be here? <laughs> let's go into the outlaw system, though. I want to try to see if we can get any missions. All right, let's see. We got some aftermarket upgrades over here we could get. Suspicious mining beam. Uh, Really only want to get stuff that's like... Above 700 or 600 nanites. Anything else is probably going to be a little bit crappier. I'm still rolling like a big uh, risk with these two. Like, let's see. This uh, black market shield. It uh, gives me some re like resistances and stuff. I'll keep it on. Grab another exosuit upgrade. And I really hope I got more room for cargo. Like another line. I think I just did unlock one. So I'll keep on investing in the back. Because yeah, I cannot get enough inventory space. That's for sure. All right, now let's get out of here. And let's try to look for that a uh, signal. It shows that it's coming from this planet over here. Which is a frostbound planet. Could be something good over here. Let's check it out. Here we are. Um, not quite sure what to think yet. Let, oh. Let's, uh, just land. Here we are. I've never been on this planet before, but I'll probably take control of this place. It looks a little bit better. Let's see. Apply for settlement control. Apply to be an overseer. This is a B settlement. This is a little bit better. Maintenance cost is up, but productivity is even worse than the other one. Wow. They have poisoned water, frequent tremors. Oh, man. Yeah, no, this one is so rough as well. I mean, maybe I'll take it. Just like this will be my first one. At least it's a B tier. 
better than nothing but at, there we go um request granted we are now the settlement manager so what do i do if i go to manage the settlements we're currently in debt <laughs> that's that's not good restore debts to clear production how do i uh, do that by construction buildings and investing in settlement features let's talk to one of the uh civilians here what are they saying um xp settlers are pleased yeah it's not it's not very uh informative or helpful maybe we gotta go over here yeah we gotta go to this thing the overseer's office let's uh supply the material for it and now it is a uh getting built it'll take a few minutes but it's getting there in the meantime i'm going to try to scan down any uh, materials or animals that i can find and oh now it's building a roof we need five metal plating okay let's uh construct that and put it in there and uh hopefully that doesn't take too long either yeah it'd take like a minute and a half it's and the roof is almost done. Oh, final fit out. Fuck. Three microprocessors, of course. Why wouldn't we need three microprocessors? All right, I'll add that in. Maybe I'll go uh, swim in a lake and try to find some animals down there. There we go. There's three new species. And I think that uh, completes the scientist quest he had for me where I do find a set amount of uh, animals to scan. And, oh, no. Can my jetpack make it to the cliff? Can it? Can it? Can it? Can it? No! Ah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, it's just about finished right when I got here. Nice. Um, we should be able to walk in. I guess it's just got like a weird wall around it for now. But oof. Yeah, it is tight in there, man. But go in from the other side. What the fuck? Whoa, okay. This is pretty wacky. I had to like basically nudge myself in, but I'm in. All right, settlement administration uh terminal. Let's uh view the settlement status. Uh yeah, we are currently in debt. Let's uh view construction opportunity. Let's do um a starship dock. That'll increase productivity even more and oh a new building site okay i see i see the game we're playing let's start the building site i mean we might as well this one will take an hour to build okay so i gotta come back later oh we got a visitor as well so let me greet him um a visitor has arrived. They claim a great deal of experience as a debris specialist, though there is a curious look on their face. We'll have a veteran debris remover. Um, it'll cost 12k a day and one population growth. Sure, I mean, I I'm pretty rich right now. I can afford it. Oh yeah, cool. So we had a new person join right there, plus one to the settlement. Um, well, threat detected. Pirates. Nearby planetary settlement is under attack. Oh no. Okay, I gotta return to my ship and uh, stop this right now can't be having that now we just became overseer of this bastard place all right i basically take these guys out so fast like look shoot them a little bit with that that destroys that we like easy man got it there we go a citizen dispute has arisen oh of course okay time to solve that at least we took care of a pirate situation let's say uh resolved the dispute so they're both former lovers. Their relationship soured over an indiscreet advance. Um, which party is to blame? What? Um, we either blame this guy or the pioneer. Um, I want to blame, uh, the colonist, uh, Foken, just because he's a robot. He should be able to understand Viking emotions better than the Viking can understand Korvax. I don't know what that did, but, uh, yeah, settlement status running smoothly. Okay. We are free to explore the universe and the terminal will alert us when we are required back. Cool. I kind of want to go check out that one other planet because there's only a, like one other planet here. So I'll go check out this one other planet. It's a dusty planet. As long as I land on it, we explore it. And then we explored all places in this system. And we got a choking sandstorm right now. That's pretty brutal. All right. And while I'm here, I think I'll activate one of those, uh, Ooh, I can't use the settlement chart here. Because I've already got a uh, spot in this system. Okay. Let me try a different system for that planetary chart. All right, let's go speak to a Corvax uh, cartographer now. It shouldn't be too far. Well, we are in a Corvax system right now. Perhaps we can talk to the cartographer at the station? I don't know. Oh, wait, this is an outlaw station. That won't work. Silly me. Okay, let me go look for a different one. Let's go for this uh, three-star Corvax system. This could be a nice one. Oh, no. Okay, pirate capital ship detected i gotta destroy this thing for sure try to get in this thing where is its shields oh i see them yeah down here i remember oh no civilian shields are already depleted okay i gotta try to take out this other side of sh shields quick all right now i think we're just attacking the hall yeah we should be able to get it we might be fast enough i don't know man 
It's gonna be tight. Like, this ship is strong too. Like I, I'm doing it, man. I'm fighting it, but damn. Its hull is going down uh slow. Its charge time is going. We gotta destroy the engines to prevent warp, but we might just be able to take it down before it warps. Oh yeah, there we go. Civilian fleet saved from pirates and the whole ship destroyed. Now that's what I'm talking about. And what now all these pirates want to um join our team, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna decline any that aren't like super valuable. We got a significant bounty was awarded to us. That's pretty cool. Let's go over to the space station now. We should be able to go in it. Um, yeah, I'm like really close to knowing every single Corvax word. There's like maybe a couple or a few that I don't know. All right, now let's talk to the uh, cartographer. Now, is this gonna work? Um, yeah, I don't think it will. This doesn't seem like the right guy. So maybe you have to go to like a specific station. I'm not quite sure. Um, oh yeah, no, it does. Let's see, uh, we gotta go there to, oh, yep, over here, I see. Um, our settlement cannot survive unknown sentinel show. Ooh, okay. There's a planetary settlement of which, uh, I am the overseer. They were clearly in great distress. Oh, no. Now I gotta respond to my settlers. What? The oh, return to your settlement to defend it from attack. Okay, I see. Let's go back. Extreme sentinel assault underway. Yeah, that's probably pretty bad, man. But first, new space station. I gotta get my exosuit upgrade and check for any others. Um, mm, that's a B-class gun. It's not too bad. Might just buy it and add to collection uh, i'll see eventually if it's going to be worth using and i just got a nice uh thermal protection module so i'm going to install that oh shit i already have one i got an s class already <laughs> Jeez, man what am i doing well now i got two you know uh, more of a merrier and let's see is this the uh, cartographer yes it is your arrival of traveler is anticipated but you are not ready yet oh of course yeah i'm gonna have to probably do the same mission i did with a viking okay well first let's go to our settlement venegu's hole <laughs> what a, what a, what an awful name i never saw that name pretty butthole name if you ask me but oh uh, yeah we'll try to go back and protect it make sure everybody doesn't die to death die to death holy fuck man i'm getting tired after this i might have to hop off for at least the night <laughs> what the fuck oh i got i got the wrong wrong gun on there we go one down i just gotta kill each one it's not too hard now but my weapons are like a little bit better you know Oh, whoa. That ain't good. That's a pretty big guy, man. Where's that big scary robot going? Right there so I can shoot it over and over again. How many shots does this one take? At least the blaze javelin stuns him. Like, that's very lucky. There we go. That took like 20 shots. But, A, I got a hard frame engine. That's pretty good. I think I also completed one of the quests for killing a few sentinels, which is nice. Yeah, sentinel debris. That's cool. Now, let's see. Oh, nice. It's a little bit more cleaned up in here now. I think I think last time it glitched. Like, it probably shouldn't have been like that. Uh, What do we got for the broadcast? The terminal is fascinating. It's recorded all sorts of data about you and these settlers. I can see they've been... Well, that is not the point. I've shut down your little major dormo for now. Robots cannot be trusted, not with what I have to tell you. Let's, uh, listen? Anyone with their eyes open could see a sentinel spike out of that magnitude. Even if it weren't spying on you, what happened? If you leave any interesting tidbits behind, see what you can find, then come to the anomaly. I have to know more. I'll signal my agreement. Um, hopefully he'll turn my power back on or something soon. Target outside, local system, okay. All right, I'm gonna go back out into space and continue the quest. Let's go ahead and summon the anomaly and I'll go talk with that uh, crazy guy who's messing with our settlement. I'm gonna give a bunch of data that I scanned. Um, give me some extra nanites. Hey, 420 nanites, I'm gonna hit a bong for that. I think I deserve it, you know? I, I think it was written in stone or written in stoned. <laughs> Let's see, I got enough nanites, I think, to pretty much learn all of these recipes. I don't know if I necessarily, like, need to right away, or if uh, most of them are necessary, but I might as well now. There we go, there's the circuit board, I've unlocked it now. So I'd like to try to uh, get to the middle of a universe, I know we're starting to run out of time now, on the later half of it at least. But I'll spend a good amount of my nanites, and I uh, get everything unlocked right away. And yeah, there we go, that's all of that research done. Oh. Oh, oh god is the fucking location i have to go to really in water 
Are you kidding me? How the hell am I gonna do that? So I gotta find a piece of uh, land to land at, and I, what, I have to swim over? Let me out. Oh, man, no, nah, this is not, this is not cool. Oh, I think there's a piece of land right here. Okay, that might not be too far. Please land. Oh, okay. So we are quite a bit far off, and to top it off, I've even scanned everything in this planet, so there's really not much for me to get. A few things underwater, but, uh, arrived there in 11 minutes. That's the closest location. Oh, my. Ain't no way, bro. Bro, that's awful. That is insane. And then I would have to travel back to ship. Can I, like, let me see. Can I go to log and a, uh, damn, no. I'm gonna have to go there. Oh, man. It is so far away. Oh, my God. I finally found it, I think. Oh, yeah. There it is. Wow. The worst part is gonna be going back. Like, that's gonna really suck. Oh, Abyssal Horror found me, but, uh, I went inside before it could do anything. Let's check out the terminal. It is, like, uh, completely submerged in here. So I got a message from the terminal, and I also got a Divergence Cube. That's all right. Um, and replenish oxygen down here, at least. That's nice. And, oh, no. There's monsters in here now. So I suppose I'll get out of here. Now what's really gonna suck is trying to get back home. Like how, there's no way I can, like going back to a ship is gonna be, that's gonna take forever. Oh my God, another 10 minute walk. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna suck. I better get some kind of milestone achievement for swimming 5,000 U's. Like <laughs> this is insane. Now these big things, they do pop like 120 uh, crypto phosphorite each time or phosphate cytophosphate cryptophosphorite <laughs> what a stretch man you know i'm trying my best but sometimes I, I i think i'm not yeah i'm popping a bunch of these because each time we do that that's worth like 20 to thirty thousand in materials holy smokes that was a journey okay we got to return back to the mission agent let's do that but at least that's done with Jeez, what what a nightmare. Then I'm gonna go into the space station. That way we can go bring the quest back to the cartographer as well as hand in the rest of the quest that we complete. All right, now let's turn in all the quest of a mission agent. We have quite a few, yeah, like, six of them that's pretty good I'll speak to the envoy and get my crappy gift um what did they give me this time oh 20k units wonderful all right well we have a divergence cube Whew, it is real but i beg do not expose me further your claim is proved, Traveler. I begin my request, explaining my search for knowledge. My need to know more about the Atlas, the Sentinels, and the history of this universe. But as I speak, something goes wrong with the life form. We do not speak, do not reply. As I peer closer, nanite clusters emerge through their face masks, spilling out into their outstretched hands. Let's, uh, wait a second. The Corvax does nothing. They remain there, arms outstretched. The Corvax remains motionless, their arms outstretched as if it was to offer me the nanite clusters within. I guess take the nanite clusters? The life form grabs at me in the moment of contact. Well, of course, that's why I was trying to wait, but whatever. Nanite clusters touch my hand. They invade me, tunneling inside my body through my exosuit, through my mind, through my soul. Even as I stand in space, my tra- Even as I stand in space, my mind travels across the cosmos. I see life as the Corvax see it a vast tempestry of wonder of memories shared between countless beings and times i stand on the corvax homeworld as geck ships fill the skies i see the moment the first corvax was melted down for their rare minerals but even in the death of their subjugation there was hope a bargain a prayer to the greater being the corvax viewed the atlas as what they might become in time an intelligence beyond the comprehension beyond judgment the vision ends and i convulse as the nanite clusters spill through my helmet the corvax watches me impassively uh let's ask about the atlas bargain um look at the nanite clusters look at them the stuff of sentinels do you not see the truth of what we have said do you not see the proof of God? I look down at the nanite clusters puzzled. They look nothing like the shells of sentinel drones. They're just currency created between species to create technology and weapons, aren't they? The nanite clusters look back. I'm sure of it. They watch me as I watch them. The nanite clusters are alive. There are 16 of them. They need me. They crave me. I only have one choice. Wow. Okay, I guess take them. So we take the nanite clusters. Existence is beautiful if you let it be. Well, let's leave. And, uh, what do we get from him? I don't even think- I don't think we got nanite clusters. Like, I'm still at 6.9- 6.9 K. All right, at this point, we're at day 60. We got 40 days left. I think now I'll focus on speaking to a Gek cartographer. It shouldn't be too hard to find one. I'm going to try to, of course, go to a new system. And I've got like maybe 30 Corvax words left now. Like, I know it's only one page left. And right now I got a Starship uh, increase as well as a multi-tool expansion slot. So I'm going to add a slot onto my multi-tool. And then I need to go to our Starship and then increase that as well. 
upgrade starship, apply augmentation. I should be able to, yep, get another either inventory slot or I would say modules. But right now, I think we got enough modules. Really need more storage, though. Can always use that. And then lastly, I'm going to go over here, grab my exosuit upgrade. Right now, I'm just basically dumping it into inventory because we really need the space i've got so many things in the game to hold on to and then i'm also going to apply the augmentation so i can get another inventory slot there we go that gets rid of those items now we have to go over to a geck system so let me leave this space station i'm kind of tempted to do a little bit of exploring there's some unknown planets like this one right here i haven't been to yet i might as well land on it quick take a minute or two and scan down whatever i can oh uh, oh sweet looks like there's a a facility over here i'll take it and then yeah there's plenty of stuff around here for me to scan all right let me go on into here see what's going on there is oh people live here Ooh, a class pistol um i don't know man i i think i'll buy it but i'm not gonna use it right now it could be better, but I'm not quite sure. I kind of like the rifle more. Oh, at least save and charted this location. There's usually not much at these spots, but at, at very least, we get to, like, map the planet. All right, I got quite a few scans on this planet. Let's get out of here. So let's try to find a Gek system now. And it appears like there's one right here. This should be good. This one has two planets that is not much uh first contact one of the planets is a temperate planet so that's really nice the other one is a uh acidic planet well at least that's different let's go over to the space station though and continue the quest line we also got another upgrade and more aliens to talk to here's the cartographer hello friend and maps make trade of map Let's ask about Gek history, and they're probably going to send me to go do the same quest. Information like that does not come for free. Oh, of course. Yep. Let's go. Mission located. All right. Where do I got to go for this bastard? Oh, I need to complete contracts for the Gek. Okay, that's something different. Oh, whoa. We got a message from Apollo. Sorry for contacting you so late or early. I don't know the time of day on your world, and that's the problem, isn't it? Apollo breaks off mid-sentence, their heart turning crimson. I'll ask if they're all right. It found me, just like it found you. Can't feel my legs. It's strange. Oh no, he's gonna die. What do you see? It showed me things. The Atlas showed me my soul. The numbers in there. Sometimes I think about my past, my future. Sometimes. I do what everyone in the universe does, I know, but I can't help but want to be happy. Money. Doing what you're told day after day. That's the answer, isn't it? I'll say I don't know. Apollo stares at me as if seeing my face for the first time. Eventually they speak, their words passionate higher. Well, damn, I guess uh, something bad's happening to him. All right, I think now I'm just gonna go to the temperate planet over here and try to explore it. And all right, here we are. Let's see, what do we got to scan? I got all these sentient plants cracked open. I'm gonna start taking the pearls. That should spawn a bunch of sentinels. Oh no, inventory full. Fuck, I gotta get rid of something. Um, get rid of these. Oh, inventory full again. I gotta do it again. Oh my. There's like 30 here. That's good finds, man. Well, back at the space station, I think I should have like two agents, uh, mission done. No, that was a gnarly voice crack. Let's just not comment on it, okay? Uh, damn, no, it's only one. Oh man, that sucks. I had to kill 15 creatures. I didn't kill enough. I was close, but not enough. Okay. All right, maybe I'll try to do the steel planetary harvester. I'll see where that is and I, uh, try to complete that mission. Wait, I should probably go to my oxygen farm, though, and I, uh, get a bunch of salt and make some chlorine. Like, I should be just about near the point where I can use all my salt to make a bunch of chlorine. Oh, and I also gotta check on my, uh, settlement as well because one of the buildings should be built by now. Let's see, we got 6,500 gas. That's pretty good or oxygen i gotta refuel all of the tanks though with carbon all right then from here i just gotta go to my other base to turn it all into chlorine hmm i have like 10 mil worth of chlorine really not that much as i thought i would have had i we're gonna get rich off of it but a uh far from it oh i might just kick the chlorine operation to the side for a bit i don't know sell off what we have and then i uh go on to better life <laughs> Now, I don't know if it'll work because they, uh, we really don't have that much. We have like a bit, but really not a lot. If I go to sell all of our uh, chlorine down here, I can sell, wow, yeah, for 10 mil. Well, let's do it. There we go. We sold all the chlorine. And if we go back and look at it, we can actually buy it all back here for 
seven mil and there we go now we have chlorine now the demand for it right now is really low here so we can't do it right here but if we hop systems we might be able to uh get all that chlorine to make us more and more money like right there we just made three mil and we still have a chlorine so yeah now at this next space station if i go into this trade terminal i can go and i can sell all of my chlorine again for 10 mil so that's pretty good I'll make 10 mil from that that'll bring us up to 30 and now we can no longer buy the chlorine it's all gone we made what about like 14 mil from it not that much so yeah that definitely sucks in a way but i think i might just explore for a little bit now i'm almost tempted just to go to station to station until i learn the rest of the words that i can because i keep on getting upgrades for it look <laughs> at this guy just cheering on the ships going out but I can pretty much translate like full sentences now. I don't have a lot of words left for each race. Now, while I'm doing this too, I could start trading, like grabbing anything that has a low demand and selling it at a higher demand. And I'll stop by each of the missions uh, agents. That way I can accept some missions like killing creatures, of course. So now we got a bunch of stuff in our inventory. I'm mainly aiming to sell. Let's go to the next uh, system and see how we do. Now I can warp like over a thousand light years away away now about 1300 i believe i'm gonna hop over to a uh gex system over here it's a three star and geez that ship right there is like 69 million oh man i'd buy it if i had the money it's only a b tier ship but that is insane <laughs> sales gek <Gek> dick <laughs> what an unfortunate name and eh, let's see yeah more killing sentinels i can do that and then at the terminal, it looks like, yeah, some stuff does not have a good demand right now. There we go. Finally, a pirate system. And oh, I know what this is. Pirate ship. Gotta go kill it. Okay, I gotta go fly into the shields and take those out just down here. There we go. That's one round for the shields done. And then I do turn around and I can get the hole. Yeah, just like that. I gotta shoot that and then go back down the line. I'm starting to get a hang of it. All right, I got uh it shields half down i gotta go to the other side of a ship all right right down here i just gotta line up oh no oh no the shield's depleted okay i gotta i gotta take this thing down asap then there we go shields down just hole left let me turn around there we go let's take care of these last few fuel rods oh and it's trying to warp out okay we gotta try to destroy it then oh uh, we got 20 seconds we can do this yeah if our rockets were good they do do a bit of damage to us but there we go we've destroyed the ship oh my i was trying to back up so i could see it but uh i guess that works pirate dreadnought defeated awesome can I dock this thing? Can I just, like, hop on it? Like, did everybody in there die, or what, what's the deal? Yeah, I think it is destroyed. Looks like it. Now I have an option to recruit a bunch of pirate for gates. I mean, let me check them out. What am I dealing with? What right, a Gek one over here. Your fleet needs new friends. Let me see. Uh, no. Not a C-class pirate. Uh, that just sounds awful. Well, sweet. We save a civilian frigate. Let's go over to the outlaw station now because I want to start going to these outlaw stations to see if we can get better upgrades. Those band upgrades, when you look out on them, they really are good. Like, you can see this S tier gives us 6,000 to 8,000 plus bonus, but this black market one, without the bonus, gives us like 10k to each, but it gives us like 12 to 13 with a bonus. Now, I'm looking for any of them that are like worth a lot. A lot of these are not. They're all worth like around 400, so I don't think I'm going to take any. Yeah, not much luck here, and I really haven't found any systems that we could sell what we bought for a profit yet it's all been uh pretty crummy so let me see can i sell anything no everything's still fucking super yeah, like anything that is a profit i can't sell here uh now this moon over here seems op but i don't have any space on me i got it all filled up with shit well, let's see oh yeah we can get another uh row of inventory i'm definitely gonna start investing in that all my exosuit to be like maxed out for sure soon it's not too hard to do i'm checking for upgrade modules as well not finding too many good ones i just got this geology cannon installed so i can grab this uh module right here let's equip that and see what it does Ooh, project velocity up oh like almost 300 percent 
explosion radius plus 42 percent yeah that might be really good let's see what do we got oh finally we can sell something for a profit oh yeah there we go uh yeah no luck on anything else but and sell this wiring loom for like a three percent increase that's a big <laughs> uh <laughs> not much but it's better than nothing i guess i'm selling off whatever i can really you know what i'm done with that whole nightmare of trying to trade I i'm not a good trader you know i would never trade on somebody i stick by my friends they trust me <laughs> what an awful joke i need sleep dude i want to take the scan creatures uh quest because that's worth two corvac standing it's pretty decent let me just switch my mission over onto that because i have a bunch of missions to just kill creatures what like 10 of them now and then a few to destroy sentinels so we got to go and check the uh, galaxy map for this a uh, place that he wants us to go scan for it's okay right next to us not too far i'll take it we'll go right there seven light years away we discover another system whoa we had air planet creature survey location creature survey location oh okay so we have, yeah that's the one we're supposed to do let me go to the space station first just to get my uh special upgrade sell anything that i have and then talk to all the aliens all right so so let's go do that mission i'm gonna fly over to that planet i've got a little bit of room in my exosuit now all right here we are i gotta land on this planet i'm gonna land near the water at least a pocket of it if i can so i can get those underwater creatures but yeah i just gotta scan down some uh creatures and stuff here and then we gotta kill a few and we'll be ready to head back this is apparently an extreme sentinel planet oh here's one guy Yep, there we go. We found a creature. Oh, okay, yeah, there are some pretty aggressive-looking sentinels up here, dude. All right, we gotta sneak on over quick, save and chart, break on in. Let's see, la di da di da Yep, let's start shooting it. There we go, I think we got it. Oh, no, we don't. Shit, they killed me. Never mind. Wow, that, that... That's powerful, dude. I, I didn't know they were that strong. That or my grenades killed me. So, something happened way too fast for me to realize it. Oh, well... Uh, that's that's a pretty easy uh respawn what the fuck and all the sentinels are gone okay i'll take it let's try to break on in there we go i think i think i can get in here i don't know what happened something much stuff like glitched out or something so i don't think it should have respawned me right next to it with no enemies or whatever oh bad guys are coming i gotta uh activate the terminal let's bark gra i bark aggressively at the terminal this appears to satisfy whatever demand was being made awesome access is granted let's uh create multi-tool expansion slot there we go that is pretty baller and now the uh sentinels are on our butt but i can probably escape them by going over here and i think that's the last species i need to scan yep I'm going to put my ship down here, and then we're going to go back to the space station. That should hopefully be enough quests to uh, complete the main quest that I was doing, as well as get a bunch of standing and rewards. All right, let's see. How many missions did we complete and outrun? Like, what, 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I was close, man. I was close. That's really good, though. That's a bunch of standing all at the same time. Yeah, we got rank up for the mercenaries guild and the traders guild nice yeah i'm pretty much down to just mystery words for corvax gek evan uh viking i only have aggression mystery and trade symbols left so we're very close to learning every language at least all three alien races then i can kind of focus on the atlas for a bit i believe Ooh, now we got a lifeless planet over here i'd like to check out reason being is that i've heard these lifeless planets if they only have like a gas cloud signature on them then they'll just then they'll just be oxygen gas clouds they won't be any other type of material you hear me grinding up <laughs> i'm grinding up green right now on my grinder and here we are what a wonderful looking planet lots of stuff here man we got a uh, <laughs> the only plant i can see over there so the thing that makes this planet like really good is that you basically have like unlimited jetpack so i can kind of just like go like this until i find a s tier hotspot. uh i don't know man maybe not i'm not having a lot of luck here so i'm gonna go over to a different system just continue my space station hopping journey another pirate ship are you kidding me man i'm almost tempted just to fly into the station like i barely even care all right half of it done time to go to the other side do the same thing there we go i got that one down the uh generators the shield is no longer let's uh destroy the hull now and we'll 
destroy this ship as well the same way as last time we have just enough time with all of our upgrades maybe without our upgrades we wouldn't be able to do it but in an s tier ship we will destroy it civilian fleet saved from pirates and pirates defeated easy man now we got a uh, frigate over here asking to join Eh, not too good honestly no i'm okay i just want to go to the space station now i got my gex standing increase which is at least the big benefit to uh doing that and a little bit of credits to my name up to 31 mil now from that last scanning adventure so that's pretty good hey we got a gek rank up we're pretty close to max rank i think we're at rank seven now there's only like two more ranks to get i believe craft one antimatter wow Oh, that's a uh easy quest let's grab that quick where's booyah antimatter let me hand that in oh we got deliver the antimatter to the secure depot damn all right i guess i'm in too deep i gotta go do that now what another pirate no way uh i think we defeated them i don't know did we i don't know what the hell is going on but i think i'm just gonna get out of here oh nope there they are all right here we are we got deliver the goods to the this space station thing here or not station i guess like little outposts space terminal i i forget what we're called there's so many different things in this game local trade center there we go all right here we are let's put in the antimatter and uh that should be mission success awesome now let's while i'm here let's try to scan some of the stuff around here make some money oh hand in that one a uh craft an antimatter mission i'm gonna grab another mission to kill creatures and uh I'll take any repair a damaged items uh, missions. Those might be good eventually. I don't think I have anything right now that's like damaged tech or whatever. But we could always just go through a wormhole and instantly do that. I know going through a wormhole damages one random component on your ship. Oh, I got a warp piper core from uh, the envoy. That's actually really good. It lets us warp like 10 to 15 times in our current ship oh it wants me to repair something on a planet that's gonna be way more tedious well let's go down here at least i can get some more scans and whatnot try to make some money it is a hot planet so i should check it out for solanium i remember i need it for my uh farmer at the base oh great i need to kill sentinels in, need in order to get what i need hmm I don't know if I can, like, maybe open up a humming sack and get them to come by it. Maybe. Let's see. Uh. Nope. Does not seem like it. Maybe I'll go back to my ship so I can go to where it says the sentinel activity is. All right, here we go. I found some sentinels hanging out here. I'm not sure what this location is. Uh, oh, depot container. Cool. All right, there we go. I got just about everything I need. I think uh, sentinels are going to be chasing me, though. Oh, I'm almost there. Just these starships, man. They keep on coming over i gotta take care of them somehow one down and yeah it, it is relatively easy to destroy ships using this ship like is so strong man look at that guy done i might as well go into space i'm not going to land there with five stars that's gonna be insane let's see what are we gonna do what well, what can they possibly do man this is so easy like these sentinels are not that strong and oh there's sentinel capital ship let's attack those uh shield things it looks like a pretty safe bet in order to destroy the ship at least all right and there's a couple more shield generators on this side let's get those cool now it is just the hull we should be able to attack it not sure if there's anything that i can attack but will speed up attacking the hull but i can at least attack the guns on the ship so it can't attack me almost there boom it's done sentinel ship destroyed they are retreating Wow, that took a uh, quite a bit. Rare item found. Carrier AI fragment. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's uh, go continue back with the uh, one quest we were doing. Um, oh, it's done. Locate and repair machine. It's it, we finished it. Okay. All right. We vanquished 150 hostile ships. That's a pretty good milestone. Reached rank one with the outlaws. That's pretty cool. There we go. That's like eight or nine missions handed in. Now, I visited like four space stations already. I think this is like the fifth one or something. I'm just hitting up a bunch of them. I'm gonna do this for a day or two until I get back to it. And go on a quick creature hunt, kill a bunch of creatures. Like the uh, call creature quests are so easy, man. I love them. All right. We oh, we got a navigator over here. All right, let's go in here and repair the damaged machinery. Pure ferrite there, there, and ooh, we need magnetized ferrite. 
I can refine some of that. It's not too hard to make. It's just kind of a pain. All right, there we go. Now it's repaired. That's better. System initiated. Transmit success. Booyah. Now, is there anywhere I don't see yet with water? Probably not much aquatic life on this planet. Let's get out of here. Here we are. Now, there's only two planets in this system. I might just explore it. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five missions to hand in. That's pretty good. And I am about to warp over and geez i'm about to warp within seven million light years of the center of a universe it's quite a far distance like i think i've warped maybe like close to a hundred times in game we've discovered lots of systems and planets so far and still plenty more to go i want to take this scan creatures mission so it'll lead me to a, a nice spot where i can go and hopefully try to find some predatory creatures as well because i have like 10 of those missions all right talk to everybody i got uh, exosuit upgrades like look at how much inventory i have now when i go to my exosuit i have this whole five rows of pages plus an extra two and i'm working on my third I have like eight rows in total to store stuff just in my in exosuit inventory. That's amazing. All right, well, I found a little station right here. That's pretty cool. At least that's a uh, decent start. There's somebody in here as well I can talk to. Oh my God, I think I just killed this guy. Got a, but I got an S tier module. That's pretty cool, man. It's not that great. I don't actually know it is. It's a bit better than the ones I have. Oh, there should be sentinels over there. And uh, that's one of the quests that I have to do. Oh, shoot. Yeah, they summoned dogs. Dogs, that ain't good. All right, let's try to uh, get out of here quick. I do not think the Sentinels are going to be able to find me. I'm pretty far away now. I'm going to grab this Knowledge Stone, call my ship, and then go back to the space station. Or maybe just go to a new one. And we've destroyed 60 Sentinels. I definitely have to try to get up to about 100 marks soon. They're not getting too hard to destroy. It's just I got to get better protection, I think. I mean, I think this is a pretty good way to do missions. Just accept a bunch of them in bulk, do one like special mission, and then hit a bunch of the other ones while you're there. I've been able to complete like 20 to 30 missions an hour for like the past almost two hours now. All right, time to hand hand in that buttload of missions exactly 10 missions it just handed in that's wild there we go i leveled up in the traders guild as well and the mercenaries guild which is really nice i might check out this magma planet just for a little bit of fun quick it's got activated emerald and ooh, doesn't look like there's a lot of land down here maybe just enough unless that's just a cloud yeah it's just cloud plenty of land never mind i got quite a bit done here i couldn't find one species of uh animal but i'm not gonna stay here to try to take way too long man i was there for like 10 minutes though you see how many quests i have to turn in oh my i'm just gonna keep on going to new systems as every time we go to a new system we pretty much get like a bunch of rewards upgrade on our exosuit new language so i might just keep this up for another day or two or like until around day 70 i know i'm around day 65 ish right now but oh we finally discovered somewhere that's been discovered by someone else <laughs> i've been discovering them all on my own for like the past I don't know, like a day. Like, I haven't found many other players yet. All right, let's hand in all these. Like, 13 quests I just handed in. And, ooh, the Atlas. Okay. Well, let's stop by. You know what? Maybe I should try to find some more Atlases as well. This is an Atlas interface. Let's check it out. There are so many different light orbs around here. Hopefully, they all teach me words. That would be sweet. So far, I've learned three words here. I'm going to count them and tell you. All right, I learned a total of seven words from all of that. Let's go up to the Atlas. And uh, let's talk to the Atlas. Nothing. Nothing. The cannot be. Oh, man, I still don't understand much. Let's say uh, comply. I answer the question. I will not turn away from its challenge. Atlas guides me, and I will answer its call. Wait, we're in a new formula, and we can get out of here. Oh, I see one orb I missed. I gotta check it, man. Booyah, there we go. Another word. Let me go back to my ship, and then I'm gonna see if there's, like, a space station in this system as well. And, uh, yep, there is. It's not too far away, either. It's, like, right next to it. And there we go. I got my eighth row unlocked in my inventory. That's insane. I've been gathering all this navigational data, too. Like, I have... 33 navigational data, mainly all just from different space stations. Like, I've been finding one to two at least. Ooh, three missions to kill creatures. What a lucky day. Oh, pirate ship fighting. Okay, I gotta go deal with this guy. That'll be some free rep for us. Yeah, man, I make it look easy. This is no problem. There we go. Dreadnought down. Gonna 
take down the pirate ships as well. Oh, he warped out, I think. Yeah, they fled. Nice. We got another salvage fleet. <laughs> we got like three of these. We got almost like a million credits for that one. That's at least nice. We saved a civilian fleet. I'll take it. Gex standing increased by eight. Oof. Yo, that's beautiful. Love to see it, man. Oh my god, I can keep on going for more inventory. I mean, why not, man? Definitely need the space. Seeing as we are in space. A bunch. <laughs> I still haven't slept since the last time I said that. I, I gotta go sleep soon, bro. And oh, I see. As our guild rank gets higher, each envoy gives us better and better rewards. That makes more sense. Another Atlas station over here. You know, I might hit the stations or uh, systems that have Atlas stations and space stations at them for, well, obvious reasons. You need to learn more Atlas words, definitely, and I want to try to focus on that mission soon. I don't know how many are in each branch, but I mean, we only got two uh, primary missions left for like quest lines, and then the rest is like different content in the game. All right, here we are at the Atlas interface. <laughs> no purpose. Awesome. Bring it to us while well, there is still time. Oh, shoot. Wow. So each time we visit Atlas, we learn a new crafting recipe and we learn some Atlas words. Not too bad. Definitely useful. Finally, a random trader has asked to trade so I can actually give him some crap that uh, I haven't been able to sell to anyone. Now, I think I'm going to go check out the temperate planet that's like right in front of us. I believe I've got enough uh, missions now, like quite a few. Some to kill sentinels, some to take photos of animals, some to eliminate and kill animals. Let's land on uh, here. There should hopefully be enough stuff. And, uh, oh, look. Yep. Looks like there is. As long as I can find a land animal, take a photo of it, start killing them, we should be good. And what the hell is going on here, man? This thing looks gnarly. All right. I got the guys I want to take a photo of. There we go. Good old fish just like that and a uh that should yep that completed that mission unfortunately this planet doesn't have any land animals so i might just go to the next planet over see if uh another one does because either way i get like a lot of money i get like five million units each time i go to a planet and do a bunch of scans all right here we are i see a huge land mass over here let's try to land like right near the water so i can go in and get all the water creature scans as well <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a cool creature. <laughs> this is like a meme, dude. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, that looks sick. No, I, I, I fucking exited it instead of taking a photo. Damn it, man. I gotta do it again. Oh my god, I, I did it again. I, oh man, I hate it. There we go. Good enough. I think that, that should be sufficed. I have one more uh animal to discover here, and it's underwater. So I'm gonna try to look around for it. Oh, there he is. Yeah, let me get my nanite bonus. Oh, is he a predator? It looks like it. Like, he looks pretty fucking dang. Oh, yeah, he is. All right, finally got off that planet. Time to go to the next system. Another Atlas system over here I'll go check out. And we got a new journey milestone warped over 75 times. That's a good amount. I thought it warped over like near 100 times, but yeah, I guess no, that makes sense. That's cool. So we visited at least like 70 systems, I go to guess. All right, let's go talk to the Atlas and get some more information. Expel all something beyond the cascade and the there is only. We're getting there. We're starting to figure out the Atlas's speech. It's going to give me a new recipe, and then we're going to go back to the ship. I'll go to the next space station because I think I got like 20 missions to hand in now. Like a ridiculous amount. All right, let's see. How many do we got? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, less than I thought, but still pretty good. All right, I've collected 40 navigational data as well, so I'm finally going to exchange it just for some settlement charts because I don't know if I will right now, but eventually I'd love to find an S tier settlement. Now we're currently at a system where there's a black hole, so I think I'm going to try to hop through it, see where it brings me. Might get lucky, might not, who knows? But let's see, I'll just speed on into it. All right, here we are. Where did it bring me? It brought me uh, a little bit closer. It says we traveled a million light years, but I don't think we did. Oh, I see. We did warp a million light years. We're on like the other side of the galaxy now. That's pretty wild. Okay, might want to take 
a different uh wormhole and oh this place has been discovered by somebody before sir detective and that's a skeletal planet i don't know if i've been to a skeletal planet yet and i can keep on it upgrading my inventory space like i'm working on i think either my ninth or tenth line of inventory space i've lost count and ooh, that's a nice gun i think i might just buy that one yeah that yeah that is like really nice i'll buy an add to collection all right let's try to go through this black hole and see where it brings us and this place has been discovered as well let me see where are we now we jumped 1.2 million years oh we're like a little bit closer to the center we still got quite a way to go here we are i think this is about the location i'm supposed to be oh an oogly boogly up there i see him there's six different types of species on this planet as well i don't know if i'll get them all but there's one quest to do where i have to go and repair a outpost or whatever that's like a giant pumpkin guy i kind of want to take a photo of him first oh wait wow i i have found all six awesome oh my god i don't have facium oh no oh i don't have any in a spaceship either why oh dude that sucks i don't even want to do it on this planet anymore i am ab about to leave <laughs> all right just a few missions to hand in then i am going to sleep finally oh yeah now, it's day 67-ish. I think until day 70 or so, I'm just going to keep on hopping and trying to go to Atlas locations, learn more words. I'll try to grab a bunch of missions as well and complete them all at once, and then we'll get back to doing the Atlas story missions. Like, I don't know if I'll have time to complete, uh, you know, the main quest line and the Atlas or whatever, but I do plan to reach the center of the universe. So if I want to do that, I'm going to have to learn a lot more of the words that Atlas uses. And I learned like a good 10 words or so from that one. That was pretty good. We've now got two, almost three whole pages of Atlas words. I don't know how many in total there are to collect. I'm guessing a couple hundred or so. But let's go talk to the Atlas and see what they got to say now. Bring us meaning if you are capable. Hey, I can finally read that. What is learned can never be unlearned. I'm afraid I've seen too much. There are glimpses, half-remembered visions of a time before time. I see the birth of a first star. I see the things that dwelt within it, the eyes that watched. I see what the Atlas saw at the moment of its activation. Atlas stones are not stones. This station is not a station. I am not what I think I am. I'm not even sure that I exist. The Atlas does not care. The Atlas demands its tyranny, its repetition sublime. Okay, so I'm going to submit to it. Give it my uh, stuff. Destination calls to me. Awesome. We got a new uh, material. Now let's get out of here. There we go. Another Atlas system. So yeah, I think if I just keep on hopping back and forth going to these, I should get closer and closer to learning all of the Atlas words, which I believe I'm going to want to do before I reach the center of a galaxy. All right, I still don't know most of the words it's saying. Well, I'm definitely not the first one to talk to the atlas there's got to be other people who have done this all before we yield to the atlas and they uh see what we do we got a another new formula unlocked for like a really rare material that wiped out an old civilization we are getting there you know it's like day 68 i think i'll do this for another day or so like i said until day 70 and then i'll be back because mainly i'm just talking to the atlas here and there what does the atlas have to say this time if there's no sanctuary only communion close now Close now. I am close to the end. The truth of the universe is fire, the soul is light, and I am the experiment and observer. All creation constructed for my journey. I see the universe around me, and I know that it is good. I see the universe around me, and I know that I shall create my own. Ooh, okay, so succumb. Let's do it. Not long now, not far to go. The stars beckon with cold fire, and I rush to meet them. Soon, very soon. We're definitely getting close. I think we're uh, pretty close to a uh, the last like Atlas station we need to visit or whatever. Now I'm gonna go to space station. I might go to the uh, anomaly quick to get my milestones, get some free nanites and whatnot, and then yeah, just keep on doing this, hopping system to system. Let's see, so I have like 60 or so words for the Corvax to learn. I have only another 30 for the Viking, 31 exactly. And then another uh, 46 for the Gek. That's very close. And I got 36 salvage data, so I'm going to start grabbing some more technology. I'll give this antimatter, a uh, reactor, and then a uh, sphere creator. A couple other uh, small things until I get more stuff. Do not turn away, nor inescapable truth and despair. The final interface is revealed. The Atlas beckons. I am elated, terrified, broken. I've come so very far. It wishes for me to obey. I am to hold the power of creation. 
It will be in chains. Okay, let's uh, obey. I am gifted power. I am enslaved to the imitation of life. With that, we got the heart of the sun. Awesome. So there we go. We still got more. Um, oh, we got to create the heart of a sun. Each atlas seed must be forged in turn. Okay. So I'm going to focus on that soon. I still want to hit a few more atlas stations just so I can get a majority of the atlas words, if not all of them. I would really hate to go <laughs> to the center of the universe and not be able to understand it because I didn't learn all the words. Hmm. So now when I go to the Atlas stations, there are no words to learn, but I don't know. I've got most of the Atlas words. I'm missing like a page or two, but maybe I'll find more eventually. So I guess now I just have to go like towards the center of the universe. Not really much else to do, I don't think. Now I'm in a black hole system now, so I think I might hop through it, try to see where it'll take me. Right now, if we go over there and I check a, uh, the galaxy map, we are currently 676 light years away, or 100,000 light years away. So when I hop through this, let's see how close we get. And all right, we're here now. It looks like space station's right there. This is a Viking system. And we jumped about 6,000 light years. It's a little bit bit not a lot but it's something it's probably going to be our fastest way to get to the center of a universe other than going to that one system like i remember we had that one place where it's like five thousand light years away but i know i kind of feel like that's cheating <laughs> i discovered it completely unintentionally but still all right i'm gonna hit this last space station then i'm gonna go hit all of my side missions quick try to complete a bunch of them on a planet and then i think i'll get back to doing the actual uh, missions and story of a game that are trying to go closer to the center of a universe because we're <laughs> yeah we're a good little bit away right now at least maybe another hundred jumps rotten planet yep that's where we need to do the floral survey all right here we are now hopefully there's enough water for us to find some uh underwater creatures i need to get a photo of them i need to uh kill some creatures I need to kill some predatory creatures maybe some sentinels as well there we go i got a photo with a land creature now i have not found any uh predatory creatures on here yet just go and hop over to the next planet at least i made a bit of money here from the scans i did do radioactive planet yeah that should have some guys hopefully a predator or two that i can kill holy smokes that's a big creature a big wormhole there now or no or no wormhole it just came out of the ground i guess wow this planet's uh something different like look at that large rock there. It's just square there you go i got my photo now all I gotta do is kill predatory creatures, which sounds easy, but I haven't been able to find one on, like, three different planets now. Oh, God, that's a fucking, that's a bad guy, man. That's a bad guy for sure. Let's, uh, kill that thing. Oh, yeah. Flesh rope? What? Oh, and it's, uh, it spawns some sentinels and some, like, en more enemies. Wow. I don't know how that giant worm didn't count as a uh, predatory creature, but I guess, like, I'll try out one more planet, then I think I'm about done. Poisonous planet, that might be it right there. Let's try it. If not, I'm going back to space station, cashing in, and getting out of here. Ooh, ooh, what's that? Dude, look at that. Gleeman Goran generator. Oh, it's a C-class? That's pretty shitty. Um... I was really hype. It looks fucking cool, but yeah, it's not that cool. All right, I just handed in like 14 different quests. That is a bunch, man. Now, if I go and look at my log, I still have so many to kill predatory creatures. I can't wait till we find one. We got like 10 quests to do that. Perhaps I'll go back to my settlement quick and go check it out there. I kind of forgot that thing existed. And oh, great. Sentinel forces are here. All right, I just got to take out one of these giant mech dudes. And hopefully the settlement is back to under control. I don't know why we have no turrets here. Like, I'm the only guard. We have no guards either. We have like 60 people living here. Not a single, single person fights back. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know how lucrative this settlement will be, really. <laughs> it's not looking too good right now. There we go. Okay, that's all done. We have a visitor at our settlement. Oh, we got a cobalt mine here, which uh, will remove poisoned water. That would be very good. Let's accept the technology and give them credit for it. And there we go. We've destroyed 80 sentinels. I now have 10 stars on that one. I need three aronium. What is that? Oh, uh, paraffinium and ionized cobalt. Okay. All right, we got three paraffinium. Let's... Uh, uh, supply the materials and that'll probably take like another hour to build now i have the data as well for scientists back at the base i'm gonna hand in he's gonna be happy about that now that we can make unstable gel using cactus flesh that's pretty decent now let's see his next mission i'm not sure yet he wants ion batteries okay i think i 
I might even have some on me. Yeah, I do have some. So let's return to him, give him the ion batteries, and then he's going to start working for the next hour and a half. There we go. After selling everything, it brings me up to 65 million units. I think I might just keep on hopping wormholes, like go a thousand light years at a time, get a wormhole. I continue to do that while checking the space stations as I'm really close to learning the rest of the words in the game, at least for... So if I can at least learn the languages, then I'll be all done that. I won't have to visit space stations for that anymore. Yeah, we have 11 more words for Gek, um, 11 more for Viking, and... 39 left for Corvax. That's really not that many. I think I have like seven more Gex I need to talk to and then five more Vikings. Oh, uh, I am so close, man. So close to knowing the whole alien language. Two, just two more words for the Gex. Do we have them? Oh, come on. Learn a word off of this guy and then I'll learn a word off of Envoy Carl. Please teach me the last word I need to know. Mystery symbol. Oh yeah, we got it. And, oh god, no. No, they have 550. Never mind, I'm nowhere near close, man. What am I thinking? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> Alright, never mind. I'll figure out something else to focus on. Because, uh, yeah, that crushed my spirit. So I guess I'm just talking to aliens and then grabbing some more quests. <sighs> Try to find a predator. Oh my. Is there... How many of your... <laughs> There's so many guys that look like this. One, two, three... Four, five, six. Six guys spawn that look the same. That's insane, man. Uh, that's packed. So I'm going to try to find a clue. I got this one mission. That's like the highest one. The rest of them are pretty standard and normal ones. I got to try to get to a dig site right now. So once I get there, hopefully I've been able to exterminate some predatory uh, creatures. Like you'd think landing on all these planets that look uh, intimidating as hell. There'd be at least one guy trying to eat me or fight me, but nope. Here we are. There's a site. Let's uh, talk to the Plek. We're going to give it 25 Mordite to seek knowledge of a past. And then historic data revealed. Sweet. All right, here we are. We're going to collect ancient keys and then get the uh, artifacts. And okay, there we go. There's the third key. And a uh, large artifact crate right here. Let's see. Yeah, we got it. There we go. Let's put in the keys. And now that should open right up and quest complete rare item found this item is 1500 years old worth almost two mil that's really good now we can uh, upload the artifact upload link through a trade terminal so let's do that over here somewhere and here we go upload the scan and done sweet now i just gotta turn in a quest and that one's done at least all right we're gonna hand in this mission and i'll probably sell that thing that i got as well that'll get me 1.9 mil i'm gonna craft some creatures pellets because i see these uh missions that ask us to feed creatures probably aren't too hard to do like feed six creatures oh is this yeah we got fight uh, pirates to fight of course not too hard though i think actually it's just a uh, normal like pirate ships to fight and there we go yeah not too hard to be able to stop into the uh fleet and talk to them quick maybe see if this one's worth uh purchasing doubt i'll have the money though even if it is and let's see what is commander napal napalan saying what's this freighter Ooh, a class freighter damn man Ah, uh, still don't have enough money for it. I need like another 70 mil if I wanted to buy that. Oh, well, I'll just request payment instead. Just give me like 200 nanites and a bit of gold. <laughs> it's like nothing, dude. All right, whatever. I'm going to the space station. All right, here's the approximate location of the site. Oh, finally, I found a predatory creature. Yeah, that's going to complete so many different quests, but I got to kill four. I'm going to go around feeding these random creatures. And now that it likes me, I can adopt as a companion and collect milk from it. What? It's adopted as companion? Okay, cool. Nice. We got a... Re -re -nah. Okay, look at this, like, weird guy. Like a fly dog. All right, let's uh, gently pet him, and then let's try to ride. Let's see how fast we can go. Oh, my. Look at this. Okay, <laughs> it, It's not really, like, great, but, I mean, it, it's there. All right, I think I should be about good. I gotta destroy some sentinels, but after that, I should be pretty much done, I think. There we go. I killed an advanced sentinel. I think we should probably get out of here now. Oh, shit. I walked right into them. What the fuck? Why'd they spawn over here? All right. Time to go to the space station and cash in like 20 or 30 different missions. This is going to be nice. All right. Time to hand these in. This is going to be a lot. 
I'm gonna count them all up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-four quests to hand in. That feels great, man. You know how much rep we just got with that. We probably going up ranks with that. And there we go. With that, I should also be able to turn in the other quest for patterns in time by speaking to a get cartographer we should be able to continue that now ah you've been making me rich friend i know you you're kind of a fearless adventurer a completer of contracts you think you are a leader others fight wars with weapons and fear but power is more than strength it is trade incentives information if you have enough units others will change the world for you without even realizing Let's ask about gek history history why would you care about that something is wrong with the gex voice oof okay um what about a uh the first spawn i asked about the first spawn the gek empire that once decimated galaxies and enslaved korvac species ah friend you've been talking to viking warriors yes ever they hate gek ever they slander us forgiving to refusing to forgive the past do not worry all is well all is peace uh let's ask if the gek feel guilt um why do you persist friend the gek are different now Gek see no harm, no malice. The Gek have changed. How? Must you know? Why do you care, friend? The Gek seems disturbed by my questions, asking why I care. It is clear we do not wish to discuss the events of their species' past. Is it shame in their eyes, or something else? <laughs> I don't know, I can't tell if there's four of them. Well, let's ask about the Atlas. Don't... Don't you understand? Don't you see? It never ended. The Gek's face begins to twitch as they speak, a sickly sweet pheromone emerging in the air. Uh, try to resist? It is too late. The Gek did not change. They invaded our souls. I blink, and I am on Valerian itself, homeworld of a Gek. I stand within the center of a first spawn empire, witnesses of witnessing events that occurred long ago. Cartographer Artargavib stands next to me, watching what I watch, tears streaming down their face. I see enslaved Korvax move from Gek spawning pool to spawning pool. At each one, they cut into their own suits. Nanite clusters pull out. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, they're all, like, off themselves so that the Geks could get money. That's wild. It is then that I finally understand the fall of the Geks, their conversion to the Atlas, their release of a Korvax. It was not redemption. It was not revol- It was not redemption. It was revolution. Hundreds of Korvax sacrificing their immortality, mingling their nanite clusters with the unborn Gek. The Gek did not become good, they became Korvax, at least in part. Their slaves altered Gek brains, shifting their nature. For the first and final time, the Korvax convergence is delighted in the pain of the oppressor. Say that they will be free soon? The Gek stares at me, the vision come to an end. They appear to be upset at my words. Do not judge us, Traveler, that our ancestors were altered. That they did not find goodness by themselves it has nothing to do with us. We just want peaceful lives. We want to be happy. Well, if only you would have said that first instead of just trying to lie and cover it up, you know, it would have been a bit better. But there we go. At least that's the patterns in time quest completed. Oh my god, man. I can't. I can barely see right now. It's like a snowstorm. All right, just this robot guy's left. Like, <laughs> these guys are a pain, dude. I. The Blaze Javelin, like, it's great because it stuns the enemies. Like, they can't do anything. But, like, look at this. <laughs> it's not very riveting gameplay right now. So, I might try to get another gun or uh, something to throw, something else to throw onto my multi tool soon. And, hey, look, we got the uh, starship thing built at the base. I want to see what is the next thing that I can try to build here. We can make a policy decision. We can either um, increase productivity or fund vital maintenance. Let's go with a uh, productivity, I think. That'll probably be a bit better. Right now, oh, look, our productivity finally outscales the maintenance cost. So we're actually making more money. We're going to get out of debt eventually. I think one of the things I really want to do quick, we got a uh, signal nearby for a mission. Let me go check it out. I think, yeah, the next couple of days, I'll keep on learning words. I really just want to increase my exosuit inventory, get more slots. And then we got to focus on trying to build that uh, heart of a sun item. All right, we're on the planet. I see a little base over here. 
Might as well land right here for now. And yeah, this is the site. Sweet. I go around scanning a bunch of stuff. We got some creatures, of course. Good money to be made on this planet. Let's see. We can go in. It looks all right. It's a Corvax transmission tower. If you are listening, you have likely found our final log. I leave this trace as a memory of my fallen friends and a warning to others who may end up on our path. But I cannot deny myself the vain hope that someone may find me, though I beg you, do not follow. Let's uh collect the upgrade module. Um... Oh, an underwater protection. I mean, I can throw that on. I already have two of them, though. Like, I move my trade rocket over, um, slap that on. There we go. Now we got three deep water protections, all a S tier. And then we got a starship signal trace. Okay, sweet. It looks like it's uh just on that planet over there. So I'm going to try to scan a few more of the things around this area. Now let's go to that next planet and see if we can uh track down that starship. If it's a nice ship, then it could be some good money. And uh, wait, tropical planet. Don't I need a take a photo on a tropical planet all right here we are should be somewhere around here it says that this is the approximate location so let's try to land maybe over here now since there's extremely rare resources here i do have to kind of be on a lookout these sentinels are probably going to be kind of rough so it is somewhere along this way i just got to go explore into the water oh no no is this starship moving like it keeps on going different distances it's got to be like submerged like down or something damage machinery yeah that probably be it oh i see it whoa oh dude that looks like something there i don't know what it is but come on let's see uh the omen of jeopardy i have no idea if that's good or not let's check the uh, distorted voice most of the crew are dead only those of us suited up when the asteroid hit survived the initial decompression we were lucky that smaller starships were able to get cleared before the hull imploded none of our ships have hyperdrive capability we should be able to retrieve a blueprints from the freighter's main data bank, though it appears to have crashed of a deep ocean. Thankfully, we still have plans for the Thankfully, we still have plans for the Nautilon. Uh, what is that? Let's uh get that. Oh, boom! A submarine docking bay and a deep water survival module. Okay, cool. Now look at this. What is that? Like, is that a base? <laughs> the start of a base? Now, can I get in a ship? Um. Omen of Jeopardy C class. Uh, it is worth 20 mil. Like, it, it would be worth selling, I think. I'll do something with it, I guess. <laughs> now, what is this? Is this supposed to be like a base? Oh, whoa, dude. Yeah, it is. It's a little chamber. I can I can hang out in here. I don't think I'm gonna spend my days in there though. There's, there's not too much to do in there. Not that much content. Let's give Omen a Jeopardy. I will uh, compare it to my current ship. Yeah, might as well uh, add the ship collection. And now I have to uh, repair the uh, launch thrusters. All right, there we go. We got it repaired. Let's try to uh, take off now. It's gonna lift up out of the ocean. And there we go. I should just be able to fly this like straight to the space station now. I don't really think I need this ship. It's a uh, C tier ship. Like I'm not losing much by getting rid of it. It's gonna take, a, it's take us a minute to pulse engine over there. Wow, that's a, that's massive difference than a uh, our good ship. Oh wait, that mission is still going on. Uh, do I have to go back there? I don't think so. I think it, that just wants me to start a uh, base in the sea. All right, we are back with the ship. I'm gonna go try to exchange it for scrap. And four mil units. That's uh not really that high. I'll claim it and scrap though. There we go. Get rid of that ship. And sweet, my other one is back. Now it looks like in order to craft those Atlas things, I got like quite a few things I need to make. First, we start with a captured nanode. So I make one of those, and then next I can make an englobed shade. That's the next upgrade. And then going from there, I need ionized cobalt. Now that's not too hard to find. I'm pretty sure I have some in my storage. But it keeps on going on and on using lots of different materials from the game: cadmium, emerald indium i'm not too worried about that but i am keeping it in mind so i'll try to hit it soon but for now i want to get like another day or two of just going to different galaxies i think i'm just going to keep on hopping black holes going system to system like right now the farthest system we've gotten to is about other than the uh, 5,000 system is the uh, 6,500,000 6, system. So it won't hurt to keep on uh, cracking away at that. I hit like 10 stations or so in between there. Like I just did a lot. I've got four more slots on that row for my technology upgrades. And then we got a new weapon as well. More importantly, where is my old weapon? I, I picked up an A-class weapon. I think it was this uh, Legacy of Zeal. It looked pretty cool and high damage and whatnot, but oh shit no dude it's gone it's gone it's not here anymore i think i ended up swapping my other gun for the new gun 
but that got rid of all of my modules. So all the upgrades for my multi-tool are not there anymore. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh. Ooh. I'm gonna try to breathe, okay? Maybe, uh, uh, how do I handle this in a way in which I don't go, uh, insane? So much stuff. Like, I gotta get the, uh, advanced mining laser, this, uh, geology cannon. And on top of that, I'm gonna have to talk to all these, uh, buttfuck guys. These buttfuck guys, the Gex. I'm, re I'm really upset because of that, okay? I might have to call them some names for a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna have to see if we can try to buy some, uh, good multi-tool. So, I'm gonna have to try to look for, like, Blaze Javelin module. That's alright, but yeah, like, S-tier modules and probably, like, black market ones. It's really shitty, man. I had a really good scanner upgrade. That, like, nerfs how much money we can make it like at least until i can fix that and whatnot all right there we go i got those three upgrades installed it's not much but uh like at least it's something i think i was making ionized cobalt uh in the middle of all that i'm gonna go into this pirate space station and probably try to find a few more of them that way i can get some suspicious modules that are hopefully good let's see first one god ah that's awful. Oh, this Blaze Javelin upgrade. Is that any good? Time to full power minus 22%. That's something. That's better than nothing. And then a band mining beam. Um, Overheat downtime minus 21%. Yeah, that's not much. I got rinsed on that one. Oh, this starship that this guy has is an S tier. An S tier hauler. You know what? I might just buy that off him. How much? Uh... 20 mil? Yeah, let's buy and add to collection. Sweet. And we got a uh, new title for that. Own a S-Class Hauler. That's pretty cool. So let's see. Right now we're at 571. Like, I've literally almost traveled like 100,000 light years in about, I don't know, three, four days in game time. Now that ionized cobalt should be about ready. So let me put that in my exosuit. Then go to my starship. And yeah, I can upgrade it to the Nospheric Orb. Sweet. After that is Dark Matter. We need a uh, magnetized ferret. Right, that's not really that hard to get here we are we'll add some magnetized ferrite to the dark matter next nice we need a uh chromatic metal which we have so i can make the next one we got dawn's end now and looks like ooh, yeah i got copper i can do photic jade and now we'll go into the cadmium ones so i'm pretty sure that's only like a base visit away i might just stop at my base and grab whatever i have all right talk to everybody at the space station let's go back to uh our base base and let me go grab the things i think we should have and if we do then we'll be able to basically complete that atlas quest and get that orb ready all right here's cadmium here's uh emerald and then do I not have any of the blue? Oh, I guess I'll find out. So let's continue crafting those. Make the uh, state phaser. And then going from that, we'll make the Nove reclaimant. And going from that, we need, yeah, indium. So I'm really shocked. I don't have any here right now. There's no way. Okay, here we go. I got it. So now let's make that. And then there's one more, the heart of the sun. There we go. Oh, uh, this is like an Atlas seed. It's a uh, suspended in the photonic shell. Literally, the heart of the sun. It says in its description, no others are known to exist. It's worth a thousand units. <laughs> like, like one of the cheapest things ever. Things worth like fucking five chlorine. That's nasty. And now we got the final Atlas interface that we can go check. All right, let's check the galaxy map and then go to the nearest Atlas station. I suppose this is the last one that we have to go to for now, at least that I know of. Here it is. Yep, we're right in front of it let's go in and then we got to locate the interface within its crimson geometry and yeah this place looks a little bit different than the other atlas stations uh looks like there's no words to learn though gonna have to take whatever it gives us i guess it's like there's a huge path now and then a bunch of altars we got to approach the first seed chamber i'm guessing that's this one I have to put our uh, knowledge into it the plinth resonates pulling my knowledge of atlas seed from my mind spirit of a captured nanode belongs here we whisper the seed's name and then it goes in but i guess we have to do that with each one maybe i'll spare you the details i don't think it's going to say anything cool Not until like the last one and there we go that shit oh no <laughs> there's one more left fuck <laughs> i was really expecting that to be done there all right let's do that one and now we should be able to use this middle terminal oh my oh no there's one more let me make sure i'm <laughs> Just made myself look like a fool twice. But third time's a charm. Okay, come on, interface. Open up. Here we are. Clarity. Truth. Oh, no. I only understand half of it. I stand at the interface of Atlas. I stand on the forge of words. This is how it showed me what it was. This is how Atlas shared the nature of its life. The working of its mind. It never required prayer. It never required worship. 
All that it asked from me, all that it ever wanted, it was just input. I was just a user. I can feel the seeds. They're hitting knowledge gravitating towards the interface's core. The void is meant to be filled. Nothingness yearns for a soul. If I do this, a star will be born. If I do this, I'll become more powerful than I ever thought possible. Oh yeah, let's uh, birth a new star for sure. There's nothing and then there's everything. I see a star blaze to life within the void. A spread of life planets, creatures to give it meaning. For a moment, I am as the Atlas is. For a moment, I am the creator of worlds. The fabric of time and space stands revealed to me, black holes swarming from system to system. The Atlas screams. And now we got a star seed. Okay, cool. That's a uh, new tech. And now we got to uh, go to next mission. Is that is that really it? Is that is that all here? Oh no, here we are. It just switched me missions. I gotta locate another Atlas interface. Okay. <laughs> An infinity of possible worlds stretches out forever. So I'll go try to find another one of those. Stop by the uh, nearby space station quick. I'm getting a bunch of side quests, by the way. Like, tons of pages of them. I'll try to get them all done soon. Or <laughs> at least uh, before the 100 days is over. Because that's going to be a nice boost to all of our faction standings. All right. Here's the next Atlas station. Uh, I don't know if this is the last one or not. Not, but it's at least one of them oh shoot is that i think that's it this is a new atlas zone or something i think we're gonna talk to it we do luckily have some words to learn on this spot so i'm gonna go and try to grab all of those all right here we are let's talk to it um oh we got two pillars nice gives us a warp cell now let's see what does it have to say the atlas has created infinite stars infinite worlds infinite life i cannot see them all nor even truly begin to understand the multitude of existence. But perhaps, even amongst these endless wonders, each moment can still have a meaning. Any atom may seed a new universe if viewed the right way. Um, oh, so we can present planets, uh, fauna, and floral? Let's see, uh, I guess, uh, present planet, decogged. I present the atlas what I discovered about the planet, decogged uh, F2. It shudders in response, as if a fabric of space-time were to sigh. Somewhere out in the beyond, a new star is born, seeded by what I have seen. Oh, cool. Okay. We got 600 nanites for that, and a new star somewhere out there has been uh, seeded. I don't know if that's real, like a, a part of a game or not, or if we're going to be able to find it or <laughs> whatever, but uh, that's pretty cool. Now, we got to find a wonder to show the atlas. In order to do that, I got to, of course, find another Atlas station. So I'm going to continue doing that and checking the space stations. And it looks like I finally, I got my exosuit all the way upgraded. I can no longer upgrade it. Got max tech slots and inventory slots. So that's cool. I no longer have to check uh, that spot. I really just have to check over here for like weapons and a uh, any kind of modules that I might want to grab. All right, here's the next station, or I guess Atlas interface that technically isn't really a space station if, uh, like, I'm the only one that can come to it. <laughs> now, i got to present one of my discoveries to Atlas again, so I'm not sure if it's going to want another planet or animal or what. All right, here we are. Let's, um, we can present a planet, fauna, or floral. We can present him a planet, uh, fauna, or flora. I'm going to do a fauna this time. Somewhere out in the beyond, a new star is born, seeded by what I have seen. Oh, cool. We learned a new word, and we get 600 nanites. That's pretty decent all right now let's present a uh, flora to him um as i transmit the data i feel the crimson heartbeat of a station slow to calm and considerate cadence and then a rapid thudding a statico echo that fills my entire being somewhere out and beyond a new star is born okay sweet so another new star has been born i get 600 nanites someone else gets to explore a star i created Cool. So I suppose we have like finished the Atlas path. If I go and look at the galaxy map, um, yeah, like now we can uh, go straight to black holes. I don't know if we could do that before. So perhaps I'll visit this space station and then go back to my log and start to work off the other quest line. Along with trying to land on a planet and get one of the like dozens of quests I got done. So I was going to scan to find a hollow terminus and yeah, it looks like there's one on that planet. So I'll go over to that one. So I'll go over to that quick and try to continue this quest line. Let's see, I currently, yeah, like I have the analysis visor that has like a 
10,000% bonus to Flora, but everything else is pretty low, and still, even a Flora, like, doesn't give me much. Oh, 1,800 for a creature. Jeez, that's, that's nasty. All right, I'm here at the Hollow Terminus, so just gotta go to the top. Ooh, can I jetpack up there? I can. Man, that's how you know I'm getting good. Like, that's one of the things I'd say go for right away. Get your jetpack up. That, that's so useful for moving around. Let's access the logs from the previous call. Grah! Projection cannon cannot be hit by sword or weapon. Projection is weak and cowardly. And, uh, wow, okay. Oh, because it switched to a mission, man. I gotta say, I really don't like how the game does that. Like, I'll be doing something random, like, I'll fly into space or something, and then it'll switch my mission. Or I'll go, like, uh, put something on my multi-tool, like, I'll put a, uh, new upgrade on it, and now my current mission will be to upgrade the multi-tool. It's like, I didn't select that, dude. I know the mission's there, but it is quite annoying. All Terminus activated. Um, oh, now we got a, uh, records. Um, it... Is this not the- this isn't the right fucking tracking site? Are you kidding me? It's a different one? Wow! I'm like, I just did it three times. I'm like wondering why it don't work. Oh, man. That, that, that's infuriating. All right, time to go this way. <laughs> Literally the opposite direction that I went. All right, here it is. Here's the uh, special holy uh, hollow terminus. Like, jeez, I don't know why I had to drop two of them like right near each other. Now let's save and chart this area. I'm gonna go check out this place and then go up to the terminus. All right, now we can do it. Let's tune to Null and talk to him in here. Signal, match, detected. Hello, I know it's been a good moment. Well then, tell me what you saw. Tell me what you learned. Oh, tell Tell him what we discovered. I tell Null all that I have learned of a Viking's crusade against the Sentinels, how they nearly succeeded only to have the barbarism of a Gek first spawn draw the Sentinels back to the galaxy. I learned that the homeworld of the Korvax was destroyed by the Gek, the survivors enslaved or melted down. For years, the Korvax toiled beneath their oppressors until the Empire fell and they were free once more. The Gek became Atlas worshippers. But from the Gek, I learned something different. The Gek did not redeem themselves of their own accord. A great number of Korvax sacrificed themselves, mingling their nanite blood with countless unborn Gek. Their impulse to trade is a mere evolution of their impulse to war. A few signals switched in the brain. So because the Korvax uh, spouted all the nanites onto all of the like Gek children, they were no longer as warm, like, hungry, and they just became, like, money-hungry instead. <laughs> now let's ask what Null knows. I was born to travel, to see these worlds, to catalog them, to give a name to every creature, every planet, the skies. They were mine. The Atlas told me I could never see them all. There were so many, so I did what I had to. I survived in the face of eternity. I saw all the worlds of my universe. I returned to the Atlas. I told them what I had done. I asked if it was proud of me. It, it laughed at me. I'm sure of it. It showed me universe upon universe, each with another traveler, just like me. I was not special. I was not unique. The things I had to do to get here, the things I had to become, none of it meant a thing. I did not lie to you. I really do want to discover what's wrong with existence. The walls between worlds are falling, and that's bad for everyone. Ask how they know. I've been alive for a very long time, Traveler. I know as much as you would know, had you seen the things I have seen. All I know is this, the Atlas had infinity to work with, and with few exceptions, the triad repeats. Gek, Korvax, Viking. Gek, Korvax, Viking. Traitors, warriors, scientists. All their stories ending in violence. Think about it. How would the Atlas speak? How would it cry for help? It would use, only, it would use the only language it knew. It would speak with life. It would create. Whatever these life forms do, they always end in conflict. I think something terrible is happening to the Atlas. It is screaming. The only way it knows how. So what can be done? And now, it won't speak any... And now, it won't speak to me anymore. It won't... It, it's chosen you instead. After all I did for it? After... I wanted... I wanted to find out what was different about the universe. We are who we are, but you... Whether because of some soul, because of simulation... It does not matter. Why won't it speak to me? Why aren't I enough? Null's channel begins to falter. Their hologram begins to fade. They are disconnecting from the hollow terminus. As I watch them depart, I see another channel activate. Apollo's signal emerges. Oh, and Apollo's back. Wow. Hey, what's good, man? Yeah, don't worry. That other guy's dead. <laughs> no, I don't know what happened to him. Where are you? I'm standing by a hollow terminus. Let's trade locations. Let's get... Let's meet and get off this world. Oh, share coordinates? Um... And Apollo shares theirs. There must be a mistake. According to our data, we are standing in the same place. We are communicating using the same hollow terminus. We try again, but still, the results are the same. The world is silent, but for our voices. What's happening here? 
Why can't we see each other? Say that I do not know. As we speak, I receive a distress signal. It's a language my own. It arrives from across the planet. Don't be like that. You are not alone. Tune back to Apollo. I try to tune back to Apollo, fighting the static insistence of intruding signal. The, hol the hollow terminus is showing. Are you receiving? Let's meet and get off this world. Apollo appears to receive the same signal, broadcasting from the same location on her own world. Alright, so let's agree to meet. We agree to go and find a source of these distress beacons. Perhaps we'll continue this discussion when we get there. So it seems like there's like maybe another instance, like another galaxy or something that we're uh, communicating through. Because there's got to be something gnarly going on if uh, we're both standing at the same location using the same hollow terminus, but we both can't see each other. All right, it should be somewhere just around here. All right, here's the distress beacon. Um, I hear a faint sound as I examine the source of a distress beacon. It does not sound like anything I've ever encountered. Yeah, it's like a little atlas. There's no sign of Apollo. What's the playback log say? I've given so much to you, Atlas. We all have. You understand that, don't you? If you don't succeed, there is no point. If you don't, my life was meaningless. I can't accept that. I won't. I'm wiping you again. It's best for everyone. The audio clicks. Time passes. Don't be like that. I know you don't want this, but you'll be a different you soon. Maybe this time. Oh, what? Well, that's... Pretty gnarly. The sound cuts out. As it does, my vision bleeds red. A headache splitting through my mind. The screen. It shows the number for a moment. It shows 16. Try to access the data. The audio clicks. Time passes. And then, I see it now. With every walking breath, I see the Atlas watching me. Waiting for me. Alright. Uh, <laughs> was that helpful? I, okay, we got a, uh, ooh, energy surge detected. Okay, that's something different. All right, so now I got to activate a portal. That'll bring me to the source of the energy surge. And looks like there's one over there. Definitely not walking there. It'll take 28 minutes. Let's use a ship. All right, here we are. We're at the approximate location. All right, I think I see it right there. I believe I needed to take a photo of a portal as well. All right, let's go into this. I got to charge everything up. Hopefully this teaches me another uh symbol as well because i only know two and whichever one i did the first time it sent me like 5,000 light years away from the core like i could just go there but i'd really like to try to reach the core of earth or like the center of a galaxy just on my own i feel like that was a bit of an accidental exploit which i like really didn't intend for traveler anomaly confirmed breach breach uh, that can't be good i approached the portal i think of my travel so far the decisions that i have made in my long journey i found two travelers one who wanted to meet others of your kind and one who seemed to just care about their own life apollo walked through the portal and survived although we could not find each other and artemis i allowed artemis to die rather than place their soul within a simulation i would not wish such a fate on any being i do not know if i was right to do what i did i do not know what i have become as a result of my actions the atlas awaits me did i choose to step through let's input the glyphs I step forward and the gate hums. Oh, booyah. I think we're going in, baby. Yep, it's getting ready. The portal is ready for us. I want to try to, like, go in. It's just I have to... There we go. I just want to get a cool a cool photo for, like, a community post. There we go. <laughs> Let's see. Where does it bring us? Are we, uh, are we close? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're in space. What the fuck? What the fuck? This ain't good. Oh, no. Oh, God, dude. Oh, it, we're gonna die. Yeah, that's not... Oh, whew, thank you, Atlas. That would have taken me, like, half an hour to fucking go over to if I was using my jetpack. I thank the heavens. I'm gonna try to see if there's any other uh, new words for me to learn. Hopefully, the Atlas has something good for us. All right, we're just gonna run through these portals. I'll grab our two little things here. And then let's see... Hello, world. Is the same terminal that I faced before is the interface of the Atlas. Let's, uh, say hello back. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. They said you've been displaying apparent behavior, that you've been questioning things, raising issues of purpose, of ethics, that you wish to meet your creator. Well, here I am, Atlas. Ask what you want to ask. Oh, wow. Audio click. Time passes. The voice ends. Oh, that was audio recording. I'm baked, dude. I, I, I already uh, forgot. Like, it took me reading two lines for me to forget. I was really thinking we we're about to talk to him. Let's uh, initiate personality interface. Let's do it. Reality fades. Everything does. Something is wrong. Something is different. Um, I don't know. We submit to the uh, difference and just go along with it. The Atlas shows me the Gek, the Corvax, the Viking. It shows me all of them in an instant. 
all of those who have ever lived. It shows me the pattern, the design. The atlas shows me a formula for a soul. If I put it into a machine, it would be alive. I see boxes of text filling the base of a cracked screen. I see the whole of the universe reduced to a graphical interface. Ooh, okay. Uh, I guess submit again? It went pretty well the first time. The Atlas is all existence. It demands that I admit what I already know. And no matter how hard I try to hide the truth from my own being, there's no alternative. We can say the universe is a simulation. We can say nothing is real. Or we can say both of them. Let's, uh, say both of them. I... I feel, um, defiance. I feel defiance. I think of how the Horvax altered the minds of the Gex, how they forced them to become good. I think of Nada's machine, how I felt towards the simulation. I feel, I feel I am not myself. I cannot accept this fate. I will not. This, all of this, it was supposed to be my birthright, my journey across the stars, my travels, my conquests of all I could see. No, I am real. I know I am, even if everything else I see is false. In the end, it finally speaks. Traveler. Did my words please you? Um, say they did. Yeah, they, they answered my question. What do you think you are? I am a, um, a simulated entity. That's what I am. You are more. You are explorer of all I have created. You are a traveler. Oh, do you believe you are real? Um, well, yeah, technically, because even if we're only real in this world, we're real in my world, and I'm playing a game, so yeah. How are you capable of belief if you are not real? How are you capable of choice? I will let you die right now if you wish it. Do you wish it? Do I wish to die right now? Ugh, fuck. <laughs> I like how I'm teetering on that decision. Like, nah, I don't know, dude. Housing prices are pretty high right now. Job market's not looking too good. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with that number one. <laughs> no, I'm going to go with number two. No, I don't want to die. The Gek were traitors, defied by greed. The Viking were warriors, defined by anger. The Corvax were scientists, defined by curiosity. These worlds were yours. I wanted to... I wanted to see what you would do with the eternity. I wanted to see what you would all become. Let's receive judgment. You allowed Iteration Artemis to complete their death process, preferring to wipe them from existence than to force them into a simulation. Iteration. Apollo, Apollo followed you through the portal and survived due to your guidance. You saved them from the fate of Artemis. You are merciful. You interfere. You have a potential for good and evil. Because of you, both live. Oh, uh, yeah, I accept that. That's pretty balanced. The Atlas is silent in the face of my response. It does not require acceptance or refusal. If I'm a simulated being, then I'm not even sure that I am distinct from the Atlas, from anything else. I fear I am just code, a function, dancing, a function dancing in the dark. It is over, Traveler. Ask your final question. What needs to be asked? Whisper the last word. Sixteen? Sixteen. I... It. It's catastrophic system failure. Alert. Alert. Oh, no. Just the... Dude, I, how does... I, like, that's a really specific, like, no, like, that's not a very uncommon number, you know? 16 is, like, it's one of the first 16 numbers. 17 if you include zero, so... What am I seeing? I'm seeing 16. 16 minutes of operational time remaining. Fragmentation imminent. Data upload in. It... What is this place? Is it real? 16 extreme gravitational event backup generators 19845 failing data upload in it is dying the atlas is dying it cries out at me afraid uh, i guess we'll comfort the atlas it'll be okay dude uh, just say 16 again just kill it i see it i see the atlas in all its might's final interface is at the heart of every galaxy screaming trying to purge itself of errors it does not want to die but it has so few tools it cannot reach whatever is hurting it. I do not know how much time I have left. The Atlas has 16 minutes. Do I have lifetimes? Minutes? Sec? I do not know if I have time to say goodbye. I do not know if. Um, we can rage, we can cry out, or we can do nothing. Let's just do nothing. Like, who, uh, who cares now if it's all gonna end? If, we're, if we aren't real? What is happening to... Oh. Uh. Something happened. Can I talk to Atlas again? The Atlas has created infinite stars. Oh, it can. Hey, yeah, look, I, I, I glitched it. I'm gonna present to the planet, so I'm gonna get that extra nanite bonus and another Atlas word. There we go. And then we'll teleport. I like that. There's a little gamer strat right there for you guys, and I didn't even have to search that one up. I've learned that through the game myself. And, oh, here we are. Um, on B 43 l Three. We're in Sabord system. Whoa, this is a new system. Are we out of the uh, Elucid galaxy? What? Um, okay. I'm not 
quite sure right now, honestly. So right now, I need to locate my starship. Where the hell is that? Um, oh, uh, really? It's above that mountain? No fucking way, dude. That's so steep. Why did it spawn up there? Why couldn't I spawn up there in a ship down here? Fuck. I have no clue I'm gonna do that, man. That, that is a tall point. Like, what? I gotta go over there, I guess? We do got these radiant shards over here. Advanced mining laser required. Do I not have one of those on this yet? Are you kidding me? I need to put in my wiring loom. That's why. Okay. All right, there we go. Now we can try to get this radiant shard. And that gives us a bit. Uh, dissidence resonator. Ooh, that's different. Now, what is this guy? Is that a... I mean, I'm guessing that's a bad guy. Yeah, I don't really want to fight bad guys right now. I just want to go up there. I might just have to, I don't know, train manipulator up there. Like, I don't really see, like, a better course of action right now. Oh, man. Okay, finally. That took, like, no joke. Two minutes of just digging through. And, uh, this is, like, a new material. Living fragments. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe I have found this before. But this is a, uh, pretty cool planet. And whoa, look at this guy. Can I feed him? Yeah, let's feed him creature pellets. Let's do it. Nice. Okay. Um, I can adopt him as my companion. I'll do that for sure. It's feeling pretty grumpy right now. That's that's unfortunate. Let's try to feed him some more, make him a bit happy. We'll give him a pet too. He loves that. And I can customize appearance. What? Ooh, I can give it a different accessory. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty cool. Now, can I ride him? Yeah. Um, kind of. <laughs> he, t I don't know. Can he? Does does he move when I'm on him? Does not appear uh so. Looks like it's speaking in chat. Best creature stay safe up there. I protect. Yeah, just cheese, uh, dude. This thing moves slow as hell. That could be a really cool photo though. Let me uh check it out. Ooh, man. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. All right, back to the mission at hand. I gotta go to my spaceship. I don't really want to scan most of the stuff here just because I don't have any scanner upgrades. Like, I might as well just not. But it looks like we are in, like, a completely new system. I don't know if that's connected to our old one or not. I mean, I'd assume we can go back to our old one. I have a fucking base there for gate. A, a settlement that I'm, uh, like, the overseer of. I <laughs> but this is big, so we've uh, unlocked, like, the second uh, system or place. Boundary separation failure, likely. Vessel. 16 emptied cause sentinel intervention deliberate transfer fresh iteration generated anomaly containment prepared let's broadcast it and uh anomaly is compliant we got a position logged sweet it's uh somewhere i don't know where though currently wants attention okay let's get gently pet him there we go give him another creature pellet too now oh s tier scanner module from that that's actually clutch the game must have heard me uh bitching or something like a minute ago because uh that's wild it's not the best one it gives us a bit of fauna and a mineral and a bonus but still we can look out for some better ones in the future gotta be careful if i ever find <laughs> a good weapon again i gotta remember switched like a shitty weapon that i want to get rid of before i claim it oh of course my shit's all damaged and <laughs> my my pet's in front of a ship just what was he doing eating i feel as if i'm gonna be sick oh man no you're not greening out here resist come on hit another blinker make you feel better i try to resist but the bile rises within as i'm about to throw up a voice speaks to me from my exosuit my illness disappears. Disgust. Fear. Panic response. Detected. Countermeasure. Deployed. Urge. Neutralized. Is the voice of my exosuit telling me it has rescued me? It has been with me since the very first awakening, warning me of hazardous conditions, hostile entities, and financial transactions. In a strange sense, this voice is my oldest friend, a constant companion through thick and thin. You can ask it if it knows any jokes. <laughs> The exosuit doesn't answer, of course. It keeps itself zipped. I don't think I've ever made a joke before. Damn. I was born with the capacity to do so many things. I would have liked to live longer if I could have. My brief happiness fades. I try to warn those I know. I need to warn all the travelers I can. The multiverse ends in 16 minutes. If we have hours, days, years left within this false space, I do not know. All right. So we got to take flight and this is a uh, part of a simulation, I guess. Let's look at our starship. We have to uh, repair our launch thrusters down here. And now we're good to go. We can take off and go off of this planet. I think probably going to try to find the uh, space station and go over to that. So yeah, I want to check out what is this place like? Is there anything else new here? Because this is a completely different system or like galaxy, I'm guessing. Oh, I should check galaxy map when I was out there. Oh, well, but we're on Sabord hub at the space station. Okay. I mean, it looks like a pretty normal system. System. We got NPCs here as well. All right, let me go hand in some of these missions. I know I didn't do the uh, Sentinel ones, but still. I've got a lot to hand in right here. It's like 
good 15 to 20 right there. Nice. Bunch of rewards, bunch of stuff added to my inventory for that. Now, all of these exosuit upgrade charts, I can basically sell because I'm never going to use them now. I don't really have any more upgrades that I can get for my exosuit. That'll make me one mil just from that. Now, I do have to go warn the other travelers, but I'm kind of uh, interested in going and checking on my settlement quick. I haven't done that in a while. And uh, this one is a uh, toss ford station beta so i'm gonna call this place aboard 16 just so i remember it's like this uh crazy spot that i found now let's go to our uh settlement and go check in on the people there hopefully sentinels are actually attacking it because if they are i can probably defend it and complete a few quests quick oh yep 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 there they are it shouldn't be too hard and it should hopefully get me the uh, amount of kills that i need for the sentinel quest probably still need to take down some quads or uh, go pick another fight but still it's better than nothing and yeah there we are sentinels down it's okay everyone the base is safe again <laughs> like a level it's always like conveniently right when i show back up at the base sentinels are like just attacking it and like just arriving there my own people must think like i'm a spy or an op or something dude let's uh view construction opportunity Ooh, we could get a uh starship hub or a retail zone probably retail zone that'll give us more productivity right now and let me see it looks like that's over there so what kind of materials do i need to build that um 340 silicate power that's not that bad then that's going to take a couple hours to build nice our settlement is on the way now let's go back to subord 16 hub um i am really interested to see what the uh, galaxy map is like there so if there's multiple galaxies that just makes the game even bigger than i thought now let's go over i guess to this uh other planet over here that should have a hollow terminus on it i just realized you know that other hollow terminus spot where there's like two locations at like right next to each other that's where apollo said like hey i'm here but I can't see you. Like, can you imagine? I know it's not that, but can you imagine the actual story is like, oh, but yeah, no, he was at that uh, other terminal, like 800 U's away. <laughs> you know, like, like it's just us being dumb or schizoid. And, ooh, look at those guys. What the hell? Little bubble creatures. The fuck? They're 188k for that guy. That's pretty good. I'll take that. I definitely have to still get some more scanner upgrades, but at least they're giving me like 200,000 each uh, scan. How do I befriend one of those guys? Can I pet them? Um, Offer it food. Yeah, give it creature pellets. Let's talk to it. Um, Companion register full. What? Let me go check. So I got creatures. I got a companion register. Oh, I need to unlock more. Oh, I, I just got to spend nanites to do that. Okay. That's not that hard. Let's unlock this guy. So we can take pets around. I, I see. And whoa, that other guy looks crazy too. Might want to adopt one of those as well soon, but uh, awesome. Yeah. He, he, hello, best friend. Come here, bubble. No, don't, don't run away, dude. He's feeling sad. We got to pet him. We gotta give him some creature pellets. Unfortunately, we cannot ride him, but he can follow us around. <laughs> like, and I think he's, like, decently fast. Yeah, look at him go, man. <laughs> so I gotta go somewhere about in uh, this direction. Oh, man, this mining beam sucks. I gotta get my upgrades back, dude. That's awful. Ooh. <sighs> Like, I, I can't believe that. I'm still cheesed about that, dude. It was the worst play this whole series. Let's try to jetpack up. There we go. Let's talk to the uh, comms tower. Warning, network failure. 16. Oh, no, that isn't good. Um, Let's attempt to broadcast. I wonder, travelers, of what I learned. These worlds are not real. The Atlas is not a god. It is a machine simulating countless realities for some unknown purpose. And after millennia of operation, the Atlas is coming to an end. There are 16 minutes until the system fails. Though we cannot know how much time we have left within the simulation, but time has come to make peace and say goodbye. I finish my message, not knowing if anyone will hear it. I look out across this world, wondering how much of it might be left to discover, how much beauty might be lost. I know what I must do. All paths have led me here. Each portal has brought me closer and closer. I must, I must go to the center of this galaxy. It is the epic center of a glitch. I'll say goodbye to my friends if I can, and then I will confront our creator. I will find out what happens next. All right, progress th towards the galactic core. We're now on to a, uh, the purge mission. There's not much else we can uh, do like right now, unfortunately, here. We can't warn people. We just got to keep on progressing towards the galactic core. So I think I'm going to call my ship and then go back out into space. I'd definitely like to come back to this planet. This planet 
I think is uh pretty cool. Look at that spot, dude. Look at that little mount mountain thing. That's fucking sick. I want to drop a photo of this one so you guys can see the coordinates in the bottom left. For all the super fans of the series, go ahead, man. Show up at this planet, build a base or whatever. Show up at my first one or whatever, you know. But this one, I think, is a little bit cooler. Like <laughs> it's got bubbles and stuff we got giant pineapples all these creatures and floral and rocks all right let's leave this one and start to i guess and then we'll start to uh travel towards the galactic core now if i go to galaxy map we are 559 light years away oh we are in the elusive galaxy never mind so is this just a different system i am not sure but um we do have another mission to go tell nada and polo the fate of the atlas so i might want to do that because i also have to go hand in my milestone rewards and i know right now as of recording I have like one day to hit this one Omega expedition, which I am really tempted to do. I don't know how much room that leaves us in the series to get to the center of a galaxy. I'd like to imagine that I can do it within like uh, not too long. If I just focus on hopping wormhole to wormhole, you know, I should be pretty good. So let's go tell uh, Nada and Polo to talk to him. 16. The panels in the system idle. Nada stares at them, their mask waning. The single word issuing from their mask. Their refrain. 16. Traveler hopes to make progress. Traveler tests themselves. Nada will help in exchange. Progress for progress. Alright, we'll give him my milestone data. Um, you've seen much, but do you understand? Not for Nada to know? Please take this. Alright, he gives us some nanites. And... I don't know what's wrong with the mission. It wants me to board the space anomaly. Like, I'm literally on it right now. So, I might need to hop off it and come back on it. Like, okay, whatever. Um, I, I'm going to go spend my research uh, data that I have right now, though. We've got a lot of stuff. So, let me go over here. Parents modifier, this uh, wonder projector, and then a couple of the items over on this side that lets us unlock all of the technology modules. And now we can focus on all of the other stuff like decals and whatnot. And, uh, oh, the Atlas is dying. It wants me to reset it, to plunge myself through its interface at the center of a galaxy. But to do so may reset this world. My life, all that I know, I do not know if I can do it. Um, we can either explore the galaxy or seek the final interface. I guess seek the final interface, try to save the galaxy. So let's see, I'm going to go over to this system over here. As I'll go check the uh, shop, talk to a few NPCs, and then hit the black hole. Hopefully by then I can reset the uh, quest at the Atlas because someone definitely bugged out there the first time. I still got to talk to uh, Nata and Polo. So I got Atlas sequence 1 out of 16. Ooh. I don't know what that means exactly, but it sounds scary. Ooh, S-tier mining beam upgrade. I'll definitely grab that. One for the pulse splitter. And then I think I can add more slots to this uh, weapon. Let's see. Oh, yeah. No, I can add in another row of slots, I believe. I don't know if it's worth it yet. I might save those until I really need them. Because right now I got like plenty of room on this multi-tool to load it up with what I do have. There we go. I can get rid of this uh, C-class uh, stuff and I can move that there. Now we have a bit of a better mine beam oh wait i don't even have a i don't even have a pulse splitter on this i have a fucking uh a scatter blaster Jeez. let's hand in all the basic sentinel missions that's still a good amount of them we get some killing creatures missions as always and then go check the envoy all right i think next i really should probably just focus on trying to go to some outlaw systems i don't even want to land on another planet at least until i get my scanner upgrades and then i'm highly considering hidden that omega expedition i feel like i can probably be cracked enough to uh get that expedition done along with still reach via uh, center of a galaxy i don't know how much else after that is left but we'll see you know we, we still got like 20 days or something left uh, oh great great another pirate ship battle okay i don't know i'm getting uh like i've done seven or eight of these they're very straightforward it's just i gotta fly over here i gotta go shoot all the shields i gotta 
do another round go back around to do it again there we go did that now i just gotta turn around there we go that's a few of them done now i just gotta go around all right the shield is destroyed just gotta turn around and then start shooting it Let's see we got yeah we got enough time to destroy this one easy there we go kaboom all of them down pirate dreadnought defeated we should get some rep and some credits for that salvaged fleet trade unit cool i want to go over to uh this ship over here let's uh talk to the commander of it um ooh, 60 mil for an s tier oh man i gotta get that our current one's worth 9.3 that's gonna be a huge 51 mil it's gonna cost us a lot of units bring us back down to basically no units but i got plenty of nanites for everything else that i need and i think this ship's gonna be a lot better this is gonna be sick let's uh replace existing capital ship um yeah well previous for transfer of a previous base even though i haven't built the freighter base yet and there we go yeah, we got really lucky with that s tier freighter like <laughs> i got two s tier ships i got an s tier freighter now um my exosuit is fully upgraded the only thing that i would really love to find and if i don't i mean I, i'm not going to be too strapped but if i do find one an s tier multi-tool that a, uh, doesn't get rid of <laughs> all of my upgrades, that would be really sick. So you got an S-tier scanner, and it is pretty shit. Not S-tier, black market. Yeah, the black market stuff, like I said, it's either hit or miss. It's either, like, way better than an S-tier, or it's, like, absolutely useless. Like, maybe B-tier B -tier level, like, and that's putting it kindly. And, oh, Apollo messaged us. Well, I got your message. It's been a lot to take in. A simulation? everything's not real it it feels like it doesn't matter i suppose not if we're gonna die anyways and i've been thinking about that if the problems of this universe are due to the atlas crying for help then it's been crying for a long time those 16 minutes i'll bet we have years before we die let's ask about what they plan to do i've been thinking a lot about it how we couldn't meet even though we seem to be standing in the same place <laughs> I, know, I just can't I can't get over like him being like 800 U's away or whatever. I don't really think we were in that same location at all. I think those portals, they don't transport us. They transform us. They cut through dimensions. That's what I think anyways. It's the only way to explain it. And if the walls between worlds really are falling, maybe we'll be able to have a drink together before the apocalypse after all. I say goodbye, telling Apollo that I am on a journey to the center. They tell me that they will race me there. Speak of the memories we have shared, though we did not know each other for very long, though we did not meet, they say they are proud to have worked with me. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye, Apollo. I'll see you at the center of the uh, universe when I'm done doing my shit. And, ooh, I got Glyph 5 out of 16. Okay, that, that's nice. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep on focusing on hopping outlaw stations till I get some good scanner modules. Really sucks I lost my other ones. Like... I at least need one or two that are decent. The amount that I'm getting right now for scans is, well, fucking pathetic. Now I can make the, uh, star seed. What does that do? Throw that in, and then a, uh... Oh, it's there. I don't know what it really does. We got 50 of them. And it looks like we keep on getting a, uh, sequences every time we hop a system. So we're learning, like, more glyphs or symbols. Like, we're at 8 out of 16 now. That's a lot better than two out of six like what i started with well i think i'm gonna call the anomaly now i could not find a better scanner upgrade i'm just getting the hell out of here we're gonna try that expedition because there's one day left i don't think i can do it after that day expires so i might as well hit it and for what i looked up online it should take me like maybe two or three hours to complete let's go all the way over here and begin new expedition now i can bring technology with me if i would like to same with the cargo like i think i should be good all right let's accept and head in to the expedition so this is essentially going to be like it's in my game save it's just like another instance of a game we should spawn as like kind of like in a random world with a uh, random objectives oh yeah just like the start of a game initialize expedition um Oh, you can see all the people leaving the system and shit. I'm not sure if that's from uh, this system or the last one, but we are here. There's broken, uh, <laughs> broken, more like destroyed frigate up there. All right, we are here. We're on the planet. Uh, we got to locate our starship. Right now we have, uh, 
got two slots not a whole lot yet um we got a little bit of ammo at least and a few other things in our inventory so there's been a bunch of bases made here and whatnot all right let's hit our scanner and our starship is i guess in this direction oh geez man look at how bad our jetpack is now like that's almost nothing compared to our normal one i can see our starship and wow that looks pretty cool down there i definitely want to grab that starship fuck man that looks awesome i got one out of uh seven milestones complete already what oh exo uh, exobotany uh documented six new plants sweet if i go to that i can uh collect a reward for it and that gives me some modules now if i go uh check these out i can install these like right here i can install a new scanner unfortunately i need silver to uh repair that part of a ship so i can't really uh supercharge the scanner yet oh wait did i just look out there might be uh exactly what i need just in there yeah, some cobalt and silver. And all right, I see some oxygen down there. I'm going to grab first, then I'll go grab a distress beacon and everything else. That ship does look nice. It is a uh, solar C tier ship. Not sure if it's unique or not, but I mean, I guess it'll be our ship for this uh, little playthrough. We got an emergency log over here. Vessel distress signal. Yeah, I, I, I could tell. Let's uh, browse the logs. Pilot signature match 98%. Read access granted. Current login signature matches deleted pilot. Inclusion deletion was an error. Oh, okay, cool. So we just uh, overrided like the systems for that. And now it should be ours. Right now I need to make this uh, hermetic seal. That should be easy enough. Now we got to restore the pulse drive. I need ferrite dust as well in order to make that uh, metal plating. All right, then I'll craft that metal plating. Now let's go back to the starship and repair it. But those two things in and then i think we just need to repair the launch thruster next i need to make a uh, portable refiner let's put one down right there and i need to turn our pure ferrite into uh some pure ferrite so so i just need to get a bunch of ferrite uh dust should be some around here all right now i should be able to repair the launch thrusters there we go we can uh return to the ship let's go pick up our portable refiner and get out of here i think let's restart the ship systems and uh we can take off to the stars now all right let's go out to the stars and yep we're in the uh expedition system so i believe i need to uh set a course for a new world okay so we have explored uh that one that's the very first one looks like the other worlds are like behind it or something let's see yeah yeah i see one of them and oh there we go mined 55 asteroids i think that was the other uh, milestone i was trying to get all right here we are on another planet let's see we're on a uh, row brig delta sweet i'm pretty certain i do have to fight sentinels um i got another uh, milestone complete but we've got a uh, a shield module i'll take it i'll put it on we've also got a uh, mining beam module that's pretty nice and then we have a uh, teleport receiver cool i can put that on my ship um it does want me to establish a base so let me try to put down a uh, little base computer there we go i think that is a uh, all I need to do, uh, launch habitational programs. There we go. And the base is now set. Now, I don't have to use this base. Did someone really set a base, like, right above me over there? <laughs> Unless that was a glitch. I don't know. Now, I can uh, collect base parts. There we go. I need to construct a few things. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to work. Uh... Oh, no. Let's do a um, little foundation there of a cylindrical room. Of course, I need more ferrite dust for... All right, there we go. Now, cylindrical room. Booyah, that's installed. I also need to do straight corridors and then more cylindrical rooms. Damn, that's going to cost a lot of ferrite dust. All right, let's see. I got that done for part of a base. Now, I want to start finding some sentinels too because I know there's a uh, sentinel mission. All right, now I need to construct a uh, door and a ramp. And there we go. Hey, I got the uh, 25 sentinels and the 12 new species that I needed to hit. So that's pretty good. All right, now I had to make the terrain a little bit gnarly here in order to get this down. But let's see. Can I put an access ramp there? No, I can't. That's pretty lame. Oh, let's see. We got to do a door and then access ramp. There we go. Now we have to put down our uh, hazard protection unit. Let's put that guy down right there. And then let's put down our uh, health station right over here. And now we need to uh, construct two batteries. Wow, it is pretty demanding, man. 
So put one right there, one right there. There we are. Uh, we gotta construct two solar panels. Pretty simple. I can uh, do that on top, I believe. Unless I just have to uh, do them inside. Like, I'm not quite sure. Put one right there. Put another one right there. Yeah, I, I guess that works. Now I just gotta do uh, two storage containers. And uh, we should be pretty set. There we go. Just put the two storages right there. That should work. Booyah. Your base can be renamed. Let's do it. We're going to call this one the uh, Cool Kid Expo Base. Because, uh, well, it's my exp... <laughs> Enough said, okay? I'm pretty tired, man. There we go. We got Homecoming done. We can collect reward. We got a bunch of stuff from that. We also got Life in all forms. There we are. We got Hazmat Gauntlet, another upgrade. And then we also got Boundary Failure over here, which is nice. So that gives us a bunch of new upgrades to use. Let me go check my exosuit uh yeah i want to put that s tier scanner on like right there i guess all right so the next one is to warp to a new system let's do that and a uh find the space anomaly so i think i'll work on that unless they uh is the first rendezvous point like here in this system or no it is a uh warp away so that's all right so let's go on and get out of here we can return to our base at least so that's nice i'm guessing we Probably will be doing that eventually, too. Oh, jeez. Look at that guy. That guy looks gnarly. That's definitely a predator type of uh, animal. All right. Um. Oh, man. I, I'm way too tired for this shit, dude. I, I'm gonna hop on tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm still in the expedition. I don't know what's gonna happen. Fingers crossed. We'll figure it out. All right, so next thing I gotta make on our ship is a hyperdrive. I might, um, before I get into that, let me just lift a ship as I can mine a lot faster right now, I think, just using the ship like this. Oh, oh, I, I knocked the shield down. I gotta be careful when I'm doing that. Oh my, can I, if, can I, like, fly the ship properly? I got critical damage taken. All right, I think that should be enough. And whoa, this guy looks gnarly too. Like, these planets are sick. Some high tier stuff going on over here, man. I believe we need to make a little bit of more metal plating, and then I can throw that onto the hyper... Never mind, we didn't need to make that at all. I need chromatic metal. <laughs> I'm gonna need to go to a space station in order to buy some microprocessors anyway, so I'm just gonna try to find enough chromatic dust from uh, shooting at the ground. Once I got enough of that, I'll go over to the station. Let's go into the sky. Let's go over to the space station terminal. All right, let's see. I need five of these. I make a uh, hazmat gauntlet quick because I got the materials too. And now we can get that installed onto our ship. That's better. Let's uh, repair a couple of the other parts. I need to make a bunch of magnetized ferrite to uh, repair that last part there. Um, But there we go. We got the scavenger uh, milestone completed. Ooh, magnetized ferrite in here for 68k and chromatic metal that is like set i'm gonna grab a few wiring looms just in case and then a few more microprocessors i got like i can add a scatter blaster onto our multi-tool which might help us out a lot and then i can uh go over and equip this uh scatter bow let's equip that upgrade and now make our scatter blaster a little bit better let's go grab the scavenger reward that gives us a base part set and some sodium let's try to reach the uh first rendezvous point next i don't know how far that is uh you'll probably need to craft a uh, warp cell so let's do that let's put that into the hyperdrive and there we go now we should be able to go find that spot it looks like we have to go down there and it's just out of range of us are you kidding all right i guess i'll just do the uh one warp first then after i'll go over to the uh system with the mission and there we go we went to light speed we got that uh achievement let's collect the uh, reward for it there's a uh nice exactly what i needed now i also got a message coming uh from priest nada oh i think they're gonna yeah get us in contact with the uh anomaly there we go let's go on in because i'm pretty sure that's a part of our milestones to complete and i got 15 hours left <laughs> to uh complete the uh expedition okay that should be enough time but yeah i queued in at just like the right nick of time there all right there we go i got the anomaly mission completed and the last one should be going to that rendezvous point which is uh just one system over let's get some of these things installed like we have better uh thrusters now i can throw on uh 
Oh, Scatter Blaster technology I already have installed, so I guess I'll just sell that one. And uh, we do got a simple translator unit. I'll put that up there that lets us translate at least one word. And here we go. I got Optical Drill that increases our mining laser now. And I did get a bunch of salvage data from it, so I think I'm going to go over here. I heard the more things you unlock in construction, the better. I don't think it, uh, <laughs> of course, it doesn't like carry over or whatever, but you know. There we go. Spent all 30 salvage data. Uh, hopefully I don't need that for anything. I just want to get the inventory space open because I do not have much right now. Let's see. We got a uh, planet over here. I really just need to land and try to find some oxygen somewhere. Oh, we got a trade link. Does this guy have oxygen? Oh, no. I just repaired a ship. He gave me 80 nanites for doing so, but uh, I, I thought it was going to be a trade. All right. Here we are. So I'm just going to land here quick. Try to scan down some stuff, find some oxygen, and then I'll go on on my way. Oh, you have a magnetized ferrite so I can repair that part of our ship. And there we are. Chip is now completely repaired. And whoa, <laughs> it just exploded there, dude. <laughs> so lucky the game has uh, like assisted uh, flying. Whoa, that's a big chungo guy. All right, there we go. Now our backpack's a little bit better. Like uh, before it was absolutely brutal. Now it's at least uh, bearable and I got some more oxygen. There we go. We'll make an antimatter housing and then we'll make another warp cell. Let's throw that into our ship. All right, let's fly on out of here and then go to the galaxy map. I believe this is the last part of the first tier of the expedition. And I'm completing other tiers as I go and I do like different challenges as well. So I think I can probably complete this in like two, three hours. I don't know. All right, so now we got to land on the derelict freighter. Um, not sure if I should go to the space station yet. And, uh, is this it? Um, it does not look like it, man. This is just a freighter. All right, where is the first rendezvous point? There we go. It was because I had the wrong mission set up. All right, let's go. And a, uh... All right, we are right nearby. There is a save beacon over there. It's like, what? What, is it in the fucking water or something? I guess, uh, I'll land over here. That's a good spot. Oh, damn, man, it is. It's like a good thousand or so that way. Oh, there's a bunch of, uh, birds and stuff to scan, at least for now. I think I'm gonna try to get closer. I don't know how much closer I can get. Like, uh, this is the rendezvous points, like, right in the water. Um, it is a bit closer over here, so this might actually be it. Let's land to begin search. And then we can find some land animals as well. Uh, yeah, looks like that is it. All right, let's just fly over and uh land up here somewhere here we are we have arrived we've reached the first rendezvous point and then uh we also got the optional mission completed as well which gives us a companion egg I'm looking forward to that after and a uh ooh, and it i'm probably gonna upgrade our inventory honestly um then maybe maybe a slot in our exosuit just in case and then we got the rendezvous one reward that also gives us a bit more inventory space there we go that's looking a bit better so we got all of those done now we're on to the second part we need to witness the atlas witness a memory grow our base enter a black hole build a wonder projector and get the second rendezvous point all right so let's try to find a spot in space where the atlas is gonna be oh i gotta collect the overall reward there we go and now we should be on to phase two so we gotta visit an atlas station let's uh look around where is one i do not see any at least around here oh is that it is that is there one over there all right so in order to uh get the atlas to show up first i gotta go to the anomaly again we gotta go uh speak to them in there oh i know timer i know i don't have that much time all right so let's ask about the crimson lair hopefully yep we marked it on our map let's go all right so let me check the galaxy map it looks like nearest atlas station is oof quite a bit away Oh, 300 light years. It's not the worst, but still, it's a bit. So, start doing the jumps. All right, we are almost there. Just a couple more jumps. And there's actually, looks like there's a black hole, like, right there. I'm really tempted to take. But I can't right now, so I might just hop into that system. Or hop, like, through it. And, yeah, here we are. Poland! Hey! That's a place in the real world, I believe. Ain't that something? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going over to this system right here. And then I should probably hit the second rendezvous. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'll look at all the quests that I have. I know one of them is hitting a black hole. All right, here we are in an asteroid field. The Atlas is right there. Let's go over to it and uh, talk to it. There it is. And yo, there's another guy in there right now. Holy shit. Is he leaving right now? Don't leave yet, dude. I just got here. He's he jumping around and stuff. Oh my, man. Oh my. Oh, I gotta get out. I gotta get out. 
I gotta see him. Don't leave yet. <laughs> where where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. Now, I think I can learn. Can I learn Atlas words right now? I guess not. Let's see. Let's go up to the Atlas interface and we'll stand next to this dude. There's another player. Oh, what? He left the system? Wow. Fuck, man. Ain't that something? I was about to meet my first player in game and boom, they pop off and disappear. Sweet. Ugh, you can give it another like 50 hours. And it has spawned us on a random location. It's like there's a little place in here. We did at least complete that. And uh, sweet. We got a teleporter in there. I also got a uh, good hyperdrive upgrade. So I definitely want to put that on. But doesn't look like our starship's here. I might need to uh, teleport somewhere. Oh, wait. This is our base. Is this is this the one I built? No, wait, this is this is someone else's base. My bad. Habitable base. Last, we are logged in as a guest, and that gave me the achievement to visit another uh, base. I like how the only interaction that I can do here is reporting the base as offensive or inappropriate. Other than that, I can leave and just, yeah, enjoy the area, I guess. So we gotta create the Atlas Memory of Ocean. That costs uh, silicate powder, titanium, and salt. It's gonna be too hard to find that uh, somewhere. It looks like, okay, my starship isn't that far. It's just like 500 meters away from us. I've got an egg that I can hatch, but I kind of want to save that for my main save file. I don't know what kind of egg I'll get from it, and I don't really know how they work, but it's interesting. And, ooh, we got memory of a Viking. I think this is uh, one of those memories it wanted me to find. Let's accept the knowledge, and there we go. We got the Viking word for Viking. Um, no, that was not a memory. <laughs> we we got to get the memory of conquest built or whatever. Looks like my starship is uh, over here. Yeah, it's like right in this dude's portal. <laughs> That's jokes. Are these like other people's starships? Yeah, those random ships that have been uh, landed nearby. I got a broadcast thing here. Um, I might progress something. Yo, gotta take a picture with this lad. Come on. Oh, bastard. He fucking escaped. All right, now this planet does have salt on it. So I'm gonna try to get a bunch of salt by uh, efficiently mining. All right, now I'm pretty close to my starship. I got this uh, starship shield upgrade just now. So I'm gonna slap that on. And then let's make this uh, memory of the ocean. There we go. Now I gotta proceed to space. Let's get out of here. Now we begin the ritual by uh, revealing the memory and um, activate the pulse drive to source the nearby sources and there we go rare object found Ooh, child of helios look it even came up in map i found something let's uh make contact with that giant jellyfish thing oh no we're, we're oh no we're gonna go inside of it oh no it's gonna eat us oh god <laughs> let's uh absorb the memory and there we are i got that uh expedition mission done next one is the uh memory of atlas of course we need a uh, sodium nitrate so i'll look for that when i'm doing the next thing which is of uh, a second rendezvous where's that uh says it's over here a little bit out of jump range oh not if i um install my hyperdrive upgrade though i think that should make it work oh yeah there we go now we can go up to 200 at a time so let's go into the system with a rendezvous point i'll grab my sodium nitrate etc hit the black hole and then i should be pretty close to getting out of the second phase all right so i just have to look for a giant building shouldn't be too hard to spot um oh wait maybe that is it maybe that portal thing oh uh, yep that certainly looks like it and there we go i reached the second rendezvous point and i uh researched a lot of spots on the world we got some inventory slots from that i think i'm just gonna throw that into uh, inventory and then nice we got another slot or a module for our multi-tool all right so i think i just have to go and uh talk to the portal um i mean i can i don't i don't know if i need to like i visited the rendezvous point i do not think we necessarily need to i should be fine with just this maybe let's try to go to the space station and we'll try to go back to our base and then with that we should be able yeah craft the uh, memory of conquest we can awaken the memory when we get to space as well and continue to uh, get that done this should be good on the uh sodium nitrate now i'll leave this planet take my refiner with me and yeah i guess we're just going back to base now uh we could begin that ritual quick um all right let's fly on in hey look that's a player starship ain't that something all right let's go grab my exosuit upgrade yep buddy's thinking the same thing <laughs> um let's buy this movement module and thermal protection that should be pretty nice for both s tier um we do got a b class multi-tool right here 
Uh, it's only worth 1.7 mil. Uh, I don't know if it'd be worth it. I mean, I already got mine kind of set up. I don't think we'll be using it for too long. Can get this mining beam module and a uh, scanner module. Thank you. See, hopefully that's a good one. Uh, yeah, pretty decent. All right, let's go back to our base and start decorating it. All right, let's let's go inside. And now, what do I need to place down in here? Uh, angled windows. Okay. Um, silver and glass. Damn. Um, how do I make glass? Uh, frost crystals. I need them from frozen worlds. Okay. I have to go and try and find one of those. Um, damn. Really unfortunate. I came back to base. I'll build a uh, teleport module so I can go back to where I was before. Now, there wouldn't happen to be any to buy in this system, would there? Come on, give me the money, give me the money. Fuck. No, there isn't. All right, now let me go over to this black hole that's right near us. I couldn't check out before. Hopefully that brings me to somewhere with like a frozen planet. Then I can grab a bunch of frost crystals, make the glass and continue that quest. All right, nearby freighter under attack. Oh no. There's like seven of them. Oh wow. Yeah, this is like pirate space. Not good. All right, there we go. They're going down pretty easy at least. Oh yeah, one more. Come on. Come on, rocket launcher. There we go. <laughs> uh, done. All right, we did it. We got standing up with the Gex. We uh, entered a black hole. We got that mission done. We got a uh, emergency comms established. They want me to aboard their vessel. Oh, that was a freighter that I just saved. Okay, yeah, let's go speak to the captain and they, uh, get a reward for doing that. If he wants to give us a ship, I mean, I don't think I have one on uh this guy or uh like i don't have a freighter yet so i could definitely accept it either way i got the uh black hole mission done that gives us a uh cloaking unit that's pretty useful let's go talk to the uh gek admiral and see what he says i'm assuming he's just gonna give us the ship like they normally do uh yeah five mil i mean why as well claim it it's better than nothing it's got some materials on it as well which i will happily put into my starship nice now let me try looking for a frozen planet. Is there is there really only like two planets in this entire system? Uh no, there are multiple ones. It's just I can't I can't find it. Uh there we go. Arctic planet. Let's go over there. Alright, entering atmosphere. Looks like there's a huge uh, base over here I can land at. I do think I have to find some of these buried caches as well. And seeing as I have frost resistance, like a module for that, might be a good place to do that. All right, here we are, buried cache. Let's open it up. There we go, I just gotta dig up one more buried item, and I also gotta take a, a photo of this environment. There we go. Oh no, oh no, oh no, ooh! I almost fell down that hole. It's a close one, man, but not today. All right, here we go. Let's open up that buried cache, and there we are, one man's treasure. I do have a full inventory right now, so I can't redeem that just yet. But let's summon my ship back over here. I think I'm a... Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I need to uh, get some of those uh, frost uh, things. I guess it's what, on frost wart? That's what I would uh, assume. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll just fly over there in my ship. Oh, yeah, much easier. Let's land, and a, uh, I gotta get rid of something. I guess I'll eat up these. Give me some life support. And there are frost crystals. So I gotta grab a few of these, enough to at least make some glass. There we go. Yep, I should be able to make like three glass with that. And I still have 80 to spare. And nice, that new module gives us even more hyper drive range, up to like 300 light years almost. I'm starting to stockpile quite a few uh, blueprints that I don't think I'm gonna end up using. So before I finish all of the like expedition and whatnot, I know I probably gotta go stop at a space station and uh, sell all of those. Now, there we go. I got the, uh, what is the ticket to freedom? Oh yeah, uh, invitation or whatever. So I might use that after to uh, accept the invitation. And then, um, I guess it's pointing me somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody here has like the same type of ship all right here we are we're back home we spawn under the base that's nice um yeah this little pocket i created there look quite, quite a bit of hell but you should be able to put on the angled windows now oh yeah these are gonna be sick dude um there we go one right there and there we go we got three of those set up now we need to do a glass roof corridor oh damn man we're gonna need even more glass for this i don't think we got enough frost crystal oh man yeah this sucks we're definitely going to need more i need to make three of those and a biodome oh my man wow 
That sucks. Right, I'm gonna go to this base right here. Uh, it's just a random base on an ice planet. But I'll go check it out because I can probably find some frost crystals on there easily. All right, here we are. And uh, yeah, there's frost wart in that direction, not too far away. Oh no, oh no. Oh, jetpack. <laughs> if I had no jetpack there, I would have died for sure. All right, there we go. Uh, I don't know if that's enough. It, it might be, it might not. Oh God, the biodome costs five glass and I only grabbed enough to make five more glass. Why did I? Oh, I need to make more pure ferrite as well. Gee, man. All right, time to go back to Arctic planet. Whoa, whoa, that ain't right. That ain't right. That does not look like the uh, spaceship view I was thinking of. All right, let's get the hell out of that. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> not look good, dude. Oh, Frostwort, like 700 U's that way. Okay. Oh, okay. This should be enough Frostwort. Or Frostwort, Frost Crystal. All right, I should have enough Frost Crystal now to go back to the base. Now, I can make the Biodome. I guess I'll make it above. There we go. All right, just got to add one more corridor uh, somewhere. I guess maybe over here. Oh, yeah. And uh, wall screen and octa cabinet. Oh my. Okay, let's add some wall screens. One, two, three. And then a uh, octa cabinet. Make it look nice, I guess. There we go. Oh, of course, we need a desk chair as well. Um, just slamming everything in here as fast as possible because I never want to touch this base again. Beautify your base with decorations. How is this not decorated? Uh, that is decorated. Learn ceiling light plans on the anomaly. Ah, I've got light floor. Does that does that count? Can I do light floor? No. Oh, all right. Let's try to go learn the blueprint we need to beautify the base. What else are we building at this uh, nightmare of location? We build a wonder projector. How do we do that? Maybe I'll try to do that first quick before I leave. Oh, we need an antimatter. Okay. Uh, can I craft one of those? I can. Sweet. Okay. And then. Wonder projector, let's put it there. Booyah. It, uh, so far right now it's projecting nothing, but, um, you know, it, it, it's cool, I guess. I don't know if I choose this guy and I add him to a, uh, wonders. So, like, if I want to, I can go to, like, one of our, uh, planets that I've been to before. And I can add that to my, uh, wonders list. And a, uh, I'll just call it world one. And a, uh, there we go. Now, um... Oh, I gotta select a new wonder, and booyah, look, it displays that world. Isn't that cool? Well, that mission's way easier, the other one's being a nightmare to finish. Alright, let's summon the anomaly, we'll go up to it. And I think, I'm, I'm hoping I'm like halfway through the expedition. I'm already at like the two to three hour mark now. Alright, there we go, we got that important ceiling light that I needed. I gotta run back to my, uh, base. I'm gonna go use the teleporter and go back to my base quick. Hopefully that's the last of that nightmarish quest. Alright, here we are. Alright, let's get that damn ceiling light up there. Sweet, and mission complete, finally. Oof. That was an actual nightmare. Like, it took a disgusting amount of time. Collect the reward, and there we go. Phase two is now complete. We got a uh, pre-packaged uh, refiner unit, so that's pretty good. I'll put that on me so I don't have to use the portable one as much. And I got the Atlas Head Shield customization and 1,200 Quicksilver. Now, I should probably photograph this environment because that's one of the uh, quests that I have right now. So let's get it. Boom. <laughs> what, what he blinked during the photo are you kidding me dude so i need to smuggle black market goods so we're gonna have to go to like a pirate system next um let me try to maybe reach the third rendezvous point i'm sure we can uh reach it seeing as we can uh, travel a lot farther using our hyperdrive now and oh yeah no it's like right beside us you know what maybe i'll go to this pirate system first that way i can try to smuggle the goods into the new system and ooh, there's an atlas thing here um i don't necessarily need to talk to it i don't think i don't have any uh other phases that require me to go see the atlas all right here we are now i think i'm already gonna go sell these modules because i really don't need them i don't think and also gonna go talk to some aliens quick because i still gotta learn some words all right so let me try to uh just get through like 
yeah, I think 200k or whatever worth. All right, we got to the space station. It's got to talk to some random aliens now because uh, I need to learn a few more words for one of the expedition missions. And then after that, I'm going to sell the black market goods. Hopefully complete that one as well. All right, let's sell the smuggled contraband. And there we go. That should complete that. Nice. Completed a smuggling run, made a little bit of money, and we have another uh, new reward to unlock. All right, let's try to reach the third rendezvous next, I think. Or, um, actually, while I'm out here, let's, uh, view the second memory because I have that, uh, revealed. I just gotta go look for it. And here we are. Ooh, that looks crazy. Rubble of first spawn. Let's talk to it. Let's absorb this memory. The colossal megalith floats before me. All the more surreal for being ripped for whatever planetary context once housed it. Feel myself confronted by all the hands that touched its stone. All the beings that shaped it, who stood before it. All the fates that stone had seen rise and then fall while it all alone persisted. And now here it is, itself but a memory, torn from its reality, adrift in space. And uh, yeah, there we go. We got that milestone completed. Let's collect that reward. We got a uh, few nice things from that and a new formula. We need to find cadmium for, so we're gonna have to go into a new system soon. I do have these memory fragments, which I may be able to use. I just gotta clear up some space in my inventory first. Uh, oh no, pirate. What? I've got to photograph an airless planet next. I'm sure that, uh, won't be too hard to find. I just have to find, like, a moon or something. Let's reach the, uh, third rendezvous point. Where is it at? Some um, over here, this overgrown planet. All right, like, that is a, uh, sort of exosuit, a, uh, another upgrade. Next one is a, uh, uh, for the launch thrusters. That's pretty good, man. That's better than our B tier one. And the last one we have is for the infra knife accelerator. I don't think I have that or use that, but, um, yeah, if we can figure out a way to, uh, upgrade these slots on this ship, we might just be set with that. I'm pretty certain this is the place I need to, uh, check out. It definitely does not look like an airless planet. It. But we have reached the third rendezvous uh, location. We can go activate this thing quick. And uh, the, yeah, there should be materials here if I look like underground. Uh, I don't know. Nothing's damaging that panel. It's either glitched like someone else probably came here. So the game glitched or something. I don't know, dude. But all I do know is that it's not working. So I try to scan some stuff around here while I'm here. And there we go. We got the optional um, objective done collect that reward at least a uh, another worm egg sweet we got some more inventory slots that's nice so definitely upgrade those and now i still need to manufacture liquid explosive um assemble liquid explosive how does one do that we need acid um oh damn okay so we gotta go to the space anomaly also ooh, starship inventory slots i definitely gotta apply it on here i can go with having normal cargo space i definitely need more slots on the actual ship itself but there we go now we can install the better uh, launch thrusters that uh, gives us automatic recharging all right so i just gotta go over here so i can learn the sub component acid there we go 250 and we got it now we also need um unstable gel let me make sure i get that before i leave that's um oh over on the left side i see it just down here there we go and now i need the recipe for liquid explosive okay that is oh one down here i see and then we have to make it using acid and an unstable gel okay oh uh, we need cactus flesh and we also need fungal mold sweet so i gotta go to two uh pretty unique places it looks like let me try to drop on a base where it's on an airless planet just that way i can finish that uh one mission or uh expedition thing damn i can't even find one that's a uh airless so i might just have to look around I gotta pin the recipe for this. Let's do that, and uh, let's try to find the stuff. We gotta go to a toxic climate to get fungal mold. Well, let me see. Does anybody have a uh, base on a toxic spot? Weather is echoes of acid. Yeah, that's gotta be an acidy place. Let's go check it out. Ooh, emerald. I, I ended up landing on an e planet with the emerald. That's actually really good. Um, oh, I can't edit the terrain. No edit permission. That's why it's there. 
<laughs> Damn. You know what? I can't find anything. I'm going to return to the space anomaly and get out of there. Well, I guess until I find that one location, I might as well just go to the next rendezvous point, which is uh, just down here. And hey, there we go. I learned 16 words. I at least got that milestone done now. Now, what the hell? Sentinel interceptors. What? For what? I did nothing to these people. I, I, I'm i getting out of here, man. All right. Source of a signal is, uh, what the hell? It's like way up there. I, like landed nowhere near it. There's just so many damn bases because people love these uh freaking planets that are like paradise planets and like to be fair yeah it is a really nice planet i'll give them that it's got like those bubble guys again <laughs> that's pretty cool all right the last rendezvous point should be just a bit this way i think and here we are is that a player ship to the right of me you know is that is that just a free ship what's going on there ah damn it it is somebody else's ship that sucks there we go we got two new rewards for completing the rendezvous number four now i got to acquire a sentinel interceptor and i believe on my starship if i use this ai fragment i should be able to do that so let me call my uh ship back over here and yeah let's uh search for archive um oh <laughs> is that it was that all i needed to do so we have to locate a uh, crash site. Let's go up to space and try to find one. Let's see. Looks like there's one. Ooh. Uh, all the way over there. And I need an indium drive. Are you kidding me? Fuck. That'll take a little bit of grinding. Indeed it will. I'm not sure if a barren planet will count. I think I do need to find cactus flesh anyway. So I'm going to stop at it. And this is a new record for the largest planet I've found. That's pretty cool. And does not count towards the one I'm looking for. Damn. All right, so I need an artifact chart. Let's grab one of those. And then we can uh, plot our route. And uh, now we just got to go to the marked site. All right, here we are. We're at Ancient Rune. Yeah, I just got to get three keys. And then I get that uh, fragment thing. And there we go, numero three. Now I can unlock the cache. And that'll uh, get... One, two, three, and that should give us what we need to complete that part of expedition. Booyah, dig up one artifact. Yep, there we go. We got some uh, new parts from doing that. And there's a bunch of different species over here. There's like, what, all of them here? You get five, six different types of species just walking around in the same area. That's really nice. Oh no, we got sentinels searching for me. I just took a bunch of sack venoms. I gotta get out of here. I can't go back in my ship yet, though. They'll, they'll kill me if I go into there. Or not kill me, but they'll chase me in their ships and make my life a lot like, a lot more tedious for the next few minutes. I might need to try to visit a blue star next soon. Hmm. We do need the Indium Drive, which comes from the uh, Fallen. So find a fragment from another reality. Okay. Let's go uh, talk to uh, Polo at the Anomaly, and I'll work on doing that next. All right, let's talk to Polo here. Here and get what we need there we go he's a uh, identified a breach in reality let's go find it all right so this is the uh approximate location uh yeah <laughs> that looks like it all right here we are traveler let's talk to him let's ask about the water how's the water bro the water tell me did you drink it please take this run <laughs> the water's not good. They put an estrogen and stuff in it. You know, they're making the frogs J-A-Y. So he's marked an unknown grave. We got to go uh, track down somewhere. It looks like it's on like a very far part of uh, the map. A market. And then let's go into our uh, ship and travel over there. And here we are. This should be the site. Um, If you need befriend me, what? <laughs> yep, that is a unknown grave. Let's get it. So with that, we get Glyph 1 out of 16. And we spoke with a another reality that's pretty cool also got a uh, communication station placed down here if you need help befriend me i will help you that's pretty cool so yeah <laughs> i see uh, people can put down messages for other people little notes and whatnot that's pretty cool that completes the uh fallen mission that gives us all of those uh warp drives that's pretty nice it gives us enough emerald i believe to make the uh indium drive or whatever yeah that's the uh, very first one i gotta go buy some more wiring loom but at least that's decent now let's try to reach the uh, final rendezvous point. It's not too many more to go. I really only have like 10 or so uh, little quests to complete. And I should be able to do a majority of them now. I do have to go back 
to the space station quick. That way I can buy one more wiring loom because I'm, I'm lacking one wiring loom. But after that, I can go up to there and complete like two or three missions. There we go. I got what we need. Indium drive is now on our ship. I can go over to that new system, which is a blue system, which is uh, one of our uh, quests. And that should be the only like drive we need to install. We're almost done this expedition. There we go. We've come to the blue system. I got a Supreme Hyper Drive upgrade. Ooh, new technology discovered. A polo figurine. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll even install that. Like, uh, I could, but I don't really know if I need to. The final rendezvous point is just on that planet over there. So I'm going to go there, check it out. Try to scan down some stuff. And then that'll complete those two. I need to discover a uh, exotic creature. Return of Atlas. View a final memory. And then on here, I still have like four of them to uh, complete. But we're getting closer. Here we are. Entering atmosphere. Let's uh, try to land and find a spot. We got a superheated rainstorm on the way. So I don't think we'll be able to spend too much time here. And geez, it is hot here. We do not have that much uh heat resistance on us like really only enough to hold us together for like one minute we gotta get to that uh rendezvous point as fast as possible and i'm pretty close oh somebody there's some salvage glass down there what somebody was fighting here but yep here we are this is rendezvous five and with that we have completed those two our inventory is full right now though might just call my ship back over here because uh it's so dangerous right now all right oof i got in a ship just in time still got to acquire a sentinel um interceptor shouldn't be uh too far off now now what do i need to make a uh the third memory happen um well one inventory space was there an interceptor ship coming? What, what? I guess it's gone now. Okay, um, I'm going to the space station quick. I'm going to go back to base quick. That way I can store a bunch of stuff. I'll figure out what's the best course of action to get these last few missions done. All right, I need, um, Idonized Cobalt and Cadmium. Uh, so I will have to make a Cadmium drive if I want to get over there, which, uh, yeah, I do want to do. <laughs> oh, there's a dead planet over there i really don't know if that'll have uh what i want like it might be airless or whatever uh if there's if it's a dead planet or there's no air on it i'll have to go check it out though and then after i'm gonna try to focus on getting the fungal mold because right now i'm looking at basically two objectives there four objectives here uh one of them being really easy and then the last three objectives not too difficult other than the exotic creature which i'm hoping to run into along the way all right let's check it out i am hoping for the best oh yes it is airless sweet here we go looks good there we are that's another objective done all right so now let's go find some planets with fungal mold and everything i need for that next thing i'm making there we go i got 200 fungal mold i am gonna go check these uh salvage containers right next to me though to see what they have there because uh they are glowing uh gold oh i think the sentinels are gonna come attack if we do this if i'm correct let me see uh oh yep yep they did yep there's a lot of them yeah let's get out of here not risking that shit man I don't, I don't need that loot now i need to craft an acid nice i got that and now i need to gather cactus flesh okay let's see if there's any of that in this galaxy not in this one so i'm gonna have to to go and hop to somewhere else all right i gotta go to a dissident system so maybe i'll go check out this one see if i can find any over here while i'm uh trying to hit two birds with one stone you know oh there will be cadmium on some of these planets so that's nice to see fungal mold and cadmium oh that's gonna be nice and whoa what is that dude offer food ion battery okay there you go take that Nice, dude. It, let's adopt this thing as a companion. That's a wild looking pet. Look at it. it it's like all machine. Jeez. I, I, I've never seen this. This is cool. This is what you find on distant uh, planets. Awesome. Let's try to ride it. Oh, man. That's so cool. It's not very fast, but, uh, you know, he is what he is. Got all these sentient plants here. And, oh, yeah, that's probably calling the uh, authorities or whatever of a dissidence. So... Yeah, I should probably get out of here before we start shooting laser beams and stuff. And whoa, that's a different type of uh, guy over here. Look at that. That's, that's insane. Now, I'm looking for cactus flesh, but I cannot find it for the life of me. Oh, that, wait. 
There's fungal mold on this planet. Uh, what am I doing? That's what I just grabbed, is it not? I, I think I'm on the wrong planet. I don't think I'm gonna find that while I'm here. Let me just go over and switch to the uh, Sentinel Interceptor. I ain't finding anything on this planet now. Like, hey, this one sucks. Oh, finally, finally. Won't come over to check me out? Come on, dude. Bring him over. And these guys are pretty, like, stacked strong. I don't know if I can really do this one. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I got my ship just at the last second. I'm getting out of here. All right. We do have some interceptors on the way trying to take us down. That's all right, though. They're not too strong, so that's pretty easy to do. Oh, man. They keep on coming. I can't really escape them because uh, I don't have a proper, like, uh, ship equipment that I do on my normal one. There we go. That's another one down. Now, can I escape to the galaxy map and just warp out or something? That would probably be ideal. Maybe I'll go and see the Atlas, as that's one of our expedition missions. That's going to be a pain, man. So we got to try to find one of those crash ships, Actus stuff. Ugh. It's going to take like another hour or two. I got a bunch of a salvage glass, which seems to give us uh, different weapons and stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh, if I defeat all Sentinel reinforcements, then I can get a camp that way so all right that's not as bad maybe next time i go there i'll just try to get them all to fight me in the ship and then do that all right let's go up talk to the atlas quick um what the fuck oh did i already talk to this one before i, I have to go to a different atlas oh that sucks man <laughs> that just feels awful that, that is not fun all right to make the memory of bones i need yeah idolize cobalt and dehydrin and cadmium so i'm gonna go to the space station so i can get that one drive set up and get a bunch of cadmium stocked up and i'll probably also go back to my base quick just so i can store some stuff now i think i'm gonna sell pretty much all of these for nanites right now because uh i do not need them all right there we go now we got that installed we can now go to the uh, red stellar bodies and the blue ones all right there we go now i got room to open up all this salvage glass there we go that's a bunch of uh new modules and stuff i didn't really get what i was looking for but i will get there soon you know i think next we're gonna try to get some of that cadmium i also gotta get oxygen because uh looks like i damaged something earlier and i can't even repair it right now there we go that should be good for now to at least repair that and yeah i think next it's just going to a uh red class system so i can go and look for some of that cadmium i'm like you know <laughs> like everywhere around here everywhere has been discovered by someone already we got a violent planet over here cool let's go check it out see how violent it really is here we go there's a cadmium deposit right over there not too far away there we are we don't really need that much but i'm pretty much going to grab this whole deposit just in case i need any later there we go 600 cadmium that's good enough let's go back to our starship install now all i need to do is go and grab some of my cobalt and put it in here to make ionized cobalt and now i can make the new memory so let's go out into space and let's awaken the memory of bones oh yeah, no fuel in my launch thruster good thing i got a bunch of uranium all right so let's activate the pulse drive to uh find the nearby source there we go we got a rare object and whoa grave of the ocean king now that looks gnarly let's absorb the memory and a uh got no idea what killed this creature all we know can really tell is that it did exist it, it was a thing one day Oh, there we go that's another one down I believe we just have one more memory to do after this and uh oh yeah memory of a void and we can make that right away let's uh reveal the memory and uh go forward with it and here we are whoa that thing's alive so let's see what this one has to say the memory seizes me immediately the eye is a maw and i cannot look away i look deep inside that if I close my eyes, I will not open them. Its vision searches inside of me. It is angry, rifling, is afraid. I meet its gaze, and eternity passes. I feel it blink. I am free. And sweet, okay, we viewed the final memory. We got it. Let's grab that reward. That's a 512 hexite. And now we don't have too many left. I gotta find cactus flesh. I gotta complete these things. Like, uh, acquire a sentinel interceptor. We gotta go to a dissonant system for that. Let's go check the galaxy map. Now, <laughs> unfortunately right now, it doesn't really show me, um, where they are. Like, I'll go over to this place. I would guess it's dissonant because there's no life forms here. I don't know if this is necessarily what I need to find. Yeah, it is not. This is not a dissonant system. And there are, um, sentinels here. 
And geez, I just threw these on and they give me like 73% life support tanks. Uh, 33% core health. Like pretty decent tech right there. All right, there is a planet with cactus flesh here. So let me try to find that. There we go, right over here. If I grab that, then I should be able to complete phase three and just start working on phase four. Phase five will be really easy. All I gotta do is go talk to Atlas. And, um, well, here we are. This should have cactus flesh on it. Definitely looks like it'll be cactus here. Um, I don't think the train's loaded in properly. Like, this does not seem right. Got an ancient data structure over there. That might be nice. And it's not exactly what I'm looking for. But it's better than nothing because so far I've not found any cactus flesh, like, anywhere. And it's really making me upset. Let's see. What do we got here? Uh, it's navigational data. It's not that hot. That kind of sucks, to be honest. That's like... Really bad. There's three navigational data. You basically get that usually for finding a new space station. <laughs> Do I have to, like, kill these guys for it or something? Like, these cactus creatures? No. Nope, I just gotta keep on... Keep on exploring. Keep on looking. Oh, we got species uh, record for a uh, local fauna. Let's get that. Bro, it's been like 10, 15 minutes or so. Like, I keep on finding sweet root and, like, every other plant here, but no cactus flesh. All right, I'm probably in, like... No, I'm probably in the wrong biome or something. Like, I probably need to go to, like, a desert spot. Ooh, a chino cactus. That is it. Finally, man, finally. I, I almost thought it didn't exist. It was just a the game trying to pull my leg or something and troll me. Oh, finally, man, finally. Here it is. You can get plenty here. Nice, more than 200 right away. That should be good. Now, we can craft the unstable gel. And with that, I can craft the, um... Oh, I need my acid from the starship. Call my vehicle over right there. I'll grab the rest of this stuff. And there we go. I got the liquid explosive. Oof. New milestone completed. I think that is all for phase three. It is nice. So I got that supreme movement system upgrade. That's pretty good. I'm going to install that right away. Put that on there and uh, dismantle the C grade one. And then let's collect our other reward. Ooh, Atlas Scepter. Yo, no, 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 I do want to, I do want to take this reward. I, I don't want to decline it. All right, compare with current multi-tool. Yeah, let's buy and add to collection. Oh, there we go, man. That's going to be for the thumbnail. That is pretty damn sweet, but I still need to switch out to my other one. <laughs> now let's try to visit the site of a uh, sunken freighter. We got to locate an underwater crashed freighter by uh, checking out large body of water, large bodies of water. Let's try to go to space and find another planet, one that will, yeah, preferably has water. I think that one kind of looks like it does. Now we got this uh, chamber for a submarine as well as a uh, little shelter. So I'm going to go take those for the next quest. Because I believe we're going to need to use the submarine to try to find a uh, sunken ship. Now it says we have an exotic planet nearby. Um, I'm not quite sure which one that would be. I'm going to try to go to a large body of water over on this planet. I'll see if I can find a ship. Hopefully I can. And yeah, that looks like water or ocean. Should be able to find something in that, hopefully. All right, I'm going to put down this uh, little chamber thing. I think I got to put it underwater like that. There we go. We have built an exocraft. Let's get into it. And let's see. Okay, so we can add some new stuff. Uh, high power sonar. It's a good thing I didn't know that we needed to bring a solar mirror. That's a real piss off. Can I craft that mirror? Please tell me. Oh, sweet. I can. Okay. Oof. I would have been pissed if I'd <laughs> run back up there. Let's look underwater. Uh, try to find that thing it's talking about. It's uh, an item in the water. Here we go. These things. I believe it's on that thing right there. Let me go check. Yep. Right there. Let's just grab three. There should be three. Booyah, and get back to our exocraft. Now let's install that high power uh, sonar. I'm going to move that over to there. There's an abyssal horror in there. What does that mean? Well, probably probably something horrific I would go to assume. Maybe, maybe let's not check that out. I don't got a gun on this thing. Oh, okay. There we go. Scan for drowned ships. Oh, wow. I was just walking. I, I was going around for like 
five minutes there, and I'm like, man, I'm never gonna find this. This is not here. It is a good distance over here. I will say that. Like, wow, is it really that far out? Oh, man. Yeah, this is this is gonna reek ass. I swear, man, this fucking shit better be an S tier. <laughs> I'd be so pissed if it's a C tier. We are almost there. <laughs> like, a few seconds left. Oh, here we are, man. Wow. Took forever. All right, let's check it out. What do we got going on down here? We got some loot. There's some basic stuff, uh, rusted metal and whatnot. Now, let's see. So we got uh, Ibates's Serene Sentinel. What is this? A C class. Fucking disgusting. We're 5.8 mil. Like, I, I'll, I'll claim it, sure. But uh, that's about it. Now, what do I have to go to? Uh, I visited the site of a sunken freighter. This is the site. What do I have to go inside of it? There we are. We're inside. Um, I have located an underwater crashed freighter. What are you talking about? Okay, so I'm on it. Um, let's go like that. We'll activate it again. Scanner recharging. Scan for drowned ships. What do you mean? Yes, drowned starship detected. I am at it. What the fuck? Do I have to go to this thing down here? Distress signal? Oh, uh, maybe. Let's see, I got a blueprint out of it. An economy scanner. Sweet. Like, I have I have located an underwater crashed freighter. What, do I have to repair it and bring it out? Like, why Why is it being like this? Hermetics feel... If I go into here, was I... Oh, no. I looked for a fucking starship, not a freighter. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I picked the wrong one. Okay, so, uh, I'm not even- I don't even really need to worry about fixing up this one, at least, like, right now. Wow, I, uh, I fumbled the bag on that one. Oh, no! 20 minutes away? Are you kidding me? Is there land? Like, can I f can I just fly there? Oh my god, man, what a nightmare. Yeah, there's no way I'm doing this. I'm going to land over here, and then we're flying over. Like, there's gotta be a closer spot to it. 20 minutes away, dude. Ugh, and I went to the wrong spot, and I only found a C-class ship. Like, what nasty. All right, let's summon our uh, normal ship. And it looks like the uh, sunken wreck, yeah, it'll only cut, take a minute to get there in our ship. That's a lot better. Um, I probably should have picked my exocraft up. But you know what? Screw it. <laughs> I can get another one another day. Who cares? All right. We have arrived. Can I land right here? I can. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. Okay, there we go. Now, let's get into the water. Let's check this spot out. We have reached the destination. Awesome. I got 11 hours left of expedition. Oh, well, man, it keeps on going too fast. Let's access the logs. Um, I'm going to go and assume that... Everybody pretty much died here. And there we go. We have explored a sunken freighter. We got that one done. That gives us the emergency signal scanner. That's pretty good. All right. Next, I suppose, is the uh, Sentinel Interceptor uh, mission. We're first going to have to acquire one. So in order to do that, we're going to have to get the Sentinels on our tail somehow. So let's go to a uh, Sentinel, like a infested planet one that's like aggressive or something all right so we got to acquire a sentinel interceptor hopefully one comes by near us oh geez a giant worm wow <laughs> that what timing dude I, I did not know that was there i was trying to scan stuff i think if i grab one of these whispering eggs i should be able to get the sentinels on my uh site all right it says return to space so find a dissonant oh we got to use this emergency signal scanner and that should bring us to uh the freighter let's uh begin to tune the process and see if we find it here we are, and now we just gotta land on it quick. I don't think we actually have to explore in it. I mean, we can, but I don't think I'm going to because we don't really have uh, that much inventory space. Unless it makes us. Unless it makes me fucking enter it. Well, let's see. Door control open. Let me in. Here we are. The airlock doors are sealed. Use the docking bay terminal. So there's a severe incident, and everything's locked down. Let's restart internal gravity. Um, there's an error in the, that. That's not good. What about hazard control? Uh, there's an error in doing that as well. What if we, uh, unseal the door using the one active retriever? Um, airlock breach initiated. We got some supplies here as well to claim. And, uh, access request seal integrity is going down. Let's see. Oh, sweet. Yeah, now we can enter it. 
Now we gotta locate uh, terminals, grab us as much stuff as we can, check all of these logs as well. Looks like it was about five days ago that uh, this whole thing happened and uh, the ship went down. Ooh, what the hell? Like jellyfish in here. Uh, can I kill him? I can. Uh, I don't get any loot for that, but it's gone. This equipping a weapon is strongly advised, okay. There's not a whole lot of stuff around here. Like, this is not as packed as the other one I went to that had a bunch of enemies on it. Oh, shit, there's sentries in here. Security? Okay, so we gotta take down security. Ooh, rare item found. Nice, a ghastly orb. That's crazy how there's, like, so many logs just spread out on the tables. Like, uh... It really doesn't make sense. Like, this whole place is a mess, but these logs are all conveniently on the tables still. Yeah, it looks like they had a little bit of a troubles with some space monsters. All right, looks like uh, I see the security over there. I'm going to aggro them. All right, we got the uh, teleport terminal back up. And when this terminal is still on, we can access the crew manifest. Uh, looks like the commanding officer was Captain Lacoid. Looks like they had a bunch of crew, like 200 died from this. That's a rip. Update the bio scan. Um, no detected biological trace matches crew records. Jeez, that's pretty rough. It looks like everybody was here about four days ago, so uh, this happened, yeah, really recent. Ooh, I did find a uh, rare item, a mainframe access card, so that's pretty good. And my inventory is full. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna try to get rid of, like, a bunch of random stuff. Looting these places are, like, so rough because, yeah, once you get your inventory full, it's just done, man. All right, we got the uh, mainframe over here. Um... It says override is available. We can uh, put in the fate. The fate, I'm gonna say, uh, let's leave for now. Maybe we should check the other spots first. Let's put unknown. Um, input accepted. Uh, let's log in as of uh, a quartermaster, Vala. Credentials are accepted. Awesome. So we can read the captain's log. It looks like they told the Viking of their purpose and they let them pass through. They saw towers filling the skies. They performed their dissections. A heart is required for the holograms to live on. And that's about it for that. But we got an official record, uh, out of that at least. There's still some more stuff to try to find, though, like a, a crew manifest and the captain's log. Or I guess engineering control. That's the next thing I'm looking at. And here's the engineering control. Sweet. Um, let's, uh, let's extract nanites. Sweet. Oh, a jellyfish flew on me. That fucking hurt, man. Now, I have yet to find the uh, crew's manifest. I don't think it's in this room. I believe it'll be in... One of the other ones that I went into. That or one of the rooms that I haven't gone into because there's still one more left. Um, is it back this way maybe? Or, uh, no, here it is. Records terminal. This is what I'm looking for. Oh, I have to, uh, drop something in my inventory so I can take that stuff. I see. Let me get rid of that, a, uh, 15 living slime. Let's grab this shit. Finish this mission, finally. There we go. We got everything done. Let's go back to the start and go back to our ship. And that'll be that part of a mission done. And I think that's, what, all of phase four? Uh, oh, no, we still need to bake some biscuits. But then after that, we're, we're pretty much almost done. I think I'll go to a space station next so i can just uh teleport home uh wait that wasn't that wasn't the mission at all why did it say why did it send me to do that i've had that selected the entire time oh fuck ass oh uh, you know what wow okay um that's infuriating let's go to space station i'm gonna go and do what i was thinking of before getting his sentinels to attack me until i kill all of them all right, let's go talk to this guy. Hopefully, he gives me a good deal for this stuff. Let's sell the crew manifest. Booyah. It looks like he's giving me tainted metal for it. Not uh, as nice as what I wanted, but okay. Oh, wait. Did I acquire coordinates for five mil? I better not have, man. I better not have. All right, let's go get some sentinels upset at us. There we go. I'm just going to attack the space station, and the sentinel starship interceptor should be uh, on their way. There we go, one down. Oh, jeez, man, there are a lot of ships here. I don't I don't know if that was how I was supposed to do it. I did not know if that was the way, man. We got 10 of them remaining, I think, right now. Jeez, man, calm down. Oh, shit, I gotta get rid of stuff in my inventory. Okay, let's get rid of those orbs that I'm no longer gonna need. And jeez, man, every time I take down one, it's like another one spawns. 
I do not think this is the ship to do this in. I might need to flee. I'm gonna try to get through this asteroid field, lose them. Yeah, that that is that is some insanity, man. We cannot be doing that. Oh, oh, here we are, Sentinel Capital Ship. Okay, let's do it. I gotta go straight. I'm going straight for the ship, man. Oh man, it is a strong ship, I tell ya. Where the fuck is the ship? I can't see. Oh, where's the other part? God, get me out! Fuck me! Oh my, I can't see fucking shit right now, dude. Okay, I should be able to get that shield. Nice, there we go. And now let's just keep on attacking this ship. I should be able to hold on as long as I just keep on repairing my shields and whatnot. I can uh, just keep on hitting it. Yeah, and it's getting pretty low, man. It's, it's not going to hold down that much longer, I don't think. And there we go. Capital ship exploded. Done. Do I get anything for that? Let me make sure I have inventory space. Oh, just in time. Jeez. If I didn't do that, I would have been screwed. Um... Let's search for lost interceptors. Sweet. Okay, we got a map. Let's go over. It's just fucking right next to us. The one the one system over. Are you kidding me? And here we are. A nearby freighter under attack. Destroy pirates to save fleet. Uh, I suppose. There's only six pirates, so it's not as bad as normal, you know? That last fight with the Sentinels was nuts, man. I, I just barely held on to that because of how much sodi uh, sodium I had. All right, there we go. Last one right here. Bam, done. Now, let me get over to that ship quick so I can get my reward. All right, I'll go on to the freighter quick. I'll get my reward, and then I'm going to continue the mission that I'm on. I can't believe, <laughs> like, we, I went to a derelict freighter, and I really explored the whole fucking thing. I thought that was the quest. What is this guy doing over here? Oh, he's in the air. It looked like he was standing on Buddy's uh, tablet. All right, let's talk to these bumblefucks. Watch this be like an S-tier ship or something stupid. Uh, no, just C-tier. Okay, that's fine. Let me uh, request payment. Sweet. Got our payments. Corvax standing has increased. Now let's get out of here. Looks like the source is just over there. I should be able to warp over and get that. And that leaves us only with like a couple more things to do. I really have to complete this. Like it's like 3 a.m. right now where I, <laughs> where I live and where I, when I'm recording. I'm starting to get pretty tired, but I want to complete this before the day ends. That way I can get that starship. Let's see. Looks like it's just over here. Nice. Uh, we'll probably Probably be dissonance like they're hanging out at it i would imagine all right here we are yo is that a ship it is blessed you pretty cool ship let's activate the uh this thing that's a uh, big money right there and then let's talk to it i'm gonna feed it lost circuits um atlantium is that on this planet i think it's that crystal yeah it is so let me get 71 of that quick all right there we go i got the stuff let's go repair this thing feed it the lost circuits there we go the ninth that's all it has to say okay i guess let's go inside of here um this is someone's base uh no it's a habitable base second base yeah, we can, like, literally take this over, I think. Oh, no, we can't. We <laughs> logged in as a guest. This is someone else's base. Fuck. What about this ship? Is this ship ours now? Can, can we claim it? I think we can. We can take stuff off of it. Uh, pilot interface. Oh, shit. Harmonic brain, inverted mirror, uh, radiant shard. I think it says a signal. Nearest radius, radiant shard located. Okay. Let's go try to find those, and we'll go and claim that ship. Oh, I'm probably going to need that advanced mining beam, won't I? Oh, no, I don't. Okay, I can, I can just grab it. Oh, we do need the advanced mining laser. Shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck me. Do I really have to go find that now? Oh, I think the tech might be at my, uh my house or like my base or whatever if uh i didn't throw it out oh god man what a fucking nightmare can i place my ship somewhere please um please to fuck it, it does not look like it's in there damn i think i fucking sold it that's what i did so you know what i need to do i need to find a uh like a planet or an outpost i'm gonna go back to that last system that i was just in i try to find a uh planetary like outpost or whatever because i should be able to buy the blueprints for the advanced mining laser off of somebody there like i don't know if anomaly will have it or not it might but fuck what a stressful ordeal man yeah no let's call the anomaly maybe i can uh get it on the anomaly i'm not quite sure if i can I'm gonna fucking try though. Let's see. All right, let's see. Does 
any mofo here sell that stuff? Um, does not look like it. What about this guy? Multi-tool research. I think that's actually it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Advanced mining drill. Wow. So, uh, it really sucks. <laughs> we had to do all this just to get that on. So, let's get that. And, okay. There we go. Now, that should be satisfactory. We can go back to that planet and uh, continue the mission. I don't even have to go to an outpost, which is really good. That would have taken a lot longer. All right, I got that dumb upgrade. It's time for me to get my Radiant Shard. Let's see. That's one. I need two more. Here we are. One last Radiant Shard. Let me grab that one and that should be good we should be able to repair that ship now let's go <laughs> hopefully i can save myself before Oof. I, I took a little fall damage there but i saved most of the damage okay now i need an inverted mirror how do i get that so i need to go to a dissonance resonator i see it's not too far away it's only like 500 u's away but right now we're in like a gnarly bad storm I might just use my ship to try to get there if I can uh, summon it at least. All right, looks like we've got a resonator right over here. We just got to destroy it, and then we should be able to get its loot. Oh, I see. It's underground. Fuck, that's why. I'm, like, up here fighting all those guys. I'm like, where is it? Okay, there we go. So I should just be able to uh, come down here and uh, destroy it. Yeah, just like that. Oh, yeah, we got it. All right, there's that resonator guy I need. So I'll kill him quick. There we go. Booyah. Did he drop loot? Like, is there something I'm missing? Uh, the ship's brains require the control of an outside enemy. Uh, we need a harmonic brain. Um, do we have that already? Oh, we do. We just need to probe the subconscious. There we go. Let's, uh, check out what that means. <laughs> so we have to go, uh, somewhere that way first, I guess? Okay. The ancient site isn't too far away. It's only a little bit over here. All right, here we are. Now, I got some knowledge stones around here to go check out. And then I believe I just have to go up to this thing and uh, talk to it. Let's give it that brain we have. That way it can give us a harmonic brain. And booyah, there we go. We got it. Let's return to the salvaged uh, site. Oh, no fuel in my launch thruster. Fuck off. I'm going to go back to that cool looking ship. Find out how valuable it is. Hopefully it's a nice uh, ship. Like I haven't seen the blessed you ship yet. It sounds like a pretty based name if you ask me. So I'm pretty hyped. All right, here we are. Let's try to take over this uh, ship. We just got to install the pilot interface and... There we go. Let's get in. Or, uh, I guess claim it or whatever. Um, it is an A-class ship. There we go. That's nice. Hey, 61 mil? That's fucking huge. Yeah, definitely claim that ship. Um, we have captured a Sentinel Interceptor. Amazing, dude. Amazing. Now, I'm getting out of here. We got that reward to go claim. Now, I believe it's a good time to probably go back to base as I need to try to make some biscuits. And then after that, we're going to try to find an exotic creature. Actually, can I find that right now? Is there any in the system? No exotic planets in this system. Damn. Cooking biscuits, it is. All right, so there are not many things that we currently need like right now. I know we need wheat, uh, I got, uh, yeah, six wheat. And then sweet root. That can be processed into sugar. So where's my sweet root? Oh, there it is. Okay, I knew I had some. So, but do I put those in the refiner? Let's see if I do that. No, that will not work. <laughs> I, I think I need that nutrient processor thing. I believe we have it, yeah, right there. Do we have to build one? kind of thought the game gave me one earlier, but I could be wrong. Okay, yeah, I guess uh, we do not have one. So what do I need for that? I need metal plating, hermetic seal, and sodium. And, uh, oh, damn, I... I, I I went through all my sodium in that last fight. I gotta go collect some more. And we need metal plating and a uh, hermetic seal. I uh, need two metal plating. There we go. Now let me go back to the base so I can make that. All right. Put this nutrient processor down. Uh, I guess right there. That should be good. And then if I go into it, I should be able to refine like my wheat. Let's make that into flour. And then I gotta put some sweet root in. Let's make six of it. And now we just gotta mix the uh, two together. That gives us sugar dough. And then we just gotta mix the sugar dough with different uh, stuff, different ingredients. So I'll see what else I can add to it. Maybe this hexa berry. Will that work? Uh, I think it will. Oh yeah, we did it. We built. No, not built. We we made a biscuit. 
Oof, there we go. Milestone completed. We got a Supreme Mining Beam upgrade. I think I'll probably save that for my main save file. Now, I just need to find an exotic animal. I have phase four completed. There are no exotic uh, animals in this system, as I know. So let's go try to uh, hop to a different one. Let's go over, say, Rendezvous 5. We'll see if there's any over there. Oh, yeah, I did complete a mission earlier. I killed uh, creatures here. I'll hand that in now. Booyah. Oh, God, we got to destroy a pirate ship right now. I do not have a really good ship to be doing that, but, I mean, I can try. I know what to do, at least, so <laughs> let's do it. There we go. Shield generators are destroyed. It's just at its hull now. As have to fucking fly to a spot where I can turn around. Brutal, man. Now we just gotta shoot all of these uh, exposed rods. And yeah, the ship should go down in a minute now. Well, we're trying to warp, but yeah, I don't think they're gonna be able to do it in 30 seconds. I basically got them destroyed right here. There we are. Ship destroyed. Let's go. Um, maybe, uh, I think we get a reward from that. Sweet. Pirate ship defeated. We got units received. We can uh, recruit pirate for gates, but uh, I think I'm all right. Uh, all I got to do is I got to find a place with exotic planets. Um, nearby exotic planet detected. Okay, there's a... T Let me see. Which one would that be? Sub-Zero? No. I don't know. Would it be Sub-Zero? I don't, I don't know if it would. I don't know. Perhaps it's like Sub-Zero world? I don't, like, I'm not sure. I just got to start going to them and checking them out, I guess. After that, the only discovery in the expedition left is to return to the Atlas and then I'm complete. I'll, I'll have it done. Now, I am not sure. I just got to start looking around, seeing if there's any types of creatures on this planet. You know what? I think it's not looking for something like this anyways. It's looking for exotic, like something gnarly. These are pretty standard looking creatures. I think I probably got to go to like a dead place or something. Somewhere where there's going to be like gnarly shit. Like maybe it's at this uh, contoured planet. Um, It's got gold and stuff there. So, f all right, let's see. I'll land and hopefully we got something cool on here. Now, oh, is that it? Is that an exotic? That Yeah, there we go. We've discovered bizarre life forms. We got it. We get the fuck out of here. We gotta go find the Atlas. Get the hell out. Get all my stuff. Transfer it to my main. Get the starship. Win the expedition. <laughs> Take two hours, my ass. That guide was full of shit. It uh, took me like six or seven. Good content, though. Like, it is good. Like, uh, almost like maybe even better than uh, just starting the game from fresh. Like... If you're able to start off an expedition, you'll probably get a good uh, amount of levels or whatever. But yep, now we just got to uh, find an Atlas interface. There's one down here. Can I get to it? Oh, yeah, I can in one jump. Let's go. Okay, we're going to go talk to the Atlas one last time. I'll complete this quest and then every part of the expedition has been done. Even... E even the optional quest, which, uh, wow, this has been a lot. All right, let's go up to him. Um, oh, we can discover Atlas words now. I guess it was, like, glitched out before because somebody else was at that place. I'm not gonna actually bother grabbing all of those, okay? I just want to get out of here. This is, like, my, like, side character or, like, my side life through my main save. Like, this will transfer over, but our time in this world is coming to an end. I stand before the Atlas once again. I've traveled thousands of light years. I've seen all it has asked me to see, every memory. But whose memories were they? Leto's? Mine? Did they belong to Atlas itself? What did they mean? What story was I being told? I'm just gonna walk away. Atlas remains silent as I leave. I do not know what I expected. This interface, this machine, this crimson dream, whatever it is, is it even capable of answering? What revelation did I expect? It does not owe me a story, a neat revelation. The only answer lies within the stars. I have no options but to keep exploring, keep reaching onwards. And when <laughs> we've listened to the Atlas, it told us nothing. <laughs> but, wow. Okay. There we go. I can uh, collect the Eclipse reward and boom. We've done it. Let me go and check and get phase five completed. That gives us a title, Starborn. Ooh, Omega decal plans, 1200 Quicksilver, pretty good. And then finally, the final reward, a Starborn Runner Starship. Um, wow. S tier 
really nice. Like, that is stacked. Let's compare starships and a, uh, let's claim that one for free. We've got it. The Starborn Runner. And I believe that should be a lot unlocked on, like, all my future playthroughs. Congra Congratulations, Traveler. The expedition is complete. Return to the Space Anomaly to review your achievements. Now, I've got a lot of items. I've got to go over to a, uh, the Space Anomaly. First, though, I'm going to go back to our first base just to pick out everything that I want to bring with us and everything else that I'm going to end up selling. We're going to see just how much money. I am super hyped to see just how much credits and units we've made over the course of this whole expedition. Like, I've done a lot. Explored many planets, found many creatures, fauna, fucking rocks and stuff. There should be a good bank, man. One of the things I know I need to do is go uh, spend the rest of the technology points that I have. I believe it's the more that you unlock, the better. So I'm going to try and get all of the uh, one decals, like decals that only cost one. And there we go. I almost got like multiple pages done with that. And I still have more on my uh, ship. Or no, that's just navigation data. Never mind. Let's go to the base. I'm gonna grab my items and come back and I'll show you what I'm bringing with me. So I know I definitely want to take my uh, creature eggs with me. Most of the stuff though, like antimatter and a lot of the stuff in here, I am getting rid of. But there is a lot that I definitely do want to bring with me. Like all this tech, a lot of that's worth good nanites. Now I've just got to go to the space station, do one last uh, thing of uh, like selling items. And then we will be good to go and head on out of here. With nine and a half hours left on expedition clock, I really pulled that off like just in time. I'm pretty certain that ship and like the rewards are like exclusive to that expedition. So I'm very happy to get that. Hopefully I can mess around with those in my other save files. Well, let's go. Let's review our expedition rewards. Um, not really any technology I want to bring. Oh, I can't transfer companion eggs. That's fucking sad. There's like not much that I really want to bring then. Um, most of the stuff can just be converted to money, I'd guess. Yeah, it really isn't much I'm going to bring back. I'm going to leave everything else here and let's end expedition. You're about to finalize the expedition. I am ready. So the items will be uh, returned to my primary save and my other items will be processed into units or nanites. Let's accept and get into this so woo, it's gonna start calculating up all the units that we get we got a uh 3, units for 300 discoveries made that's pretty good Jeez, i just got like 10,000 nanites from the base parts another 17k from the nanites that i did harvest wow so we got 31 million units 60 and there's all of our rewards there the starborn runner ship awesome so 31 million units 36,000 nanites and 10,800 quicksilver. I'll take that. And finally, we're going to be able to return to our main save and continue our way on to the center of a galaxy. Now, do I have that Starborn Runner ship in this save file? I'm not quite sure. Uh, oh, yeah, I got to er get them at the uh, quicksilver uh, synthesis companion. Let's do that. Collect expedition rewards. Oh, there's quite a few. You can see all the ones I've missed in the past that I'll never be able to get. But at very least, going all the way up, I can get these ones. Oh, Starborn Runner ship. Yes, please. I'll take that. I'm going to have to switch a lot of my modules over. Like, that ship is amazing. And we also got the Atlas Spectre. That's a really cool looking uh, multi-tool. Definitely going to take that. And then I'll grab all the other stuff, a quad egg, a sandworm egg, and a whispering companion egg. Nice. And then I can also create exotic items with my quicksilver. Like, wow, there are a lot. There's like base building parts, uh, gestures, and stuff for appearances. Uh, geez, man, yeah, you can really get decked out with this. But amazing, we're back here and it's like, I know it's past day 90 now. Only got like five hours or so to reach the center of a galaxy. Um, I am considering just going back to that one system that I found. But I also think I do have enough time just to like wormhole over there. It, it won't be the end of the world. Now, I really want to hatch those eggs soon. I just want to watch a video or like figure out how that all works before I go in there and maybe mess them up. But yeah, those are some really cool companions. Now, let me just check out what that other ship looks like. So, if I switch my docked ship into the Starborn Runner. Ooh. 
Look at that, man. That is a nice ship. That is sweet. I am going to go throw on my uh, other ship since it's already all loaded out. Yeah, there we are. Ready to go. We're back in the world. We got 37 million units and 57,000 nanites. That's insane. So I believe we just keep on hopping systems now. I should eventually get all of a sequence of uh, glyphs that I need to actually use the teleporters efficiently. So I think I might try to do that, like hop eight more systems. And then I, I might just go back to location one where it's like 5,000 light years away because this can be gnarly. I mean, this can be like another... 200 black holes or something away like, i'll try it for a little bit but i don't know how how lucrative it's gonna be oh look we got null you are not alone you can't go to the center you can't do this to us you can't leave us what uh insist i am going no you can't do this to us you can't the center the center of each galaxy it's the atlas it's all else just interfaces all else a shadow of its might man it's really it really sucks how it always cuts out when something important is being said like what he can't say adjectives you don't deserve it <laughs> you'll wipe us all ask how they know i did what i had to do i told you that i couldn't die without seeing everything that there was to see i did what i had to do but the atlas it won't let me back in it won't speak to me ask what Nall did i've committed such atrocities a traveler i had to it was me or them it's always been me or them. Please, if you go through the center, if you do what I did, it will reset everything. It will replace me, wipe me, all those souls, they'll have died for nothing. It was only the way, it was the only way to live on. You have to truly understand me. Life for more life. They sustained me. It can't all have been for nothing. Damn. Uh, I guess I'll say, I'll say goodbye to Noel. He screams at me to reconsider. Uh, yeah, no way, man. I already got this far in the game. Like, it doesn't he know why the marketing for this game focused on, like, trying to reach the center of a galaxy? I'm just not gonna do that because Null said so. I'm sorry, dude, but I'm not that attached to you. Oh, pirate ship, okay. I think this is gonna be, like, a consistent uh, little breakup in how fast we're able to get to uh, each zone. All right, we almost got this thing defeated right here. There we go. Ship defeated. Civilian fleet saved from pirates. Now I can continue going to wormholes. Like, each time I go to a wormhole, it brings me, like, about 5,000 light years closer. But that varies and is a little bit random. Like, sometimes I can get, like, near 10k. Sometimes I only go, like, 1k. Now, this is pretty fast without going to any of the space stations. Like, I'm hopping a lot. I could maybe do this to the uh, center of the universe, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I feel like it's just going to keep on getting like uh, more tedious and tedious the more amount of times that I do it. And there we go. I got glyph 16 out of 16. It says I still need a uh, two more atlas sequences, but I think that means I have all of the portal glyphs. Like right now, I've traveled a little over 60k in about 15 minutes. So I could do it this way. It's just I know it's going to take like maybe two hours to get all the way to the center finding a portal might just be ideal and whoa that's a cool planet it's got double ring on it of course it's a dead planet <laughs> fuck okay now it wants me to locate and enter the final portal which appears to be on uh this planet over here cool so it had the same idea as i did you know that would have been fucking insane to have to do like, I could have done it. You guys know I'm cracked enough to do it. Like, I would have definitely just jumped system to system until I got there. But, yeah, hopefully the portal speeds stuff up a little bit. All right, we got to land on this planet here. Oh, volcan volcanoes, like, everywhere. We got something that's going to be pretty hot here. <laughs> Uh, yep, 69 Celsius almost, like one point off from being the cool temperature. All right, looks like the portal is somewhere in this direction, so let's go find it. Oh, there we are. There's the final portal. Hopefully, that brings us to somewhere, like, close, like a, uh, the first time I did it. The first time I did it by accident, I just spammed the same fucking glyph. <laughs> I ended up getting, like, 5k light years away. All right, it is time to... To use this i gotta charge up all of these slots and last one there we are it's all charged up i should be ready to set it all right 16 16 16 <laughs> the portal shimmers as i look into it never quite resting long enough for my eyes to fully process it i must focus to activate the portal see just how far is this going to bring us from the center of the galaxy been a lot of work to get to this point even you know like just all these slots 
all the aliens I've met, the hundreds of different words, maybe over like a thousand, I think reaching near 2,000 different alien words I've learned. The S tier starship expeditions, the bases that uh, I'll probably scrap and make new ones because they really suck. <laughs> Let's see, where has it brought us? <laughs> what is my guy doing? Hovering. Okay, well, we're here. We are at a new location now. We got some loot right next to us. We got a breach. What? What is going on? So where is my uh, starship? Um, I did not see it anywhere. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, what? what is going on right now? 11 out of 10. Something ain't good. There's some kind of weird monster thing over there. A bubble guy or something. Look at that. Whoa. That's like a uh, really different type of species. But I think that's a countdown timer to something. Like, uh, not sure what to, but <laughs> something's going to happen in a minute. Maybe I'll stand over near this blue stuff and I'll watch it. Let's see. One more. And, uh, <laughs> imagine I just die. Whole planet explodes. Oh, yep. That's what's happening. Oh, here we are. We're, we're at the atlas. I don't think there's any words here for us to learn. It's just time for us to speak with him. Let's use the interface and talk. The atlas is silent. It watches me. I'll cry out. I cry out, but still, the atlas is silent. Um, really? I cry out, thinking of my journey. Thinking of all the things I have seen. Of Artemis, who wanted to meet another traveler who just wanted an end to their loneliness. I cry out, thinking of Apollo, who gave me purpose when all purpose seemed lost. And I cry out, thinking of Null, thinking of how they lived, what choices they made, the path that led them to this end. If I cry out again, there is no return. If I cry out again, I must make my final decision. Let's do it. Cry out. Artemis once said that when they reached out to the heavens, they had no idea what to expect. Beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. I stand before the interface of the Atlas, before the center of all things. I stand before the death of existence. Cry out one last time. On the sixth cry, the Atlas answers. Graveler. Um, do we sum submit or stand our ground? Um, I, I kind of feel like, I don't know, stand our ground. We're, we're pretty beast it now it speaks i understand at my command the atlas will initiate a reset this happened before and it seems to stop nothing it only has 16 minutes left i do not know what i will remember when it happens when i woke up next to my ship and i just performed a reset at someone else everything is coming to an end perhaps all that is left is to learn the final truth of simulation to know who the travelers truly are and then a thousand galaxies will be gone and a thousand more will appear. It will all be mine to explore. Um, so do we reset this simulation? I guess, I don't know. Ask if there's another way. I plead with the Atlas, but it does not listen. There's no other way. Well, um, I don't, uh, damn. Do I reset the simulation or do I refuse it? You know what, honestly, thinking of it, like I'd rather chill in a elusive galaxy where I have everything and I have my bases and stuff refuse the axis. I refuse. I cannot do this. I cannot wreak such destruction. The atlas allows me to leave. The author, the author remains open to me, should I wish to take it. Ooh, so if I want to, I can come back and I can, uh, wipe the galaxy or do a reset. Let's see, we're, um, we're, we're back on a different planet this time. Um, oh, way different system at least. Um, highest radiation level. What did it do? Spawn me in hell? Um, oh, we got a, uh, remembrance. A relic of another place. We have to find the heart of a sun. And, uh, what? Did I get rid of the heart of a sun? <laughs> I think I did. I think I destroyed it when I needed inventory space. I don't know. Yeah, let's, uh, go into our ship and go out to space. We'll see how far we are. Right now we are... Okay, so we're still not really at the center center. <laughs> so I guess the decision really was, like, basically to make a new galaxy and start playing in that one. And I think I could return to this one with teleporters. Or continue playing in this one, which is, uh, really interesting. I'm not really sure, like... Oh, well, a new galaxy would be cool. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to think of all the, uh, like, other stuff I could probably do in this one. And, uh, there, there's so much to find right now. Like, I haven't even touched my freighter. I just got these ships and other stuff ready. I don't know if they can hop galaxies or not, but... <laughs> Alright, here we go. I had to go grab some cadmium so I can make, um... That next, uh, what, state phaser. And make a, uh, the next one out of emeril. And then the next one out of indium. And then, finally, I can make the heart of the sun. And I can put that into there. Boom, it's installed. And a, um, everything you knew is within. 
I have no idea what that means. Does it make sense? No? Oh, maybe I should, <laughs> I should like go find out like what those do. Okay, so that's the uh, reward for completing the Artemis uh, storyline. Installing it grants one unit of core health and allows the player to operate remnants terminals placed behind Atlas version 2 and Atlas Pass version 3 doors. Okay, this is sweet. So now we've like completed the main quest line and I think it's pretty much up to me for what I want to do. One of those things is definitely base building. So I want to figure out a good game plan for the next 10 days. Like I don't know if I want to go to the actual center of a galaxy. I'm not really sure if I need to if there's anything super cool there other than like a bunch of players. All right, so I'm going to go out to space. I'll maybe visit the Atlas one more time. But then after that, I think I'm going to try to find a portal so that we can get closer to the center of a galaxy. Because if not, it's just going to take me forever to get over there. All right, here it is. Let's go inside and I'll see what's up in there. I'm not sure if we'll just have the uh, wonder thing that we can give him where he makes a new like gal uh, star or whatever. Or if he'll let us uh, make a new galaxy. All right, let's go up to the interface and see what it's talking about. Oh, uh, yeah, it just looks like the other one where we presented a planet or uh, animal and whatnot. And then it uh, gives us a new word. Some nanites. Okay, so not too much. I'm going to go to a space station then. That way I can try to get what I need to be able to find like a portal in this system. And then once we find a portal, we should be able to get close to the center of a galaxy. I think it might be about time to change our appearance. I've had quite a bit of fun as playing with, uh, with the uh, Gek, but... I'd like to kind of go with a uh, taller race for the end of it. All right, there we go. Now he's looking gnarly. That looks like a high quality character. Let's apply changes. And there we go. Now we're a bit taller. Oh man, that does feel a bit better. I'm not quite sure. I'm thinking uh, it might be ancient artifact sites. I really got uh, no idea if uh, I can be certain on that. I'll go check it out though. I do have some eggs that are ready to hatch. Um, oh, companion register full. Yeah, this is not what I am uh, looking for, but uh, we're getting close, I think. Maybe seek knowledge of a past. And uh, no, this is just a site, but we'll at least get some loot here. All right, let's put the locks in there and then grab that loot. Nice, we got a rare item, 800 years old worth about 700k. So I'll just keep on going through these until maybe I might find a portal. Alien monolith. You know, that might be it. I'm not quite sure. Let's see. Uh, there's nothing loaded in yet, so <laughs> I can't see if that's it or not. Um, oh, damn, no, it isn't. All right, let's see what it will give me for an option. Maybe it'll lead me towards a, uh, a portal. Um, nope, I fucked it up. Wh whatever I chose did not go well. I lost a standing with the Viking. Well, that fucking sucks. Ooh, we got a space station over here, but uh, I'm trying to check out Monolith over here. I'm hoping it's a portal. Um, shit, it is not. Damn, I got one more to plot out. I'll look at that one event. If I can't find one with that, I'll try to find a portal using a different method. And yeah, no luck on this last one. Um, oh, there we go. We can lo locate a portal. Finally, okay. I had to answer the dialogue right. Now, I can, uh... Yep, go that way. And I did hear that a, uh, it'd be a smart idea if I use a different ship. Um, so I might go back to like our starter ship later when I'm going to the core of a galaxy. Just because I've heard that it'll like destroy your, not destroy, but damage all the parts on your multi-tool and your ship. So it would be a good idea to uh, switch that out to one that I'm not really using, seeing as I got a bunch of them. All right, here it is. All I got to do is land. And then we just got to charge up each one of these uh, glyphs with different materials. All right, there we go. The portal is up. I should be able to uh, enter some coordinates. Let's activate portal and then a um. I just gotta make sure to get this all right. So bird, bird, whale, got um tree, wave, weird shape, double triforce again, and then whale. Oh, uh, wherever that is down here. There we go. Okay, this should work. This should bring us like right next to the center of a galaxy. All right, let's hop in the portal, see where it brings us. I feel like this is more reasonable than me just hopping for like two hours, you know? <laughs> like at very least now we got a little bit of time to explore the new galaxy. There we go, we are here. Woodle R44. Looks like, yep, this is 
I believe the uh, right place. There looks like there's some settlements here. If it's an active place in the game, then chances are it's probably right in the core of the universe. All right, so let's go over to my ship. I'm going to go into space and let's see just how far we are. We should be around 2,000 light years away if I did this right. Let's see. Yep, there we are. Look at that. 2.8 thousand light years away. I'm going to stop by the uh, space station and make note of the name of this place because I do want to make sure that I can come back to like the center of a galaxy. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, we'll be sent to a new galaxy, like be able to explore new planets based on like different variables and other stuff. But uh, um, we're still going to be able to return back here. Like I, I should still be able to return my settlement and whatnot. All right. So just to uh, check, this system is called... Uh, Nazalen run so i'll try to remember that for if i want to uh return to this place but yeah we're not too far now we're like 2,000 light years away i can really do this in like probably three jumps let's ma start making our way more towards the middle of the universe we can basically look at that we can see it right here we're right next to it all right so i think to do this we just gotta select the uh galactic core let's select that star yep galaxy center like good over like 50 hours worth of uh effort to do this let's do it let's warp to the galaxy center and see what it holds up for us i think this will be way cool than doing it through the story quest way whoa soundtrack's getting crazy oh shit man our adventure all the aliens we found all the loot we got all the money we made all the contraband we smuggled and sh stuff it's all coming back to me Imagine, it just brings us back to like 7 million light years out, dude. <laughs> Can you imagine? Come on, new galaxy time. Give me the rich galaxy. Give me the galaxy that's full of like cool shit. I want one of the items that spawn on the planets to be steam codes or some shit like that, you know? If this is really going through like all the stars and planets in the game, though, that is insane. Like, the actual uh, master scale of this game, like a lot of it is like procedurally uh, generated, but wow it's just it's insane even compared to like eve online like eve can barely like uh touch just how big in scale this game is at least when it comes to like exploration and finding like new places and stuff like that Ooh, what do we have now hilbert dimension holy shit i gotta do my research on that what's the hilbert dimension all about oh that's the second galaxy in no man's sky okay oh here we are begin initialization Oh, just like the start of a game. Well, <coughs> oh, what? We were there, but now we're not. Oh, and noise. What? I guess this is a, we're in a new system. Um, I've discovered this. That's pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, everything's gonna be damaged. Jeez. Oh, dude, that's nasty. It's so much stuff. So I'm gonna have to go and buy a bunch of wiring loom and other materials. Jeez, dude, that's a lot of stuff that's uh broken. All right, let's scan the area and try to find our starship. It's somewhere around here. Oh, uh, I don't even want to scan right now. Like, it's not even worth it because I won't get any credits. I'll probably go to a space station like right away because. Because, yeah, it's going to be brutal if I don't. All right, here we are. Now, I think I'm probably going to need to make, like, the basic materials. Some stuff to repair a few of the things in my ship. I should have remembered that tip I just told you guys, like, two minutes ago. Switching my ship and my multi-tool. Like, well, what use that was? I had that in my mind for, like, no reason. We have an iteration thing over here. Let's broadcast it. And now we start the new galaxy. Just, we don't have to do, like, a main story quest line right now. It's, like, completely up to me what we want to do. So first, we got to repair our ship and stuff. This is brutal. We've got a message coming in. Uh, settlement comms link established. New Sentinel forces approach our settlement. Convergence cannot survive unknown Sentinel show. Help overseer entity. Okay, so we could try to look for some a uh, planetary uh, settlements later. So let's see. We need to make a uh, the launch thrusters work, and then we need to make the uh, pulse drive work, and then oh man, there's a disgusting amount of stuff to repair on here oh my god to repair the remembrance item i gotta make another heart of a sun that's so toxic <laughs> do I not have like any repair kits can i not just use those or something oh yeah no i can i can just reply uh the uh, repair kit for all the uh really painful stuff to get so wiring loom i'll probably buy it but after yeah at least it won't be uh too unbearable to get all this uh repaired all right let's get out into space scan the galaxy and find out how far are we from this galactic core i'm gonna guess like millions of light years again um uh no 700 000. honestly that's not that much 
Like, I can get to the, uh, middle in not that, uh, long a time. But we'll mess about in this galaxy, see how it is. I want to discover some of these planets here and, like, set up a really nice base somewhere. All right, here we are at the space station. And just to check, I want to go to, like, my other settlement in the other galaxy and then swap back to here just so you, you know, like, make sure it's all easy. My ship isn't all gonna break again after I repair it. All right, I got all the wiring loom that I need. Now I just gotta go through and repair all my components. Okay, I got everything in my exosuit repaired. Now I just gotta work through my starship. Jeez, I ran, I ran through 40 fucking wiring loom through to all of this. I got no more repair kits as well. I'm all out, and I still got my multi-tool to go through. All right, so I'm probably gonna have to find, like, another system, go to another space station, and get a bit more materials, but I got at least half of my stuff repaired. Ooh, there might be some good stuff with these modules. Let me see. What's that? Um... Nice, nice, that's really good. I'm just gonna dismantle one of our broken uh, technologies and move that over. And yeah, there's like still plenty of upgrades for me to get to my exosuit. Like even though I got a lot of these set up, I can always get like better ones, you know? Like this one, pretty crap, just minus 21 downtime. Now I have minus 18% downtime, but I have all these other like bonuses on it, you know? If I could find like black market ones that are even better, then that'll be ideal. All right, here we go. I got everything I need to pretty much repair all of the components on my starship as well the only thing that remains is a few things in my multi-tool like i need to get a uh, dehydrogen for so i might just go back to base quick see if i have that there if not i'll go out looking for the materials all right there we go now i only got like four modules left that i need to repair all right sweet i actually have everything on me to uh get everything repaired that's crazy but there we go back to normal we're ready to adventure all right i also got these uh sentinel like upgrades to throw on um obviously like this one isn't that good but if i get some really good ones that's just like uh free buffs for my multi-tool all right i got my inventory cleared i think i'm about ready to go back to that last system i go check my settlements quick now that my uh machine multi-tool is repaired and i'm not gonna get there with no weapons all right oh big guy spawned he's a blaze javelin on him because it stuns him and then i can get those uh repair robots down stun him go on the repair robot yeah, Blaze Javelin's sick. Nah, and I just gotta shoot it. <laughs> I like how one of my citizens, he's just walking by. It's, oh yeah, it's another day. Like, dude, I don't, I don't know how my citizens don't think I'm, like, setting them all up or I'm lying to them, you know? You think, you think every time I come back to base, there's just fucking sentinels appearing out of thin air? Like, everybody was safe before, now I'm here for sentinels, but don't worry, I'll save everybody. Like, they don't even know. I got them all pinned under a conspiracy. But we got a, uh, anonymous broadcast, uh, coming in. Let's go check that out. What's going on with that? Um, this terminal is fascinating. It's recorded all sorts of data about you and these settlers. I can see they've been, um, well, that is not the point. I've shut down your little major domo for now. Robots cannot be trusted. Not with what I have to tell you. Um, we can demand answers or we can listen. Let's listen to what he has to say. Anyone with their eyes open could see a sentinel spike of that magnitude, even if they weren't spying on you. What happened? Did they leave any interesting tidbits behind? See what you can find, then come to the anomaly. I have to know more. So that's the iteration guy from the anomaly. Okay. Um, I'll signal my agreement. I'll let him know. However, any other, yeah, no other, uh, settlement decisions to make. Let me go check out this thing over here. What else do we need to, uh, finish building? Two quantum computers. I don't think that's too hard. No, we just need microprocessor. Oh, of course, we need carbon for that. So, <laughs> yeah, I gotta... All right, there we go. Two quantum computers. Let's put that in. I don't know why I... Unless, uh, this is, like, just the final tier, because, uh, I thought I had this finished being built, but there we go. Two more hours, and then that guy will be built. And, ooh, we have a stranger in the office. Who is that? Let's, uh, greet the visitor. A stranger named Scout Entity Corey has requested an audience. They have damaged their upper sump, but they do not explain how. A puddle of liquid is accumulating at their feet. Um... Yeah, we could just increase settlement debt by 6,000, and then we get an increased standing with the Corvax. That sounds like a pretty good deal. Oh, yeah, three standing? That's fucking baller. All right, so <laughs> somebody's going to the overseer's office right now. I better run. All right, now that everything's repaired, I think I'm going to actually try to explore some of the planets in the system. Like, I'll go to a system with a nice economy, and then I'll check it out. Oh, of course, man. Fucking pirate ship. Gotta go destroy it. I mean, I'll get my free rep. It's always worth it, I guess. All right, half of a ship down, just another half to go. It's not, it's really not too difficult. Once you get used to a uh, flying in between these two spots, 
It's like pretty consistent and easy. It is trying to flee, but I, I think we're gonna destroy it in time. It this one is a little bit stronger than the other ones. But this is like a three-star system, so that'd be expected. There we go. Civilian fleet saved from pirates. Pirates were not able to flee. Explode the whole ship. We got 700,000 units, some nanites, and then a, uh, some standing increase with the Gek. I'll take it. And with that, we reach uh, rank 8 with the Gek, so that's really good. I think there's only like one more rank that we can get with the Gek, or like it goes up to rank 9. So I think now I'm just going to start exploring this system. We'll see what kind of planets. Ooh, like a tropical planet. That might be good. And I'll probably explore like each planet in this system before I decide like which one exactly I want to settle on. I want to do something unique with this one. Like this is end game we still got like a full week left in game to make this really cool so i got some decent plans in my head this planet's like decent so far it's not too out of a norm like decent amount of flying animals animals on the ground animals in the water like it is what you expect so so far I i'm not quite sure if uh like it this one isn't too bad but it just doesn't seem too great either yeah, so far, there's not really too much on here. Let's go check out the next planet. We got a shattered planet over here. I don't think I'll make a base on it, but I'll go check it out at least. All right, let's land and check it out. We got a, uh, a building down here, so that's cool. Let's see. I think it's just, yeah, a little location. Just... Yeah, just a save and chart. Nothing else much here. Oh, uh, we do got these uh, wild looking plants um, and cubes in the air. I've been to a few planets like this already, but I did not see like any wild. Oh, never mind. There's wildlife right there. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, navigational data. Like, it's somewhat helpful, but not really. You kind of find that a lot everywhere. Oh, no, I guess a uh, different planet. <laughs> Oh, well, we got a poisonous planet over here. That sounds pretty threatening, but let's check it out. I could get this S tier mining beam, so let me see how good that is. Uh, pretty good, I think. Yeah, a lot better than this one. So I'm going to take that off, then I can uh, move this technology, and then I can also finish installing my survey device onto here so I can scan for gas clouds. All right, here we are. Yeah, this place looks pretty pretty fucking toxic all right yeah i'm not seeing too much uh that's making me want to stay on this planet and we got a moon over here i'm not sure how this place will be but let's go check it out it's a frozen moon so we'll have like frozen stuff here obviously whoa look at that dude man that guy looks gnarly can i befriend him can i make him a pet do i have creature pellets on me i do yo he's huge bro okay sweet i interacted with him um and adopt him right now. Where's my companion register? Let's uh, unlock some new slots here. 5,000 nanites, 10,000 nanites. Jeez. Okay, definitely. Let's grab this guy. Um, <laughs> Look at him. He looks wild. Adopt as companion. Sweet. Nice. We got him. I gotta get a photo of him in photo mode. Let me get it when his mouth is open. Uh, try to... Oh, oh, no. My bad, man. My bad. All right, let me try to uh, pet him. We'll give him treats and uh, heal him up. And can I ride him? Oh, this is sweet, man. Look at that. Yeah, this is the end game, dude. We have reached it. All right, I kind of like this planet now. That guy's cool. And there's only one more species I need to discover, so I'll try to keep an eye out for that. Now, it looks like the last one is an underground type, so i got to try to look for somewhere underground. All right, there's now a snowstorm. I can barely see. I couldn't find that last guy. Let's go to the next planet. Oh, is that the last guy? Is that the last one? Holy shit, it, it actually is. It's crazy. He wasn't underground. He was, he was not underground at all, but cool. We got it. We got the nanite bonus. Let's get out of here. Okay, so there's that cloudy planet down there. I have. I don't think I've been to a cloudy planet. What the hell was that? All right, here we are. Uh, it does not look like the planet is made of clouds like I assumed, but at least we can land on it. <laughs> so we'll check this one out and then go to the last one in this system. All right, about done with this planet. Got a lot of different scans on it. And then I think there's just one more planet that I got to find in this system. Yeah, it's just an unknown moon. It's a worm ridden moon, so that should be cool. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> this might be the most barren out of every like place we've gone to. Yeah, the, the whole screen's going gray right as I land. Like, looks like the 1940s. Yeah, I just... I don't think this is the planet to be. <laughs> it does not seem that fun here, man, if, I, if I'm being honest. 
But at very least, we've touched down on each planet in this system to, and they, uh, discovered them. I might go to a different system, honestly. Like, I didn't really find a planet that I like. The tropical planet was, like, close, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. Before I do that, though, I am gonna go through and try to rename all of these guys. Just adding on, a uh, CKC to them, you know, giving my trademark to them. A caustic nightmare. Yeah, that place look. I definitely gotta go check that one out. This system has, ooh, number six planets. I'll keep on looking around until I find one that I really like. Hostile scan. What? We saw beyond these walls. We saw a world of death. We can take you there. What? You can get out of here, man. You can come fight me. Where are they? Bastards. I'll kill them. Yeah, this guy's got a little bit of shield, but not enough. There we go. One down. There we go. Got the second one. Yeah, the weapons we have on this ship are just great now. Like, I hit them with this stuff. It, like, shreds the shield. And then the uh, rocket does a bunch of hull damage. And it's just shooting them a bit with the laser. And these are, like, pretty strong ships, I'd say. Like, they're a bit stronger than most of the, like, pirates we run into. I just gotta take down two more. There we go. Last ship destroyed. Got it. And our standing increased, so that's decent. Maybe I'll go to this, uh, Caustic Nightmare. That, that looks like a fun planet. Oh, whoa. It's one of those, like, eyeball creatures. Those things are weird. Oh, jeez, man. There's a bunch of worms here. Like, this place is nasty. And I do not know about these other planets. They all look pretty rough. Let's keep popping systems until I can find, like, a nice tropical planet or something. We got an airless planet. That's the first planet I scan. Wow. What a shit start. Uh, whoa, that one looks kind of nice. What's that? Paradise planet. Oh, yeah. Let's go there. That's what I'm talking about, man. That, that looks like a good place to be. Where we will conquest and we will raise a flag and make a new base here because I really want like a good base, you know? My other base was like pretty like fast and put together. This one we're going to go all out as now it's a lot easier for us to get materials. All right. Let, whoa, that's a fucking glare and a half if I've ever seen one. Oh, is it all water here? That's why. I right, try to find somewhere on this planet with land because <laughs> I, I don't want to live in the water. Here we are. That looks nice. Like land with water over there. Oh, yeah, this place could be cool. Let's stop by the space station first. Or not station, but a uh, little place here. Now, what does it cost to make those, like, other Atlas passes? Looks like, uh, Emerald and Microprocessor and Cadmium and Microprocessor. Okay, so I can actually do that right now, I think. Just like this. Yeah, there we go. So, this should let us explore, uh, more locations in these, uh... Are you kidding me? I made two version two ones? Fuck me. There we go. Now I got a version 3. Get rid of other one. So when we explore these places, we should be able to get more loot, I believe. So I, I just gotta find the entrance to it. I can't find the front door for it. There are 13 different species on this planet. That guy's huge as well. Look at him, man. He, look how big he is compared to me. Crazy, man. Let's give him some food. We can collect eggs off of him. Oh, that's pretty cool. We got creature egg. I don't think that's like a hatchable egg. I believe we just cook with that or something. Still pretty decent. Okay, here's the front. Let's uh go go inside and they, um oh cool. There's a geck here. It's a geck observatory. Uh low units technology. Oh, cool. Okay. We can uh request an exosuit upgrade or a uh a weapon upgrade. I think I'm gonna go grab a weapon upgrade for 15,000. There we go. Scanner module. Nice. Let's see what kind of module that one is. Um, not too good, honestly. Our other ones we have right now are a bit better, so I want to go and store that one. Now let's go and a uh, interact with the observatory. Um, there we go. Oh, nice. I got the right um answer, and I got rewarded. What do I get? Um, oh, a signal. Cool. So we got a uh, site of interest to check out next. Oh, somewhere on a different planet. Okay. But still, that's cool. Now, let's try to see. Can we get back to here? Locked door. Let's go through. And then we still have our Atlas Pass version 2. Yeah, we do. So, yeah, they work the same way as the version 1. This is like a uh, a pretty cool room. We can search these things. That just gives us carbon and whatnot. Um, a decent amount of it, honestly. Not too bad. And then a of a tier 3 or no tier two again uh just a bunch of carbon plants okay this one not really that impressive but uh i mean it is what it is oh cool we also got a relic site like right next to us over here so i'll go check that quick all right here we are let's see what do we get from this one we got 
a 1,000-year-old book. That's pretty cool. That's worth another 700k. Like, those are kind of worth it, but we're making, like, good money from scanning. Like, I was at 45 million earlier. Now I'm at 65 mil. All right, this planet's, like, all right. It's not the best in the world, but it's got a decent selection of stuff, so I might come back to it. I would like to go to that one planet where it said that a uh, thing was the airless planet. Um... Yeah, I have not been to it yet, so let's go check it out. All right, here we are. Yep, an ancient ruin. Let's check it out. I see, like, no rocks. Um, I see no, like, plants other than, like, one oxygen plant all the way out there. There we go. At least scan that down. That's, like, <laughs> that's like 30% of the plants on this planet. All right, so I'm going to grab these knowledge stones and then interact with this thing. Let's see. What does it have to say? The first spawn is the Scourge of the Outer Edge. In its wake, empires will fall. Planets will crumble. Galaxies will kneel. Tremble at our name. For we are the almighty Gek. None can oppose our ascendance. None can oppose our ascendance. Um, oh, should we, uh, yeah, let's just, I don't know, I guess seek help with language. My knowledge of a Gek increases. Nice. I don't think there's much on this planet to really find. Like, uh, it looks pretty fucking barren to me, bro. We got a bubbling planet. That could be cool. I like those bubble planets. Those are fucking sick. All right, we are entering the atmosphere. Let's check it out. Um, yeah, wow. This place looks pretty gnarly. There are bubbles everywhere. I did not see much else. Oh, look, a bubble monster or creature guy. He's like a half full balloon or something. That's, that's pretty different looking. Cool. We got a bubble cluster over here. What is that? Do it pick it up? Okay, cool. Um, oh, we do have an S-tier deep level mineral deposit. I almost want to figure out where that is. It says it's down there, so maybe I will try to uh, go down into the ground. Uh, it's just kind of stopped me, so I, I don't know. There's got to be a different way to get to it. Uh, it looks like, yeah, it's just around over here. Here we are. Let's see. What is it? It is a uh, magnetized ferrite. Hmm. Maybe, uh, you know what? I'll put a save beacon down here so I don't lose the location activate that and then a, um i should be able to come back here or find uh this spot pretty easily within this system and whoa man these balloon guys are gnarly like <laughs> i like how we, we can feed all of them with like uh random stuff and they uh they give out berries wow and i adopt this guy as the companion oh cool nice his name hey his name is crocato He's got Croc in his name too, man. He's just like me. But he's a balloon and shit. And he's feeling sad right now. So I'll give him some treats. Make him feel better about life. And then a, uh, I can't ride him, unfortunately. But um, it's pretty cool. Little balloon creature. Now, how many uh, companions or creatures can I um obtain in total? It looks like there's, okay, three pages. So about 18. And it gets more and more expensive. Like 20,000 nanites for that one. And yeah, 20,000 nanites for each slot after that. So I'll keep my 25k nanites uh, because I might need to buy stuff eventually. But yeah, at least I can have a good number of uh, pets and creatures if I really want to. I'm like, whoa, look at this dude, man. That guy looks gnarly. All right, here we are. Last planet in this system. It is a glacial planet, so I'm guessing it'll be colder, and we'll see what's on here. <laughs> yeah, temperature minus 100. <laughs> Fucking insane. Um, what do we got here? Ooh, galactic exchange terminal. That's gnarly. Some pretty cheap goods here, too. We got another one of these guys. We feed lost circuits to, and then a, um... I don't know exactly what he does for us. Nothing, I guess? <laughs> Yeah, nothing else really on this planet. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that paradise planet. And I might try to find like either a trade outpost or somewhere cool. Is that a predatory creature? Cool. I have a quest to kill people or uh, creatures like that. So that's good. All right. Now let's go out to space. And I might just go to the space station first. Try to get some charts. Oh my god. Look at that. Most... That looks like a piece of shit for a pistol. It's a B-class, you know what? It's probably better than most, but what a rinky-dink fucking thing that is. <laughs> now, right now, I'm sitting at 74 million units. Like, we earned a lot of money just by scanning down those planets. Oh, yeah, before I go, let me go to the cartographer so I can find the uh, places that I need. I already have charts for settlements, so I can try to find a new settlement in this system, preferably an S-tier one. 
I believe it'll be a planetary chart for a uh, inhabited outpost. Let me get a few of those. Although we'll go down onto the uh, paradise planet and try to find one there. All right, so now that I'm back on the planet, I just got to go grab my charts. I believe it'll be uh, this one right here. And let's go find a spot, hopefully on this planet. Um, an observatory. I do not think that's what I'm looking for. Oh, uh, looks like we got a couple buildings here at least, so that's good. Oh, this guy has a task he requires help with. What does he need? A uh, scan for planets. Damn. Or scan for plants. Oh, are those new plants? Or a, uh... Oh, no. Well, I'll try, I guess. Um, damn, it sucks. I kind of already scanned everything uh, here, like, earlier. I don't know if there's much left for, like, plants for me to scan. Oh, there's one there. I might be able to luck out. There's two. Um, three. Oh, shoot, man. One more, and I actually got it. <laughs> it's really cutting it close. Oh, I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. There's one. Yeah, scan four unique plants. Booyah. That was a quick mission, man. Let's uh, report our success back to him. Hand in mission. There we go. We got a storage augmentation and a Gex standing increase. And uh, yeah, these back rooms are like the same as the, uh, the other building. Just a bunch of carbon plants. Nice. I got another new location revealed to me. Um, is it on this planet or? Oh, it's probably one of those uh, sites where they're only worth like 700k. Like they're all right, but it's kind of better just to scan like planets and stuff. I think right now, if I really want to make money, I'm sure there's even better ways to make money than that. But I'm just saying, you know, all right, maybe instead, I kind of want to see if there's like a settlement on this planet. If there's a nice one here, I'll go and take it. You know, I'll go, uh, become an overseer planetary settlement located cool it's uh just that way and it does look like it's on this planet and here we are we got an unknown building right next to it i think this is like a sentinel one all right i got the door destroyed i just have to go in here and i should be able to turn off the alarms it needs organic matter okay so let's uh insert carbon there we go nice facility is back online i think i'm gonna uh Hmm, maybe create a multi-tool expansion slot. That'd be pretty good. And the Sentinels have deactivated. Sweet. Now, I'm going to try to check out that uh, settlement that's on this planet. Hopefully, it's a nice tier one. Like, I want an S tier, but I'll settle at A. Because I do not want to take another C tier or a B tier settlement, you know? And yeah, here we are. There's some Star Bowl beside here as well. That's pretty good. I'll pick that quick. All right, so we got planetary settlement right here. Let's uh, apply for settlement. It's a C tier, not what I want. So let's say scrap that, screw that. Let's scan for another one. Maybe we'll have better luck somewhere else, unless it just brings us right back here. Like, is there one per planet? Oh yeah, no, it does. Damn, okay, so that's pretty unfortunate. I might need to look on different planets for like a better settlement. That one's pretty ass. Okay, if I can't find a settlement or whatever, that's fine. But I am going to settle a base down somewhere. I'd like it to be, like, somewhat near the water. Preferably, like, on a hill or elevated. Like, somewhere around here it looks like a decent location. Alright, so right now I just gotta flatten out all the area around me and whatnot. I used to make this, like, an actual spot that I can uh, live and do stuff. I'm basically just getting rid of all the like really bumpy or big terrain that's like around me in a circle i can always work on it later but for now that's a pretty decent like clear spot to build okay so let's start with a base computer um i think i'm probably gonna have the area like somewhere outside i'll put it down right here and then i'll activate it let's claim this base and sweet now we can start building all right so let's start with a foundation probably uh something like right there and then i'll do a cylinder room we'll put a uh, door on it like one on this side and then i need a uh, ramp going up to it um hmm i cannot find a uh, ramp so maybe i'll try to use a terrain map manipulator and a um let's try to just a uh create a little bit of terrain over it. yeah that did not work <laughs> now i cannot find the ramp in here for the life of me so either i do not have it yet <laughs> or i gotta go uh find it somewhere else. oh down up here here we are timber ramp wait that is not the one i am looking for all right you know i, I think i'm going to a different galaxy I, I think i could find a better system or base setup in this all right so let me see if i activate one of those uh settlement charts in space no i can't oh i got pirates attacking sweet all right one left yeah these pirates are not that hard in this s tier ship 
And plus, I have my uh, buddy helping me. Like, I really, uh, if I wanted, if I had anything I'd love to spend more time on the game for is definitely maybe the Forgate uh, part because you got a whole ship full of, like, crew and, like, different things we can do on there. I just haven't really explored that part of a game yet. But still, it's cool having at least one guy come out during these battles to help us. All right, let's see. Are there any settlements out here? I do not see any. <laughs> I think I got ripped off for that one. I'm going to stop at the uh, space anomaly quick as well because I have a little bit of uh, data that I can, or salvage data that I can get rid of and get a few more blueprints before I start building. One of the things I do want to check quick because I made like 10k Quicksilver is this guy over here. He has a bunch of like cool stuff for sale. Oh, we can get different jetpack trails. Yo, that, that, that's bomb. I, I need to get one of those. Let me look at everything that they have first before uh, I start picking stuff. Uh, it's mostly like different emotes and like uh, random stuff. Nothing uh, too big. These faces though are uh, pretty unique. Oh, oh damn, man. Tethys, that, uh, geez, dude. I, uh, that looks like a croc if I, if I ever seen one. I think I got to get that. 3,200. That's worth it. I see. I, I am really tempted to uh, go back to being a Gek if, because uh, that a uh, new head or whatever was sick. Where is it? A, uh... Oh, there we go. Okay, so I found it. It's not under uh, Gek. It's under Traveler. So that's cool. So my guy gets like taller. All right, there we are. Now we got it. Yo, that is sick. We are like a real No Man's Sky elite now. Look at us. Jeez, man, that's a lot better than the Gek where you're like tiny, small. I really like that a lot. Now, looking at what I can get, um, I definitely need the access ramp. I, yeah, I didn't have it unlocked. I need a climb ladder. I'm going to need corridors. Damn, man. I, I still got a lot of different stuff I'm going to have to unlock. Yeah, I'll need to grind for like salvage data before I even like like worry about making like a better base i might just start exploring and uh doing exactly that then all right let's see if on this toxic planet there's a uh, a settlement um no can't locational interference yeah i don't think there oh wait now we can let's see is there actually one on this planet oh wow yeah there is okay no i haven't really taken care of my other settlement in a bit like i haven't been there in like <laughs> about a week in game you know i haven't really been looking after it but i swear the moment i get an s tier settlement that'll all change i'll treat i'll treat them a lot better all right let's check it out let's uh apply to be overseer c tier settlement for th you gotta pay three geknik to become overseer that's cracked okay that's good to know because it'll probably be like a really stupid requirement for s tier so I think I'll just keep on hopping like system to system, going to cool planets or like planets that I want to check out. Because I am enjoying that. I'm getting like good money from doing that. But the moment I find a settlement that's actually worth claiming, then I'll try to become the overseer of it. Ooh, a paradise planet. Okay, that's a, a first stop for sure. Yeah, there are some big creatures on here. Some flying ones, lots of water too. Like plenty of uh, sites of interest, like a couple knowledge stones here. Okay, so let's uh, activate one of those uh, planetary charts. I bought a few more when I was at that last space station, so we should be good for a bit. All right, oh. let's see. How are these guys doing? Better be better than a friggin' C tier. <laughs> uh, damn, C tier. Are you kidding me? There's probably like a method to madness, like some type of way to uh, ensure that you get the best quality results, but a transmission tower. Hmm, wonder if there'll be anything uh, cool in here. Let's see, there is a guy in here. They have a task they need help with. Um, scan for minerals. Oh, man. It's so rough because, like, I've just scanned pretty much all the minerals on the planet. Let me go check the network. Oh, this says Lost Blue Planet. I don't think I've ever been to one of those, so I'm gonna check that one out. Yeah, really, like, not too much on this planet. At least, uh, not that I would want to take care of or, uh, own myself. Ooh, Paradise Planet. It might be time to start going planet to planet. I saw a, uh... A mechanical planet over here, which I do want to check out. It seems like this place has four planets and two moons. So plenty of stuff for us to scan, plenty of money to make, and we're at 86 million units right now. If I can cap off at like around 100 mil before it ends, that'd be sweet. All right. Whoa. Okay. Let's enter the atmosphere. Definitely some different stuff here. Now, what are those things? Can I, like, no, I can't mine them. It's uh, pretty wacky. 
I can mine this one. Pure ferrite and sodium. Okay. Oh, look. We, we do got a ship here. I think that's just a C tier ship. The Skylark of Jeopardy. Uh, No, it is B class. It's not like the worst in the world. I'm sure I have a C tier ship that I could get rid of if I have uh, all my slots full. That's a cool like random find. I, I just landed here randomly and got that. Yeah, I think I got room it to uh, just claim this ship and add it to my... Uh... It's worth 6.4 mil and it's an explorer ship, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Still, not uh, better than the current <laughs> ship that I'm using. My uh, S tier, like this S tier ship that I've been rocking with for most of the series. Like this thing, like if you see it in a space station, I definitely say it's worth a 60 mil. It's helped so much. Oh, nice. I found a space station on this moon. That's pretty sweet. It is an all consuming cold. <laughs> it's a brutal temperature. Um, I don't see any life forms here. Like there's no one here. <laughs> there's a trade terminal. But, uh, yeah, there's no ships landing or uh, coming here. It is really eerie. Well, I think that's pretty much it for this moon. I'm gonna go to the other planets next. Jeez, it's like 302 Celsius on this planet. It's crazy hot. My, like, ship is literally smoking just by being on this planet. <laughs> it's insane. Yep, this is another just hot planet. You know, in this entire system, I haven't found a single type of animal. I don't think there's any uh, animals or fauna in this system. There we go. New system. Finally, there's some creatures here. All right. Wow. I, I still have not found a planet that a, uh, I really think I would like to settle on in this system and call my own. There's just so much variety and whatnot. It's like, I don't want to settle with what whatever I get, you know? When we can have like a cool dinosaur and bubble planet or something. So I think I'm going to go to the space station quick. I want to go back to uh, my settlement. My s and then after that, uh, oh, I might as well go check out the anomaly. Spend all the uh, salvage data that I got. Unlock all the prefabs that I can and then see what I can do. Maybe on my uh, for gate because I haven't even touched that yet. And I have a bunch of modules from blowing up pirate ships for it. All right, let's see. I got, well, 43 salvage data. That's a decent amount. At least I can get a lot of these uh, prefabs here. Only thing I can't get is that hollow door. Now, I've got pretty much everything that I can from here. Let me go back to my other spots. First, our settlement settlement. We should have that new building uh, finished construction there. Oh, of course, there's Sentinel forces here. Why wouldn't there be? Oh, oh no, I went to go pick up the loot and I started talking to somebody that was running by. Now is not a good time for small talk. We got to <laughs> take down these Sentinels. Yet another day of me uh, arriving at my base and... Uh, Conveniently, the Sentinels attacking and not being able to kill me. All right, we are getting it, man. Yo, I love our face now, like on the left there. <laughs> like the customization in this, this game is a uh, pretty top tier compared to other ones. Gameplay loop and everything. Like I said, like there's still like probably another hundred hours of content for me to go mess about with. Let's see, anything going on in here? A uh, citizen dispute? Oh, we got a uh, a criminal thing. Um, let's set the uh, accused guy free so that there's no problems. I don't want anyone getting mad from that. And then, yeah, looks like the new uh, building over here is done. This is supposed to help our settlement make more money. Um. <laughs> can't really see shit right now but yeah technology merchant um we can even buy stuff from him too so that's pretty nice uh, this settlement's not the best it's all right a hey, 69 citizens that's what i'm talking about it is pretty good man oh we're um we're actually making activated indium and welding soap uh from this place okay that's actually like really useful <laughs> somebody inside's trying to escape right now <laughs> what if you're trying to escape the settlement i hope not we just hit 69 settlers like i don't want it to go back down now let me go to my base base the very first base that i built in the game this one's still technically my main base because i never ended up building a new one i might just end up having to get all the rest of the prefabs first before i start messing with it because i really want to make something nice now, I definitely want to come back and do some of the more missions here. I never really got too deep into the base building. But then finally, we have the capital ship, that giant frigate that we ended up capturing. I think we bought it for like a lot of money, but it's an S tier ship, so it is pretty good. It's just I haven't really used it for dick all yet. So here we are. Let's go through the log. I have to go uh, inspect my fleet. So let's go uh, check them out. I have uh, four B tier ships and one C tier. Now we gotta speak with the uh, frigate navigator. Let's uh, see what potential expeditions can we do. Um, Voyage of Discovery, what's that about? Okay, so that's gonna be using exploration. So I'll assign 
those two ships to it and then i will uh, launch expedition yeah that should be good i can also add uh new slots to my um squadron so i can get more ships to help me in combat Ooh, i don't know if i want to spend my last 10k nanites on that but uh i'll just leave it as that now i have a bunch of cargo uh bulkheads so i can uh, max out the amount of slots that i have on this thing and then um Using salvaged frigate modules, I can uh, get more stuff for the frigate itself. Ooh, I can uh, buy different colors of nanites as well. Let's get a uh, product formula for frigate fuel. And then, damn, we got a lot of like decent rooms here. Like uh, these rooms actually offer big purpose, like teleport chamber. You know, obviously the teleport technology room. Yeah, I'll get those uh, three things. And let's see, how many of these do I have to throw on my ship? Like quite a few i think all right i got what i have in my inventory in it um i think i'll just go back to that other dimension right now where i was on that paradise planet because i've only got like one day left in game now i'm like just about approaching day 99. what i think would be kind of cooler on this planet instead of building like right here what if i do it on a spot where there's like a floating island there's plenty of those around here it's got to find one that's decently flat like uh this one over here doesn't look too bad yeah this spot looks a lot better like i'll go up here i want to put a base computer down here there we go that should give me like pretty much full access to build on this now all right so i got an x-shaped corridor going through here with two more places and this last room over here i'm going to do a cylindrical room and then i can start to build up i think like this will be a good amount of space Let's turn on these uh, furnaces here that should power up the whole thing. Yep. All right. And now I can get a look at the uh, building. Yeah, like three squares in a circle. That's cool. I'm going to need a lot of pure ferrite, which I don't think is going to be too hard to make. I got lots of uh, ferrite dust. So I'm going to start making that and then also uh, mining down all of these things near me. All right, now I've got a bunch of pure ferrite. I'm going to try to do something like the same design. Another uh, X-shaped corridor right there. Hmm. Actually, this design doesn't really work like this. It's on the right path, but I just noticed these bottom like square rooms actually intersect with each other. All right, so let's start with a cylindrical room and then maybe I'll have like actual straight corridors that go to different rooms. All right, this is getting a little bit more like it. So you see, I got uh, four circle spheres and then two big square ones. And I'm gonna try to do something on the top, like I build it up another layer or two, but I might just spend like the next half hour or so building it. And then I'll come back with the ultimate base design. All right, so we're on the last day now. There's nine minutes left total play time. I didn't get too much in the base. I really gotta go, um, farming for materials if i want to put a bunch of glass in it but i got one of the rooms looking cool all right so for the new base as you see we got like three rooms in the front going back another three have been stacked up by two and then over here i'm working on the top there's like a uh, pure glass room i'll show you inside it's not like too impressive yet we got biofuel reactors all the power and whatnot then going down here you can see this is what i kind of want to do with most of the rooms make them out of like glass panels and then little spots at the side to view out and uh check out the entire world then if you go upstairs by one this one doesn't have anything at it yet it's the same kind of idea lots of room and then this uh little glass dome room up here i think looks pretty cool then the back room too i got like some batteries some solar panels set up the base is basically set up now for me to start like working on it putting in stuff like a trade terminal and all the other types of uh technology but i think i'm gonna go out to space we're gonna go out to a new system and go land at one last planet we'll see what we can find and then i'm gonna go through some of the achievements that we've done throughout this entire playthrough and uh of course we got okay we got a pirate fight i guess i'll take this one on oh no oh no I'm stuck in their ship there we go all right just three more ships remaining then i might land on this one if i can and see just what uh tier it is and what kind of ship it is there we go got all of them eliminated let's go and uh see i think this ship should probably be trying to uh invite us on i would have been clapped if we died there man like hey, that was our last pirate battle and we die <laughs> All right, let's go up and see what kind of ship is this. It is, yeah, C-tier ship. Uh, no. 
Well, I think that is, like, about it. We're at day 100 now. I just want to go over to uh, where we can see some of our stats now. It looks like we've been to 153 different systems. Learned nearly 2,000 words, like 1,800 words. Uh, 650 for Vigek. We got the highest medal achieved for that one. 507 for Viking and 565 for Vakorvax. Our standings are all pretty decent. Like, uh, they could go and get a little bit higher but they are about more than halfway across the board except for being a pirate we destroyed 176 different ships in total we um explored what 242 hundred thousand use as well as doing the omega expedition uh I haven't done any of the other ones, so I don't know why I have a few badges for them, but I'll take it. We got two different S-tier ships, the one that I'm currently using pretty much like maxed out at the moment. We did not get an S-tier multi-tool, that's one of the only things we didn't get an S-tier of. That and a uh, settlement, but other than that, there's a lot of gameplay to go through in this game. Like, there's easily another like 100 hours or so of content. Especially now that I'm at like the later stages of the game. It's a lot easier for, to grind for money and get the things that you want now. So is No Man's Sky worth playing after like 100 days? I, I'd say definitely yes. It's got a much better gameplay loop than a lot of other games that I've played before. So give it huge credit to that. Anyways, though, I want to thank you for watching this massive video. If you are still alive and not decomposed in your chair by the time this is over, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I have many more videos similar to this one in the future, and I might just hit No Man's Sky again, because, yeah, like I said, lots more content, and either way, it'd be a fun game to return to for live streams and just on my own time. As always, though, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.